This is the Dwalord region, an active war zone. The Whisperers have infiltrated the forest region, and they're everywhere, and can strike at any time, using the walkers to conceal their movement and bolster their numbers. The rogues are a much more organized enemy. They inhabit the desert, but often launch raids into the surrounding areas. They're heavily armed and armored, and none of them can be trusted. And the Psychos, sworn enemies of the Order of Steel. They call the Wasteland their home, where they use radioactive remnants of the Old War to create addictive biochemical supplements that fuel their insanity. During the attack on Alchemist Prime, our loyal friend Temkim was kidnapped by these Psychos, and he's now being held captive, possibly being tortured at an unknown location in the Wasteland. And we are gonna get him back. And all the while, the worst enemy of all is ever present, the Walkers. Thousands of them, along with monstrosities yet to be discovered. The conflict between these factions has been waging for years, and the Order of Steel now enters the fray. Let's begin. All right, everyone, here we are, and let the war begin. But look out, because already there is a Whisperer straight over there. It looks like he's holding an axe or something, but I have nothing at all, so I don't want to fight right now. Looks like there's a city up there in the distance. Don't want to pick a fight with the boar. I got nothing on me right now, except for this right here, the starter pack. So we open that up. We're going to get our bicycle and a couple of just easy starter supplies. So it's going to say craft a bedroll. We'll do that first. Set that down. I have a feeling we're going to need that. And that is it for the starting quest. I'm going to go ahead and just craft some regular old things right now. Not because I have to, but just because I want to. We'll go with a wooden club, and uh, that should do it for now. Set my bike down. Man, it is refreshing to have a pair of wheels on day one. And the battlefield is, like, littered, basically, with um, with these, like, supply caches here. And since it's Christmas time, <laughs> someone was in a festive mood and wrapped them up for us. So if I could just... Yep. Reach right up there and crack this thing open. What do we get here? Nice a desert vulture and an auto shotgun on day one. This is war We do not have time to muck around with Stone Age equipment Although hopefully I find some armor here in the near future. Looks like we got another supply cache here might as well check it In this one we did get some armor. We have some vitamin D B some painkillers and a jar of honey I have no idea what any of that does. We'll figure that out later. So in War of the Walkers, you're gonna have quests and these are how you're gonna specialize your character. So you'll have options to become any certain type of class based on these quests. I wanna focus a lot on the soldier class to start off with, but eventually we'll unlock all of these. So what we're focusing on a lot is killing zombies with the wooden club, killing animals, crafting the mini bike, doing some construction and gathering some materials. Oh, look out, we've got a freaking. <laughs> Whisperer chasing after us right now. Let's get out of here. Okay, that guy does not seem to be giving chase. And here we are at the trader. That's some kind of an interesting new bird up there. And uh, yeah, check this place out, man. This is looking nice. I feel like I just heard a rat. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I heard a rabbit die over here. So yeah, we need this. There's some big rabbits in this world. All right, inside the trader we go. Press the button and here we are. What are you buying today? So, introducing Trader J, who kind of looks like she needs to see a chiropractor. Trader Jen, what's up, woman? Like. Anything you like? And Trader Bill. Nice to meet you all. Okay, we got a zombie outside, and I don't want him to die on the spikes. I want this kill. I'm trying to be a soldier here. Crap. Okay, first things first, search the compound. Any medical supplies? Seems like a good place for him. Trauma first aid kit and vitamins. And that's about it. Can I open these? I cannot. So a trauma first aid kit's just like a super first aid kit. Vitamin B gives us disease resistance and cure fatigue. Painkiller is just a painkiller, but also gives us damage mitigation. And it uh, looks like vitamin D and vitamin B are the same thing. These, these are just regular vitamins. All right, well, let's get to work here. We got some quests to do. All right, I think this commercial talents. bakery is probably our best bet. We're gonna need some food anyway, so. Let's check that out. Looks like Trader Bill just sells like an assortment of materials here. He's got a job for Emotep's Kebab, which is another food store. And then she's got a job here for Motel Number Two. We'll take all three of these. Okay, we've got um, we've got a couple zombies here. Okay, this these are runners too. This is a uh, SWAT soldier zombie that um, yeah, gotta be careful around this guy. He looks like he kind of knows what he's doing here. Oh, Arlene, on the other hand, no idea what she's doing. Just checking on the quests here. There's also progression quests here. I'm not sure 
what this is all about. We've got zombie hunting. We just got all kinds of these quests. Gather plant fibers for resource progression. And this gives us a bunch of XP and dukes as a reward. Okay, let's get the plant fiber and just see what that does. Okay, that's it for that quest. What happened? I got a bunch of dukes, I think. I leveled up. I have, uh, what? Did it say 12 skill points to spend? Oh boy. And, um, it didn't give me, like, a part two yet, at least, that I can see. No, 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 it's right here. Okay, we gotta gather wood now. Okay, so that's just something that we'll do passively as a way of making some extra money and XP. I'm not gonna focus on it right now. We need to find, like, a place to live, do a couple quests, get some rewards, get some ammo, food, things like that. The essentials. Starting with you, buddy. Okay, bone knife. That was one of the quests that we had to do there. Grab that. Finish this off. All right, taking a look at the map here. It looks like uh, we've got a cluster of quests right over here. Let's head directly there first. Oh, geez. Yes, this place. Uh, <laughs> we're not going there just yet. All right, this UI is definitely going to take some getting used to for me. Come here, buddy. Working on my soldier quest. Okay, I killed a rabbit and something happened. Yes, I completed my animal hunting quest. This might help with our wood gathering efforts. Okay, my axes level just increased. Gotta repair this now. So there is, there are action skills, I should say. Speaking of skills, we've got these 12 skill points and I have no idea how we need to spend these. Here's our action skills. We've got axes, pickaxes, all kinds of tools, guns, armor, okay. So that's just passive stuff. Depending on what we decide, that those will just go up on their own. We can spend skill points to unlock certain workstations, but they seem to be locked behind player level. Similar for guns and melee weapons, as well as throwables, crafting recipes, vehicles, and armor. We can unlock some recipes for bullets if we'd like. Food, first aid, and consumables seem to be locked right now. Here are some of our familiar skill points like sexy T-Rex, run and gun, better barter, and others. These are also level locked. It looks like we could maybe take one class. No, we can't take this. This is a um, class, so we have to complete the class quest in order to get this unlocked. And then we can spend our skill points in here to unlock things like the tungsten auger, it appears. The soldier class, which is what I'm gunning for first, no pun intended, <laughs> will allow us to unlock guns and knives and things like that, the recipe to craft them. And so despite the fact that we have what was it, 12 skill points. I can't spend any of them right now. We need to focus on leveling up first. And uh, what level am I in right now? I'm level three, it looks like. Okay, there there it is. We've got the 10,000 XP, the 1,000 Dukes, and another zombie over here. Come here. I kind of go back and forth whether I want to call this zombie Karen or Lois. She looks like Lois from Family Guy, but she just screams Karen to me. Oh man, and that's the snake house. <laughs> I don't want to clear any of these POIs. Hopefully one of the ones that we clear out as a mission will be somewhere we can save the night. There's a wolf there! Yep, definitely. Oh, well, we just got a whole bunch more money because I killed a zombie. Just come- Oh my god, it's a freaking- Whoa, what is, what is this? A skeleton? Ow! Okay, just, uh, we're gonna duck, duck and dodge. It's a mace zombie. Okay, I got a little bit of stamina here. Let him have it. Oh, there we go. Whoa, man. Look out for that guy. Okay, somebody- Is that a whisperer? No, it's a soldier. It is a, a fellow Order of Steel soldier. Who is this? Hyper. Oh my God, Hyper. We got to help him out. Get him. Oh my God, Hyper. It is so good to see you. Hey, come here. Listen, hey, come back here. I'm interested in hiring you for a thousand dukes. Come here. Oh, he's, he's running off to uh, fight a zombie. Let's do this together, buddy. You and me. Yeah, put some first aid on before you die. Oh, and I just ran out of stamina. Oh, that was a good move. Oh yeah, tank him for me a little bit. Nice. Give me the kill though. I want the kill, not you. Damn it. Uh, well, good job. Yes, okay, so the Order of Steel has begun. It is just you and me, Hyper, right now. Let's do this. Keep up with me, all right? No wandering off. Where are you going now? Ah, oh, he'll catch up. Get some food for us for tonight. And uh, yeah, I don't know if we need to aggro that wolf, buddy. He's braver than I am, apparently. Oh, ow. Okay, we do have like a bunch of first aid, so let's not be stingy about that. Okay, we press on. Okay, well, first up, it looks like we're at Emoteps. Oh, and oh, it's right next door too. The, we got the bakery here and Emoteps here, nice. 
Just checking the vending machine here because, uh, oh, there should be some new food and stuff. What is this? A mossy brew. It's a very good drink. It's a little bit pricey, but I mean, the money is rolling in right now, so I don't feel like we have to be too stingy about our money. So let's go ahead and grab the candy, grab some drinks, grab a little bit of food to supplement what we have, and uh, that should be fine. Okay, what are we doing first here? Let's do Emoteps. Tier one clear, open the door. What do we got? Okay. Yeah, you um, you just guard the outside. I'll take the mission. Oh, here he comes. Man, you are too loud. You gotta calm down, man. I gotta train him up. Get him, buddy. <laughs> oh, he's he's an acrobatic one. He's training his, um, his action skills as well in acrobatics and parkour. Yep. Oh, you're gonna get pinned in there. Oh, he found a uh, experiment Z zombie. Oh, this is a real sleepy one here. Uh, Hyper, you're in a real bad spot there, man. You might want to... There you go! Look at that! Ow! Could use your help here, Hyper. I'm out of stamina, as usual. Oh, I heard a... I heard a, a loot bag drop, and I completed some zombie hunting quest. Hyper, can you please stay next to me? Yes, and in keeping with the Christmas theme here, what did we get? We got a reward point card and some other junk. Oh, and that was some shotgun rounds too, so just in case, load this puppy up. And we've got 17 skill points. I don't, I'll, we'll just check tonight probably and see if we can spend any of those. This place is right full of zombies for a tier one. Whoa, buddy. Heal me up. All right, I've had enough of this stuff. Get out of here. Watch your back, man. I got gotcha. you. I've leveled up yet again. <laughs> I broke my glove. There's a lot going on right now. Okay, I think that was the quest. Yeah, we got the uh, talk to trader thing. Okay, I want to talk to you. Show me your inventory? Oh, I can... Okay, you're sworn to carry my burdens, I suppose. I can say patrol, I can say stay where you are, stay where I am, and uh, follow. Okay, so just um, stay here for now. And I'm gonna loot this place up. All right, we're all looted up. The only really good thing I got there was this new primitive bow. And these have like new colors, so I'm not exactly sure what level this corresponds to, but uh, we might be able to figure that out. Two two mod slots at least is all I can tell you. And then I did get a, uh, a, a 4X scope. I think I put that on the desert vulture. I can't put that on anything, Never mind. I can read the grave digger mod schematic. And we are encumbered, so we'll just have to be careful going into this next POI here. Get out of here! Oh, that was animal hunting part two there, so I just got a bunch of more money rolling in. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's hit it. Man, I forgot Hyper over there. Do you think I'm gonna fail if I go get him? Probably. <laughs> Try not to forget him here, at least. Holy crap, a screamer. Oh boy, that's interesting. If I can quietly take her down. Yes, that's not a real scream, was it? Good morning. Oh jeez, it's a whole bunch of zombies back there. Okay. Um, yep, not loaded because I tried to modify it earlier. <laughs> Typical. Okay, patch me up. Whoa, hello there. Yikes. Yeah, again, this is just a lot of zombies for a tier one. Couple of loot bags here though. Don't mind if I do action skill axes. So presumably I just read this and it gives me one point into axes. And this is an experience card for 20,000 XP. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I'm liking this a lot. You know, this might be the place that we have to live at least for tonight. And then uh, tomorrow we'll have to search around town and see if we can find something a little bit, you know, more fortified, safer. That is, um, okay, is this telling me that there's like one more zombie left in there? Or what, what's the deal here? What is going on? Is that toilet paper? I guess I probably will need that later. Oh, Yes, okay, yes. Let's keep that one closed and open this one. Oh, if only I had something to throw in there at them. Close those ones, open these ones. Check the trunk to see if there's any grenades in here. Of course not. There is a couple more shotgun rounds though, which I'll take. Okay, we don't want them crawling out. We want them to bring their heads right up here so I can just smash them in. And just uh, kick things off here with a bang. Oh, they are um, flying right through. <laughs> it didn't work at all. Trying to get like two hits with one bullet like this. Yep, there we go. Okay, hydration getting super low. Let's take that mossy brew, see if that helps out. And 
Done. Is that it for this place? Gunpowder bundle schematic. I guess that helps. Yep, I just had a look and we are done with the quest here. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a moment here to talk about the mods and the settings. So I am, um, I've heavily modded this. This is um, the War of the Walkers mod. I've added a bunch of mods. I have also modified a lot of the War of the Walker files. Uh, so you can check the description for full like links to all the mods and it's sort of a description of how I'm playing this. And I think I'm going to just try to get on the rooftop there and see if we could maybe stay up there for the night. But yeah, there are a couple of things that I'm noticing so far that might be problems or it might be part of the mod. I'm not sure. I can't pick these up. I can't pick up the metal chairs and I can't search sinks. <laughs> so uh, there might be some uh, things wrong here. Let's go grab Hyper over here. Okay, hey, follow me. And what we're going to do is we're going to probably build multiple bases in this playthrough and we're gonna staff every base with like tons and tons of soldiers all right so just setting something up here that i can get up onto I, there's no enemies up here because that would have been part of the quest but just wondering if um i could just live up here <laughs> for the night you know what i mean get a little fire going see if we can get some stuff cooked up although i don't have a cooking pot or anything like that so uh, we might just be eating canned food for tonight. Plus, we'll have to get it so Hyper can come up here. Whoops. Where'd you go, buddy? Come here. Okay, and since we're so encumbered, let's just get some stuff put into storage. Oh, reward point card. That's a one extra skill point, just like that. Very cool. Oh, I also found this smart packaging book, which is an extra five slots in my inventory. Toilet paper sells for $70? That kind of makes sense in a pandemic. Okay, I want to turn in our quests before nightfall, if we can. And I also just want to see if the traders are maybe open at nightfall, because I'm not sure about this mod. My bicycle's back at the trader anyway. I forgot all about that. So in this world here, I probably already talked about this in the prologue, but we have four different factions. Where There's the White River faction, which is going to be the traders. There's the Order of Steel faction, which will be me and the soldiers here. All of the soldiers will have names based off of the patrons. Oh, look out. There's a, uh, speaking of factions, there's a Whisperer down there. The Whisperers are a zombie-friendly faction, so they will not attack or be attacked by zombies. And they'll be appearing at Horde Night and in Wandering Hordes as well, along with the zombies. We then have the Rogues, and the Rogues are going to be kind of specific to the Desert Biome. And then we have the Psychos, which are kind of specific to the, the Wasteland oh Biome. If you're, and the psychos uh, if you're are holding Temcam, so we have to get him eventually once wow, we build up our forces. Hey, there we go, Good some job. pipe bombs. Once we build up our forces and get a plan and get some gear and get some skills, then we're going to start raiding in the wasteland looking for him. Okay, Jen is selling an auger schematic and the steel tool schematic and the, the good pistol beat book, the 10% more damage with 9 mil weapons. Yeah... I want kind of all of those. Okay, restock days tomorrow too. Oh boy. So if we want it, we've got to get it now. And the Grandpa's Awesome Sauce will pay for itself someday. So definitely getting that. Jeez, she's got a nail gun, but it's... Oh, it's... um. This has a quality now. She's got Lucky Goddle. Oh my gosh, her inventory is just like stacked with good stuff. SMG schematic, my goodness. Okay, um, let's try to ration things here. So I feel like the auger is something that we can find in this mod. I don't think that's something that's gonna be gated like really, really late game, you know? However, that Pistol Pete book is pretty much like gold to me. So let's roll with that. Better. I get some pipe bombs from this guy as well. The bacon and eggs recipe, I'd rather have pipe bombs. And I'll come back and get jobs from them tomorrow after we've completed that other quest. So I'm just gonna shop here until they boot me out of the trader if they boot me out so trader j here appears to specialize in these like reward cards and experience cards so you can just literally buy xp and action skills but i'd like to be a little bit more frugal with my money I because i want to be able to hire soldiers if i come across them in the wild okay well it is 2157 are they gonna boot me out here because i think they would have booted me out already if they were going to right and we haven't gotten the like you know the trader is closing soon okay so it looks like the trader is 24 hours so we could just stay here tonight what's going on out here oh oh just um a lot of craziness out here okay, we got a bear fighting a zombie we've got santa claus out there as long as we don't get um you know any whisperers tonight i think we'll be just fine okay a wolf just killed itself on the spikes over here so don't mind me i'm gonna grab up that meat and then I'm just going to take the bike back to the base because that's where all of our food and stuff is. And we are getting kind of hungry. Oh, there's a wolf. Nope, 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 nope. Hyper, keep up with me, please. Okay, Hyper is bound and determined to just fight zombies out here. <laughs> um, buddy, we can't be doing this out here all night. Oh, boy. Now he's getting ambushed from behind. Who is this guy? All right, I guess we're working on clearing the area. Oh, no, 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 no. My, my thing is broken. Help me. Oh, my God. He runs fast. Okay, get the bone knife out. 
Yes, you guard the bicycle down here. I'm gonna go upstairs. We're super hungry and I did find this hobo stew inside uh, one of these places here. So we'll suck that down. Save a little bit for Hyper over here. And uh, Hyper is in a super dangerous spot, but I've got coverage from above. I think 10 shotgun rounds would be enough to kill that bear between the two of us. So I think it's just a matter of kind of waiting out the night as uh, really just too dangerous for us. And we have very limited ammo and supplies. So let's just kind of hunker down here and wait until morning. All right, good morning everyone. Just cracked dawn here and we're at this motel. Hyper's with me. We're gonna murder some zombies here bright and early. Nice. Okay, so what do we have here? Just a very, very small motel. This is just a vanilla place, I think. Although I'm not sure if I've ever been here. This is like a town POI. Are we in a town right now or are we in a city? I think we're in a town actually. Very kind of small place, that's okay. Working vending machine as well. And we have plenty of money. We'll get another mossy brew here. That should do for now. I'm gonna mark this on the map here as a working vending machine. Oh yes, new things to put on the map. Always like this, although I don't see anything. Okay, here's a can to say vending and that way we can stop by here occasionally. So overnight I got some better tools crafted. We've got a better ax, club, stone pickaxe, stone shovel. I crafted some more clothing and I found out that my next soldier quest is to kill a bunch of zombies with a pipe pistol and I'm able to pin this recipe over here. Just a little quality of life improvement. I think that's an improvement coming to vanilla soon too in Alpha 21. Hyper, what are you doing over here? Zombie man is attacking. Hello, zombie man. I was able to spend a bunch of the skill points too last night, but I'm kind of saving some because I'm not sure exactly how many I'm going to get. So I don't want to like spend them into things that I don't really need just yet anyway. So like I got some points into shotguns and bows. Oh, we got a soldier over there. Oh, hey buddy, come over here. I don't want to fail the quest. Can you just walk over to me a little bit? I want to know who you are. Yes, um, I'm, in, I'm in the yellow. Come on, a little bit closer there. Hyper, go recruit him. No, no, come back here. Just, <laughs> I'm risking it. Hired, you're hired, whoever you are. Warren, welcome to the team, Warren. Come back over here, please. Yes, 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 come this way. Warren, Warren's, oh, he hello there. <laughs> welcome back. All right, in we go, friends, or or you could just, uh, you know, hold down the fort outside and I'll clear it out. Either way. Now well, Warren's just being a badass soloing the skateboarder boy over there. Okay, of all the things we need, you know, a helmet light's kind of top on the, the list for me. Yeah, see, I can't pick these chairs up. I'm not sure if that's just me mucking around in the, in the files a little bit too much or um, if that's just a mod thing. Look at that! Left me a big present with some shotgun rounds in it. So that's just a like a holiday thematic thing that I think um, is part of the mod, but uh, I'll probably just disable that after Christmas. We'll put it that way. Okay, cloth, definitely do need that. I'll wear that fancy green shirt. Okay, gentlemen, you're in the way a little bit, but they're actually, they're pretty good at like getting out of the way. Ooh, ski goggles, nice. And a sweatshirt. I prefer the green t-shirt though. Oh, I just picked up some uh, corn seeds out of the toilet. Oh my God, that's disgusting. Another vending machine out back. Oh, we'll have to remember that, that there's two here. I like these mossy brews. We'll take a jailbreaker, stock up on the atom junkies and the hackers. Also dog food. I mean, I, I'm getting the sense that like, Materials are not difficult to come by with this mod and I really like that like this just speeds up the whole progression of the game And so we might get into crafting like learning elixirs and stuff like that here So I'm gonna make sure that we have plenty of dog food. Isn't this the end loot? Yeah, here we go Gentlemen, let them have it, but let me have the XP Or do we get shared XP might be worth checking on that. I'm not exactly sure. No, no, I don't think we did share the XP on that. Move, please. I'll, I'll take the loot. How's that sound? Right. Uh, I need pipes so I can make the pipe pistol. I, I have plenty of 9 mil. We can get some pipes out of this here. There's my pipes. And, uh, nope, not quite enough. I need one more. Yep, there we go. That's one. Pipe pistol, please. And we can just put the desert vulture away because I don't have the ammo for it right now anyway. Put the boots on, scrap those, and also it looks like we have some armor mods to put on. Very nice. Although in retrospect, I probably would have put two points into pistols and crafted a better one. Although that would have increased the recipe requirements, I think. So yeah, scratch that. All right, I think we're done here. Oh, hello there. Oh, we got another soldier. Who are you? Herbivore. Herbivore. <laughs> 
Welcome to the team, my friend. I'm interested in hiring you for a thousand dukes. All right, man, we are growing big here. The order of steel is rising and it needs cobblestone. There is apparently still a zombie in here somewhere. Oh, I got a duster there. So I'm just gonna clear out. <laughs> We're gonna go like room to room now. Hello? We need cloth as well. Yes, give me this. Cause we have to make cloth armor for, I don't know, some random quest. Whoa, here we go. Yes, and we, okay, you guys, what do you do? Oh, you're crouching with me? What? That is so cool. Okay, well, you stay out there. I gotta get these kills. Ow, ow, whoa. <laughs> Help! Oh my god! Friends, get him! Oh, thanks guys. Why do I get the feeling that I'm the follower and, and these are like the protagonists of the story? <laughs> oh, right. Yes, more zombies in here, it looks like, somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna get a kill here with the pipe pistol, whether it's the last thing I do. Hello? It's a snake. Are you kidding me? Oh, of all things to see here. Get back, everyone! I got it! Okay, move. It's getting really crowded here. We gotta, we gotta get a base going and drop some of these guys off. Not only that, but I got a bunch of weaklings here. Okay, so Hyper has a machete, and uh, Warren here has a, a knife, which is not too bad, but um, Herbivore here has a, a wooden club, and there's no way for me to change that. There's also no way for me to uh, rename you guys. So unfortunately, all the soldiers are male. However, there are some female, like some badass mercenary females that uh, are I've heard are around town here. So hopefully we run into them at some point as well. Okay, let's get the bicycle and head out of here. All right, so the jobs should have refreshed oh, today. So we're gonna get to some get new this. jobs. Where okay, we've got Dunkin' Donuts, okay. a bunch of like nine mil, or a batter up book. I, I'm liking the clubs kind of thing for this playthrough, so let's go with batter up. And we've got a military Water installation to go get some supplies from, it looks like. Tier one fetch, we'll do that. And a fetch at farm number six, sure. Okay, so we're kind of all over the place on the map, so I'm thinking let's go north first, and then we'll loop south and then back to the trader, hopefully by the end of the day. Just being super careful as I roll through, because I'm kind of reminded that we could turn a corner at any moment and there could be a whisperer with a rocket launcher and just just waste us right there. That is definitely a possibility. Also, you know, M60s, machine guns, uh, shotguns, every anything could happen here. Trader wrecked as a zombie, the way he should be. And uh, what was this? This is one of the farms. Yep, let's just hit this and see what we're gonna get up to here. Warren, man, you gotta be careful like that. You're gonna get yourself hurt. Trying to be a hero and get a purple heart. Ooh, a dead pig. How'd that happen? Must have died on the spikes, I guess. Fucking clown is after me! Ah! Terrifying! Kill him! Ow! Supposed to watch my back, guys. Oh, crap. Is that a whisperer out there? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. Come on, guys. Let's go get this person. Trying to break my bike. No! Oh, he's healing up. You bastard. Get him! There we go. Yeah, look. He almost broke my bike. What a bastard. Speaking of bike, we gotta stash this stuff up so we're not too encumbered. I'm getting the sense that we're kind of dwelling on this place a little bit too long. We need to get out of here as soon as we possibly can. Oh, jeez, man. Whole bunch of zombies lurking in there. Get out of here, Steve. Just here for the supplies. But I'm not leaving without the loot either. Oh, here's a sink that I can search. Maybe it's just... It's probably certain POIs that, uh, some of the compo pack ones that the sinks are kind of broken in. I see. Oh wow, this must have been, yes, it's a farm loot crate and it's appropriate because we're at a farm and that was a whole bunch of farming material in there. And I can envision a really nice farm for the future. Okay, we're on to the next one. All right, next up here is Dunkin' Donuts. And uh, this is a very active location here being kind of in the downtown area. Check the mail always when you're low level. You get these books like at a really, really high rate. What is this place here? Holy cow, man. Behind you, herbivore. Oh my God. Situational awareness, man. You kill stealing motherfucker. No. You suck. Oh, I did level up after that though. Am I getting XP? I don't even know where to freaking look for XP. <laughs> I'm looking at the bottom right corner, but it's I think it's happening at the bottom left corner. Okay, did I get XP for that? I don't see any XP anywhere. What the hell, man? <laughs> I'll figure it out eventually. Class fragment for the tradesman. Gather five of these fragments to craft a class paper to complete the quest line. 
That's, uh, I, I don't know what that means. Books galore. I'll sell the ones I've already read, though. Need every dollar we can get to hire more members of the order. Okay, are we ready? Let's hit this. Oh, goodness, it's a skeleton. What? Oh my god, someone hit me really hard. Ow. Help me, guys. Okay, skeleton had a very big present up his butt. And I'll take it. 10,000 XP. Nice. Well, that paid off. I might not get the XP for the kill, but uh, I'll get the XP from the loot. Okay, I are we going up up to get in? Is this how it works here? Oh, jeez. Okay, we got some supplies up here, which is nice. Get out of here. Okay, I can hear our friends downstairs murdering a bunch of zombies, which is really nice to hear. Okay, oh, ow! Jeez, help! I think we're still trying to get kills with the pistol here, so I'm gonna focus on this as much as I can. Forged steel. That's a good find. Okay, um, guys, are you gonna... Oh my god, there's a lot of zombies coming up here. I don't want nothing to do with this guy. Get out of here. Oh, fucking Santa's coming up here now. Oh, boy. Oh, my. Not good. Painkiller, please. I don't even know what happened. Like I was getting tag teamed by someone. Oh, and uh, someone bled out. Hyper, freaking stay here and protect me. I'm bleeding. What? A snowman? Well, that's, that's kind of fun. Okay, Hyper, stay close to me, okay, man? I gotta get all these resources. All right, I think that's it. There is, uh, there are zombies, I think, inside the POI, and hopefully, yes, there's a way in over here, and I'm hoping that the order members will follow me down here, because I'm imagining this is some kind of a trap. Doesn't look like it'd be easy to get out of here. Ooh, who's this? Zombie firefighter, and he's a tough one. Clearly got some armor on. Ooh, and the freaking crawler gets me at the end. Typical. I found this a couple times. It's a chemical pile. And it has chemicals in it, and it says that's a recipe used to craft something, so we'll figure that out at some point, hopefully. Okay, risky business here, but we gotta drop down. Looks like we're relatively kind of maybe safe here. Who's this? Spearman Z! Get back! Hopefully some good food in here. I've been chomping down everything. Ooh, iced coffee! Stamina regen, 25% for three minutes and three seconds. Interesting time frame on that, but I'll take it. Oh, and I'm, this is the main loot right here. Oh! Hyper! What's up, man? Got a pipe rifle here, serrated blade mod, and some food. Okay, there's still like the whole store though. Uh, looks like our friends have already done all the work for us though. Good job, guys. I'll leave you guys to it. I'm gonna see if I can get us some coffee. Let's get him. Yeah, I'm super encumbered. I was gonna give Hyper the coffee, <laughs> fittingly, right? Okay, uh, that's Warren. Hyper, where are you at? Show me your inventory and just um, hang on to some of this stuff for me. Although, because I've never done this before, I don't wanna put anything too terribly important in there, just in case, you know, he dies or <laughs> other disasters happen. Okay, still looking for the last zombie. Looks like there's a bathroom over here, baby. Yeah, where are you at? Here you are. Fuck out of here. Any more? Okay, so we've uh, we've got the main loot. We've got everything, I think. So let's just uh, get out of here now. Excuse me, guys. Move, 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 move. Everybody out. Hop to it. We might have a problem here. <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Yes, there we go. Out, out, out. We still got one place to clear out tonight. Where's my bike? Over here. Not gonna pass these up, though. Oh, wait. We've got gunfire. We've got multiple different types of gunfire, too. Okay, there might be an engagement between some Order of Steel members and a Whisperer, so we need to hustle over there and figure this out. Oh, no. There's a raid going on here. Oh my goodness. Gentlemen, stay back. It looks like the rogues are doing some POI clearing over here and I want nothing to do with any of that. Let's just um, get out of here unnoticed and hopefully not draw any extra attention to ourselves. I don't want them to know that we've moved into the area. The rogues, they, they outclass us right now. We just, we are no match for them right now. They have too many guns. Okay, this is our last quest of the day. This was the military installation. All right, looks like we've got him taken care of. We've got a couple guys already rolling in here. Excellent. Good job, guys. Way to show the initiative. Oh, we got a bird. Okay, just doing a little bit of double looting here. And then I'm gonna reset the quest. There we go. Okay, again. <laughs> Lay down right next to your friend there. Holy crap, we've got someone. Who is this? That's like the quartermaster for this place. Ow! Shit, man, guys, help me. Massive first aid kit. Oh my god. Oh shit. 
Guys, help! Oh my god, what happened there? Fucking zombies coming out of nowhere. Colonel Lynch, holy crap, get him out of here. Oh yeah, this is, uh, this is a lot more going on here than I expected. Ooh, three for one. Nice. Where are the birds coming from? Don't look at me like that. I know what I'm doing here. Okay, we just uh, made our way up to the rooftop, but there's nothing up here. There was a ladder going up from in here. I think we want to go in this way and then down into the basement. I remember this place. <laughs> oh, this is so dangerous. Yeah, I don't know about this place, man. Yeah, because um, it was... There was an old series I did called The Road. It was the second series I ever did on YouTube, and uh, I blew this place up for fun. <laughs> We're not gonna do that today, though, because uh, I don't want to fight screamers all night long. Yep, you guys get the soldier, I'll get the crawlers. Excellent. Oh, ow, no! What was that? He pushed me into the crawler. Is that it? Oh, we're here to retrieve supplies. Where are those? Actually, there's some loot back here, I think. Is this like a, a oh, paint pile? That's uh, interesting. Not sure that I need that. Really nothing back here. Okay, was there a loot that's uh, up on one of these shelves? Oh, there's the satchel. Oh, and there is something hidden back there. Oh, what's back there? Ooh. Okay, hopefully when we go back to talk to Trader Jen tonight, she'll be selling some antibiotics or honey or something. You're getting a little uh, rambunctious there, Warren. I might have to kind of <laughs> leave you at home next time. Ah, ooh, here's the main loot. Oh yeah, this could be a real problem. This tight staircase, I brought them all down here with me. Uh-oh, oh, repair kit for armor, interesting. And the main loot gives us a mag extender. Take that, okay, back out of here, guys. Herb, now that you're the one in the way, come on, man. Not too bad, they seem to snap out of it pretty quickly. And is that it here? Right, I guess we're staying on the rooftop of wherever that, that bakery, I guess, is where we're living tonight. But let's turn in our quests, I suppose, since the traders don't seem like they're closing at night, and see if we get any good rewards today. Good all right, job. I got all your stuff there. Man, she is loaded with pipe. Oh, she got a cigar too. Ooh, a screamer block. Whoa, I bet that um, like generates a bunch of heat, right? So you can um, farm screamers. Bone booster. You can heal your broken limbs as well as prevent any future injuries to your arms or legs. The duration of the buff. Sounds like something I should have. Also, I'll take a painkiller for my concussion. I'll take that mining book. Oh, look at this, an armor smithing workstation. Another awesome sauce. Yes, definitely need that. It'll pay off in the end. Oh crap, what happened? What are you doing out here? Tell your friends. Okay, we need to close these doors. I'm getting nervous. Oh, they're just, uh, they're they're fighting people. Oh, no, no, don't open the doors. You our guys are ridiculous. Okay, well, you work on that. What the hell, a raft? Oh, man. Wonder if there's a lake nearby. Oh yeah, there's that concussion kicking in. Let's take that painkiller right away. That should cure that. The deep laceration, I'll need a sewing kit. I don't have one of those yet. Let's check over here with Bill. Bill's laying the pipe as well. But I'll take the shotgun rounds this time. Yay. Okay, more damage to deer or choke mod? Definitely gonna roll with the choke mod. Do you have anything nice? No, you don't. Crucible schematic, that that might be nice. But um, like I said before, I think we're gonna progress so quickly that we're not gonna find very Maybe many bottlenecks. Excuse me, Herb, leave me alone, man. Yeah, no one's selling antibiotics today, but it does look like traders restock daily, which is freaking awesome, so. We'll have to come back tomorrow. I think I do have if some I honey have back at the base. All right, my friends, let's get out of here. Oh my God, I just walked through. <laughs> I was like, is there a mounted deer head in this game now? Nope, but there's dinner here. Give me that and let's go home. Ah, uh, yes, everyone joined me up here tonight. Excellent, good job, guys. Let's get a fire going so that at a minimum we can see something around here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for tonight is just get the inventories organized and see if I can learn a little bit more about the crafting and the skill system, maybe spend a couple of skill points. And tomorrow we're just gonna start grinding. Maybe we'll start thinking about some resource collection and we've got to scout around the village here to see if we can find a POI that we can kind of set up in permanently and convert into our horde base as we make preparations to build our own mega base. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. We're two days into the war, and we're off to a good start. We have a small cache of weapons and supplies, and enough food for a few days. Three soldiers have joined our ranks, but we'll need many more to confront the dangers ahead. With the foothold established, our attention now turns to finding a suitable location to build our primary base. The POD is to get some fresh trader quests and explore the outskirts of town. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. Okay, first order of business today is to issue out a promotion. Hyper, I'm gonna make you a team leader. 
you've done pretty well over the last couple days. You get a nice weapon and you seem to jump really well. So <laughs> you're going to be in command of Herbivore and Warren. You guys will be a team and hopefully we'll be able to find a new team today. So I think for today, we don't need to bring everyone with us. Herbivore, why don't you hold down the fort here? And then Hyper and Warren, you come with me to the trader. I'll meet y'all there. Everybody inside, please. Thank you very much. Close the door behind you. Okay, here we are at the trader. And uh, so I just want to show you, I'm pinning a couple of recipes up here. We've got a baseball bat pinned up there and a forge. And uh, I just want to put that up there so that I can remember what materials we're shopping for here at the trader and what we're looking for out in the wild today. Learning elixirs. Wow, man, the traders have such good stuff here. Anyway, I did want to do a quick sell off here. And I just want to show you that I'm going to sell the vitamins because I don't think they they're just all the same thing, basically. And I want I just want the regular vitamins. So, yeah, just get rid of all these things. And I'm going to sell the meat, too. You can see. There's this really faint red bar underneath there, and that's because there's food spoilage in this mod. And so if you have something that's not cooked, well, even cooked food will uh, spoil after some amount of time. And so uh, this meat is about to spoil. And so I'm just going to, instead of cooking it, I'm going to sell it, hopefully, and get a little bit of money for it before it all goes bad. You have to have um, animal fat in order to make like um, grilled steak and stuff like that. And so I made what I could last night and uh, we'll just have to, you know, get what we can with the rest of it. Okay, enough of that. Let me sell the rest of this. Okay, that's it for that. We made a little bit of money, not too much. Oh, sell these armor parts. And I just want to show you these. These are ski goggles, but they're they're basically looting goggles. So we'll hang on to those Remember and me? then we'll um, use that when we're like looting, looting stuff up. Rough. Okay, let's do some shopping now. Urban Combat Volume 4. When you're sneaking, you land silently. I, you know, I'll buy that just because it's a good series to know everything in. The That's the one where you um, can use silencers without a damage penalty, which is one that I really like. Okay, um, am I still infected? Because I was infected yesterday, but um, okay, let's see. I that. am... Oh, I don't know what all these new markers are. That looks like a laceration. Okay, yes, we have... No, that's an abrasion. We have antibiotic medicine going in, dysentery medicine in, treated mild infection. So, it does appear that we still do have... Uh, we will still have an infection when the antibiotics run out. So, uh, Jen... <laughs> <laughs> Do you, she? Oh, what's really crazy too is that she had um, honey yesterday and I completely missed it. So today, I'm not going to miss it. She has an antibiotic. So let's gulp that down and we should not have to worry about that anymore. Hey, helmet light mod. Nice. Better. Except I don't have a helmet. Oh my god. Jen, do you have any helmets? We're kind of running low on money, so I'm going to have to kind of forego that. I want to be able to hire people in the wild. I think the highest skilled soldiers the going rate now is about 3,000 dukes so i don't want to have any less than that what and not much going on over here okay so man. just get quests okay that's three this quests all places we haven't like been to yet so let's head out and start doing those dangerous. and looking at the map one of them is in like the quad inside the um tile that we're on right here so that's going to be the bookstore and there's like a piano shop i think over here and this is the little tattoo artist place over here and I don't believe any of these places are particularly exciting, so let's just snap to it. Oh my goodness! Hey, was that like a real scream? Are you dead? Get out of here. Jeez, that's scary. Okay, I don't see any zombies coming though. Call that a pseudo scream. Oh my goodness, Hyper just cleared the whole POI. What a badass. There we go. Okay, I just found a couple of Christmas presents. So we can unpack that for a Christmas tree and 5,000 gas. That's kind of cool, actually. Longtime members of the Order of Steel will remember this place. We've been here before, and we know what to expect, or at least we should know. And that's it. Ooh, not bad loot either. All right, nothing left in this place. I'm going to stop by home, though, and get some duct tape so I can make that hood. But in fact, it's going to require a skill point. And we've got several, so I think that's okay. Good, we can craft that. And is there any other armor that we need right now? We could use a chest piece, so we'll get that crafted too. It's part of some quest anyway to make this. And that's all of our duct tape right there, which we also needed for the forge <laughs> and the baseball bat. Uh, we'll get there eventually. All right, we are off to the next one. Just remember too, I forgot to put the looting goggles on for that main loot. I will try to remember that the best I can going forward though. It takes a little bit to kind of get in the habit of that. Okay, check the map. Where are we off to next? Heading right over there. That's the piano place. I will... I was gonna say I'll meet you there, but we're already there, so uh, here we are. 
Okay, yep. Oh, a little bit of lag, loading in some stuff here. Hit that, and there's a vending machine in there. So we might get lucky here and get a little bit more stuff. And, uh, yep, Hyper just uh, trying to do his own thing there, but the coding will not allow for it. Hyper, if you could not wake everybody up real quick. Oh, jeez, whoa, man. Get your friggin' priorities straight. Yeah, okay, oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Get this out, that's not loaded. Up the ladder. <laughs> oh my God, thank goodness for this. And slap a bandage onto my face. That, oh, no, he can climb though. Watch out for that. Yes, off to a bad start here. I'm trying to get my wits about me a little bit. Okay, good job, gentlemen. Oh, I've got the, the, the light now, that's good. Got a present here with some blood in it. <laughs> Yummy, extra cooking pot. Oh, these wood stoves are searchable, so we'll Grab whatever's in there. Okay, we're see this is an interesting piano shop. This seems more like, like a hibachi grill or something. <laughs> Got a couple of cooking grills here and some extra drinks for today. Some coffee to cook up later. And is that it or is there there just presumably like a rooftop here somewhere? Or like um more zombies up here? Oh, I see right there. Okay, so the, the question I have then is how do I get up there? And is is it the ladder we were on just a second ago there? We go up and then we go back down. Let's try that. Oh, that's the main loot right there. All right, well this time I'm going in prepared, okay? I'm gonna make any mistakes here. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Oh, looks like I'm doing this one all alone. And that'll do it. Okay, not bad loot here. Let's remember to do the ski goggle thing. I guess, what am I wearing here? Shades? Oh, right, because that's plus 10% run speed. This is the college jacket of eyewear. And we got a wooden bow schematic. Okay, not too bad. Okay, don't let my hit points get too low here. And just like that, we're off to that last one there, the tattoo shop, and I've got just the thing for that place. Yes, ooh. Oh yes, there's fire. <laughs> I forgot about that part. Oh, nice, we got the zombies coming off the roof to meet us. Hmm. Our, we might not get the loot at this place, guys. Okay, that's the quest at least. Oh man, do I have any water on me? Get the water on me, and just, we'll be really quick about this. Just uh, get a bandage into me too, and we're just gonna be really quick about this. Oh, jeez, ow! Okay, ah, where's the loot, where's the loot? I don't see it anywhere. Um, we got a vending machine here with a mossy brew and some skull crushers and some coffee, and yep, that'll have to do it for that. Okay, drink water, put me out, put me out, put me out. Okay, ooh, this place is burning me up. Um. Yeah, I, I don't think, I think I blew up the loot, honestly. <laughs> um, and I'm good with that. Let's get out of here before we catch on fire again. Ah, five second rule. Okay, good, wow. Okay, well that was fun. Okay, don't get to grab up my soldiers here, follow me. And let's head back to the trader, see what we get here, before this place calls in a whole bunch of screamers. Let's go. All right, what do we get here? Take the weighted head here, and a new job at Espresso Yourself. Take the 762 here, and let's go ahead and do a buried supply mission to the north. And I'll take the Art of Mining book here. That's for lanterns, mining hats, and helmet light mods. And we'll take this fetch at the passing gas store. Excellent. It is running later into the afternoon, and the reason I, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we've got AK-47 fire. Is it friend or foe, though? I'm seeing BDU Green. This is friend. Who do we got here? Mr. Mark Prairie. Well, Mark, what, what are you gonna ask for? 3,250 dukes. You're hired. That is good stuff right there. We are up to four and we have a firearm wielding soldier. Awesome, man. I feel so much better now that uh, if we encounter some serious resistance somewhere, ooh, look at that, night vision goggles, uh, we'll be much more capable of defending ourselves. So the reason I wanted to come out here into the wild is because there are those supply caches. You'll remember a couple of days ago, we pulled out some good guns from a weapons cache and they're kind of like dotted all over the landscape. Here's one right here. I just want to kind of, oh, hello? Okay, they're gonna work on it. It's a zombie, okay, so no big deal there. Oh, don't push me into the barbed wire, please. Okay, this is just a general supply crate, so really could maybe have anything in it. And it's got uh, some building materials. Ooh, a treasure map. So maybe we could do that while we're out here. Oh crap, you guys, you're supposed to be defending me. 
There we go. Good job, everyone. Hey, hey, some beer. Oh, by the way, put that metal chain mod onto our club, as well as the weighted head. Okay, that beer just looks like regular beer. It's just some kind of a Canadian brew. Fruit tea will give us really good hydration, stamina regen, and cold resist. Check the map. We've got buried supplies there. We've got treasure. Where, where's the treasure? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, missing building supplies. Okay, so we'll have to keep that in mind because we're gonna have to start building a base here in the next day or two. But for now, holy crap, we've got a freaking horde here. Hold this position, my friends. Come on, guys, attack, attack. Oh, jeez, I'm bleeding already. Bunch of firefighters here. Oh, man, firefighters, janitors, and construction zombies. Oh, crap. Okay, there we go with the killing blow there from Warren. Nice job, guys. We've got another... Well, this is a building supply cache up here. Oh, my goodness. Look at the tools in there. Wow. What a good find. Okay, what are these lumps here? Are these lumps like um, maybe something buried in here? Oh, no. This is... um. This is some kind of like a supply, uh, a resource node here. It looks like lead. Okay, I, I, I don't really need lead. What's this one over here, though? Uh, this is nitrate, which is much more useful because I can make gunpowder with it, but I don't really need any of that right now. What we need is to dig this stuff up. It's too bad I can't give you all shovels. Okay, uh, the guys are off killing uh, a crawler over there, and I'm gonna do the same trick I've been doing for a little while now. I put a box on all four corners of the circle, so that way when we, when the dig radius shrinks down, it'll sort of give us an indication of where the supply is. Okay, there, there it goes, 10 blocks, and we've decreased the radius, and um, it appears to be pushing away from these three blocks and kind of staying the same toward that block, so you kind of just have to average all that out, and these guys are chasing down a skeleton zombie over there. Okay, that's fine. So it seems to be pushing more or less in this direction right here. Who's up here? Oh crap, it's a whisperer sneaking up on us here. Get her! Okay, she's down. Oh my god, she had 25 first aid bandages on her. She must have been like a medic or something. All right, I think we're, we're close. I think uh, it's more sort of in this direction here now. Oh, right there the whole time. We were almost right on top of it. And this is a food stash and um, Mark's probably gonna have some trouble getting out of here, I would imagine, and probably so will I. Grab this stuff up, and we're a little bit encumbered, so just be careful here. Don't mind me just increasing my shotgun skill. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut through here to the main road and see if we can see any buildings that we might want to hold up in long term. Oh man, look at this place. This is some sort of like a junkyard or a flea market, and it's got a trench already built what was that oh that was a landmine it would appear are there also land yes yes there are landmines all over the place and spikes and there's already barbed wire fences guys this might be something that we can turn into a long-term base right here let's take a look at the map and just figure out where we are okay let's um save this waypoint we'll call it base camp for now and unless anything else pops up along the way i think this will be the place that we call home here Okay, yep, let it rip. We're not like we're conserving ammo or anything. Um, it's, it is later in the evening. Guys, come on in here. Let's see if we can poke around in here real quick. Looks like this could serve us as some sort of like a, maybe a garage or, um, this could be a, a tower here on this corner. A little bit of food. There's probably, oh, screamer. Okay, guys. No, no, no. Let me handle this, please. There we go. Ha! Ooh, present. Oh yes, that was uh, some kind of a good first aid bandage, which, uh, okay, trauma first aid bandage gives me 50 health back. Yeah, why not? A worm? Ew. <laughs> oh, you gotta use that for bait on your fishing pole, which uh, we gotta try that at some point. Oh, there's a whisperer. You son of a bitch, get out of here. Trying to sneak up on us here. Yeah, close that door. Okay, the whisperers are onto us already. And the birds, whoa. I guess we're just rolling through here. Let's do this, guys. What is this abomination here? This is like, um, it's a milk thing. It says got milk and it's got the, uh, the, oh, I don't know what you call these things. This is all steel. This is solid steel here. 
That's interesting. Okay, so I could build off of the top of this too. So that's uh, not too, too bad. We'll have to think about how we can utilize some of the existing parts of this place. Okay, burnt zombie right there. Take him out. Snakey boy. Nice. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> oh, he's getting a good sneak attack in. Nice. I think that was Warren. Good job, man. Yeah, but check this out. We've got... Um, We've got already kind of the makings of a wall up here that we can station soldiers on. And then maybe we can build some towers at the four corners and put some snipers in them. And if we dig this trench deep enough, it will funnel the zombies into like select locations. So maybe we have some, um, some like catwalks going across to bring them up to a fortified fighting position. I don't know, that kind of remains to be seen. I'll check out this weapons bag here, thank you. Rocket launcher parts. Not gonna need those for a little while at least. Some Kevlar in there. There's just a ton of building supplies here too. This is, um, man, we're gonna be busy here tonight. And we're already getting like really good tools. I just picked up that fire axe and I'm already swapping it out for something better. Even got some wild food growing in here, some plant fibers. <laughs> What's the matter, buddy? You can't get to her? I got her. Oh, and there was, where did you come from? I think the place looks clear to me anyway. Do I have enough stone to maybe make a land claim? Here, just whack some stone off of this thing. Land claim block, craft that. Still getting used to the UI. It's a little, it's, well, it's very significantly different actually. Okay, now um, center point seems to be, if we center up on this door right here, but basically right about where I'm standing on top of this tire. Okay, drop that in and that, this is our new home. It's not much right now. In fact, it's a complete shit show, but we'll sort that all out, trust me. What do we got here? Is that another soldier? Oh man, come here, buddy. Yes, 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 just what we need. We need more weapon soldiers, more firearm soldiers, okay? Uh, just dropping this down because I wanna just stash like everything into it. There we go, and go grab this guy. Oh, landmine, holy crap, that was close. Guys, be careful with the landmines. I'm pretty sure that would just kill you. Where is this guy? Come here, buddy. Who are you? Raw gauge, raw, bro, <laughs> come on, man. You are high, 3,500, man. Oh, oh, do I not have 3,500? No, I did, I did, I did have 3,500. I don't know how much I have now, though. Not, not very much. We are broke. Oh, man, I'm feeling much better that Raw's on the team now, though. Okay, guys, uh, we're venturing too far, okay? And we're, we're generating heat, so come on back to the base here. We do only what is necessary to defend, all right? We're not kind of clearing the whole damn neighborhood. All right, what did I just say? Are we gonna have some disciplinary issues here? Come on, this way. Raw Gage can follow me. He's my, my personal bodyguard now. What we're gonna do overnight is just bring all of our stuff back here and just basically dump it into all these boxes I made. Okay, so from here, it's more or less of a monotonous task. We will gather all the soldiers back up here and tomorrow, I think, will be just a day of getting this place all cleaned up and, you know, get some sort of a friggin' design planned out for how we can turn this into a fortified base. The night is cold, dark, and dangerous, and I leave you in charge here at the base. Make sure to set a watch, and I'll be back by dawn. Well, good morning, everyone. It just cracked dawn, and I've just been sitting here getting organized. I've got everything moved over here, including all of the soldiers. Everyone's kind of posted up around here somewhere, I think. Should be anyway. Yep, I've got uh, Raw Gage right there holding the front gate with his uh, it's a tactical assault rifle. Very nice. And everyone else should be back here. <laughs> they blend into the friggin' ground so well. And everything is finally organized, man. This is like... <laughs> My favorite part of a new playthrough is like finally getting all the new storage chests down and getting everything like lined up properly. You know, the food chest is 100% full, but it's really not as good as it sounds. This is uh, a lot of this is just ingredients and not actually like usable cooked food. Medicine's looking okay, could be better. We don't have any good antibiotics except for one honey there and not much in terms of parts and not much really to sell. Although I did discover that that Christmas tree is worth 800 dukes, so. Oh, and one more thing is that we need a repair kit for the shotgun, and I do have like an armor repair kit. Where was that? It was right here. Repair kit armor. So it stands to reason that a repair kit gun or weapon would be needed for the shotgun, and um, yeah, I can't, I have to unlock that. So probably a good time now to go through the skill points and see if there's anything else I can or should spend. Okay, here we go, repair kits. And that will let me do all of those, although requiring level 40, which, um, okay, we're 31, so 
we're a couple of days off from that, I think. Okay, so what about, can I just repair the pipe pistol? Not that, I don't even have any 9 mil, so <laughs> I don't even know why I'm carrying that. And I don't have any 44 Magnum either, so we've got good guns. However, we uh, don't really have any good way to use them. And uh, that was just a wolf in there uh, blowing up a landmine. That's fine. Oh, we need a wrench. How do I get a wrench? Behind iron tools, which is behind player level 100. Okay, getting the sense of how things work here. I think the focus really is just on like leveling up, but uh, my focus is kind of gonna be today on getting some of this stuff cleaned up and harvest some of the resources that are to be had in this compound. So let's get to work on that. Oh man, so that is it for that project. Well, it's not it at all. We have a ton left to do, but that got us started. I harvested up, up a lot of the plant fibers, got all the trash picked up, just got it looking a little bit nicer and a little bit more opened up so that we can more freely maneuver without uh, being sort of restricted on what way we can go because there's too much garbage in the way. So we should be able to kind of like pull right back in here. Now this has to be converted into something of a fighting position at some point, but we'll worry about that uh, more like, uh, maybe like tomorrow, <laughs> honestly. Gotta worry about it soon, the horde is coming. But we're flat broke, so we need to do a quick sell-off. I, I have been breaking tools and I'm discovering more and more that we definitely need to, well, we need a wrench so we can harvest more materials and then we need to level up so that we can start making the repair kits. That is super duper important. So basically anything that I'm not gonna need, like, uh, yeah, baton parts, we don't need that crap. Handgun parts, I'll save, bow parts, we'll save. But, uh, and steel armor parts don't need that. Anything I can sell, we need to sell. We need to make more money so that we can hire more soldiers. So who's coming with me today? I think Rock Age, you probably got the best weapon, so you are now my personal bodyguard. So follow me, the rest of y'all hold down the fort. Oh, that reminds me. We need to come up with a name for this place. Eh, we'll think about that some other time. Let's head back to the trader and do some selling and... Oh, actually, there was an airdrop recently. It's right over there. Let's swing by there first, and then we'll head back to the trader. Okay, here we are at the spot, landed right on top of this guardrail. Whoa, jeez, Raw, your skull. What the hell is the, all of this? Tool repair kits, oh my god, iron shovel presents, weapon repair kits, oh man, holiday decorations, <laughs> art of mining book, forged tungsten, powered doors and drawbridges, another wasteland treasure. Oh my god, okay, so this is plant fibers into cloth. That's kind of handy. I Especially after all this stuff I just, uh, the, I can't even think right now. Oh my god, a candy cane club skin. Holy crap, this is the uh, more ore when buzzed by coffee. Vehicle repair kits, which is kind of nice because the bicycle is kind of on its last leg. Wah! Raw! What the fuck, man? Did you kill it? I think it's dead. Oh, jeez. Okay, so um, I just learned that airdrops are absolutely amazing sources of loot. Uh, note to self, never let an airdrop go out of sight ever again. Okay, let's, um, head back to the trader while I try to wrap my mind around all the amazing loot we just got. All right, Jen, I dug up your supplies. What do you got for me? I'll take the herbal antibiotics. That's actually a really good get there. And, uh, oh, there we go. So we've, um, leveled up. Well, we've, uh, we've got the next level of quests, although I don't feel like I've done seven quests for her. Maybe all of the traders combined, they all... You know, they all count towards the same quest here for this trader, maybe? Just have a look at the others here. Yeah, traps don't need that. Definitely don't need a bicycle. Oh, <laughs> uh, Raw Gage, you need a bike? Three book bundled? No, I like the helper shapes the best here. And we'll take the special job to the I northeast to, to a new trader. I don't know what these are. I think they're just decorations, it looks like. Yeah, they're just blocks, actually. They're blocks, but they're valuable. So I think the purpose of these presents are, is just to sell. Got a TV remote. 
Uh, used for selling or scrapping, though. I guess I can it, use it to craft electrical components, maybe? And then the holiday decorations, they're also just blocks, I think, and we just, uh, we could scrap them into polymer or just sell them for, you know, some dukes, I guess. Okay, I, I'm maybe getting the hang of things. I, I, I think I have a general idea of what's going on here, especially with, like, the holiday items that are just kind of, um, you know, transient. We'll, we'll probably get rid of that here in another week or two. Okay, I just sold off. We made a little bit of money, and I didn't. I just didn't get the sense that I was gonna make a fifteen hundred dollar profit by getting ten percent more. It's not twenty percent like it is with uh, vanilla here, and this the the sugar butts is even ten percent. So this is basically just like uh, a sugar butt, and hopefully it still stacks because I think in Darkness Falls they don't stack. So we might have to experiment and see if that's the case here. But I sold everything I was willing to part with, and Jen, if you've got a wrench, I'll kiss you. I mean, I'd, I'd kind of kiss you anyway. You know, she doesn't have a wrench here. However, she does have the forged iron that we're looking for. Whoa, we okay here? I think we're good. So yeah, we need 40 forged iron to make the baseball bat, which is actually really a lot. Uh, if we could just get the forge, I think we could make our own forged iron. So really what's holding us back, I think, is like glue and duct tape. What is this here? Leather? I think we can make leather. That's fine. Let's just get like 10, 10 of this or something. That should help considerably. All right. So tonight we'll get the forge. We'll smelt down some iron then we'll get the forged iron and hopefully get a baseball bat by morning time okay so i think i'm good she's got a pistol peat book here and i'll probably regret not buying it but where they restock every day i think we'll have many many more chances to get that again later on it is nearly nightfall rot you and i want to go and see if we can knock out one more of these quests before nightfall i think so let's do that all right here we are at the espresso yourself and i should be able to repair my shotgun now so that'll be great for us Hang on, hang on, let me start the quest first. Alright, let him have it. Jeez, man. You got some good aim there, jeez. Oh, that was a screamer, too. Yikes. Alright, I want a kill here, too, you know. Oh, that was a kill steal, man. That was totally mine. You just literally rolled past the window and shot someone in there. Oh my god, man. This guy's like a commando. Commando raw. Well, I got some commando skills myself. Okay, is this a fetch or what? Yeah, we have to uh, fetch some supplies up in there. Usually I think in this back room here and it looks like we got to break in. Oh, it's just unlocked. You don't even have to break the whole door. Yes, here we go. Here's this satchel and that should be it. We don't even have to go to the rooftop if we don't want to. And I don't think I have any lock picks. So that's just gonna have to sit there. Main loot here with a pipe rifle. Nothing we need, I guess. Okay, it's now nightfall. I think this key box here will open this up. Just gonna poke my head up here and, uh, yeah, you know, we need a wrench so bad. Like, I, we gotta pick every little bit of loot that we possibly can. <laughs> nice one, Raw. Good stuff. Nope, just some purple dye in that. Okay, everything's cleared up up here. It's, um... It's gotta be sinks, right? Where we're gonna get the wrench. That's the most likely spot to get it. Raw oh, man, you don't have to do that. Oh, you know what? I was just kind of swinging by here. This quest here is for this passing gas. And I think this is a working vending machine. We should probably check this before we reset it. Although I'm not 100% sure that uh, resetting a quest actually resets a working vending machine. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. Be quiet. Stealth, okay, I gotta get you a silencer. Oh, oh yeah, you, you leave the screamer sitting there, but you take out the spider. Oh, fair enough. Let's check this again. And yeah, that's the same venting machine as it was before, okay. Yeah, just watch your, watch your fire, okay? We don't want to blow anything up here. Holy crap, man. Yes, shoot him. Good, good, good. Are we good down here? Are you, are you a zombie? Are you a living zombie or a dead zombie? I guess the more appropriate question is, are you a dead zombie or are you an undead zombie? <laughs> yep, that one uh, did not count as mine today. Ooh, a 15,000 experience card though. Oh, did you see that? What? That was a jumping buttstock to the face. Oh my God, knocked her arm off too. I'm never leaving home without you. <laughs> It's like I said before, man, I'm the I'm the NPC, man. This is the main character. I'm just here to loot and build you a base. Ah, here's our satchel here. Almost forgot about that. Okay, Ra, 
I'm gonna just have you stay where you're standing and watch the door, maybe? <laughs> okay, no wrench so far, but I've got a few lock picks, which is kind of helpful. Oh, and there's a workbench schematic. That's uh, probably helpful as well. Saves us a skill point. You gonna watch the door or what? You just gonna let Santa come up behind you? Ooh, a nice pipe pistol there. So I was recently watching, uh, relatively recently anyway, uh, I was watching another YouTuber and they used a specific trick to uh, to get the zombies that are up there. And I'm gonna try it out myself. Maybe this is what they did? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, you come up here. I can stand on this and, ah, look at this. Wish I could remember who did this, who I was watching when I saw this happen. Um, of course, my aim's a little bit off. Okay, not too bad. Oh boy, yep, this is where it pays off to have the shotgun choke mod. I did level up, I'm 34, so I think we're aiming for 40 right now, right? Oh, there's a wrench right there and a mo power box. <laughs> what? I'm not asking any questions. All right, this is like main loot area, so I can pop the ski goggles on for just a, an incremental little bonus, I think. Yeah, really not much here though. Check this last little bit of stuff, and I guess while I'm here, might as well harvest this stuff up. And that's the last little bit of stuff for up here. So before we go home tonight, what I'm gonna do is take a look at my skill points again. Still really have no idea how to go about spending these, but I'll keep checking until I figure out a plan. I'll put a point into wooden nails because I think it goes like wood, wooden nails, then cobblestone. So that'll help us in terms of upgrading all those shapes that we got earlier for a quest reward. I don't think we need to get into bullets just yet. We can do that uh, as needed. Oh, this will be for tea and coffee and stuff like this. And this will be for first aid. Oh, here we go though. We're getting into like the actual like vanilla perks at this point, it looks like. And uh, Sexy T-Rex is open to me, so I'll take one into that. Should I take some into Pack Fuel or... I think this is gonna be one of those mods where like the inventory is so big that you need Pack Fuel, you probably can't do it with mods alone. But um, yeah, let me know in the comments if you know the answer to that question. Cause otherwise I'll just take one into Pain Tolerance and uh, Let's see, Skull Crusher is just gonna be for sledgehammers, and um, I'm planning on using clubs on this playthrough. Yeah, I don't really see that there is a specific perk for clubs, the way that there is for sledgehammers. Well, I think that'll do it for the skill point spending. I'm still just really not comfortable with how I'm supposed to be doing that. I don't wanna sink all of my points into something and then discover that I cross some threshold later and I'm unable to get anything because I spent it all on like <laughs> ammo crafting or something like that. So. Yes, Raw Gage, you're with me. We're gonna haul ass back to the base for tonight, get the inventory organized, and start developing the plan of the day for tomorrow. So anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. So after finishing the passing gas quest last night, I was eager to get home and get to work. So I crafted three forges, one for metal, one for stone, and one for bullets. But doing any further crafting will require more material and more experience. The POD is to head back to the traders and pick up some rewards, then see if there's any work to be done around the city, and then we'll start getting the base fortified. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. And I'm sort of just now realizing that uh, I'm pretty sure I built all of our important stuff up here on cloth, which is... Uh, it's a disaster waiting to happen. If any of this gets um, hit with spit or something, then it's all gonna catch on fire. Ooh, good test here. Oh, oh buddy. Well, I'm gonna jump down there and probably harvest that. How are we looking on food anyway? Not great. We need the animal fat though, I think probably more than anything. Yeah, we only have three animal fat and that's what we need to make like grilled steak. Oh, I'm not sure about grilled steak, but you need it to make um, like, you know, charred meat. You can make like charred, is it fried chicken, charred chicken or something like that? We'll find out in just a second. Let me get this stuff. We also probably need to find a fire extinguisher <laughs> at some point. Okay, so in terms of defense, what we're gonna work on a little bit later today is I think, I think if we just dig all this stuff up here and make it like a flush, I think it'll be like a two block tall wall along with like another plate on top. I think that'll, whoa, geez, redirect the zombies around. That was close. Yeah, because we want all the zombies to either like funnel down into the trench and wrap around this way, and then eventually we'll put spikes and stuff in here, or to just come around the side and we'll have a good fighting position up here. I think we'll have to kind of, geez, watch out for landmines. Uh, we'll have to kind of like string the trench further over. And the other thing I noticed is that this trench is um, kind of like flush up with the wall here. 
But this one over here, it kind of protrudes out further. So we're going to have to like maybe eventually fill this in and kind of like dig the trench more like right here just to kind of get everything nice and symmetrical, right? Then this will be like where we hold them down. I think if we just um, if we just kind of fortify everything so that they can't come in through the sides. These are nice strong bars. So maybe I'll sit here with the auto shotgun on Horde Night and just blast zombies as they try to pound through the door. They do seemingly take like um, a preference to beating through doors versus trying to beat through other stuff. But at the same time, I, my confidence in any of this holding up is zero. Okay, here we go. We can make the grilled meat. So, oh yes, it was the fried meat before. Okay, that's taking animal fat. Oh, okay, so the grilled meat is not taking the animal fat. So that is much better bang for our buck there. We can save the animal fat for other recipes eventually. Oh, I can make 30 of these grilled meats too? Well, I don't see why not because it's the meat's just gonna go bad anyway. So start frying or grilling, I guess. And I'll take the grilled white meat as well. Oh, I um, just completed some kind of a quest by doing that or at least a component of a quest. Oh, that's another thing. We really gotta focus on, um, on some of these things today. Okay, so while we're out today, we're trying to kill animals. I think I can get started on that right now. Yep, <laughs> that helps. And that, that, that did complete something. I really don't know what it, it wasn't this one. I've still got to do four more for this one. That might have been um, some other, like maybe survivalist. Yeah, I think it was this one. Oh my God, we got to craft all kinds of tools. We've got to kill a bunch of zombies. We've got to gather a bunch of iron. We need to do that anyway, though. And we've got the opening trade routes. That's kind of far away. I think we'll probably do that next week. Oh yes, we've got the buried, uh, the missing building supplies, buried supply, I think that's a treasure chest, actually. Yeah, treasure. All right, so let's get a move on. It's getting late into the day. It's 8.37 in the morning, and we're going to head over to the traders and get some rewards. I'll meet you over there. Okay, here we are. Rolling up with the trader here. It's going to be raining here pretty soon. I brought Mark with me today. He's got the AK-47. I need him to kind of help guard me, especially because I don't really have any long-range firearm capabilities. So if we run into, like, a sniper, you're our only hope, Mark. Okay, who had a reward for me here? This guy did. Ooh, some 9 mil. Definitely take that. Ah, yes, we're into the tier 2s now. Nice. And, um, I think... Yeah, Fetching Clear is going to give you the better reward, so let's take that. It's a destroyed farm, and that is a compo pack POI. Did anyone else have... Yes, there's one more reward here. This is just a book to sell, though. Oh, and we're still on the tier 1s for Trader J here, so... Not many options here. <laughs> a bunch of fetches. I like the fetches better anyway. We'll take the closest one. That's uh, Emoteps. Ah, oh, we could just grab that real quick. We don't even have to clear the whole place out. And Jen's gonna have a job for us. So, uh, how about a clear zombies to the I south at the Survivor it. House A? Oh, thank goodness. Deal. Ah, uh, yes, it is pouring out now. A couple zombies around here. No big deal. Okay, where are we off to first? Let's try that tier two to the south, and then we'll kind of wrap our way north and then head right back to base camp. Sounds like a plan to me. Yep, this is the spot right here. Never seen this place before. Looks like a dump. Whoa, holy crap, man. Yes, get that bird. Ow. Thank you. Also, I need to be killing zombies with my pipe pistol here. Working on our soldier skills. All right, Mark, you're with me. Let's hit it. Whoa, a screamer right off the bat. There we go. Just need to kill three more like that. Oh, damn it, I'm hungry. <laughs> I forgot to get the food that we were gonna, that we cooked up. Yep. Okay, well, <laughs> we'll we'll find some food in here, right? Who's in here anyway? I guess the better question is, how am I supposed to get in there? Okay, here we go. You gotta follow the torch, usually. Up here, maybe. Mark, you're kind of gonna be on your own, I feel like. How about this right here? Well, this is as good as anything else, I think. Ah, whoa! Damn it. Oh. Oh, interesting. There's a new lock picking mechanic here. Okay. We got a zombie somewhere. Whoa, what is going on? Get back. Yes. Uh, what do we do here? Okay, this is uh, it's just like the Undead Legacy one. Whoa. Okay, except you got like three dimensional lock pick movement here. And like the mouse is inverted. What the fuck, man? This is this is bad. Yep. No, thanks. We might have to focus on getting some time charges. Hit him. <laughs> soldier versus soldier. Yes, get the butt stock. Oh boy, there you go. Get some distance, buddy. Ooh, I'm trapped here. Wow, man, tight quarters in this place. Should I be wrenching these? Do I need any of this stuff? We do need cloth and stuff like that. So yeah, we're gonna do some wrenching here today too. 
Not sure what all I need, so it's just kind of a matter of taking everything at this point. Including these presents with some blackberry juice in it. Okay, am I thirsty? I'm pretty thirsty. All right, we're only here to clear the area, so we don't have to worry about supply satchels, but uh, weren't, weren't there a lot of zombies down here? There's one there, one here. Damn, this pistol is just like historically bad. They will write novels about how bad the pipe pistol was. The company outside too. Oh, who's this guy? Okay, what I'm gonna do here is just, uh, whoops. <laughs> Jeez, that was close. Get a good nut shot on him to weaken him up, and then we can finish it off with a pipe pistol. There we go, and that's it for the soldier class. That was like 10,000 XP for that. Okay, what's my next mission here? Oh, I've got to use the pipe shotgun. No, that's bad. I've got an auto shotgun. Why can't I just use that? Still got a bunch of zombies in here, I think. That's one of them. And there's another one there. Oh, and a screamer there. Look out for her. Yes, right in the temple. And finish her off. And Mark is hung up on the barbed wire. Careful there, buddy. This guy's annoying the crap out of me. Okay, <laughs> good job, man. Oh boy. We've got a bunch of zombies rolling up here. Oh my goodness, that is a lot, lot of zombies. This is a wandering horde, holy crap. Okay, Mark, you're with me. We've got to uh, exit out the back, maybe? Yeah, because otherwise we are freaking pinned in here. Let's go out the back. They are coming around to the back. Maybe scratch that plan. Um, yeah, they're ripping through the door here. Okay, quickly now. Get rid of her. Okay, uh, give me some iced coffee for the stamina regen, and let's get a move on here. Two for one there. Love it. Mark, come over here, please. Big Mama's scaling the awning along with the rest of them. Man, how do I get headshots on the freaking bloated parasite there? <laughs> I don't know what's head and what's fucking tentacle mouth. Okay, that was uh, the completion of something there, or, or at least I just leveled up. All right, what do we got around here? Keep an eye out for whisperers, too. They like to come in these hordes here. All right, Mark's gonna handle the street. I'm gonna handle these couple guys here. There we go. And got your back, bro. One more. I think that was it. Are you good? Nope, there's a whisper there. Oh, look out, he's got a bow and arrow. Just charge him, close the distance, ow. Jeez, man, oh, I got an arrow stuck in my back, man. Pull it out for me, please. Ah, there we go, okay, patch that up. Okay, stay close to me, man. Are we all good here? No, we didn't clear the area yet. We didn't even get the main loot yet. Okay, we're he heading back inside now. Oh, there's a garage, that's why. Okay, we gotta head into the garage there then. Let's grab up all the loot that was in here and also wrench down some of this stuff because we need the forged iron. Okay, I'm seeing, I think, the way that we need to go here. Okay, get the auto shoddy, reload. And this must be a tunnel heading over to the garage there. Get out of here. Oh, here we go. We're heading up to the top here. Oh, Mark. Oh my God. How did you get in here already? Get out of the way. Let me up here. Thank you. Holy crap. Here we go. Yep. Number one priority is that screamer and the snake and oh my God, man. Yeah, uh, fire and maneuver, buddy. Yep, line him right up for me and quickly. He's getting pinned there. There we go. Get him! Okay, nice job, man. All right, yeah, he took a little bit of a beating and geez, so did I, look at me. I sprained an arm and got infected. Oh, and importantly, I am now level 40 and that was what was holding me back from using the iron forge last night. We have three forges, one's for stone, one's for brass, one's for iron. And I wasn't able to make any forged iron because I wasn't able to put a skill point into it. But now at level 40, I'm pretty sure I can. We'll look into that later. Don't need to worry about forged iron right now, but it's the thing that's holding us back from getting a better melee weapon because we're still using the stupid wooden club. Okay, so loot is, uh, yes, right up here. And I will wear my special looting goggles. Get that extra little bit of loot bonus. You can see my loot stage right down here. Loot stage is now 58, where I am right now at my current level. It's a pretty good bone knife there. Ah, some food, nice. Oh, some interesting stuff here. Okay, advanced pestle. I did make a mortar and pestle last night, so that will be like, um, you know, it's like a bellows for a forge. It's just like a thing you put in to uh, increase the crafting speed. Also a burning shaft. Oh, and some cat food, yummy, yummy. Oh, and this will be 10% more damage to humans, which now is really, really important to have. 
And this is a clothing sealed crate and a resource sealed crate. Oh, hey, there's some shades and some facial piercings. <laughs> Mark, do you want some facial piercings? Okay, doesn't look like they gave us any easy pathway out of here, so we're just gonna have to make one. Uh, I just heard something blow up. What the hell just happened there? Did someone freaking come by here and blow up my bicycle? Okay, just easy now. Take a quick peeky deeky. Oh, it's a friggin' whisperer. There's a couple of them. There's several whisperers, in fact. We have whisperer over there, whisperer there, and there. Mark, Mark, let's get out. Oh, so someone's got a shotgun over here. Another freaking whisperer. Get him. Okay, that's it. Okay, tactical retreat. Let's get out of here, Mark. On foot. Stay close. All right, just you and me, man. Let's get out of here. Holy crap. Okay, just heading back. And we've got a freaking whisperer. She's got an auto shotgun. I saw the drum mag on it. Okay, take cover here. Mark, can we get a couple shots off on her, please? Oh, boy. Look out, Mark. No. Get her. I got to reload. Come on. Get the knockdown. There we go. She dead? Holy crap, Mark. Oh, Mark almost died. Okay, we gotta go quietly now. Okay, we got movement up ahead. That is a regular old zombie though. A little bit of a tent here. This might be like a whisperer camp outpost thing right here. Yeah, just a bedroll in there. It looks abandoned. That might've been her camp right there. Let's take care of this guy. And over here is a whisperer's weapon cache or maybe just a regular supply cache. So we'll raid this too while we're here. Food and drink, perfect. Exactly what we're looking for right now. Although, uh, not the best stuff here. Just baked potato and some corn on the cob. Well, I'll eat it all anyway, and I'll take the seeds for later. Got another whisperer supply cache over here, so don't mind if I do. Also, I need to kill that animal. Oh, crap! Oh, oh, shit! Ah, oh, got in contact with another whisperer! Quickly, take cover behind this tree! Let him rip! Just fire in advance here! And wake up and fucking blow your head off. Holy crap. General supply crate here. Man, I'm feeling super vulnerable here. We need to start rolling with more people with us. There's a coyote hunter challenge, which is kind of interesting. Let's just read that right now. Go kill some coyotes. Pretty straightforward. Okay, we're getting close to home now. And uh, yeah, so much for that day. It is like super late in the day now. And uh, I'm feeling really, really like... We should just hide in the base for the rest of the day, you know what I mean? All right, Mark, careful with the landmines here. We are both hurting pretty bad, and one landmine probably kill us. Holy crap, man, what a day. That was quite an adventure. At least we know we're starting starting to establish, you know, the threat level here for the different factions in the Whispers. Definitely a huge threat. Okay, let's, get, let's go inside, all right? We don't need to kill that zombie. Yeah, Herbivore and Warren, man. You guys and, and Hyper over there probably just need to come with us all the time just as cannon fodder. And uh, I feel like Raw Gage has better accuracy. So uh, he's going to... We're just... We're going to roll a really heavy for this next mission here. But I need to kind of get patched up real quick. All right, there's the pestle into the mortar and pestle. I guess it's the, the pestle into the mortar. All right, we're pretty much reorganized here at the base now. Let's take a look at those skill points and see if we can spend the one to get the forged iron. Well, scratch that. That was player level 50, it appears. Oh, right. It was repair kits that was locked behind level 40. Okay, I just got my numbers mixed up then. We can now take some other points, though, like flurry of blows and healing factor and um, maybe we can take one into pack mule, I guess. Iron gut. Yeah, these are good points to spend, I think. Charismatic nature. Uh, nearby allies gain 20 health and stamina when near you, and I've got plenty of allies, so that's helpful. Okay, tier 1 food. That's gonna be for bacon and eggs, boiled red meat, baked potato, cornbread, corn on the cob. Okay, that sounds like, uh, that will be helpful there. Ooh, I can make a bird nest tree. That would probably, what, produce eggs, I think? I don't know, but I want to find out. A bird nest tree. Okay, pine seed, bunch of nails, glue. I... I I don't appear to get a description. What's Oh, here it is. You can check it for feathers and eggs. Crafted at the mortar and pestle. Okay. Well, I'm kind of prioritizing my nails and stuff for other crafting projects right now. What time is it anyway? 20 hundred? Okay. We're just gonna, we're gonna roll out tonight. Raw, you follow me. Okay, my infection is almost better. I drank some honey for that and my sprained arm is gone. So everybody's coming with me tonight. All hands on deck. Follow me. And let's fucking roll out of here. Reload. 
And first things first, we're gonna head over for this little tiny fetch quest here. Right, we're at Imhotep's Kebab again. This should be real quick here. Hit the quest, open the door. Ow, cactus. Okay, guys, where's the satchel? Grab that, and uh, I'm leaving. I don't know about you guys. We don't need to do this, do we? Let's go. Kill this animal while I'm at it. There we go. Keep moving. Another animal. Get him. Nice. All right, keep rolling. I don't like being in the downtown area anyway, so let's just push right through after we check the working stiff tool truck here. Oh, a candy cane fence, large Christmas tree. We know that's good for uh, selling. I almost said sewing, but there, there was a sewing kit there as well. All right, here we are rolling up on the spot here. Everybody with me? Hit the quest. Check this sweet car here. Red sports car. Very nice. Oh, right. This is... Oh, my. This place is different. I've been here before several times, but uh, I've never noticed that before. All right, a couple lock picks there. Probably going to need those as I try to learn the new lock picking system. All right, we've got a workbench here. I'll have that. Okay, what are we doing here? This is a clear and fetch. So we have to be on the lookout here for the supplies and for all the zombies. All right, everybody inside. Oh, that's, yep, that's broken. I forgot about that part. Nice. Yeah, much, much safer having the whole crew with me. Hunting rifle schematic. I've sprayed my arm again? Who did, who did that? Who sprayed my arm? That pisses me off. Okay, here's the satchel. So that's out of the way. Oh, yes, gun safe. Oh, okay, I guess we gotta learn how to do, what's this? Got a switch, I don't know what that went to though. So I guess we gotta try and unlock this. And there's no like auto pick function. It says use the arrow keys to change the position of the lock pick and then try space to unlock. Okay, whoop, whoop. I got a couple wiggles there. Ah, there we go, we're in. Whoa, look at all this stuff. Okay, we have, we'll go through this a little bit later. Oh, there's that pipe shotgun that we need. So we'll put the pipe pistol away for now. An HD drum magazine mod. I could probably put that onto the auto shoddy. Never encumbered at night and use no stamina while sneak sprinting. Very, very good stuff there. Okay, so shotgun choke onto the pipe shotgun as well as the hunter mod. HD drum mag onto the auto shotgun, which is gonna give me 35 rounds in the mag. Wow. Okay, but I gotta focus on getting kills with this so we can advance our soldier skill quest thing. I thought there was always a wolf here. All kinds of meat, so we'll keep that in mind. I don't really, we can't, it's not not gonna be beneficial to harvest it all right now, cause it'll just spoil on us. So we'll leave him alive and then we'll come back and get him when we need him. For now though, I think this is where we're heading. Okay, here we go. No idea what to expect down here. First kill with that. All right, are we all down here now? Any big, bad, ugly threats down here? Like, you know, graces? There used to be graces down here once upon a time. Okay, maybe we have to kill the pigs because the pigs are a part of the quest. Oh yeah, you can see the, the red marker things. These are pigs that need to die. We gotta kill animals anyway, I guess. So a couple of these wouldn't hurt. Oh, we gotta kill all the ones upstairs too. Crap. Well, just scratch that plan that I had there to save all these for later. Okay, uh, Warren's getting his ass kicked upstairs. Warren, come on, Rock, get out of the fucking way. We got zombies in the shoot here. Great. Come on. Let's move everybody up. We got to clear the area here. Come on. We're going to kill these friggin' boar anyway. That was not it for the quest either. I don't know. I don't see where the rest of the zombies would be. Oh, they're in the upstairs portion there. I completely forgot about that. Okay, so I'm just going to harvest up all of these materials down here. We need all the cement and cobblestone and stuff like that that we can get so that once we hit level 50, we can start kind of like crafting cobblestone and crafting forged iron, all that stuff. Okay, and that was the main loot right there. So from here, I think we just have to head back up upstairs or up the ladder to ground level and then upstairs in the house over here. Where I think there must be a couple of zombies left. Yeah, I've pretty much fully cleared out the house now. 90% of it. Got lots of uh, electrical parts, stuff like that. There were a couple of buttons though, remember? There was that one and there was one upstairs as well. And that must go to this thing over here, I would imagine. So I think, yeah, that door is open there now. This might be the the end end right here. Ah, yes, I've got the uh, the red dot on the compass now. So, yep, this is our guy. And he's sort of like a massive trap here, though. It looks clear. You and me down here, buddy. Oh, and uh, herbivore. Yep, that was it. Holy crap. 
Hyper's getting wrecked upstairs. Come on, guys, let's go. Might be a whisperer up here. Or, yes, there is. Look out. Get her. I should have known this is a, a weapon that we don't have. There we go. She's down. That's a rogue. Shit, guys. Um, That's really bad news. If there's a rogue in this part, they're not alone, okay? So keep your eyes peeled. There may be more. It is almost morning anyway. We might get some better visibility here shortly, but um, there's just a couple things left down here that I need to loot up, and then we are getting the hell out of here. Okay, we've got more gunfire upstairs. Quickly now, just want to wrench these things down. Okay, and just like that, it's morning. Are we good down here or what? I think we are. We're all safe down here too, nice. <laughs> Roz holding the door down. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. I just got a direct hit there. It's another rogue. Let's get him. He's just got a weak-ass pipe shotgun, kind of like me. There we go. He's down. Any more? There's got to be more. Okay. Let's get a move on here. We are heading straight back to the base right now. Straight down this road. We're not stopping for nothing, except for killing more rogues if we have to. Yep, there's one right here. Fortunately, I think they're all strung out. They're not clustered together tightly in a group like we are. So we're going to use that to our advantage. We'll just pick them off one by one on the way back if we have to. What do we got over here? Yep, we've got another one. Where is she? I can hear her groaning. Got a couple bullets into her already. There she is. Oh, this weak one's got a fire axe. That ain't going to help you. Another one over here, though. He's got an, a freaking shotgun. Take him out. Another one here. She's got a crossbow. Another one here. Another one there. We got a whole platoon of them here. Take her out. One more. Get him. Take her out. Oh, crap. We got a sniper here. Ow. Another one. Oh, my God. We've made direct contact with a whole company of rogues. Get her! Oh my god, okay. It seems relatively quiet now. That might have been all of them. Nope, not even close. I see a couple of more. All right, right there on the horizon, we've got one rogue with a spear and another one. Where was she? She's right there. I think she's got a shotgun. Let's, um... Let's just cut our losses here and try to sneak back home. All right, guys, do a quick head count. One, two, three, four, five. Everybody made it. Okay, inside we go. All right, gentlemen, raw gauge, you're going to stay where I am standing. Mark, right over here, please. Right on this corner, stay where I'm standing. The rest of you just kind of stay put right here and uh, we'll roll out if we have to. But otherwise, what I want to do today is just uh, we'll do the digging project around the perimeter and we'll also uh, use our wrench and sort of start getting some of this stuff cleaned up on the inside. And then we'll see if we can pull this trench over and make a nice funneled fighting position here in the front. But let me get organized real quick and we'll get to work. Okay, I think I'm ship shape and ready to go. Let's head down into the trench now. Be extra, extra careful for the landmines. And we'll see if we can kind of dig the sides down so that they're flush with the, the wall, I guess you'd call it. It's like a retaining wall. And yeah, we need to just dig up all this uh, dirt and crap like that so that uh, zombies and uh, or other threats for that matter don't end up doing something like this and just rolling up and flanking us from the side. close oh that was like way closer ow um that was a mistake that was a big mistake oh shit this fire is gonna spread oh wait, now i'm on fire oh shit 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 nothing to put myself out with right now oh, no Oh, if that spreads into the building, we are completely screwed. Okay, I naturally extinguished. There's only so much skin that can singe off of one person's body, right? Okay, I grabbed up some water in case that happens again. And why don't we just grab like, um, oh, don't have any 
painkillers. How about the first aid kit then? And just keep an eye on this. Yeah, okay, so we chopped out all the spikes just in time. I don't think this is going to spread into the main building. But now that that's happened, I'm very, very concerned about that. Okay, so I've dug out the entire perimeter, so I'm not too, too concerned about that. We're gonna have to go back with some blocks and some topsoil and kind of fill in the gaps a little bit. But what we have to do now is see if we can extend these trenches over and we'll leave like a causeway five blocks wide right about here. So this trench needs to come straight up to here. And I think it's, um, in most places, it's about three blocks wide. So we'll try to keep that convention. Maybe we'll just go two blocks wide for now and we'll extend it out further a little bit later. But these freaking landmines here need to go. This one's gonna hurt. Ah, there we go. These are iron bars, so don't have to worry about those catching on fire. All right, so the big dig is pretty much over now. This trench is dug over, this trench is dug over, but I didn't line it up properly. So we'll have to decide eventually where we want to put the like the, the front wall of the base and kind of, you know, sort this back out when we figure that out. This will do for now. This is just for the function of the day seven horde. And you know, <laughs> funneling the, uh, the rogues and hopefully not the psychos, but possibly the psychos, they could attack at any moment. And we want to make sure that we bring them where we want them. We want to bring them right into the fatal funnel, which will be right here. Okay, so with the hours that are left over in daylight, I think the best thing to do is to just kind of walk the perimeter here and make sure that this wall is at least two blocks tall, preferably three blocks tall. So if I could just like sneak a frame in here like this, that, uh, whoop, what's going on here? <laughs> Zombie. Uh, this will help prevent them from like even thinking that they can jump over. The, the barbed wire I think is helping out a lot as well. Yeah, some spots like this really, really, oh, give me some hesitation, ow. I feel like I've done pretty good today. I've only set off probably five landmines myself. My ankles are pretty sore now. Okay, so again, just trying to coerce the zombies against trying to come up here through the back end. Nobody likes getting hit in the rear against their consent. Oh, hello there, Mo. Good morning, my friend. If you could just not like break a whole bunch of stuff, that'd be nice. Oh, like this right here. This is what you don't, we can't have that right there. We can't have them thinking they, they can just run right up that little ramp. So one thing we can make are Hescos. So I, I put in a little modlet here for Hescos. Hescos are like gigantic sandbags, basically. It's like a wire mesh. And then there's like a canvas, like burlap fabric on the inside that contains a whole bunch of dirt. It's, uh, it's what we used overseas in the military, so I thought that would be kind of eh, thematic to have something like that in the game here. Really wishing that this had like the undead legacy mechanics where you could just like pick anything up because I would totally just pick up a whole bunch of these destroyed cars and tires and everything like that, but I don't see that there's any uh, way to do that in War of the Walkers, so we'll make do with what we got here. It'll look nice in the end. Get rid of that. Okay, I'm doing nothing but just stabbing myself now. <laughs> Enough of that. We will maybe have to string some zombies over here and see what happens when we kind of hide in here. Are they going to want to go around or will they funnel nicely right into this door here? Pretty sure you could just leave all of this stuff as is. Maybe even put some more spikes trap. Maybe just put a whole bunch of spikes traps out here. More landmines going off in the back. Right, so that'll do it, I think, for the perimeter work for today. Let's now focus on maybe wrenching some stuff down that's in here gather up some supplies and um, you know I'd really like it if we were level 50 by the end of the night so let's do a little bit of wrenching and see where that leaves us okay we do have zombies here at the front and uh, yep they're trying to go around exactly what we did not well now that I'm here he wants to come over here which is quite promising okay what is he gonna do now though he's gonna go for the door that's kind of what we want there we'll just kind of Fortify the door. We'll put all our soldiers back here, and if they breach the door, we will fight them with melee. But we'll, we'll have uh, our riflemen posted up above, I think. Okay. That'll work. Oh, boy. Yep. Okay. If he can make it up here, zombies can make it up here, and that is not good. 
How did you get up here anyway? Oh, this. Yes, this is going to be the death of us here. Patch that up immediately. All right, so I think that's uh, pretty much it for the wrenching. There's still a lot of breaking stuff down and renovations to work on. And, uh, of course, Mark Berry here wants to kill a bear. So I guess we're going to do that right now. Oh, around here, we don't just kill bears. We ride bears. So let's do this. Come on, buddy. Dude. Oh, ow. Ooh, feisty one. Get him. Okay. Was that the only one? Because there was another bear over there. Yeah. Don't shoot that one, please. Wow. Whoa. Jeez. Freaking animals everywhere. Okay. Look at that. There's a deer over here. There's a coyote. We got lots of animals to harvest up now, which means we're going to have lots of cooking to do tonight. All right. So I just got the fire rolling here. We'll get cooking. You all can get some rest. I'll take first watch tonight with some of the soldiers and we'll be back at it tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Overnight, I was finally able to craft the baseball bat. I also took some points to light armor crafting and crafted a full set of padded armor. This helped us complete part one of the covert class quest line and gives us some added mobility over the scrap iron armor. Tonight is horde night, so the POD will be to focus on shoring up the retaining wall and the trench system, then fortifying the fighting position and laying some traps. I'd also like to move our storage system to a less flammable location in case things get heated. You watch my back and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. And the first thing I want to do today is see if I can get some double clothing pocket pods crafted because I forgot all about that basically. So we'll see if we can get that crafted. I think they're two sewing kits a piece and they'll require some leather cloth, stuff like that. And then after I get those crafted, we're going to head over to the trader to see if we can turn those quests in and get enough XP to level up. Currently level 49, so it'd be very important for us to get the XP for level 50. It's a whole bunch of stuff to unlock, and I want it. All right, here we are. Trader Bill, what do you got for me? Double barrel shotgun. I'm, I'm getting a lot of shotguns here, but I think I'll take the herbal. You know what, though? It, I imagine that one of those quests someday is going to make me kill zombies with a double barrel shotgun. But yeah, uh, antibiotics probably more important to me. We'll take a new job from... Oh, I guess we got fetches and that's it. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Uh, how about the design firm? Jen, what do you have for me? She's got a wooden bow. That's a no brainer for me. And a new job. Oh, I did level up by the way. I hear the thing going off. Uh, fetch at the frat house. Yep, whatever. And uh, ooh, I'll take the Molotovs. And another job from you, please. Ooh, everything's kind of far away with you. How about the downtown filler number nine? Fair enough. Okay, what I'm really looking for today is um, is shotgun ammo. Oh, there's some right there. Yep, I'll take all of it. Ooh, look at that 20 gauge shotgun. There must be a special shotgun that uses that. I'm gonna take the eggs because I have some weird quest that requires me to have 20 eggs. Oh, right, we were just talking about wanting to get timed charges, right? Oh, geez, I've only got two lockpicks, so I guess it's probably good to have. Oh, so Christmas present. Someone told me that you have to, it's like a block, but you place it on the ground and then you open it and it contains like stuff. This is, um, but I wish 44% more damage with 44 guns, but no, only 10% more damage, so I will buy that. And Smart Packaging Volume 3, you gain 15 additional slots in your inventory. Wow, that is a good one to get. And Trader J, what do you have? Really? Not much. A 30% experience card. Oh, wow. Duration 30 minutes plus 30% experience gain. That is Sorry, intense. Wow, that's like a learn an elixir on steroids. Okay, stormy weather, dark, dreary, but I should have raw gauge with me somewhere. There he is. All right, man, let's go home. Oh, you know, it's just taking kind of a roundabout way of getting home because I'm, I'm sort of learning how to read the map here and, and ha uh, detect like what resources are around. And these little diamond things are these things here, but the, the colorful things on the map, if I zoom right in there for you, these colorful things are resource nodes. And what I heard in the comments is that these can also contain gold in addition to the other very strange things I'm pulling out of there. What is all that stuff? Scrap tungsten and tungsten fragment. Well, that's interesting. Uh, there's also, I'm mo mostly interested in the gold, but we don't have time to do this today. What was that? Copper fragment and zinc fragments. Wow. Okay, there's a lot to get into here. And before I forget, let's just grab this and read those books that I got. I'm gonna test out my new bat here. Raw Gage, don't you dare take my kill from me. 
Thank you. Oh, that is a fairly good bow, isn't it? What is yellow? It's uh, it's not fairly good. It's only got one mod slot. Oh, well, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be killing wildlife still, but I'm going to anyway. Oh, I was, and that was it, I guess. I got a thousand dukes. Okay, get all those resources, and let's just go home now. All right, we are back, and it's still relatively early, too, so I don't feel too bad. What we really need to do, though, is let me post Raw Gage back up on the wall. I think I'll have Mark and Raw Gage just sitting up here the entire night. We will have to be careful if we're going to use Molotovs and bombs. We don't want to set all this stuff on fire. And I don't know if we're going to face cops and mutated zombies or not, but uh, that's going to be a huge problem if we are. Okay, now that we're back safe and sound, let's take a look at the skill points. Now that we're level 50, we should be able to spend a whole bunch and unlock some things. For example, I think... I checked last night and the mini bike is in here somewhere. Forged iron, yes. Cobblestone blocks, medium storage chest. Very nice, mini bike right there. Also, I think, is it iron tools? Where are the scrap iron tools? We need that. Okay, now there just should be probably a bunch of things to do. Let's check the presents though and see what this is all about. Um, oh, I just used it, and it gave me two snowmen. <laughs> I can at least sell those, right? Do I sell them, or do I just set them down somewhere? I guess we could just set them down somewhere. There. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so there's just a ton of things to start crafting now. Screwdriver. Scrap iron hammer. Nails. Forged iron. Workbench. Cobblestone shapes. Wooden nails. Hatches. Wood spike straps. And that'll probably do it for now. Let's let that roll, and meanwhile, I'll get started on what will eventually become the main fortress inside these walls. Oh, and we have an airdrop that just came in. Uh, those are like gold. Is that something we could run over and get like real, real quickly? Oh, it's kind of like right down there by those fetch quests. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's kind of far away. Kind of have bigger priorities to do right now. Probably not going to have anything critical for tonight. What are we doing with shotgun ammo? Yeah, we've got like 160 or so rounds. I really want it though. I really, really, really want it. <laughs> Durr. Okay, I'm gonna go get it. Holy crap, who's this? Who are you? Got a new soldier here. Devlin Moore. Oh, with an AK-47, you are totally hired. Yes, and you're coming with me because I forgot to bring someone else with me. Okay, let's go. All right, we're rolling up on the airdrop here. Just make sure the coast is clear because you never know who you're gonna see around here. And, oh, this one's, like, not nearly as good as the last one, but it did have some ammo. Okay, kind of regret this. Although, I wouldn't have found Devlin Moore if I hadn't come out here, so you got that. And there's a vending machine over here. Poke my head in here and get that skull crusher, and... I don't know, does the jailbreaker really help us with the new lockpicking mechanic? I mean, it must help in some way. So I guess I'll take that, and then we'll head home. All right, Devlin, you come straight over here, and you stay where I'm standing, and guard the entrance over here. And now I've really got to get to work. In fact, man, I wanted to uh, move all of our stuff into like a, um, another building that we're going to build over here. But I'm wondering if maybe like tomorrow's the better day to do that. And today, since it's getting really late, would be better spent um, making sure that the zombies can't get to us from the side over here. Yeah, okay. I at least want to make sure that this is like 100%. We're certain that they're going to go around to the front. They're not going to flank us from the back. Yeah, I'm just not 100% like that these are not just going to be immediately broken and stuff. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, let's just upgrade these. Wood is cheap. I'm pretty sure these spikes are not doing anything. Whoa, landmines are doing something though. Oh, that's the other thing. The fire, these could just get caught on fire and then be completely useless. Okay, I've made a lap around and I'm relatively confident that nothing's going to happen tonight. <laughs> Unexpected, we'll say. Uh, yeah, things are definitely going to happen tonight, though. <laughs> Best laid plans are often led astray, right? Okay, how are those spikes looking? We are rolling on them right now. We've got 38 so far. Just wanted to like put them in places where I don't want the zombies to go. Of course, I'm having a hard time putting them over there, but that should be fine. As we demonstrated last night, the zombies do want to go to the door. Okay, and if I was a zombie and I was coming from the flank, you know, I'd be on a, a beeline just kind of like this. So maybe we do like this every once in a while so that we know that the zombies are going to kind of have to run through these on their way over to us. Okay, and that's all the spikes right there. Uh, we should have a couple... Did we have a couple more roll in or no? That was that was it. 
Yeah, yeah, I feel like we need more spikes. So get me 20 of those, man. Yeah, it's getting too late. We're gonna have to deal with all of our storages and stuff being over there because we just simply don't have time to like come up with any alternative right now. So yeah, what we're gonna do is just, we're gonna turn this like hard stand building here into something of a fighting position, basically like an Alamo position. And we're gonna put all of our melee fighters in here. You guys okay? You got this? Oh, is there? I can hear lots of stuff breaking. What's going on over here anyway? Is a horde? It's um, seeming a lot like a horde here, which is good. Let's bring them over here and see how things go. It's like our soldiers are doing pretty well. If I stand out here, it probably gives them an even better shot. Raw Gage, would you mind laying some fire down here? Oh, there we go. Any shotgun rounds in there? No. How about this one over here? Nothing in there, but there's um, an experience card and a trauma first aid kit. And uh, yes, we got a fire going on way down there. Oh wait, we gotta get kills with this, don't we? Or did we already do that? <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, the horde came from this direction, which means there may or may not be whisperers in this direction as well. I don't see anyone, but I'm just gonna keep an ear out in this, in this direction here to make sure that nothing shows up. And I'm trying to just, oh, there we go. Yep, yeah, because this is gonna break here and catch everything else on fire, so. Just smash this out. Just replace that and should be good as new. That's a good sign. They all wanted to come around to the front here. So I've got 20 more spikes. Just gonna lay a row in right here so that we can close the door once and for all. See if I can get this upgraded at all. Need more forged iron. Should have plenty of that over here along with more nails to make the wood and nails. One more time on that and that's gonna be it. This will be my fighting position. When they break through here, we're gonna pull them back to the grocer right here. Just have to do some cleanup work. Okay, with the cobblestone cubes, this saves us a lot on the wood and the wood and nails to just go straight to cobble. Yep, we want to seal this in up here and we'll do one more row like this. And then I think I made a bunch of hatches, didn't I? Yes, right there, nine hatches. Let's take that out and I want to lay a row in like this. One like this and one here. And then we'll just upgrade these to like one level of iron. And the other thing I was thinking of is maybe if I lock these, then um, our soldiers won't use them. I'm, I'm hoping that that's the case anyway, because I want my melee soldiers to be in here with me, not running all around out there in the spikes. And I think the last thing in here would be to just shore up this wall here. And there must be, can I just pop my head up through there? So I'm gonna make it so that the zombies can't go up there so that if the soldiers are in here, and I need to like run away, I will just run to the other side of the base so that they teleport with me. Yeah, because we don't want zombies going up there at all. And the other thing was, isn't there a ladder from over there? There is. So maybe if I disconnect, you know what? If this catches on fire, I don't want the fire to spread over here. Maybe if I should just disconnect this thing entirely, but I'm starting to see that I'm gonna have to knock out this row here as well. And that, I don't, hopefully this doesn't collapse. Yeah, this is like gonna be a fire break right here. Okay, that's pretty much gonna have to do it here. I'm gonna put a couple more spikes over here, just like randomly spread about so that um, if the zombies break through, we get at least a moment or two. Oh, frig, this thing right here. Putting some bars in here because I don't want zombies running around all willy nilly back there or conversely for them to come scaling over the side of the wall and then come running straight into here. That should break them up a little bit. Okay, that's it for the spikes. I I don't know. Is that it? I think that's it. I mean, presumably we, we want to upgrade this a little bit because the zombies, they might want to go around here. So I will work on that for just a second. I, I don't know. I think that's maybe going to have to do it right about there. Let me grab my melee soldiers. Follow me. Follow me. And follow me. You three are already in position and you should be good. Everyone else come down here. Stay where you are standing and we will lock the doors in here for you. I'm gonna be outside though, so let me out of here real quick. There we go. Maybe do something like that so I can run right back there to join ya. Right, give me just an emergency ladder to get up there please. Something like uh, right there. Oh man, I really, really hope all this stuff doesn't catch on fire. That's gonna be really bad and hard to deal with. Impossible to deal with. We'll basically lose everything, I think. <sighs> it might just be a matter of like coming up here and just grabbing <laughs> the most important things and then running away. So give me the, the repair kits and otherwise, yeah, just start putting stuff away and we'll get geared up for tonight. 
All right, my friends, the hour is getting late and our very first horde approaches and it's time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. All right, guys, uh, I was going to say so far so good, but I'm also seeing zombies rolling in from the back. And I, I was seeing the soldiers shooting back there for a little while. I didn't know quite what to think of it, but now I think it's kind of really bad. Yeah, not all of the zombies want to um, come around to the front like we had hoped. Really none at all, in fact. That is okay. We are kind of buttoned up here. As soon as they breach in here, though, we could just kind of... Whoop, hello. We can fall back in with the rest of the soldiers. Yeah, it's like not many of them at all want to come around this way. A lot of them are in the compound. That's fair. The soldiers seem to be doing a really good job of holding them off for us as well. I'm not worried. You're worried. Whoa! <laughs> Cole is scaling the walls. It's okay. We just got a two-front battle here. We got to focus on both sides. Yeah, and even those zombies over there, they want to go through the barricade on the on the side not come up to the freaking door maybe i upgraded the door too much or maybe it's still just too early to tell Was that a mutated? Holy shit, man, it's day seven. There's a lot of zombies here too. And I've seen a bunch of ferals and let's see, look, there's a feral burning zombie over there or, or something. I don't know why he's on fire. Did he catch himself on fire? Yes, and there's Bubbles right there. We do not need him getting close up in here. He'll set everything on fire and ruin the whole thing. Okay, I would, I'm gonna just go out on a limb and say it could be worse. Okay, it could be worse. We're doing pretty good right now. Just focus on the mutated guy. Don't let him set everything on fire. Speaking of fire, get the fuck out of here. I don't know why you guys are on fire. Are you guys like... There are certain zombies that are on fire. Like, that's... <laughs> I don't know. Instead of, like, being a rad, they're, like, a flaming zombie. A fire zombie. I don't know, man. I don't like the sound of it, though. Either way, there's some fire right there. That's not what we needed at all. Or maybe it is. Maybe that'll catch all the zombies on fire? I'm thinking more along the lines of that's going to catch the whole base on fire, though. So be it. We got to do renovation anyway. <laughs> you guys, uh, hold up there as long as you can. If we have to, we'll have to go up there and rescue them. Yeah, holy crap, man. Yeah, well, Bubbles just spit a whole bunch of more fire on everything. Crap. Okay, well, we got to get the pipe shotgun kills anyway. Here we go. I leveled up, and it's uh, seemingly a lull in between waves, maybe? That or they're all just trying to carve in from the side. Yeah, I can see someone over there jumping around. I think that's what they're doing. They're probably jumping on each other's heads. Okay, I'm gonna jump up here with the guys and kind of get a look at... Yep, yep, here's a whole bunch more zombies. Here, <laughs> have some of these. I guess I can use them freely now. Tactical fires. Yes, if the whole base is gonna... Frog Age, get him! Holy crap! Yeah, if the whole base is going to burn down, we might as well get some use out of these pipe bombs. Ah, uh, yeah, see, okay, the fire is starting to kind of creep its way up here, and so are the zombies! Holy crap! Okay, I'm going to head back down and get into position here. Seems like the zombies, they like coming in this direction more if I'm over here, maybe? At least I, I thought so for a second. Oh, guys, what the hell is going on over here? No, oh, wow, look, guys, the fire, it, it didn't go up the wall like I thought it would. It, it kind of went out, so... The only concern now is what is going on over here? Is this fire going to reach all of us? Is it going to burn this whole thing down or what? I really, really wish that I had found a fire extinguisher. 
Okay, just keep a close eye on Raw Gage there. If I go and I say follow me, he's gonna end up kind of like running all over the place. Okay, this is not where I want to be. Yeah, he'll just start running around and I'll never get control of him again for the whole night. All right, Raw, it's probably time to get you out of here. <laughs> oh, crap. Sorry about this, man. Uh, please follow me and come over here. If you could just come over here, I'll post him up right here. Yes, yes, yes. Come this way. Come right over here and right there and stay where you are standing. Okay, we're looking good anyway. I'm not sure if the horde is over. I'm gonna just kind of sit here quietly and wait it out. All right, I've had a look around on the perimeter and all is quiet. Looks all clear. It's a whole bunch of loot bags around here. I'm just gonna gather them all up and I'll show you what we get in the morning. And just like that, it is now morning and it's raining and the last of the fire has burned out. We've lost a considerable portion of the base, but I don't think anything that was serving any critical function other than kind of propping our soldiers up to get good field of fire. That will be a project for later in the week. For this day and for this week, our focus should be on getting like a citadel crafted here in the middle somewhere. And then we can focus more on shoring up the defenses on the outer perimeter uh, after that. So I've got all the building materials on me and hopefully we should have a clear enough of an area. We'll work on this a little bit more. Oh, here's a uh, loot bag. And that reminds me, I will show you what we got in the loot last night. I put it all in this box right here. Really, a sniper rifle was the best thing. And I'll just read a couple of these schematics that we found. Spotlight schematic. That's nice. Look at all these XP cards. 5,000, 50,000. Holy cow. And 25,000 there. Oh, this is a Christmas present. We could just open that. That gave us uh, some gas. And there's also a muffled connector mod schematic here. Holy crap, <laughs> a lot to go through here, actually. We've got one reward point card. And this is a 20% experience gain, plus 20%. Kind of like we found earlier, only a little bit less useful. And there was an action skill for archery. Wow, man, lots of good stuff here. Grant one skill point, and I'm crafting cobblestone so I can make more cobblestone shapes. We're gonna just skip over the whole wood thing for the construction of this, um, I don't know what we'll call it. I guess it's gonna be the, the keep, <laughs> level 60, just like that. I probably unlocked a whole bunch of other skills here. I'll have to go through that maybe uh, tonight or later on and see what we all got. Okay, so we're gonna center this up and we're gonna start construction on it. How about this be the middle right here? We're gonna have a three block opening. So this will be the, the front middle right here. So what I wanna do is create a nine by nine structure and we will turn it into like this massive bunker, but it's not gonna be like a traditional type of horde base. This is more gonna be focused on uh, just posting soldiers up and using the soldiers as our Horde Knight defense instead of some like cheesy zombie pathing exploit. Okay, that's like the basic outline of the structure right there. And I need to kind of brainstorm and think a little bit more about what we're gonna do next. I haven't drawn out on paper. I usually draw all my bases on paper first, but then <laughs> building them for the first time is always a little bit tricky. So now that the structure is done and I've got a couple of storage boxes down, I'm just gonna shuttle all of our stuff over there. Okay, so I seemingly have everything at least over here and semi-organized. That's gonna be kind of a night job to get everything put away properly. What time is it? 10, 26. Okay, we still have a good portion of the day left to do some questing then. Just make sure we have all of the essentials on us. I did get some shotgun rounds last night, so that's good. Okay, let's make sure we have the timed charges with us and a little bit of food and drink. I saw that recently a whole bunch of food spoiled. No, it's not spoiled yet. <laughs> I've got 50 grilled white meats though that are about to go. So let's just chomp down on these before they finally go bad. Take some coffee with me, and I think with that, we're pretty good. Let's have a look at the map and see where we're headed today. Okay, we're just headed to the south. Probably these two tier two fetches we could do very, very quickly, and then there's a tier one clear further into town. Oh man, we need to get a mini bike. Are we anywhere near getting this right now? Wow, actually, presumably we are. There's not a lot left to get. Okay, I'm gonna pin the recipe and pin this recipe, and then there's a button here that says grab ingredients from the pinned recipes, but I don't I don't think it works. It's uh it's not doing that. <laughs> okay, well, scratch that idea. Or or did it work? Did it did it because it's now it's saying that I wait a minute. Is this like a storage broadcasting button? And I didn't even know about it? Oh my goodness, I think it is. Oh, wow. 
<laughs> this mod has storage broadcasting on it. I didn't even know it all along. Wow. Okay. Wow. Look at all this stuff that we have to craft. We have to craft this stuff because it's all part of like certain quests. And it looks like we can craft the majority of it too. Well, start with the mini bike chassis, then the mini bike handlebar. Then go ahead and proceed with a pipe. Ah, uh, none of this stuff's cheap. So yeah, just get the pipe weapons after that. Yep, we need the scrap iron pickaxe. We need the scrap iron shovel. We need the scrap iron axe, even though we've found like better tools for the most part. We need a splint and uh, this stuff here, I have not unlocked actually. The rest of the stuff down here, including um, like leather armor and things like that. So, okay, well, while that's going, that's gonna take a while. We're gonna need an engine anyway. So let's grab a couple soldiers and head out. We'll just grab the uh, the firearm soldiers. So uh, you three are gonna come with me and together we're gonna go do a couple of tier two jobs. Maybe that tier one if we have enough time. And along the way, we're gonna need to wrench down some cars. All right, this looks like broadly the area we're supposed to be in. Let's uh, take a peek around here. What are we supposed to be clearing out? Okay, looks like we have this like tan building over here, kind of next to the piano shop. And then we have this big H-E or H-C-2 or something like that. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, what are you guys shooting at? Shooting at zombies. Okay, fair enough. I myself am heading over here. Okay, everybody appears to be here. Zombie appears to be kind of chasing us down. That's fine. Let's hit it. Been here before, so I know roughly what's going on here. It's, um, it's a little bit exciting, but it's gonna be a little bit of a pushover with all the guys I brought with me. To see if I'm lucky I can get a kill or two in here. Oh, look at that! <laughs> There's our satchel right there. Mission complete! Now, I'm gonna push up and get the loot, though. Maybe get a kill here. Come on, before the other guys come over here with their machine guns. There we go. Look at me, guys. I can get kills, too. Oh, hello there. Who are you, anyway? You are a zombie office worker. Fitting place to see you. Let me grab that. Oh, look at me. I'm getting like three kills in a row here. Okay, if I remember, the loot's all on the top, so we're just gonna kind of push there. Who's in here? I should probably check and see what gun I'm supposed to be using right now. Because it, it, it might be this gun still. Ow. I got it, I got it, raw. Don't worry. I can handle myself most of the time. Ah, here we go, here's the main loot. Although there are still a bunch of zombies upstairs. Ooh, lucky blueberry pie, look at that. Hunter's Journal for vultures and a single pocket pod, along with some shotgun rounds. All right, if I recall, this is where the real fun is, is up here. Yep, I found the fun. Okay, if everyone could come up here, that'd be great. Help me out. Oh, <laughs> and they all fall down. There we go, I think that was it. Hey, some hot chocolate. Okay, great job, gentlemen. Not too shabby at all. Let's get out of here. All right, looks like we're all clear on this place. I did have a look and we are supposed to be killing people with a pipe machine gun now. So if I find one, I'll use it. I think we have one crafting back at home though. Next up on the list is this place. It's some kind of like a frat house, I think it's called. So let's hit this and roll in. I know there's a dog in here for sure. I've been here a couple times. Where is he? Oh, he's behind the staircase. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, look at this. Wakey, wakey. There they are. Oh, wow. Okay, that's not loaded. <laughs> Getting messed up now. There we go. So unfortunately, we have a couple of zombies in this mod that are just not appropriate for YouTube, so... Just FYI, I'll have to see if I can like delete them out of the spawner so that doesn't like catch me by surprise sometime. Okay, here's the main loot. Ooh, what's that? A rebar bender used for crafting rebar frames. Okay, that's like the old rebar frames that go straight from rebar to concrete, right? I mean, I'm just assuming, but yeah, that sounds pretty good. You know, I haven't found a college jacket yet. Maybe we'll get lucky here. Ah, damn it. No, I also don't have a pair of pants, which is kind of embarrassing. I'm still wearing the plant fiber pants. Got the supply satchel here. Yoink, and we're good. Here's a brewery crate. I think I found one of these before. There was nothing in it, but this one has a sangria. Uh, and that's just like a beer, basically. Only plus 50% on stamina. Wow. Okay, excuse me, Devlin. Thank you very much. Are we done here? No, we're not. We've got to go to the rooftop. Taking cloth wherever I can get it though, because we want to make Hescos eventually, and they take eight cloth a piece. So we'll need a couple of thousand of it at least to get the project started that I want to do. And I think I've already read the book where um, I can turn plant fiber. Oh, there we go. 
Uh, I'm gonna have to blur that all out because there's a bunch of naked zombies here. Okay, can I turn around now? Guys, have you killed all the zombies yet? Okay, I guess I can, I can look at the birds. Ow, oh, crap. Ah, I'm gonna die here because I'm trying not to look at naked boobies. Yeah, about to bleed out too. Okay, I do declare this place is clear, which means we're off to that tier one that was deeper into town. Hey, check it out, we got an ATM here. I'm gonna blow it open with some timed charges. See how much money we can get out of it. Still locked. What's the, what do the hit points look like? Ah, about halfway. Let's try one more. And then with the rest, I'll just uh, smash into it. Okay, there we go. And they're off fighting a, I think it's called a death knight. It's like a skeleton with armor. Ooh, a thousand bucks, nice. Oh yeah, we got a death knight here. I think he's weak to blunt. Isn't that like what skeletons are weak to? Working vending machine here, very nice. Although, I'll take the hackers because we're gonna be hacking some cars or <laughs> salvaging. It should be called salvagers, right? Still pulling books out of these things. Oh, left and right, but that concussion's really holding me back right now. Okay, and it's getting a little bit later into the evening, so let's go ahead and snap that. You guys, can you take care of her? And uh, I'll head in here. Oh, we got Santa here. Oh my goodness. Get back, Santa. Oh, thanks for leaving me the big ass present. What did he have for me? Holiday decorations. I guess I could sell those, or maybe later I'll look into seeing if I can like set those down and they turn into something else. I'm not exactly sure here. Gotta be careful, because my concussion, I can basically be two-shotted by the right kind of zombie. Okay, it's a trap if I ever saw one. Zombie's right in there, I guarantee it. Yep. That's right, Raw. Show him who's boss around here. I mean, technically I'm the boss, but sometimes it doesn't feel that way. Okay, zombies fell down from above, but this is the main loot, and I think, yes, we're done. Quest is over. All right, just gonna hop down here. I'm gonna take that hacker's candy that I got earlier, read whatever books I can just to loosen up the inventory a little bit. Well, let's break down some cars. That was the last car we're gonna do right there. And look at this, we've got another soldier here. Hey buddy, you want some money? Who do you got here? Deanna the banana. I'm interested in hiring you for 2750 and you've got a pistol, which could be better, but could be far worse as well. I'll take it. Deanna the banana, I like that name a lot. The order of steel grows ever larger. <laughs> nice. Okay, if you could not wander too close to that POI, that place is a complete death trap. That'd be nice. Okay, so a couple of things I noticed of First of all, I got a fire extinguisher, a shovel. I got a couple of good loot items out of the cars today. And, oh, we got another Santa over there. I wonder if he's got a big present stuffed up his ass as well. Let's find out. Nope, nothing. Holy crap, come on guys. We don't need to be pulling bears over here, do we? Uh, I really don't think so. No, oh, hide on top of the bear, please. Kill him. There we go, we got him. And, oh my, just, it's nighttime animals right now. That's what this is. Oh, the other thing I noticed is that uh, I, we don't have wheels, so hopefully we can figure out how to craft some wheels tonight. I think I have some acid. I'm gonna buy, oh, there's another fire extinguisher. I'm gonna buy some acid if um, uh, Trader Jen is selling any. And it's interesting too. We might be able to like wait until midnight and her trader inventory will restock. That might be worth doing. But look at all the stuff you pull out of cars. It's a little bit crazy. I don't even know what really any of it is. Maybe half of it. Uh, but there's like electronics and filters and hubcaps and like, um, I don't know, fuses and a carburetor and all kinds of weird stuff. Anyway, let's, uh, oh, we gotta grab these guys up too. There we go. I'm completely 100% totally encumbered too. I even gave a whole bunch of stuff to um, some, uh, one of the soldiers. I gave like... 30 books to him. What do we got here? Mm, 762, easy pick there. Off. Take another job right, from you. How about a buried supplies? I think that's your, fair. I need to do some digging work. anyway to get some clay. Here's Jen's got an antibiotic for me or the sledgehammer that's really not that valuable at all. So I'll take the antibiotics and cure that infection that we have right now. And let's grab up 
a buried supplies from her as problem. well. Do her. And give me the antibiotics. Thank you. This guy has got some leather chest armor for us. And from this guy, I will take, what's this fetch and clear? Household ranch number five. Sure. Jen, what are you selling here today? I'll take the one painkiller the there so I can get rid of my concussion. That's helpful. Dust. She's got a beaker and I don't... Uh, guys, stop pushing me around, please. What the hell? <laughs> I will take that beaker because I don't think that I have one. I'll take the eggs because I'm still doing that mission. Take the cobble because it's so damn cheap. What is this immunization shot? Oh, wow. Cure infection 100%. Wow. We've got a fabrication workstation here and it's relatively cheap and I don't really know what it is. Maybe it's for like making bullets or something. I don't know, but I'm going to just buy it and have it over with. I really need to start drinking the awesome sauces though, because look, I'm about to buy two more of them. I think we're up to like 10. I'm really just here for a wheel and I end up spending all my money on junk. Urban combat book. Landmines won't detonate when stepped on. I need that. <laughs> I need that for home. More damage to bears. We need that. And we are broke. So the 10% more shotgun uh, damage with shotguns, we can't get that, which is a real pity because that's definitely the best book in the series. And I'm rolling with shotguns right now. You know what? I'm just going to sell her some stuff. There we go. That's enough for the shotgun messiah book. And now the real question is, know. okay, it just ticked midnight. Hello, so it's zero, 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 one, which means the day ticked over. Did your inventory just tick over? Oh my God, it did. Now she's got more awesome sauces. Oh, hey, look at that. A tungsten forge. Way too expensive for me right now, at least. Oh my God. Deal 10% more damage when I'm in indoors. That's all my money right there. And that's the urban combat book we just bought. So, oh, Christmas present. I guess I'll take that. Alrighty then. Uh, and I think that Stay means I'm flat there. broke. I have no money. I have two dukes. <laughs> I have two dukes to my name. Okay, start reading the books. And um, open that. Oh, that was 2,000 clay. Oh, 2,000 clay, 2,000 stone, and 2,000 wood. Holy crap, for two gold. Okay, that, that one there was like five hot chocolates. And it looks like that will just about do it. So, take care of this zombie here. We're gonna carefully work our way back to the base. I'm gonna see if I can get the mini bike crafted. You guys can just hit the hay, and I'll pretty much keep first watch tonight. And we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it night. Just like that guy. <laughs>It is day eight, and last night I was able to assemble a mini bike with some of the parts we salvaged from cars yesterday. And with our new set of wheels, we can now push further away from home and scout the surrounding areas for evidence of where the psychos are holding Temcam. But our defenses were scorched and shattered by walkers, and so first, we should continue working on our new fortress as well as the outer walls. The POD is to spend the day finishing off construction on the manor and get our storage and crafting system finalized. And if we need more material, we can strike off to dig up some buried supplies for Jen. You watch my back and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. And so I've got the sniper rifle down on the hot bar now. I also have the pipe machine gun because we're gonna need to be killing zombies with this for the soldier line quest. This is the fabrication workstation. And as far as I can tell, it's just used to craft like decorations and things like that. Although you can craft the gargoyle and the angel stash statues like we see over at the traders. So that's pretty cool. We'll get into that when we're decorating the base more. Right now, things are just very, very disorganized. So you'll remember yesterday we did craft some scrap iron tools to complete a quest line. However, I think because it was created in the workbench, um, it didn't count. So let's just test that out and see if I'm right. Right, because we have to craft like the pipe machine gun and all this stuff. By the way, I think I've got glue crafting over here. Yes, give me that. So let's like pipe shotgun. If I craft that in the inventory, is that going to do the quest for me? Yes, that worked. Okay, so we just have to recraft everything, basically. You know what? It didn't even give me credit for crafting the mini bike chassis and handlebars because, what, I didn't do that in the inventory either? I didn't even realize you could do this in the inventory. You, but you can't, can you? Well, that's a little foolish. I don't really know what, what to do about that. I mean, I don't really want to craft another one. However, you have to go down the technician quest line to get access to B-dubs vehicles, which, you know, we need those. Oh boy. So if I come over here and I do, look, okay, it's cheap. So let's just do another mini bike handlebar. And yeah, now it's giving me like level ups and stuff like that. So presumably what we're doing is working. Yeah. Okay. So it, we need to fry red meat and boil red meat as well. Maybe it's just that I need to have the window open when it completes. Maybe, does that make sense? Okay, we're gonna try it right now. Is this gonna complete the quest for me? Yep, that did work. Okay, so you can craft it. You just can't kind of like leave and walk away while it's going on, I guess. 
Oh, see, I just made the the fried meat and the boiled meat, and I forgot about it, and now I, it's it's not counting towards the quest. Yep, not counting towards the quest at all. So this is this is um a little bit tedious. Well, I'm hungry anyways. <laughs> Guess we'll just eat this stuff. Okay, that was it for the boiled meat and stuff like that. So I got some dukes over there and some more XP. Okay, just getting the hang of things here. It's a bit of a learning curve, I guess. Okay, while I'm waiting, just gonna spend some skill points. Looks like we can get a cement mixer. Really, we're just waiting for that mini bike chassis to go through. And yeah, nice, cement mixer too. Should we get two? We, we probably should, but we're out of engines. We'll have to do another scrapping montage. A whole bunch of these have unlocked. Parkour, run and gun. Another one into Pack Mule. Daring Adventurer, Better Barter, Physician, Cardio. Nice. Okay, that was the mini bike chassis there. <laughs> it wants me to craft another mini bike. You know, it's not a bad idea to have a backup mini bike, but we don't have an engine right now, so we'll table that. Holy crap, we got a wandering horde here. Okay. Also, I see a whisperer right there. Okay. Deanna, follow me. Frogage, follow me. Mark Prairie, follow me. We're also missing another soldier. I don't know, uh, who are we missing there? Not sure, but just jump my way over here. All right, all right, I think we're looking good over here. Kind of covered by, ow, ooh, ow. Good job, gentlemen and ladies. Holy crap, what is that guy? Dead is what it is. Save some for me, guys. Okay, yes, we got, oh, we got a couple of whispers. Let's just take them out. I don't want this to become an issue later on. Holy crap, we're taking, um, Crossbow fire, it looks like. Helps if you have the guns loaded here. Yep, take her out. Okay, she's down. Let's make sure she's dead. Yes. One more way down there. Looks like just a regular archer. Who are we missing anyway? Are we, are we missing Mark? No, Mark's here. Raw Gage's here. Deanna's here. There's, a, I think, a spider in the base. Great. Speaking of zombies in the base, so the issue we had... Oh, no, there's a parasite in here. The issue that we had on Horde Night, I had to review some of the footage there. I don't think that zombies were making their way in here. I think that they were spawning in here because a zombie in this game, they spawn, even if you have a land claim block, they can spawn inside that area. Um, as long as it's on flat ground. If the ground is covered with a block, like, you know, this one or this one here, it's not gonna spawn there, but right there, it can definitely spawn if it's far enough away from the player. And so the solution to that is going to be doing my my waiting and my fighting more from like the middle of the base. So I think this will be like the fighting position, you know, A, and then this back here will be like fighting position B, and then eventually we'll get a nice like cobblestone slab laid down here so that nobody can spawn inside. Anyway, guys, why don't y'all come up here? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Oh my god, guys. You guys need to take points into parkour like I do. Okay, so without further ado, I think it is time to do some base construction. Oh, look at this though. Cement mixer. Nice. Slap that down temporarily. And oh yes, we can get Hesco's already. These use iron, cloth, and crushed sand. Oh, that's... that's a lot of sand. Oh boy. I can't even make sand. I used all my stones to make cobblestone. Well, we have to do some mining then. Oh my goodness, they take forever as well. Wow, we're gonna need more cement mixers. Right, so it's time to just do some construction here and get this thing all built up. So I don't think that this wall is gonna be like an incline at which zombies can kind of clamber up. It's nice and thick so that if we encounter a lot of explosive zombies or you know, there's spit or anything going on. I don't think that it'll penetrate into like the inner sanctum and the, the thickness of the wall should entice the zombies more to come around to the front or we'll make more of like a classic, maybe like a hatch fighting system or something like that. And I think in keeping with the theme here, we're just gonna dress this up to look a lot like, like a military bunker, right? So I'm not 100% sold on any particular design here. So some of these shapes, I'm just kind of gonna build them out of regular frames and we can replace them later on once I settle on on a sort of floor plan here. And what I'm imagining here is that we have like some windows, we'll get some bulletproof glass, we'll put the windows like on the four sides, and then we'll put like um, these four kind of watchtowers where we can post up a soldier and give them like decent field of fire out of each corner. All right, and I think that's pretty much the basic outline there. It is not looking too good right now, but it will, we'll bring it around. So what I really wanna do, and I'll show you this right now. Oh, that one right there, brick destroyed number four. And so sometimes in um, in like modern warfare, you'll see vehicles that have this sort of like 
sort of like a pattern. I don't know what it's called. I'm not kind of like into that kind of stuff. I was a medic when I was in the military. So this is, uh, I was into the, the more medical side of things. But anyway, this kind of like shape, sometimes they use like meshing on top of uh, tanks and stuff like that to help absorb the blast of like a rocket. And so I thought it'd be really cool if we platted the edge of our bunker here with these shapes in order to like presumably help uh, absorb the blast of rocket launchers or other you know projectiles uh and i think that's gonna look pretty cool we'll kind of like line it both on top and on bottom and we'll see how it goes and it's getting late and it's getting dark so i wanted to actually run uh eh, there's no way to get into the base <laughs> uh we gotta find a, a hole here and just pray that there's nothing like on the other side of it let's try, try this one right here this should be good Perfect. Okay, so Mark Prairie is going to just hold that corner right there. I like these ramp blocks because I can kind of like push them up onto the, the ramp a little bit so they get better visibility. And what we should do today is we definitely need to make a trader run. The trader inventory box is completely full of crap. Oh, and that's the other thing. So these Spear Hunter books or any books, they scrap. And uh, someone was telling me I should be scrapping these and not selling them. So it's probably a lot like Undead Legacy Darkness Falls, where these contain some sort of a schematic that is of use to me. It's called a blueprint paper. And let's check recipes. It's used to make, ooh, like a mod schematic bundle or, yeah, I don't, I don't quite know what this is yet. And I don't see that there's a description. Here's the description. Open this bundle to get seven random tier zero schematics. So no more selling books. I have one of the soldiers is full of books, but I'm also missing a soldier. I might have left him at the trader. So I'm going to head over there. We're going to do a sell off anyway, because I'm flat broke and we need to have money in case we need to recruit more soldiers. And then we're going to go out and do the dig quest. So let me gather up all the sellables, prepare them as much as I can, and I'll meet you over at the trader at around midnight. Okay, here we are at the trader, and I found Devlin Moore along the way, freaking picking flowers or something like that. <laughs> okay, actually, die, Devlin, get over here real quick. And uh, were you the one that had all the schematics in your inventory? Oh, yes. Oh, tons and tons of them. Okay, just gonna scrap all of these. Don't need them. Okay, let's head in here, and I need to do the experiment where we see if we can stack the sugar butts with the awesome sauce. So, awesome sauce in, and we'll compare, like, the, the price of these tough guy sunglasses. 120. Um, I actually don't want to sell those. Those are the XP goggles. Holy crap. So, uh, put those on immediately. I wonder if, like, every pair of glasses has, like, a randomized appearance. Okay, you're getting sidetracked. Take that sugar butt. And did that stack by chance? Oh, it did, because now they're 130. I think all the glasses are about the same, so I don't need to check the ones that I actually put on. So that's good. We gotta do the sell-off now. Whatever's left over, I'll try to sell to Jed. And then Bill. And that's it. How much money did we make there? Anyway, about 14,000. Not bad. A couple things here I'm just going to scrap because um, I don't feel like repairing them. We'll just get the iron out of it and call it good. And you know what? The glue is cheap as well, so we'll take that. And now let's go find those dig sites. Okay, here we are. First one. Of course, uh, we're going to be picking a fight here. Can you guys just... I want to, like, post them up this time, okay? So just uh, stay where you are standing. And you stay where you're standing. And I'll dig. You're going to pick a fight with the wolves. You better be able to handle it on your own. Okay, the first shift was clearly toward that block there, so that's where I think the treasure will be. We've got gunfire. That could only either be a rogue or a soldier. Okay, you guys stay here. I'm going to scout it out. Oh, crap. I failed the quest, but this is way more important to me than a tier one buried supplies. Oh, crap. We got a rogue. Not a rogue. This is a whisperer. Ow. He stabbed me. Get up. Eat that! Dead. Gotta kill zombies with this anyway. Okay, where did that gunfire come from? It was over in this direction somewhere. Keep your eyes peeled. Right there. Is that another whisperer? Yes. Yeah, I think it is. Let's go get him. Ow! Crap, we've made contact with a bunch of zombies too. Run! Get some bandages on to me. Okay, no, now we've got a wolf. No, I heard more gunfire. It's still alive. Oh, I think she's been she's shooting at animals now. Shooting at a wolf or something. There we go. I think I got her. What were you doing out here all by yourself? 
but I'll take this Whisperer supply cache while I'm right here, and there is a treasure map for health supplies. I'm all turned around here in the woods, but here we are making our way back. I'm gonna see if I can still dig up that supply chest. It's definitely still in the ground here. We just won't get the quest reward for it. Aha, it was right there. It was right in the same direction I've been digging too. No problem at all. We'll get this, just a quick food stash with an awesome sauce in there, not too bad. And shouldn't even have to worry about the zombies trying to get me after this. Okay, just grabbing up my frames and we'll head on to the next one. This is a tier two, so probably do not want to fail this one. All right, same thing here. Except I forgot the soldiers. Oh God. I'm coming guys. Where'd I leave you anyway? Oh, and now I failed that one. Wow, I'm on a friggin' roll tonight, aren't I? Okay guys, come on. Enough with the rookie mistakes here. I need you guys to keep me in line. Follow me. I guess it just wasn't meant to be. No digging supplies for us tonight. We're, we're done. I'm done with that, okay? We'll do a fetch instead, and we'll forget to get the satchel. <laughs> okay, what we could do is circle up there for the missing building supplies. That might help us. Just kind of knock out these supply caches along the way. Just rolling up on a Whisperer camp here. I don't like the looks of this, but I'm going to leave a little gift while I'm at it. It is a camp no more. Oh, look out, guys. All right, well, let it burn. I also got like a little well here. Oh, no, it's like a, an animal trap. That must be how they get their food. Okay, we've got contact again. That is a soldier. I can see the BDU green from here. And that sounded like an, uh, a tactical assault rifle as well. Hello there. Who are you? Diana Kelly? Nice to meet you. I'm interested in hiring you for 3,500. Let's go, baby. Wow, building supply crate. No, oh, jeez, whoa! Direct contact with the friggin' Whisperer. Yep, just a uh, tactical retreat on that one. That's an SMG. All right, we'll offload here, and we'll set up a defensive field of fire. Maybe see if we can lure her in. There she is right there. Yep, I got her attention. She's coming in. Got her. It's an interesting walk you got there, man. Okay, this is like a buried treasure, so far more important that we get this one. Put these at the corners of the circle, or the poles, I guess, if you will. <laughs> Not many corners in a circle, are there? All right, let's dig. Okay, the first radius reduction has occurred. Moving, um... Oh, actually... I'm gonna guess that we're kind of right on top of it here. Oh my goodness, a lot further away than I thought it was. Search building supply crate loot. Check this. And damn, it's just like more tools. I was hoping for like cobblestone and stuff like that. Oh, hello everyone. You're supposed to be topside guarding me. How do we get out of here? Here we go. Okay, and as we were driving in, I noticed this massive facility over here. So I wanna go just take a peek in here and see what's going on. This place is huge. Mira HQ. I think we're on the, the back end of it. Let's go around the front. Okay, I just heard some gunfire, so I'm gonna kind of skirt my way over this way. Where was that coming from? Here we go. I hear it again. Ah, it's a whisperer. What's new? Just charge. Get her right in the back. Nice. Get her. Nice. Okay. I wanna just head in here real quick and see what's going on. It says Mira Headquarters, and it's just a big open slab. What a, what a place to make a base there, huh? All right, guys, stay close. I wanna take a peek here and see what's going on. I had to guess this would be the entrance over here. My goodness, this is like a sci-fi facility, man. Who knows what kind of testing went on here? Immediately into a ventilation shaft. I don't like the looks of this. Whoa, hello there to a ladder to another door. Unfortunately, they left everything unlocked. Ammo pile over here. Oh man, this is like a, a whole labyrinth. Jeez. Hello there, goodbye. So this just pokes up into like an office area. And so does this one, looks like they all do. Let's pop up here. Ooh, hello there. I suppose I'm gonna have to take these guys out by my lonesome. I might just soften them up. Ooh, got runners over there too. 
Hello, good morning. Whoops. Yeah, we got a lot of zombies up here, guys. Anybody want to come help me? Nice. And I leveled up. I do hear a lot of zombie bagging hazmat gloves. That makes sense. Oh man, all of these rooms are just filled with zombies. Holy cow, man. Okay, well, wakey, wakey. Shake and bakey. Bah! Is not looking too good here without my helpers. There we go. Got one of them up here. Who's with me? Devlin Moore. Let's do this. Got AK-47 fire coming from outside. Can I get to a window and see who that is? It's a soldier. It's definitely a soldier. Uh, soldier must have seen us come in here and wanted to kind of help out. So I'm going to... Jeez, how do I get down there? Okay, I just pop... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is not where I want to be. Holy friggin' hazmat suits. Look at this. Good opportunity for bombs, I guess. And with the rest of you, I need to get kills with the pipe machine gun. So let's do this. That didn't last long. Man, what is this? Is this like a space shuttle here or something? I suppose I could try to pick it. Yep, I don't I don't think it worked. I think I wasted all my lock picks. I'm not really worried about that right now. I am worried about that soldier there. Jump in the pool for safety. Work my way out. Had a nice little dip, and let's go grab this guy. What do we got here? Hobie! What is up, my man? Let's go! And yes, AK-47. Perfect. Okay, everybody back inside here. What's new? A room filled with hazmat zombies. Hobie was the first one up to help me out. Oh, look at that stuff. Not too bad. Shotgun Messiah book here for breaching rounds. Okay, whoop, look what... I was gonna say we're, we're good here, but nope. We've got more hazmat zombies. Okay, so that button works on both sides. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, resource crates, that's what we need. Ooh, supply flare for food and drink. Maybe we can call in like an airdrop? Okay, here's the exit, which goes down. No, we don't wanna go down, we wanna go up. I think anyway. <laughs> I really don't know what we're supposed to be doing here. Killing hazmat boys, I guess. My goodness, they're everywhere. Yes, so, so we're back out to where the shuttle was and I'm kinda keen on... Perhaps just, uh, oh guys, that is not necessary. Holy cow. Make sure you have your impact bracing mods in. Yeah, I guess I'll work on the space shuttle here and see what's inside. And just as I'm about to break in here, we've got an airdrop coming straight that way. Check the map, mark it up. We'll check that on the way home. Crack this open, oh boy. Anything good in here? Got an iron club. How does that compare to the baseball bat? Not quite as good. Still an interesting find though. Okay, we've got another locked door here. What is this gonna be made out of? Oh, something really terribly too difficult to break into. Wait a bit, oh, oh, I missed the button. Oh, there we go. Right, up to the cockpit here where we've got some loot. Looks like they had planned to uh, like take the space shuttle away and then um, something happened and they weren't able to leave before the zombies got inside and you know, converted everyone to the undead. Still locked. That should do it. Whoa, look at this stuff. Sneak 5% better at night and a whole bunch of mods and parts. Cool. All right, I wanna head back inside and see if we can snoop around and perhaps find uh, another stash. Oh, we ooh, bulletproof glass coming in handy there. What do you think you're doing, Whisperer? That's right, guys, open fire. Oh, ow, 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 ooh, take cover. Yep, be careful. She can return accurate fire. There we go. And one more. Yes. Kinda wonder what's going on on like the main roof up here. Ooh, there's a hatch there. This goes back down into the ventilation duct system. Is this a secret? That's a secret. I also hear zombies though. I'm not sure where the zombie is right now. Oh, okay, Diana's over there. What is this going to? Oh no! Ow! Oh, holy shit! Oh my god, I don't know what's going on here. Get a gun out! Holy crap, guys, help, help! My weapon broke, one of them at least. Fight him off! Oh my god, guys, thank you so much for the help. Ah, my leg, man, it's totally fractured. What a trap, but we found the main loot at least. Can I maybe make a splint right now? No, nope, we don't have the duct tape, but I do think that we have uh, enough to make some. Yep, craft the duct tape, craft the splint. 
Take that shit onto my tibia. And let's search up this loot here. Wow, look at our soldiers. They are they all got their ass kicked right along with me. I think I would have died if I had been here all alone, though. Just fortunately, a lot of the zombies, like, didn't seem to trigger. Okay, Gage, gonna use your head for a little boost there. We still have zombies here somewhere? Man, we are all messed up down here. Okay, whoop, I am totally encumbered now. Well, let's eat the hobo stew, drink the yucca. I gotta sort the inventory just a little bit. We'll, I guess we can read this treasure map and see where that's taken us. Kinda right over there by that airdrop. All right, let's crack this tier five chest open. Oh, Diana found somebody. Oh, there's uh, zombies coming after us. Fight them off. Hold them off the best you can there. Okay, whoop, that gun's broken. Oh, these zombies must be coming down from our escape path. There's, I think there's only one way out of here that I've seen so far. Just hold your position there. You're doing a great job. Oh my god, there's endless supply of zombies coming down the chute there. It continues. Oh my god, look at them all. Okay, at this point, we don't have any more soldiers over there, so pipe bombs it is. And a little bit of fire. Never hurt anybody. That's not true. Okay, I didn't see that there was loot over there, so we need to grab that up. Oh, this is a farm. Ow! Can you guys hit Big Mama for me? Jesus Christ! Oh, jeez. Okay, Raw, give me a little boost up here again. We continue with the time charges. I think all the zombies are dead now. That almost did it. I'm content to just probably break into the rest of it with the, the pickaxe. And we're in. Anything good here? Pair of calipers, couple schematics, the auger schematic, gold ammo, some armor, and a security camera bundle. Well, I'll take it all. Not that I'm particularly thrilled with it. Couple of random loot bags here. Okay, I guess we're heading up the massive ladder where all the zombies came from. Oh man, this gun is broken. This gun needs to be repaired. Okay, I guess all we've got here is the pipe MG. Got the sniper rifle as well, but not looking too good. And I don't have any weapon repair kits with me. We'll just hope for the best here. Watch my back. I hear a cop or something. Oh, who is that? Bubbles, get out of here. Another one. Ow. Oh, that was my quest for the soldier class. Nice. Oh, this is the shoot. Is that where we fell down from through that one? Oh, it kind of looks like it is. It looks like this all kind of like is connected to each. Oh, geez. Okay, seal that stuff back up. And uh, where do we go now? I kind of just want to go home, actually. I'm done with this snaking around crap. Where does this go? Oh, this goes to like another sneaky area, probably filled with zombies. And I can't really run that well right now. I totally hear a whisperer. Oh, geez, that is not good. Why is there a whisperer here somewhere? What if this is just all one big trap from the whisperers to try to lure us in here, trap us somewhere, and then kill us all? Okay, we're back out into this area. Okay, here's where at least one of the zombies are. I think I'll just leave him to it. And we are underneath the open sky, so that means we can just jump our way out of here. Yes, we're at the pool, actually. Perfect. Okay, gentlemen, let's go. It's getting later in the afternoon. We're gonna have to just... Ah, oh, this is gonna hurt real bad, but... Ah! Okay, back to the mini bike. Uh, I think we can... Oh, there's that Whisperer right there. Okay, I don't want anything... There's two of them. Oh my god, there must have been a Whisperer horde. Oh, jeez, they were probably waiting for us to come out of the door. All right, let's get out of here quickly now. Oh, there's another Whisperer over there. Okay, everyone's on the mini bike. Let's go home. Got a weapon supply crate here. We can check on the way home. Whoa, robotic drone, another shotgun. Nice. The Whisperers, man, they've got some pretty good caches out here. Got another one right here, we'll check. Building supplies, perfect, exactly what we need. Well, under the right circumstances anyway. Not too bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, they're after me after stealing their stuff. Okay, bail out and return fire. That guy's got an M60, Jesus. Give it to him. Come on, guys, take cover. Return fire. Okay, I think he's down. Yeah, he must have been, like, getting some ammo out of this ammo crate here. Yeah, there's no 7.62 in there, so he must have taken it. Yet another one right here. My goodness. 
Certainly that's why they have such a heavy presence here in this area. Just a couple bullets in that one, nothing much. Oh, we got another Whisperer there, and she's got a hunting rifle, and I'm just gonna leave her to it. We got more gunfire over here. Another soldier. Oh boy, let's help him out. Hit the wolf. Got him. Okay, which one of you is the new one? <laughs> oh, this guy over here. Who is this? Catlo. Hello there, Catlo. You are higher. 3,500 Dukes. Nice. Man, we've got like... What did we get? Like three new soldiers today? Yeah, we got Diana Kelly, we got Catlo, and we got Hobie. Perfect. And they all have guns, too. All right, rolling back up on the spot here. And everybody out. Oh, my. We had a zombie in here. Oh, shoot. Where are the other soldiers? Herb. Herbie, where did everyone go? Oh, no, 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 man. Oh, my God. There was a zombie attack while we were away. Herbivore was able to fend off that last zombie, but we did lose Hyper and Warren. Oh my god, guys. This is terrible news. I mean, it probably didn't help that I left the front gate open, but um, yeah, that just gives me even more reason that we have to get this base functional and fortified sooner rather than later. All right, we're all gathered here today to respect the memory of Hyper and Warren, the first two soldiers recruited into the Order of Steel. They are the first casualties in the war against the Walkers, and hopefully there will not be many more, but there are many battles yet to be fought. So harden your resolve, and come on inside for some hot chocolate. Okay, who wants coffee? Who wants hot chocolate? Ah, just another day in paradise. Oh, hey there. Well, anyway, my friends, you guys can go ahead and get some rest and I'll take first watch here with some of the soldiers. I'm gonna get them positioned up on the perimeter here to defend us during the night. And then I'm gonna spend a couple of hours just getting things organized. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. As the war moves into the 10th day, we mourn our first combat casualties, but the battles have only just begun and we can expect several more along our path to victory. Last night I worked on the manor and further organized our resources. I also crafted a bullet workstation so we can start crafting our own ammunition. There's still much left to be done and we're starting to run low on supplies, so the POD is to use that stack of wood shapes that we found to construct the front outer wall. Then, we'll need to head out for supplies. There's an airdrop and a buried treasure to the north we can grab, and tomorrow we should do a quest or two to continue racking up the experience. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. And so yeah, last night we got this ammo crafting workstation. However, I was thinking about it, and I can craft all of the ammo types that are in here right now. However, if I go into my skills, there are skill points that you should be taking to unlock all the bullet types. So I'm not sure why I can craft them right now. Maybe, maybe if I take points into these over here, I could then craft them in a workbench and I don't need the ammo workstation. I'm not really sure. Also, it could just be a bug. So let's grab that leather and put it away. And then part of one of my quests right now is to make leather armor, I think. Oh, and then part of... Part of the trade's been quest now. I have to actually repair all of the tools that I've made before, so I guess that's a thing. I'll look into that later. So the the thing I have to do now, it said, was gather sewing kits and duct tape, I think it was. And while the duct tape is crafting, Devlin Moore is wandering around again. Where are you, buddy? <laughs> Come over here, follow me. I don't want you wandering off, picking flowers again there. All right, so if we look at this quest for the covert class, now we have to craft all of the leather items here. We should have the materials to do it. Oh, but before we do it, um, shouldn't we probably spend our points into light armor crafting? Because another thing that I noticed is that you get more efficiency the more you level this up. So we can craft better items, but we also wield them with increased experience gain and reduced stamina cost. So basically, I should have been probably focusing on spending skill points into these types of things all along. Oh, trade tools. What is that anyway? Okay, that's like a hammer and it says mechanic tools. So presumably the wrench and, and you know, impact driver related items like that. Also level up the shotgun and the blunt weapons. And yes, light armor as much as we can. We need player level 75 to do that any further. So now we should be able to craft all of this light armor, complete the quest, and it will replace all the armor we have right now. Okay, that was it for that. Let's just check on the quest. We need to like really focus. So just wear them now and that should be it for the covert class quest. For now, at least. I'll also check and see if there's any mods I can put on, like these armor pocket mods, cooling mesh mods, and things like that. So now we're looking a little bit better, albeit we still have the plant fiber pants. 
And in terms of the quest, we are on to ooh, just killing like one of every zombie, basically. That should come with time. Uh, for now, I, I have all the building supplies that I wanted. Uh, Devlin, I think you... Let's just post you up over here for now. There's a bit of a process to this. I have to say, stay where I am standing. And then he should move right over there. Good. And then I come back here, because now he's going to be, like, facing this way. And I'm not sure if, like, they're, the direction they're facing makes any difference. But then I say, stay where I'm standing again. And he'll kind of turn around and face the way that I was facing there. And, um, yeah, I don't know if that's like the way you're supposed to do it or not but it's the way i'm gonna do it okay just a couple more things though before we get started so i wanted to scrap the cement i think we're a little ways away from being able to make uh, concrete blocks and concrete mix and stuff so let's scrap that for the 7500 stone we'll combine that with the clay that we have to make cobblestone which i think will just be far more useful to us here in these early stages and then oh the robotic drone so we'll toss the drone down and immediately set into quiet mode and uh, oh already at 56 hit points must have had a rough life before joining the order here anyway when we get the robotic drone we head over to the patreon naming rights tier and we select a name at random and the name that came up for the drone this time is alaria so welcome to the team alaria let's get to work oh and i had this sort of idea that um instead of like chopping all this stuff down what if we tried to burn all this stuff down? I just need to connect everything that's made out of wood and the fire should kind of like rage right through it. <laughs> and then hopefully it doesn't spread to anything uh, that we don't want to catch on fire, right? Okay, that's all my frames. I'm not sure if that's gonna connect everything up properly or not, but what we're gonna do here, we're gonna start a fire down on that end. Okay, and then we're gonna start a fire down on this end too. However, I think if I use this time charge here that, and I open that safe right there, I think it'll start a fire as well. Very nice, open this up, see what we get. A Little bit of money, a little bit of nine mil. Okay, and I think with that, we are pretty much ready to start building. We'll just keep an eye on this and make sure it all works out for the better. Okay, so the first construction project that we need to work on today is, um, I got all these like 500 wood shapes right here and it's it's kind of unfortunate because we're gonna have to upgrade it to wooden nails which will take wood and iron and clay to make the nails and so that's gonna take a while and then we'll have to upgrade portions of it to cobblestone but I'm thinking that there are probably some significant portions of the base that can just be wood and if it by chance catches on fire during horde night or something that's fine we'll just kind of run around and extinguish it with a fire extinguisher like certainly building this entire base 100% out of cobblestone is gonna also be quite a chore so let's use the resources we have and we'll start with these shapes right here all right yeah keep an eye on that fire for me because <laughs> I'm not 100% sure that it's not just gonna burn like a lot more than we intended okay so what we're gonna do here is just make a three by three tower and we're gonna make it eight blocks tall yeah the, the fire is working but um, I'm thinking I want to speed things along there so <laughs> Huck another pipe bomb down there, get a fire going in the middle. There we go. Okay, so that's the first tower set up, and I'm gonna head over here and just get working on the second tower, and then we're gonna kinda dress up the front wall, set up some supports, and we'll set like a catwalk running from one tower to the next. Unfortunately, I, I dug the trench on this side a little bit incorrectly, so part of the process here is just gonna be like, uh, filling in some of this space over here on this far side with, um, like, clay blocks. And it uh, looks to me from here like the, the fire is working. I think this was a good plan overall. As far as like the catwalk goes, I think just like maintaining the level that uh, Catlo is on right here is gonna be fine. And then the other thing we're gonna have to think about is uh, supports because uh, this needs to be well supported. Although I think the supports eventually I'll have to make those out of like cobblestone. So we'll just focus on upgrading those and like the, the flat catwalk portion can probably just remain as like um, wood for now, basically. So these catwalk supports, I'm gonna put them every, I don't know, five blocks or so. And I'm getting real hungry and thirsty here, so I'm gonna head inside for a snack. One thing I've noticed too with the new food spoilage mod is that if you open a container and something has gone bad, it just spits out rotten flesh at you, which is actually kind of cool. We can convert regular food into rotten flesh for like making farm plot blocks in the future if we need to. Oh man, we're finally getting this junkyard all cleaned up. You know, just a matter of kind of like stringing it all the way across, stringing the catwalk all the way across. We gotta get this part done and then we're gonna make it wider, kind of like 
protruding out toward the front in the future. So hopefully we'll have like sort of an overhang so we can kind of see what's going on down in the trench. And then like wherever there's a pillar, I'm going to I'm envisioning like having a ladder system so that there's multiple ways to get up and down. And uh, so, you know, I guess my my vision is that if <laughs> zombies get inside and we're kind of like trying to run around, we'll have plenty of ways to get kind of up and down from the catwalk system to avoid them and kind of kite them around. Right. OK, so that's like the basic catwalk system outline here. Now we just have to, like I said before, we're just going to like protrude it out. And for the middle block here, uh, instead of using a catwalk plate, I'm going to use a security gate, security gate plate. And we're going to string that along instead so that we can like look down through. Then for the outer layer, it's just a, like a simple catwalk railing block to kind of finish this thing out. And that is a pretty much done deal for that. We'll have to, of course, like I said, get the bottom parts upgraded to like the supports, I think, should be at least cobblestone because I don't want the supports to be flammable. And of course, the towers will be at least cobblestone. So if one wall catches on fire, like the catwalk portion, that will probably like burn out or it could burn out. We'll try to extinguish it. But like the fire breaks will be the towers. And the last idea I had was to get these bracket double pieces and kind of just set these in places. I think it'll just help with the aesthetics, you know. Um, I don't think this is going to have any significant structural stability component, but at least it'll look like it does, right? I think at this point, I'm mostly just looking for ways to use these freaking 400 blocks or so. I've only got about 90 left at this point, though. We're doing good. Okay, so now we have, like, no wall at all. And so I think if I just pull this um, trench system over just a little bit, we're just going to make, like, a three-block wide opening for the zombies to, like, come through. Okay, so that's dug over. See, this is where it needs to be right here. In fact, I'm probably just going to fill this in right now and then dig this line out. We need the clay anyway. Okay, that fixes that problem there, so I don't have to worry about that. The thing we do need to worry about is uh, how we're going to focus the zombies, because like what we want to do is probably just have this open on Horde Night and just have them come in. And maybe like kind of dig a trench or build a wall or somehow kind of keep them funneled in into like a fatal funnel here. See, it's perfect. We could station soldiers up on the wall there, up on the towers there, and then shoot down on the zombies straight in here. This will be like the killing pit. I don't know. We'll have to maybe focus on that a little bit more tomorrow. For now, though, I do want to be able to just like close the door and not have zombies running inside. <laughs> so let's maybe see if we can put some bars up here to like you know, keep them focused in one direction. And I kind of think that, like, that's the way that we want to do it, I suppose, because then they, they'd they have a hard time going through here. And I think if we upgraded it, then they would focus on the door instead. This is just for, like, when we're... Not for Horde Night, but just, like, kind of day-to-day stuff right here. Oh, you know, could even go with a security gate instead, because look what we could do here. We could make this sort of, like, flanged end, and that kind of looks cool. I like that. Yes, okay, give me all these back. I don't like these anymore. Good old-fashioned security gates. And I think eventually when we get more powerful tools, we'll kind of rip out that bar system that's over there. And, um... I don't know. Well, we have to do the, the Hescos. We're going to do Hescos all in the front here and make like a crenellated Hesco wall with some barbed wire on top. I think it'll look pretty good. But let's get this thing nailed down for now. Okay, that should hold the zombies out, I think, for the most part. Ah, oh, man. Gonna have a rainstorm. Yeah, and then there's really no way for the zombies to kind of jump over this way. And eventually, we'll put blocks down. Like I said, we'll do the Hesco thing kind of just like this all the way across. All right, so I think my objective today and tonight is going to be... Check the map. We'll go down and we'll do this tier two fetch and clear job. Should be relatively easy. We'll bring a couple of soldiers with us. And then uh, on the way back to turn that in, let's grab up all of our sellables and get rid of all this crap. And I sort of wonder, let's... Um, so I'm crafting some cobblestone. I'm crafting some new storages because I'm going to make a new storage system and get it all off the ground. But let's get the wheels. Should have plenty of resources for that. Work on that. And then later on today, we'll get the mini bike, the backup mini bike built. But the mini bike that we need to complete that quest done, we'll get that out of the way. Okay, so who's coming with me today? I feel like the soldiers that are up there are in a good position. So Devlin, you come with me today. And pretty much whoever's up here, herbivore, you can stay. Raw Gage, come with me. 
and Catlo, come with me. Stash up the mini bike a little bit and let's roll out of here. Oh, but before we do, we gotta grab up this present over here. What do you got for me? A candy cane club skin. Damn it. Can I, is there anything I can put that on? <laughs> Maybe just to incrementally increase the value of something here. Here, yeah. Modify it, uh, the iron club and put it on that. We'll just get rid of it. I don't need to have candy cane club skins. All right, let me check that like tier one job or tier two job up ahead. Aha, this is the spot right here. Jump out. There's a wolf chasing me. Good job, guys. Oh, yes, there's a good amount of building supplies in this place too. Ooh, let's uh, do a little double loot here then and grab these supplies. Oh, Screamer, oh boy, that's exciting. Suck on that. All right, that's it for the double loot. Let's hit the quest and do it all over again. Screamer this time or are we good? Oh, four acid in that car that time, that's nice. Oh, Feral White this time, yikes, get him. Or isn't that, oh crap, my wrench broke right at the very end there, damn it. <laughs> I'll take what I can get, I guess. Yep, get him, Catlo, let her have it. Oh, she had a good smack in on him. Going through the kitchen and stuff here. Nothing really exciting so far. A couple more zombies. Oh, hello, Mo. Drop it in to say hi. Uh, excuse me, guys. These are my kills. I totally claim them. And here's our supplies. Quest over. Oh, no. We still got to clear the area. Oh, hello there. Yeah, don't mess around with that guy. Oh, you see that right there? A little dog mouth over there. Just gonna squeak an arrow into him. Nice. Who's in there? Ooh, feral whites galore. And, ow, ooh. Guys, ooh, help. Never mind. I guess I got it. Couple schematics there. We'll sell the other one. No, we, we're not selling those. We're scrapping those. That's right. Right, so we've, uh, where was that? Right there. Scrap that, get the schematics instead. Or blueprints or whatever they're called. Okay, so we have completed the quest. Just a matter of getting to the main loot, which is right here. And that's it. Okay, scrap that. Already wearing a purifier mod, and uh, otherwise I probably should be wearing my... Which one was it? Yeah, the ski goggles. That gives me a little bit of like a loot stage bonus. And a beaker. I'm not sure if I needed one or not. It's hard for me to keep track. They're just like harvesting up. I don't really need the animal parts very much because there's just animals everywhere in this mod. But uh, yep, no, I think we're good here. Put on my, uh, we'll take the run speed for now. I like that pretty well. Take that paper and we'll head to the trader. Okay, just got a random present out here as well. Hard to keep track of where all these things come from. Zombies everywhere. Oh, another one here. Okay, was there not a vending machine in the traders? I guess not. Oh, what, what? Trader J got replaced with Trader Jen. Trader J also only has 300 hit points. What the hell happened here? I have no idea what's going on. And Trader Trader Bill is now Trader Bob. Well, at least he's giving me a quest reward here. I'll take the Molotovs for a little bit later and we'll get, uh, oh, we're getting, we're on to tier twos with you now, I suppose. Oh, there's a bear outside. Yep, no, no, we don't want bear here. No bears allowed. There we go, he's down. Also a wolf out here. Uh, died on the spikes though. Fair enough. Okay, I don't exactly know what happened with the traitor situation. I'm gonna roll with it though. I, there's not much I can do. So basically what probably happened is, uh, you know, take a moment to explain this. I started the series on War of the Walkers Experimental, but I have since upgraded to War of the Walkers Stable. And um, all along the way, I've just been kind of upgrading my save game to the new version and that might be why we've encountered a little bit of a change here. We'll just pretend it never even happened. We've got Trader Jen, Jen's sister, and Jen's brother. Identical twin sister that is and we'll get a couple of we new jobs while we're here job. at the doggy daycare. Ooh, nice. I okay, I just grabbed up all the sellables and the grandpa's awesome sauce. We will take one of these down and sell off everything we can and make a little bit of money today.
And while I'm selling, it's worth mentioning that if you check in the description, if you want to play more of the walkers, it's a lot different than what you're seeing here on this series. But if you want to play the settings that I'm playing with right now, that is with the Whisperers, the Rogues, the Psychos, uh, the Whisperers in Wandering Hordes and things like that, then there is a download. You can find that in the description and you can kind of play on these exact same settings. I will kind of also say that it's not without bugs. Okay, this is not perfect. I'm not a great modder either. So there will be some files that you will have to overwrite. And I'm sorry, I just, I'm not, I'm not good enough at modding to kind of figure out how to do that without overwriting files. But if you're committed to playing the way that I'm playing right now, you can just kind of overwrite a couple of files uh, by installing my mod and kind of roll with it. And there should also be a link to a uh, video that I've made in the past on how to install mods if you have questions about that as well. And otherwise, if you have further questions or want to report bugs or anything, you can kind of hop on the I Discord. There's a link better. to that in the description as well. In fact, if you ever have any questions, check the description first because I might have thought ahead yeah. and kind of answered it there for you. Anyway, I think we're good here. Oh, what are you guys doing? I think we're good here. So let's head to... Oh, I don't know. What time is it? It is 3 a.m. And we have, okay, we have uh, missions close by to home. We have a buried supplies close by to home, but we also have this airdrop and the missing health supplies. So let's maybe start up there and we'll work our way back down. All right, so it is morning and I think I've lost Catlow somewhere along the way. Sometimes that does uh, happen. They get a little bit sidetracked and maybe you get a little bit too far ahead and they kind of disappear. Ooh, look at that, pump shotgun and a Magnum. Ooh, nice. Although I have the Desert Vulture back at home, and I should have some 44 Magnum at this point, so might not need it. Uh, what's this fight going on over here? I just kind of noticed. Is this... Oh, it's a wolf and a zombie. <laughs> All right, none of my business. Yeah, we'll just have to swing back to the trader later on and see if Catlow is there, or if maybe Catlow's back at the base. Not exactly sure. A couple of Whisperer caches to break into around here. Just keep an eye out. Sometimes they're pretty well defended. Food and drinks here, it looks like. That's interesting, I got a hacker's candy out of that. Also, we need eggs. Nice. Ammunition in this one. Whoa, that is a good one, nice. Also, that was like explosive arrows or explosive crossbow bolts maybe, I'm not sure. I'm gonna keep cracking into these things though. <laughs> Definitely worth our time. Small weapons supply crate. That would be for a pistol, a couple bullets, nice. More food and drink, okay. Another small weapons, just some bullets. Aha, there is our airdrop right there and there should be a berry, oh, right here. Let's just start here today. Okay, you guys can kind of secure the area for me, that works. And I will get to digging. Oh crap, we got a freaking whisperer out here, don't we? Ah, yes, ow! Get her! Knock her out! There we go. Holy crap, it's a whole horde of them. Oh boy, take out the zombies first. Yeah, a whole bunch. And there's a bunch of whisperers kind of following them up behind. That's what the whisperers like to do. They like to send the zombies in first, soften you up a little bit, and then they come in from behind. Yep, one at a time here, take that one out. Careful guys, oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Okay, it probably works better if I'm in close range. Use my shotgun skills to my advantage. Here we go. You dumbass with a freaking bow. That's nothing compared to this auto shotgun. Okay, good job, gentlemen. Good job. Take him out. Oh, Devlin's getting fucked up here. Get her. And they're tough. Holy crap. Freaking zombie skins that they wear, like, turn into hardened leather. Not hard enough, though. Okay, I think we're all clear here now. Phew, wow, that was a tense moment. Luckily, that wasn't like a dig quest because we would have lost it. Uh, we should be able to find the circle here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Get back to work here. Holy crap, man, eventful day. Okay, I've like dug myself into a stone portion of the wall, but it's definitely in this direction. I don't really mind because we need the stone anyway, but <laughs> it's taking longer than expected. Aha, oh, there it is. What do we get here? Oh man, that was totally not worth it. Holy crap, that, I'm like really disappointed. <laughs> I'm so disappointed that I'm shocked. Well, nothing we can do about it. Let's head over to the airdrop and see what we can find. Aha, and we are right at the outskirts of the wasteland. Well, first things first, let's check this. Oh wow, that's some good stuff right there. Probably gonna sell 
Well, I can't even sell these, so get rid of those. Sell the rest of it. Some ammo there too, though. You know what? While we're here, let's do a little bit of a probing mission and see if we can maybe find ourselves a... Uh... Oh, look, the bats. We've got bat problem here in the wasteland. Oh, holy crap, a whole bunch of them. Yeah, let's do a probing mission here into the wasteland and see if we can find a psycho. I'm not sure if we've even seen a psycho yet, so I'm very curious to see if we can spot one. And if possible, maybe capture one for interrogation, figure out where their nearest base is. Not even sure if this is like a psycho cache. Ooh, two auto shotguns. Yeah, that definitely looks like a psycho cache there. Okay, we're gonna go in on foot, set a waypoint here where my bike is, and let's go in. Just make sure we're locked and loaded here. Oh, guys, no, no, not, not with the bears. Not right now. We don't need this. Okay, ride the bear. <laughs> there we go. Got my bi-weekly bear ride in. All right, we press on. I'm interested in seeing if these are like special resource nodes here. What is this? It's just stone. This is just a regular rock. Oh, it also has lead and some other materials in it. So this is actually like a multi-resource node. And just shooting zombies, that's fine. Oh, shooting snakes too. <laughs> Very nice. Let's check this one here. Okay, these are giving me like zinc, copper, scrap, tungsten, things like that. Okay, let's take a little bit of this with me. Oh, that's a big, angry, fast, big mama. Oh, no. And another bear. Come on, guys. If we could avoid the bears, that would be great. Okay, if we look at the loot stage, it's now 244. So while we're here, let's check some cars. Sometimes you can pull really good loot out. Just... Never mind. Whoa! Holy crap. Oh my goodness, look at that, an auger. Oh, nice. So this trip is paid off no matter what happens. Unless we die. Oh, and I just, uh got a bunch of XP for completing some portion of some mission. Oh, that was the Covert class part three of five. And we leveled up. We're level 74 now. Okay, I've pushed pretty far into the wasteland and now that we've gotten something that was really worth our time, I think it's probably okay for us to kind of push back. Just paying special attention to these um, military trucks that are scattered around. They might have some good loot in them as well. Whoa, look out. There we go. All right, guys, come on, keep up. What was that? Looting goggles? It is, although not better than the ones I'm currently wearing, so we can safely sell those ones. Oh boy, here we go again. Another friggin' horde coming up behind us. Take them out. It is pretty unusual for the Whisperers to venture into the wasteland like this, but certainly possible. Yep, there's one straight over there. Ow! Whoop, I'm getting hit by something. I don't know what it was. Okay, take her out. Oh man, I'm getting really roughed up. Yes, take that guy out there. I'm taking cover behind the car. Oh boy. There we go. Get some headshots in. Come on. There we go. I'll oh, just finish her off with a pipe bomb. Okay, we're good. All right, that's enough fun for one day. Where'd we park anyway? Oh, right there. Yeah, we'll have to hope that we come across a psycho then in the near future. In fact, let's just kind of uh, skirt the border of the wasteland and see like just First of all, where the border is, and then uh, sort of see if we can find a psycho along the way. Okay, okay, I've got gunfire. Oh, it's a psycho. I can see him straight up ahead. Okay, park it here, and let's move. Yeah, take out the zombies on the way. Okay, we want this guy alive, not dead, not decapitated. Oh, crap, there we go. I've knocked him down. Get up here, he's got a freaking AK-47. Take him out. Ow, ow, ooh, ooh. Okay, you guys take over for a second. I gotta heal up. Let's see if we can weaken him again with a pipe bomb. Come on, come on. Air burst him. Nope, didn't work. Whoa, boy. Okay, taking cover here. Just kind of regrouping here. And come on. Oh, I can't get a good freaking line on him. There we go. Ooh, ow, ow. There we go. All right, rush him. There we go. Just waking up with a bat. Ah, just tank it. I've got the new leather armor. There we go. Yes. All right. He is unconscious, boys. Tie him up and bring him with us.
All right, so we've made it back to the base after a long, hard-fought day. Fortunately, everyone made it back in one piece, and I did pick up Catlo on the way home. We did conduct the interrogation on the Psycho, and we do have a location of a base in the Wasteland that we need to check out. He marked this spot way up here, which is quite deep into the Wasteland, so we'll have to head up there at some point take everybody with us, raid the base, see if Temcam is there, and if not, we'll take some prisoners and see if there's maybe another base nearby that is holding Temcam. For now though, I'm just gonna fill up, hydrate, and uh, we're gonna start doing some further construction here. I've got the cobblestone shapes crafting so we can put the roof on, and we'll see where that leaves us from there. So the first step is gonna be to just set up the roof and we're gonna be ultra careful that we're not seeing any sort of structural stability problems. And if we do, you know, maybe a temporary scaffolding or just reevaluate from there. Definitely, we cannot sustain a collapse, but I think we should be okay. And it did just tick nightfall, so I'm fully expecting animals to start wandering in and for our soldiers to be shooting at them all night long. And I did get some lanterns crafted, so I'm gonna set those down and should be able to pick them up if we want to move them later, I think, right? <laughs> Does that make sense? Just to cast a little bit of light on the situation here. And just for the central portion here, I'm just gonna put in a... Well, I don't know if it's gonna be temporary or permanent, but just gonna put in like a central pillar, not for structural stability, but because that's what I'm going to stick all of the storage chests to. We're just going to make this great big kind of like centrally located storage pillar, I guess you could call it. And we're just going to go with half blocks here for the ceiling so that it's about a three and a half block height to the, the top of the ceiling, which I think just kind of feels right and gives us plenty of room for all the crafting stations, hopefully. I'm really not sure how many crafting stations there are, so... We have to wait and see on that one. All right, that's it. And uh, I don't think we have any stability problems so far. Let's just see about maybe on facing some of these storage chests. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a little while before we can craft the large storage chests. So when the time comes, we'll just have to completely replace them. All right, that's all those. And just because I know it will irritate you guys and it will probably also irritate me. And also, you know, this is kind of like a it's not really a safety issue, but I am gonna upgrade that pillar to at least wood. It's not a safety issue because the, the storage blocks are actually connected to the floor. So they, they'd stay there if that's that center, central pillar fell out. All right, so that kind of does it for in here. All we really have left to do is to fully dress up like, um, the the tower sections whatever we're calling these like the four corners all right so that's the idea right there should give the soldiers plenty of room to shoot out of and we just have to kind of replicate that on all four sides but that's definitely kind of a more monotonous project that i can handle by myself overnight so anyway you can get some rest i'll be up for the rest of the night kind of completing this project on all four sides and i'll let you know if anything eventful happens but anyway my friends and fellow survivors i think we can call it a night Last night was uneventful, so I was able to work for several hours uninterrupted. I put some of the finishing touches on the manor and got a semi-permanent storage system in place. After our successful raid into the wasteland, the Psycho we captured revealed the location of a nearby Psycho base. But for now, our attention turns to the impending Horde Knight. The base is still far from finished, so that'll have to be our sole focus for now. The POD is to finish off the two towers and post some soldiers up for covering fire. Then we'll see about fortifying the front of the manor and setting up some defenses against the walkers. You watch my back and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. All right, let me give you a little bit of a tour here. So I did spend a lot of time, like basically all night long and well into this morning, just getting things kind of dressed up properly. Of course, we're gonna need to upgrade a lot of this to cobblestone, but for the most part, this should be solid and um, the stability should be pretty good here. If we go downstairs though, yeah, we need to do a lot of work here because this is going to be like the Alamo position here. And I'm envisioning like a system where we kind of drag the zombies into a pit of spikes here and kind of rain fire down on them and then kind of draw them back up in here if we need to. And of course, we can kind of run around and fight them from the sides too if we have to. So I was able to get the robotic drone named to Alaria officially. So that's pretty nice. And all the, the soldiers here are pretty much all kind of doing their own thing. Follow me. I had to kind of move them all around last night when I was uh, trying to build around them. So Hobie, bro, if you could come up here. Yep, almost. Come on. <laughs> come on up here, buddy. It's okay. Alaria gave him a little push. Nice. Come on over here, bud. If you'd be so kind, stand where I'm standing. That's going to be a bit of a process here. Diana, stay where I'm standing. Mark, stay where I'm standing. Deanna the banana, 
you as well. And then I have to do the same thing only when I'm like kind of facing outward like this. Stay where I'm standing. Stay where I am standing. And that's good. Everyone's in position, although their faces do appear to be blocked. We'll just have to kind of pay attention to that today and see if that's going to be an issue with line of sight or if their guns are, you know, properly oriented outside. Catlo, you can stay there. Actually, no, you need to come with me. I need to post you up somewhere on the outside. I think the only person I'm gonna put in in there with me, or just, you know, lock him in there like we tried to do last time is Herbivore, because he's our only melee combatant right now. Come on over here, Catlo. Right over here, please. Yes, and just um, stay where I'm standing. That's fine. Okay, so if all goes to plan, we're gonna have one soldier in each tower, and I'm gonna face them kind of like, kind of like, facing the middle of the base, sort of, and we're just gonna try to draw them all inside, and most of the killing will probably take place right around in there. So, first thing we should do today is probably finish off construction on the tops of the two towers. Okay, so here's the new storage system here. I should have building supplies here, and then, like, my general storages, and then, I don't know, it's kind of, it's, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's organized, but uh, to be determined, I guess. And uh, so I, out of the 500 cobblestone shapes that I made, we're down to 129 already. So anyway, give me, we're going to make the towers. Oh, we should probably just make them out of cobblestone, shouldn't we? Save ourselves the resources. And yeah, just give me the rest of the cobble as well. And uh, we'll just, yeah, we'll do the whole thing out of cobblestone. Give me also the wooden nails and the wood and the nails, if I have any. Yes, I made like a thousand nails, so I should be able to make, what, wooden nails in my inventory? Oh, only 366? Is that that's the, is that crafting in like a chunk or something? Yes, okay, that makes uh, five at a time. Okay, that makes much more sense to me. I'll just make a, I don't know, a couple hundred of that, and we'll let that roll in. We want to get these, uh, the towers at least upgraded, because we don't want them to burn to the ground. And I still haven't confirmed yet if wood and nails will burn. I'm just imagining that it will. Okay, and in terms of um, ways up, we definitely don't want the zombies to go up. I'm thinking of just kind of doing exactly what we did here and I'm gonna have to change the rotation on it, which is fine because we want to put spikes kind of in front anyway and kind of just doing this all the way, I don't know, down there. I just want to like, I want to cluster them up, you know what I mean? And so we can like get good value out of pipe bombs and things like that. I just don't quite know the best way to go about doing that. I don't know, worst case scenario, <laughs> let's just run around. We got plenty of space here. We can just run it and let the soldiers do all the shooting. All right, so first things first, we gotta knock a hole into this. I think there's a ladder in there. Nope, no ladder yet. We'll put a ladder in then. Of course, this thing just has to go. Okay, that takes care of that and should be able to put a ladder in here now. Okay, and at the top here, I, I have some design ideas for what I want to do. It's just going to be a matter of kind of playing with the shapes in order to get what I want. Okay, working with the cobblestone now. I want pole blocks, but I there's a pole that's like attached to a plate. Yes, these ones right here. Plate pole. <laughs> that, that makes too much sense. However, I think the plate pole centered is what I'm looking for here. So we can kind of like prop up a ceiling. And I think plates like so. And I'm gonna make a hatch to go on top of this. Should be done shortly. And then on the edge of this, we're gonna do the security gate thing again. And my thought was to kind of not do it all the way around to kind of like leave this corner open. We'll see how that looks though. These things, they always look one way on pen and paper and then a completely different way once you actually build them out. Okay, I think we just need one centered pole here. And then what do we need to do here? We need to copy shape and then flip it over for the ceiling like this. I think we're on to something here. Then again, I'm also going to leave the middle open so that we can put a ladder in there because I I was thinking maybe of like, oh, we could put the spotlights up here. Or we could put like some sandbags up here to have like, you know, like a two layered, a two tiered or a two story tower. <laughs> If that makes any sense. And um, this needs to kind of overhang so that, um, like, uh, birds can't kind of swoop down, right? Kind of like this. Let's take a look from over here and just make sure. Yeah, that's going to look pretty cool, I think. Anyway, let's get a railing on it. Oh, we got an airdrop coming in, too. Oh, not too far away. So we'll need to grab that up for sure. Right, and here's um, sort of the tricky part here because I've occupied this block space here. So the railing is gonna actually have to connect to the outside. So yeah, one thing I'm really liking about this so far is look at the visibility we have. We could see a horde coming from like 100, 150 meters away. And then uh, for these little corners here, let's just do like this simple corner like uh, so. Does that, is that, that's a little bit, obstructive but uh i think that's that's probably the best way to do it 
Okay, I do like this, although these little corners here where they're not kind of flushed up do sort of bother me. I'm wondering, I wanna like put some spikes on the base anyway, so how about we start laying in some pole pieces and we could probably do that out of wood. Yeah, cause like, the aesthetic parts of it don't have to be cobblestone, right? Okay, yes, this is definitely coming out the way I had imagined it. Uh, how about some spikes on the bottom bottoms of these, though? Pole corner pyramid. Perfect for spikes. Just like that. Come on, just reach over there. You got this. Go, go, gadget arms. There we go. All right, then. We just need to solidify this. Hopefully, we have the resources for it now because we don't want this to burn down. This is our fire break here. Boom, there you have it. Completely upgraded, not gonna burn down under any circumstance. Uh, might get shot down by rocket launchers though, so careful about that. And let's check the resources there. Uh, still looking, well, we're not looking good on cobblestone, quite honestly. Uh, oh, got a present way the hell over there. Okay, so this one is pretty much good. Catlo, follow me, please. Let's see if I can drag you up here. Yes, sir, come on up here. Perfect, almost there. Oh, a little bit of a boost from Alaria. Nice. Okay, Kalo, come, uh, actually, come and stay where I'm standing right here. And then I have to, like, leave the vicinity so that that happens. Perfect. And then ideally want you to kind of, like, oh, geez, difficult. I, I wish I could, like, point them, but uh, I suppose... If you were to kind of like stand just like this where I'm standing, that should be fine. Yeah, close enough. And just drop that in for good measure and we are all done for this one. Just gonna replicate the exact same thing on this side. Holy crap, I just opened up the loot bag, had a present in it, opened the present, 5,000 dukes in it. I'll take that, thank you very much. Alright, how about that? Those are looking pretty good. Let's get a better view from like way out here and see how that looks. Damn, <laughs> that is looking great. We only have two more to go, plus we have the three additional walls, and there will be a drive-in section over, I think on this side we have more room on this side where we can put in a drawbridge to kind of pull in our vehicles this way and we'll have like a nice big motor pool hopefully eventually okay so what i would like to do how's the condition on that that's actually looking really good um how are we looking on resources here we've got i made a whole bunch more cobblestone and we're really good on wood and nails so what we should do is get these supports like uh, up to cobblestone so that the fire is not gonna like track up because i'm most worried about like just incidental fire from cops and also the mutated zombies, you know, because they might just see a soldier nearby and just be like, Bleh, and like spit a bunch of fire everywhere. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say, right? And I, I don't mind if things catch on fire a little bit here and there, kind of adds to the excitement of it. I just don't want it to be like completely lost because there's a lot of work. I don't want to have to redo this. Right, and I don't think it's the worst idea in the world to have at least a temporary ladder system going to the top. And then one of the issues might be is that the ladder catches on fire. And so in order to interrupt a fire in that regard, that one there has to be made out of stone. That actually also confers better structural stability because all of these blocks are hanging off that block right there. So these need to be, these are super important blocks all the way down. And then this one here, let's, um. Where's the pillar over here? It's on this one right here. Okay, now this whole thing here could catch on fire and I really, I wouldn't lose any sleep over it. It's basically our interrogation chamber at this point. <laughs> Gotta probably move the bedroll, that would be a good idea. But uh, yeah, this block right here is what I was looking at. See, if this was gonna be some sort of a permanent structure, we would kinda wanna leave this open so we could walk through. In fact, I've already put the, the proper blocks in for that purpose, so... Yeah, let's maybe ma plan on making this into our garage, maybe? I don't know. We'll sort out what it's going to be later, but for now, we just got to replace this block here. Yeah, I know I get hung up on the, the particulars <laughs> from time to time. Okay, that should be good. I just want it to look nice, right? That's uh, my only concern here. Look nice and function properly. So, yeah, I don't think we'll have soldiers up on here during Horde Night. I would prefer... Here. Devlin, you follow me. I'm gonna put you up in this tower here. Come on up. Let Alaria give you a little butt push if you need one. Perfect. Oh, who are you shooting at? You're shooting at, 
I think that's called the War Zombie or something. The Colonel? I don't know who it is. XP is all I care about. Nice. Okay, Devlin, we need to we need to figure out uh, the best way for me to like get you oriented in the correct direction here. So, can, you mind coming over here a little bit? Okay, no, no, stop shooting at stuff. We don't need to kill zombies right now, especially the ones that are like 400 meters away. Ha! Ah, I stole your kill. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. Okay. So stay where I'm standing. And again, this is always just a bit of a process here. Then we'll just say stay where I'm standing, and then that should mean that uh, Devlin's going to be kind of like, yeah, kind of like facing outward. I'm not sure. It, uh, we got to do some experimentation. I got to do that kind of in my off time and see, like, if uh, if uh, Raw Gage is pointed at me here, is he going to see a zombie that's over there? Because I don't know the answer to that. Then this thing over here. This is all completely solid steel so if we're gonna okay so one option is to do something with this and make it into something but honestly i don't i can't really see anything that this could turn into that would be particularly useful especially since i'm gonna need to put a tower right here so things are gonna get awful crowded the only other way to get rid of this is to undermine it and we have that quality one auger now so that might just be just what we have to do is kind of like, let me just see what's under here. Okay, yes, it does look like this just, if we could just get under it and we dig out, because we need to dig out the top layer of soil anyway, and the clay that we dig out of here, I mean, we're gonna have to go two or three blocks down, but um, yeah, we're gonna have to dig all of this out because um, like this area here is a good place for me to demonstrate how I'm gonna do the floor. I completely forgot that this was even a block option, but if you go three by three in your all shapes, you can get this cube like this. Like, why haven't I been making floors out of this the entire damn time? Like, this saves you so many resources. I mean, it's just the floor, right? Who? Do, I mean, this is just gonna save so much. This is nine blocks in one, and it only costs enough resources to upgrade it for one block. So that's what I'm gonna be making floors out of, basically from now until the rest of my life. Uh, but I wanna take a little bit of a break and go check on that airdrop. So open that up and then when we come back, I think we'll kind of look into what we can do to set up for the horde. I'd like to get all of this kind of straightened out sooner than later, right? I don't wanna be pressed for time when it comes time to fight the horde. Okay, made it over to the airdrop, uneventful. Pretty quiet night actually in the neighborhood. Couple zombies, but nothing serious. Check on this, and oh, AK-47s, nice. That's our first machine guns and some pipe bombs, excellent. So okay, now on the way back, it's now nightfall, so probably uh, there's a lot of, gonna be a lot of animals around here now, but I need to chop down some trees and get a little bit of extra wood so that we can make more spikes. All right, this might be a good test here. Again, pulling in a dire wolf, and yeah! Let him have it, everyone. Although it did look like, I think Raw Gage is the one there in the middle. He didn't really see it until it came into his peripheral vision. Like, maybe they have a 180 degree field of vision, because yeah, look, it died right here, and we are directly at like 90 degrees to the right from Raw Gage's vision. Okay, so that's good to know. I'm gonna go put all of my stuff away, and then we did level up to level 75, and I know that that kind of opened up some stuff for us, so I'm gonna put stuff away, eat, hydrate, all that stuff, and then check and see what we can unlock with skill points. Okay, one of the things we have to do today is craft that mini bike, taking a minute and 21 seconds. Hopefully I don't forget about that while I'm looking at my skill points. Got a tool workstation. Yep, I'll take that. And a chemistry workstation, which we should be able to craft. We'll take that. Landmines would be nice. Pipe bomb's probably better though. And scrap iron armor. We have to make that for some kind of a quest anyway. 39 seconds to go. Also got a couple of tool repair kits, which is important because I got to upgrade my or repair my wrench. We'll take tier two food so we can get some better stuff cooked and also beverages tier two as well. We got plenty of skill points at the moment at least. Okay, excellent. That was only part one of the technician class and we have, at least we have a backup mini bike now. Okay, let's go one more into axes, pickaxes and shovels if we can. Take trade tools, we'll take light armor. We will also with our last skill point here, let's go ahead and just do, well, I don't really get a lot of blunt weapon stuff in, you know? So probably shotguns would be better. 
And that's it. Just gotta wait till we level up some more. Okay, I feel like we've we, I've fallen behind here on some of these quests. Okay, we've gotta kill soldiers, nurses, lab workers, hazmat zombies. I can't do anything about that. They'll come when they come. For the soldier class, we have to gather the class fragments, and I think I only have a couple of those. We have to craft bacon and eggs. Oh wait, we have to gather meat, eggs, and then we have to cook grilled white meat and craft bacon and eggs. Can I, can I do that? Do we have the eggs now? Oh yeah, we got the eggs and we've got the white meat. Yeah, I don't know why that's uh, all grayed out right now, but I'm gonna just try to craft the bacon and eggs and the white meat, grilled white meat, and see if that does it for us. So that's five grilled white meats and it said 10 bacon and eggs. Ooh, I can only make four right now. Okay, so that's part one. We'll have to table that and try to kill some chickens here soon. All right, next up for technician is to craft the motorcycle, which... We're way off from that. <laughs> Forget about that for now. Oh man, this is terrible. The tradesman one, I have to recraft all of these scrap iron tools, use them, and then repair them with whatever it takes to repair them. Probably just scrap iron, I would I would predict, but could also be a repair kit, I'm not sure. Uh, that is a drag, because I sold all the ones that we had made before. Okay, these just take a modest amount of resources, so let's just go ahead and do it. And, oh, the armor thing wasn't even a class quest. That was just a armor progression quest. So presumably just gonna get some XP and dukes from that. We'll we'll table that for a little while. It's about that time we made a trip to the water hole, which is only just over here, nice and convenient. And looks like we have the stuff to make the chemistry station if we could just get two more cooking pots and a little bit more forged iron. But I think that's enough of that stuff for now. Grab up the wood, wooden nails, and nails. Might need topsoil, we might need a little bit of all of this stuff, honestly. So let's head down here. We gotta start uh, working out how we're gonna fight the horde tonight. Just gonna start by kind of clearing out the junk around here. And that should pretty much do it, actually. All right, nice open battlefield now. Okay, I'm just gonna start lining this in just so we can get a sense of what everything's gonna look and feel like. All right, what are we thinking of that? If we dug this down just a little bit deeper, the zombies would be, oh, yeah, like this. Think of this, okay, the zombies are way down here, they're dug in, we create some sort of a difficult system for them to get out, like jumping blocks would be perfect. Kind of to bottleneck them all right here. And then we could, we could just hold them from over here, but uh, if we could pin them in here well enough, we could just rain down pipe bombs and molotovs and try to get really good bang for our buck that way while the soldiers just cover us from above. Like we'll put raw gauge right about here to kind of shoot down on the backs of the zombies. And meanwhile, we'll all be at the front there doing the same thing, kind of hitting them from both sides. A little bit of a double penetration there, if you will. <laughs> so we're gonna have to get some hatches here. Let's roll with, uh, let's say six of each for now. Oh, I love it. I, I can actually, I can reach my hand. I got go, go gadget arms, you know? I can reach right up into the storage upstairs and grab all that iron out. <laughs> nice. And then I'm thinking probably just classic fighting position here. And if you don't, you're not familiar with that, that basically just means like, um, like a barricade in front of us like this uh, with plates on the middle row and then hatches on the top row, which will allow us to jump in and out. Soldiers would have a much more difficult time of doing that though, which uh, that kind of gives me some hesitation there. Yeah, you know, I do want the soldiers to be able to come and go relatively easily. Otherwise, there's no way for me to get them in there. They, they might be able to get them out because I can teleport them out, but getting them in would be a whole different story. Of course, once we do the back wall here, so this is going to be the back back. So this will be the edge of the fence. Uh, I believe that's how it's going to work. And this would be the middle of the of the catwalk, and this would be the uh, the backside of the catwalk, which only means there'd be a, a bridge of one, kind of like right there, to and we create like a back door in that way. So that might ultimately solve our problem, but it doesn't really do us any good right now. But at the same time, I just I don't feel comfortable just putting in like a basic hatch system here against the types of zombies we're going to be facing tonight. Yeah, hmm, okay, decisions to be made here. Okay, so I've had a quick think about it, and I, I think for tonight, come on in here, Alaria. I'm going to just go with the classic position. That was my plan from the get-go, and I don't want to change the plan on the fly uh, without kind of evaluating how things work on Horde Night, so if we have to, we can grind all this stuff out. But what we'll do just for now is create just classic GNS fighting position right up front here. 
So what that's gonna mean is railing, railing, railing. And on the back, same thing, railings. On the middle here, scaffolding plank flipped upside down. And on the top, on face, hatches, just like so. Furthermore, you have to put these blocks up here for another set of hatches to go like this. And you know what? We could probably at some point knock out those blocks there and put electric fences in so that we could have uh, like two or three like strings of electric fences going right straight through the fighting position so that if zombies start kind of clawing their way in, they're going to start getting electrocuted. And eventually I'm envisioning just having like like a whole team of soldiers in here just like completely covering this fatal funnel here. And of course the soldiers on the top end, I guess probably Mark and Deanna over here can do that. They can probably come down in there with me and hold the Alamo. And then uh, maybe, I feel like Ra is kind of vulnerable out there all by himself, but uh, I, I do want to see how it performs to have soldiers out there. But definitely, uh, who is that? That's Herbivore. We'll have Herbivore in there with us too. And you know, that's actually, it's not a terrible idea. We'll, we'll bring the soldiers in here from the top. That way when they're in here and they're like, say they're a melee soldier, and I put them on like, follow me, they're not gonna really, I don't have, I don't think they'll have the tendency to kind of run out of here on their own. They'll kind of stay put where they are in here and not kind of run around all willy nilly outside. I'm also just now realizing that all of our storage is precariously like right above where we're gonna be fighting zombies. But um, <laughs> that's just, I personally, a lot of people like kind of, they don't like people putting, their storages and like all their crafting stations where their horde base is but i'm completely the opposite i like to have something to defend i like it to be a meaningful horde night right um to me the, the risk makes it more enjoyable okay we're all upgraded downstairs but i was just checking here to see if we had any concrete mix i thought that we had at least some but in fact, we do not. We do not have any. I can't make it either. I'm not high enough level. I think you'd have to be a level 100 or maybe 150. So cobblestone it is unless... Let's maybe take a quick trip to the trader and see if um, if they have any in stock in the inventory because I would really like to have the front over here upgraded to concrete. Hello, everyone. I see nothing has changed since the last time I was here. Okay, uh, pistol peep book, definitely take that. Smart packaging, 10 more inventory slots, hell yes. Craft M60 machine guns, <laughs> okay. And more damage against deer, Thank you think so I'm much. all set with that. Recog ain't bad, we'll definitely need that. Hey, look at this, an energy pill. Plus 50% stamina regen for five whole minutes, holy crap, we'll definitely take that. And some extra pipe bombs, thank you. And otherwise, no, no concrete mix for her. How about Trader Billy Bob over here? <laughs> That's what we'll call him, we'll call him Billy Bob. And he does, he has a bunch of it, nice. And I'll take the cobblestone too. It's still been a very quiet day, no hordes, haven't seen any soldiers, haven't seen any, really, anything except for wolves and zombies. Okay, so we're all back safe and sound here. Let's um, get this fully upgraded then. And you know, I've just had a bit of inspiration. What if we took some regular blocks here and we turned these into plates? Plates just like this here, and the reason being is because uh, we'll be able to, well, either we'll be able to, or the zombies, like the mutated zombies and such, will catch this on fire, and then for at least a minute or two, we could be catching a whole bunch of zombies on fire here for free. I think that's a great idea. Let's do this. I'll even go one further and say, let's do wooden nails. And this is, I guess this will be like the ultimate test if the wooden nails will burn. It's gotta burn, right? It has to burn. And these will have like the most hit points to a thousand hit points. So they'll burn for a good long while as well. Okay, so this is gonna be the zombie viewpoint right here. We'll also need to set this up now. Oh, we got a whisperer over there, kind of out of nowhere. Where'd you come from? Just one random whisperer looks like. She dead. Yeah, I think she died. Oh, she was another medic with another 25 bandages. Nice. Okay, so I have a really bad feeling about this <laughs> and thinking it's not going to work, but I'm gonna, th I think I'm just gonna roll with it anyway. So for this particular spot, I am just gonna roll with like the regular cube shapes for the floor and then we'll kind of transition to the three by threes uh, going out in each direction from here. This just gives it more strength. So if they do break this block, it's not gonna break a big chunk of floor, right? And we'll dig this out a total of two deep. In fact, we can use the auger for that. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice. Okay, so that's the general idea right there. Zombies will be 
Uh, we'll, we'll make like a little stair down for them to go through here. And then they'll run through a bunch of spikes and, and potentially more traps in the future. And then they'll jump their way up and out right here. Not going to restrict them too much because ultimately we could just come back here and do all the fighting from back behind these doors. Right, where's my auger? Also, we are getting into the early afternoon, so hopefully this is not going to take too long. Just a couple zombies out there, I think. Whoops. Crap, I just broke the freaking door. Great. I broke my auger too. Crap. Well, that stinks. I mistakenly thought that the door might be connected on the sides, but uh, apparently it was not. It's no matter. The door was going to be open for tonight anyway. Okay, so here's the, the pit here. Zombies come down in easily because they're not going to want to beat through the side if they can see that they can get to be without having to beat through anything, which is going to be straight over here. And so they'll have jumping blocks to get up out. And of course, they will make it up out, but we'll be shooting them all along the way. And I just made a whole bunch of spikes to lay down in here. Although so sometimes zombie pathing is really finicky around spikes. So, okay, let's start out here. And we'll just lay spikes in just like this. And then we'll lay them in in a straight line right here. I've observed before that when you put spikes next to either a ramp or a staircase, it kind of disrupts their path. So I'm just going to leave that back end open just in case. And then hopefully we'll wait for them to wade through all of these spikes or at least most, most of them. And then once they kind of get up in here, we'll start in with the Molotovs and stuff like that. We don't want to use the explosives too early because it'll end up burning a lot of these spikes and we won't get anything out of them. So like right here, I'm going to not put a spike in there because I just, I sometimes that does disrupt their pathing. So all we have to do now is replace some of these security gates with, uh, well, I guess we're going with the horizontal security gates anyway. Yeah, we'll replace them with cobblestone. And I don't even really think we need this top row here other than like these last couple spots right here. Yeah, I honestly, I don't know how this is all going to work. I'm really, really winging it right now. <laughs> Uh, presumably though, it is definitely not going to work well over here where this is just wood. Part of the question is like, what are they going to do around those blocks right there? Are they going to try to beat in through the side right here? So maybe just upgrade this to concrete. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Okay. There's our first thunder crack. The horde is approaching. Okay. That is it. The soldiers are more or less in position. Let's just grab herbivore over here. There's a fire going on over here too. And um, I'm not sure if that's a big deal or not. Oh, let me out of here. Nope, that should be good. Although, let's just do one more little glance around the edges here to make sure there's nothing for the zombies to kind of clamber up on. No, oh, looks good. Although next week, it'll be really important for us to solidify a lot of the wall portions right like that right there. Ugh, that's very precarious. Everything else, though, looks really good. So, like I said, let's grab the soldiers and put them into position. Raw gauge, follow me. Come over here and... Oh, this is tricky. Come, uh, can you come over here, please? Stay where I'm standing. And then right here, you're going to stay where I'm standing. You're going to face that way to help, you know, take care of the zombies as they're coming up to our door or before you follow me. And then Mark Prairie, follow me. And Deanna the Banana, follow me. You guys are coming into the fighting area down here. Oh, look, Mark can make it through. Nice. Come on, buddy. Yes, come over directly where I'm standing. And that kind of makes me think. Let's uh, let's lock these so that the soldiers can't use them. Okay, I believe all the soldiers are in place. It's just a matter of me getting everything I need, all my ammo and stuff like that, and we should be ready to fight. All right, my friends, the hour is late and our second horde approaches, so it's time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. Okay, there we go, we gotta level up. So far, sounds like most of the action is occurring, like, to the southwest. 
Oh, jeez. Cop just blew up down there and started a big fire. <laughs> Great. Okay, well, getting off to a hot start then. It really might work out to our favor more than anything because uh, all the zombies will be a little bit singed when they come up to us, right? <laughs> a few less hit points. Oh, we've got a fire over there as well. That could potentially turn out to be bad. Also, we've got fire over here. Although, oh yes, this is, this is not good. Yes, put that out. Yeah, we don't want that. Over here, on the other hand, I think is okay. Oh, jeez. Cops are spinning around here. I don't know if the, the these barrels are flammable or not. Okay, but so far, the soldiers seem to be holding them up rather well. I'd like to get a couple of um, <laughs> XP points myself, though, if you guys don't mind. I can't really see what's going on down there, but um, I don't know for sure if the zombies are taking the correct path or not. Oh, here we go. Biker just came zooming right through. How are you running through all my traps? Stop that. There we go. Okay, yeah, they're starting to poke through here. I think this design is actually a lot more powerful than I thought it was going to be. They're still not making it down here very well. I think we just have very efficient soldiers. You guys have good aim. Certainly didn't learn that from me, though. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, no, 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 guys, come on. They've clawed in through the side. Well, here we go. Oh, this is gonna burn down now. Oh, hopefully that is not gonna be the case. Let's kind of draw their fire away. Yeah, why didn't you guys want to come in the little tube here I made for you? Damn it. All right, well, if I pull them this way, hopefully we'll be able to get a good field of fire on them. All right, maybe if I'm lucky, though, I can fend them off long enough. Maybe we'll, um, we'll kind of get between waves, and that will kind of do it. Yep, this is the spot right here where they're crawling up in. I'm gonna copy shape and just plug it just for now. Yes, in this spot over here, they're gonna probably do the same thing. So put the fire out and put that in. Hope for the best. Back into the fight. Oh, geez. Now they're inside here. Oh, boy. Oh, the stripper wanted to jump up on that. I was kind of hoping that they wouldn't want to do that, but oh, here we go. Oh, yes, they're coming down into the trench again. Nice. Perfection. Oh, I hear, ooh, electric zombies. Oh, that's nice. Okay, everything is going back to plan now. A little bit of excitement there. I got flanked from the side, but uh, for now at least, they appear to be coming in the correct direction. Although, what is this fire going on over here? None of this stuff, guys. Get out of there. What are you doing? Stop it. Go around to the front. And all of you down there, catch on fire. Oh, that was a good one. Oh, wow. There's a lot of zombies down there. I think <laughs> Raw Gage is just wasting them, though. Love it. Okay, this is what we want. We want them to come up into shotgun range, because that's what I'm specced into. Oh, these presents. They, uh, they get in the way a little bit, don't they? Oh, boy. That's okay. I'm in a festive mood today. Okay, all those zombies, I can see them way... That was a bad throw. Nope, nope, nope. Put that out. Put that out. Put that out. There we go. Okay, here they come. Nope, that's not the gun I want. Whoa, what is this? Oh, my God. That's a mutated fire zombie. Oh, my goodness. As if the regular ones weren't bad enough. Now we've got ones that are extra flammable. Friggin' napalm mutated zombies. Man, we have, we've got to do something about these loot bags. They are all in my way. Okay, what's happening? Are you all hung up over here again or what? What's happening? Um, nope, they uh, they appear to be coming around the right direction. They just, uh, it's, it's not ideal really, is it? Yes, come around this way and, oh, they're all getting hung up over here as well. Yeah, I'd say this is working well, uh, other than the visibility problems that we have. Where is he? <laughs> I know he's under this box somewhere. There he is. Okay, yet again, they are all... Are they all hung up over here or what's going on? Yeah, here they are. A lot of them anyway. Yeah, just set them all on fire and there's a bunch more that are way over there. And that was a terrible throw. 
Here, let's get a nice close range throw on him. There we go. Let him burn. Also, I have these exploding crossbow bolts, so let's let a couple of those fly. Nope, 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 no. We do not need that. Get out of here. Go around to the front. Oop, suddenly it just got really, really quiet. And it's only 154, so I'm not sure if that was wave number two or three. That definitely seems like it was it. Good job, Raw Man. You're promoted. Well, I suppose there's really not much left to do except for loot up tonight then. See what we get. Oh crap, I was gonna eat this, <laughs> eat or uh, use, I guess, this 30% experience card. But that's okay. I don't have any like eye candy or anything. Let's just put on my uh, ski goggles. That increases my loot stage up to 110. And we'll see what we get here. All right, whoop, I think that was it anyway. So we'll drink that and man, there was like probably at least 60 loot bags there. That is crazy. Okay, let's put everything away and see what we got. Okay, just toss it all in there and whatever's, nope. Actually, that is uh, pretty much it right there. A whole bunch of stuff to scrap into brass, holy crap. Also, if we sort this, we got um, some guns, some lots of mining helmets and uh probably most importantly we got all of the all of the class fragments and so that'll help us kind of advance hopefully we got enough soldier ones now so that we can finish off that quest line because oh three yeah i think that will be enough so in fact give me that and uh give me that treasure map what was that for that was like high tier weapon supplies okay Read that. That's right up my alley. Thank you very much. And then, uh, wait a minute. How do I craft the class paper thing? Class paper soldier. No, no, I need one more. Oh, crap. No, yes, I do need one more. I only have four. Crap. And that's it. It's morning. Holy cow, look at this. A reward point card five that gives me five skill points. Really? Is that... What? That's crazy. A couple of action skill things. A couple, a whole bunch of experience cards. Okay, potato seed recipe, HD wood splitter mod schematic, and otherwise, okay, scrap that, and I'll probably just put the rest of it away. Let's just crank out all of these experience cards and see if we gain any levels. <laughs> Holy crap, that's awesome. And we've got five skill points from that, two from that one, another two, two more, and the last two card, and there's a skill point uh, one skill point card right there as well as the action skill for medicine and action skill for archery wow that was quite a productive horde we're up to level 84 now and let's check our skill points 22 skill points to spend holy crap so yeah i think i'll be going into like crafting skill for the handguns and i don't know if there's much else that i really need to spend points in right now or not i'll have to take a look at that so anyway why don't you take first watch here and i'll get everything organized and we'll pick things up in a couple of hours but otherwise my friends and fellow survivors i think we can call it a night With the horde out of the way, and after a successful proof of concept for the base in the battle against the walkers last night, our attention again turns to the hunt for Temkin. We have the location of a psycho base, but we're poorly equipped to handle an assault on a fortified position. So finding some explosives is our top priority, either at Trader Jens, the buried weapon stash to the north, or the new trader compound to the northeast. And if that fails, we'll have to conduct a search of our own. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. Okay, so now that it's daylight, let me survey the damage here. Really not a lot of damage. I think the most important thing to get the Horde base completely fortified for the next round is going to be, yes, shoring up these things. Because what happens is they claw one block off and they're able to jump right up after that. So kind of replacing this whole belt, like right here, with cobblestone is probably the best thing we can do to prevent that. And then I'll make it, uh, eventually it'll be three blocks tall with like crenellations that are four blocks tall. Ow. Okay, we're looking good on food and water and I'd like to travel light today. I think actually, do I have my mini bike? I, I picked my mini bike up, so let me grab that. Just a matter of, oh, <laughs> I've got a couple here. One of them has fuel, the other does not. So I guess I gotta just bring some fuel with me just in case. Okay, and I was having a look. I can make a drawbridge, a powered one in fact, although I don't know how to make the non-powered version. So 
I've got some pretty advanced knowledge, but the more primitive stuff, I have no idea how that works, apparently. We will have to do some iron mining to do that, though, but I think we've done enough, like, base construction type of stuff for one week. I'd like to get out and see the world a little bit. Okay, and of course, yep, that was the one that had no gas in it, so refuel it up, and we'll stash the fuel away. Now, let's head over and do these quick couple of tier 2 quests. I should be able to do this on my own today. We'll just have to be careful if there's a horde that comes by. We'll have to try to make a very quick escape. And also, park the minibike in a location where they can't sabotage it. Okay, here's the spot. Let's hit the quest. I don't think I've ever been here before. What is this place? Nice door. Just gonna check the mail first though. Pipe bomb schematic, scrap that. And motion sensor schematic, I suppose we'll probably need that eventually. Really just so that we can make the turrets. Okay, let's see if we can do this nice and quietly. Okay, I got the riffraff cleared out. Oh, this was the doggy daycare, wasn't it? Oh, cool. Oh, that was like a little doggy door for them to come in and out of. I'm imagining some dogs back there though. I can't see any right now. Oh, what is this anyway? Is this like one of the toys? Yes, nice. Grandpa's awesome sauce there. Oh yes, another door going that way. I would imagine probably the dogs can make it through there too. Okay, give me this polymer. Okay, I think we're all looted up in here. Moving on to the outdoor area, I think. Holy crap, oh! Ah, no! Just trying to throw a pipe bomb at him. <laughs> Hit him over the head with it. Holy crap, here we go. Hello there. Ooh, ow. Is that it? I guess I'll take the rotten flesh and the bones off of them. Golden toilet paper. Oh my goodness, how much is that worth? 660 dukes, wow. An iron sports trophy, that is worth 88 dukes. Wow, making some money today. Okay, I'm imagining a similar scenario on this side, yes. I wonder though if I can just do this, and then uh, that. Wakey, wakey. Then are you all gonna come to the door or are you just gonna be all weird about this? It looks like the ladder. That will probably do it though. Oh boy, yes, fire. Oh crap, lots of fire and I'm on fire and I've got some coffee, drink it, <laughs> splash it on your face. And uh, attracted some attention to myself, it looks. Area is clear though, so we are all set. Was there a main loot or? It looks like there's a rooftop, but we're gonna have to be quick about it because everything's on fire now. Oh, hey, look at this, a blueprint pile with some regular blueprints. I think that's for making, what was that? For like, um, kind of like randomized packages of mods. I just wanna jump up here and see, is there anything in here that I've, I've missed? Oh no, this was just a big vaulted ceiling. Well. I guess there's no loot here then. Fair enough, let's check the map. We are on to the next one, right over there. I'll meet you there. Ah yes, Z Bliss, made by Z Bark. Z Bark is a fan of the channel, probably watching right now, so shout out to Z Bark. Working on my shotgun skill this morning. Hello? Oh, screamer, hello. Yeah, it's nice to kind of not bring the soldiers with me. Although we might get ambushed by a whole group of psychos or other raiders, right? But yeah, I need to kind of get my skills up and it's hard to do that when soldiers are kicking everyone's ass for me. Still looking for a college jacket. A black cowboy hat, not exactly my style. Oh geez, this ATM, ah. I'm so bad at the this new lock picking thing. I, got, I was pretty good at it when I was playing Undead Legacy, but this one is much more challenging. Ah, see, I broke my lockpick. I think that was, no, that was not my last one though. Yeah, that, I just broke it again and that was my last one. Damn. Well, this is a tier two, so it should be a tier two chest upstairs somewhere, so we can just use these. We'll have to shop for some more when we're out today. Oh yes, and the whole fire thing. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for that. Careful now. Yes, just maybe put this in a position where it's not gonna touch the floor or the staircase, hopefully. Okay, we're good, we're in. $951, well worth it. That should pay for a couple more stacks of time charges right there. 
<laughs> I love finding screamers in POIs. Although in my experience so far, the scream doesn't seem to send any extra zombies your way. So it's more there just for like, you know, startling purposes for atmosphere. I just like, you know, the scream. It's nice to hear it once in a while in a, a non-life-threatening manner. And you can get steel out of these if you're willing to sit here for forever and, and break it down. I'm not really... I don't really have the patience for that right now. Ah, yes, here we go. Oh, crap! She got a smack on me. She heard me talking about her from downstairs. Come on, college jacket. Oh, cowboy boots. Ooh, battery bank schematic. That is helpful. A weapons bag here, just a couple parts in it. A lot of lab workers and a lot of stripper zombies in here. <laughs> kind of an awkward combination. Must have just been like a ladies club or something. Proper ladies, not zombies like Arlene. She's not allowed here. This is too upscale for her. Ah, oh, gentlemen's section over here. Oh, there's a weapon safe there. Well, I wouldn't exactly classify Thomas as very much of a gentleman. Or like a- oh jeez, what the hell happened to him? He was offended, he just totally glitched out of this dimension. Oh, that's an interesting new filing cabinet, I do like that. Adds a little bit of variety to the world. Now this is kind of a problem here. No lockpicks, no time charges. We're gonna have to get into this the good old-fashioned way. There we go, it took a while, but finally got into it. Let's go ahead and put the looting goggles on. Check this, and we'll just keep them on so we can check the main loot in a second. Night Stalker book here. Bows do more damage at night. This one is never encumbered at night, but we've already read it. And a machete. Nice. That'll replace the bone knife, I'm sure. All right. We are on to what should be the main loot. Oh, there's the satchel right there. And that's going to be over here in this section. Probably some more zombies in here as well. 24 skill points to spend. Oh, my. I don't even think there's 24 things I can buy right now with skill points. What are you doing here, Darlene? Okay, second to last room in here, and is this unlocked? How do I unlock that, anyway? Oh, I think there was a key box in the back room that I missed. This one right here? Yes. There we go. It's open now. Just nice and quietly, though. Oh! Oh! Oh, jeez! Ow! Batter up, baby! I think that's it right there. Yep, here's our loot. Got a mining book here. Chance to get rare gems. Ooh, a quad storage pocket mod. Didn't even know that was a thing. Well, I'll put that on immediately. Okay, by putting that on, that should have unlocked these four slots here. Let's just refresh the inventory and yeah, nice. Crack a book box here. Structural brace mod. Very nice. Anything else in here? Not really. Okay, well, with that, we've completed our two quests for the day. Let's head back to the trader and see if there's any good reward for us and do some shopping. And then we'll kind of figure out a plan from there. Oh, hey, hey, look at this. Extra loot bag hanging out here on the spikes for some vitamins. Damn it. That was not what I was hoping for there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Billy Bob, Jay, and Jen. Congratulations. What do we got here? Was not looking for Molotovs. Looking for dynamite, really. Do you have any of that? She does. She has dynamite right there. Excellent. Let's supplies. drink Here's that awesome sauce that I found earlier. And while I'm here, I'm just going to sell her some of the junk that I've gathered today. Okay, and since I've got it, I'm going to take these... Where were they? Contact grenades, time charges, and the dynamite. Okay, power attacks will increase the chance of knocking down the enemy. That's a good batter up book. And Billy Bob over here. Oh, okay. Um, neither one of these are very appealing. Which one can I sell for more? Iron pickaxe it is. Oh, and we've completed the tier quest thing. So, oh, cobblestone shapes. That's the one right there. Yes, give me those. How about a special job to the Northeast? We're heading there anyway. That'll just hopefully get us a little bit more experience when we get there. New job, I don't know, Good fetch to the south, survivor house. Talents. Have we done that one before? I don't know, we'll check it out. He's got a bunch more concrete mix, but uh, we're a little bit kind of broke-ish. Let's take like 500 of it, and I think that'll do it. Okay, so it is 1921. How about, with the time that's remaining in the day, okay, that's probably, hmm. Let's go scout out that missing high tier weapon supplies, see how long it takes us to get there, and if we can just dig it up before nightfall, that would be great because it's in the wasteland. If not, we'll kind of return back and we'll dig up that buried supply mission. Oh, jeez. Oh, taking contact. Uh-oh. That was an SMG, too. That could really, really hurt us. Okay, let's see if I can just get eyes on who that was. Is that the one? Yes, over there by that car. Oh, there's a couple of them. In fact, oh boy. Um... Was this maybe a horde? 
Oh crap, yep. Okay, there's this is not something I can do all by myself. Let's um just move on. Oh yeah, a whole bunch of them. There's zombies. Okay, there's another one coming from behind that tree. Ow, ow. Okay, goodbye. I had to say they're kind of scouting out the base here. They're probably not brave enough to launch a full-on attack given the fortifications that we have now, but still have to be careful, especially when we're wandering out all by ourselves. Oh jeez. Yes. Oh, yep, there's a psycho right there. Okay, just hide over here. I think it's a woman by the sound of it. Ow! Whoa! Son of a bitch, get out of here. Okay, looks like we're both contending against these zombies here. Come on, man. There she is. Okay, let's just rush her. Hello there. Get the fuck out of here. Where's all your friends anyway? Okay, with that out of the way, let's get the mini bike and pull it up to the dig site. I don't think... What are you doing here? I don't think we're gonna have the time to do it, but we can at least get started. And then we'll just see how many zombies are around and decide if we can stay here and dig quietly or if it's too risky. Okay, wasn't this the spot right here? This is the spot I have marked. It's around here somewhere. Yes, right here. Okay, let's start digging. Whoops, barrel white. Yikes. Oh, hello there. Ow. Ooh, painful. Very painful. Oh, there's freaking bubbles as well. I feel like I shouldn't shoot guns at this time of night. Then again, I have kind of little choice. Okay, we're good. Let's just patch ourselves up, drink some coffee, and get to work here. Oh crap, we've got more gunfire. Yes, yes, I see a psycho. Hopefully they don't see me. See him? He's right there. I can just barely make him out in the distance. Sounds like he has a pistol as well. And uh, I just saw the radius shift and it was kind of maybe right underneath where we are right now. So let's just keep digging and see if we can uncover it very quickly. Okay, again, it just shifted right where we are. We might be right on top of it. Okay, it is officially nightfall, so we have to be prepared to book it if we have to. Okay, we had another radius reduction right where we are. It's got to be right here somewhere. Okay, that psycho is uh, shooting again. Hopefully that's going to draw zombies in that direction. He's still quite a ways off there, though it does sound like he's getting closer. He might see the fire from my shovel here, or... Maybe he's shooting at my vehicle at this point? I really don't know. Oh no, he's like, there's a whole bunch of rads over there. Oh my. Okay, that might keep him occupied. Yes, 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 I found the supply cache here. Oh my, compound bow SMG. Okay, it is definitely time to get the hell out of here. Look at this, it's freaking a psycho and rads everywhere. All right, oh, he's shooting at me now. Oh my, look at the rads here. I did not realize there would be so many rads in the wasteland at night. Oh my goodness, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, look at this. They're bleeding over into the regular temperate zone as well. Wow. Close call. That could have been way worse. So on the way back tonight, I'm going to go touch base with the new trader out here to the northeast. Well, it's east from where we are now, but we'll see what's going on there. We'll introduce ourselves. And this might be sort of like a launching point for our mission into the wasteland, which at this point... I don't see why we can't just do that tomorrow. And it looks like along the way I can just raid some of these supply caches and see if there's anything else that'll be useful to us. Wow, look at this place. Rolling up on the next trader here. Wow, this is so cool. Oh my goodness. This must be generating a ton of heat here. <laughs> okay, let's head inside and see what's going on. Like there's some stuff for us to loot here. Anything special? No, probably not. Okay, we got Billy Bob here. That gives us a little bit of XP and some more XP because we had that mission twice and we can grab a job. Ooh, tier three's over here. Sure, might as well get some kind of a job from him. Oh, look at this. Class vending machines. Class vending machine covert. Class vending machine technician. It looks like there's just an assortment of items that may be relevant to that class, I suppose. Oh yeah, look at this, some repair kits, some military armor. It's really expensive though. Okay, were there more on this side? Oh yes, okay, this is the survivalist vending machine. Bunch of food in here. And this is the soldier vending machine. Oh, look at this, tungsten club. Wow, tactical assault rifle, gold tip knife, tungsten machete, weapon repair kits. Let me get a couple of those because I think I, I don't have any and I probably need to have it, uh, some on me at all times. Okay, and the tradesman over here, there's an auger, some concrete mix. This is uh, seemingly quite a bit cheaper too than buying it from the trader, you know, as is usual when you're buying stuff out of a vending machine, it's usually cheaper. Got a nice steel pickaxe here. 
tempting, but I don't want to spend all my money in case I find a soldier on the way home or something. Cobblestone, though, I'll take that. That's cheap. And that whole stack of clay is super cheap, too. Wow. Give me. Well, this is fun. We gotta come out here more often. I like this place. Trader J, I, I suppose I can get for. something from you, right? Clear zombies to the south? Espresso yourself? Sure. You. Definitely, like, too much light in this place. <laughs> you don't get a good frame rate when you're around too many lights. Okay, I can get a job from Joel, but honestly, he's just doing the tier one, so I don't know how much we'll focus on this. I will just take a peek at his inventory, though. Oh, he's got a uh, soldier class fragment. Wow, totally taking that. That puts us up to five. Also, the reflex sight mod schematic. Ah, not worth Looks two grand to me, quite here. honestly. Okay, I think let's check upstairs. Oh, this just goes uh, up to the rooftop, and there's a lot of fighting going on out here. I think it's just zombies and wolves, though. Indeed. Yes, let's leave. Ah, goodbye. Holy crap! I just saw a rocket launcher. Okay, super duper careful. Is this a soldier or is this like a whisperer? There it is right there. It is. It's gotta be a soldier. It's freaking a soldier. Okay, buddy. Don't hurt yourself there. Don't hurt me either. Don't hurt the bike. Okay, I'm gonna park over here. We're gonna sort this stuff out here. Oh, thank you. Take that and... Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. Over here. Come here. Come here. No. I can't hire him because he's in combat. Ah! Okay, there we go. Ted Sheckler! I am interested in hiring you, buddy. 3,000 dukes. I have a feeling you're gonna be doing a lot of collateral damage. Yeah. Oh, jeez! Dude! Okay, get on the bike with me, please. Yeah, we're gonna have to come up with some kind of a plan with this guy here. <laughs> oh, boy. But he's gonna be perfect for the raid tomorrow. Yeah, there's another soldier over there. And he's got an AK-47 from what it sounded like. However, I can't afford to hire him, so we're gonna have to move on. Okay, buddy. You gotta be careful with that kind of stuff. Oh, nice. More dynamite. Ow! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to park him, like, way outside of the base. Okay, we made it back home, but I'm very much not wanting to put Ted Sheckler anywhere where he can do significant damage. So, Ted, why don't you... Can I put you in this little shack here? Come over here. No, oh, that did not work. Ted, come on, man. Maybe in the storage container over here. This way, please. No, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna park him way down here on this road. Okay, grab him and stay where I'm standing. Okay, that's okay. That, yes, do all the shooting you wanna do out here. I'll be back for you in a little bit. Jeez, he almost blew up the graveyard. What an asshole. All right, all we need to do is basically get stocked up for the battle, grab all the soldiers, and then we're heading out for the day. Oh yes, the other thing we're gonna do is we're going to craft the, I don't know what it's called, the class, we're gonna use the class fragments to craft the class paper. There we go. Yes, craft me that. Oh, um, what happened there? I didn't actually make anything. Because it, it gave me this class vending machine, but I don't see that it gave me anything else. Is this all I got? I mean, I'm not complaining. This is awesome. Let's just put that down somewhere temporarily. Can I... Ooh, I can't pick that up, can I? Uh, well, <laughs> I guess it lives there now. Well, that's cool. I get this... Oh, my own class vending machine like we saw at the trader. I get that for my house. Whoa, a P90! That tungsten club. How's that comparing? Oh my god, that's way better than the baseball bat. And this will restock every day with more ammo and more... Oh, gold-tipped baseball bat? How does that compare? Oh, that's way better than my bat, too. Damn, Remington 870. Oh my, this is awesome. Okay, we'll get into more of that stuff later on, though. Okay, we did get a present. I deactivated the Christmas event, just uh, FYI to you all. But there's... I guess there's still some stuff left over. <laughs> All right, so I got just about everything I think I'll need. I'm gonna bring some power-ups with us, like Recog, Painkillers, Energy Pills, Atom Junkies. I got the Mossy Brew in case we need some stamina regen. Let's grab up all the soldiers. All of the soldiers are coming with me, except for uh, whoever it is that has the club. I don't think that uh, I want to put him too much in harm's way, right? Because he really... He's not going to be able to do a lot offensively, more of a defensive guy. Plus, Herbivore, you got to hold down the base here. Make sure that uh, the Whisperers don't come by or anything like that. If they do, take cover, hide, get away with your life. Everybody else, follow me. All right, I've got everyone. Let's head down here, hop on the bike, and we'll go get our new rocket launcher friend. And we'll meet up probably close to the wasteland where we'll stage up and come up with a plan. 
grabbing up a couple of these supply crates on the way, just in case there might be something in there. I didn't really check. I'm a little worried about Rocket Launcher Man over here blowing me up, so we're gonna move quickly. Okay. Oh, look at the glass papers in that one. Wow, we'll be going through that a little bit later. Okay, looks like we got one more, and then we're at the border of the wasteland. Medium weapons, it says. Oh, junk turrets, wow. Interesting, okay. Okay, here we are. Let's stage up. Whoa, man, <laughs> not necessary. A lot of fun to watch though. All right, so from here, the plan is to, let's take a look at the map. We're in this like protrusion of the forest biome. We're gonna head straight north. How far is this gonna be? That will be 0.7 kilometers straight due north. We'll maybe circle the area, make sure we get a good lay of the land, and then we'll come up with an assault plan once we get there. We're gonna be as quiet as we possibly can going through here. I would like to kind of fly under the radar, so to speak, so that the psychos don't know that we're coming. I don't know if they have radio capability or not, but worst case scenario is that they radio back and uh, something happens to Temkan before we get there, if he's even here. The element of surprise is crucial to our success here. Okay, we are coming up on some kind of a military compound here, which is interesting. And some zombie body parts poking out through the side. There might be some good supplies here. We might have to consider coming back here at some point. Oh, that is a psycho brute with an assault rifle. We're just gonna bypass him though. We don't wanna draw his attention. I don't think he saw us, but that's just a reminder that we are in psycho territory for sure. And that is it right there. I can see the front gate. Okay, let's circle around back and see if there's maybe a better approach than attacking directly from the front. We've got more tactical assault rifle fire. We also have desert vulture fire coming from inside that compound. Okay, let's hide down here in this little underpass. Okay, everybody sneak down, and hopefully they don't know that we're here. The compound is directly over that wall right there. What I'm gonna do right offhand here is I'm going to take a first aid kit, and I'm gonna take all of our buffs and power-ups. Okay, that should do for now. Oh, jeez, I hear the psychos. Okay, let's change over to explosive arrows. All right, my friends, here's the plan. I'm going to breach a hole through the wall, and then we're gonna rush inside very quickly, take cover, Lay down suppressing fire. Careful with the hard sand buildings. Temcam might be inside. Don't be a hero, guys. And remember, smooth is quick, quick is fast. Let's just poke our heads up here and see what we can see. I don't see any psychos. They probably are just inside the wall. They're not doing a great job at covering themselves. Okay, so we're gonna huck some dynamite straight out there, straight to the wall. Get a nice pile of it ready for him. Hopefully there's a couple on the other side of the wall that are a little bit too close. All right, and then we're gonna get one little cache over here of pipe bombs. Oh, there was one right there. Okay, quickly now, let it rip. There we go. Oh, geez, I got shot immediately. All right, my friends, get up there. Oh, they're coming to us. Oh my God, it's a counter attack. Let's go, let's go, 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 go. All right, taking cover here behind the wall. Here we go. Oh my God, they're rushing out. All right, put this fire out here briefly. Okay, that's not exactly working. Okay, inside we go. How are we looking, boys? We looking good here? Where are they? Oh my God, they're everywhere. There we go. Oh my goodness. Well, that should take care of that one. Here we go. Oh my God, I'm almost dead. Here, hide and take my painkiller. Guys, defend. Okay, looks good. I think we hit them by surprise. They're completely scattered. Ah, uh, yeah, here's one right here. Here, have a pipe bomb. She's stuck on the barbed wire. Ah, there you go. Oh, jeez, I just got melee attacked. Here we go, we got a couple more. Oh my god, rocket launcher. Please, guys, be careful. Oh my god, Deanna the banana has died. Oh, here we go. People are on fire. Here, put them out. Oh, Ted Sheckler's gonna die. Devlin Moore almost died. Oh my God, we've lost several soldiers here. I think uh, I think we're clear though. Okay, guys, come over here. Everybody stay where you are standing. And Catlo, last one, stay here. Defend this position. There might be more psychos out, outside the compound that are gonna counterattack. Oh my God, what did you do? Okay, quickly now, I'm gonna see if I can check, like go door to door. Oh, this is broken too. Can I repair it? Oh, I don't have a tool repair kit. Just run inside. Oh, there's like nothing in here anyway. Loot bag, take it and run. Wouldn't mind having that, um, that... Oh, look, at there's crates over there. Okay, can I run and get those real quick? Okay, stand on top of the fire... Uh, the <laughs> cash register here. Okay, just grab everything. I'm in a bit of a hurry now. Yes, run outside. Check this room. Okay, 
No one's in here. Check the loot. Okay, and get these boxes open. There was a tool repair kit there. I could repair the fire extinguisher. Worst case scenario. Looks like the fire is tracking along the floor floorboards there a little bit. Okay, what's in here? Okay, automotive supply. Ooh, new fire extinguisher. Chainsaw. Whoops. Okay, that looks to be everything for that building there. We have an airdrop coming in. Let's just stand on your head, please. Okay, directly southeast. Should still be in the wasteland. We can hit that up on the way home. Okay, like a medical bay here. What do we got? Not a whole lot. Some first aid stuff. I, d I saw an SMG schematic there. We'll go through all of that in a little bit. Kind of racing against the fire right now. I am officially encumbered, so start stashing stuff in here. Okay, still no sign of Temcam. Let's check these tents. Yep, nothing in here, and this one got blown to smithereens there. Bathrooms here, nothing important. We got another psycho outside, I can hear him. There he is! Holy crap, auto shotgun too! Oh, there's several of them out there. Okay, take him out, shoot him in the knee! Ow! Jeez! There we go, got him! Oh, here he comes! There we go! That is all I got. <laughs> it certainly is. Oh my goodness, that's a super corn. Give me that. Okay, no evidence of Temkim anywhere. What about this tower here? Does look as though, oh, what is that? Uh, guys, cover me. I'm gonna go down and check this out. Get a gun ready though. There might be anything down there. All right, let's go. Scuba mission down here. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, they've got like a forced labor concentration camp thing going on here. Oh my goodness. Got contact up top side. That is definitely Temcam's shoes. I would recognize them anywhere. There's blood on them. There's blood on his clothes. And this is definitely his bedroll. They must have had him down here doing like uh, crafting or something for him. Well, anyway, I'll have their extra supplies and then we're going to get out of here. Yep, lots of gunfire going on topside too. Everybody okay up here? I only heard one of you returning fire. Couldn't have been anything too serious. What was up there in this thing? Oh, not much. Just another bedroll. Who knows how many prisoners they've kept here in the past. But it does appear as though they've moved Temcam. Alright, I've harvested until I cannot harvest anymore. Let's check out here because I'm definitely hearing more activity in the area. There's a brute there. There's a screamer somewhere over there. I think she's trapped behind that wall. Let's see if we can track down this brood over here. He might be going for our vehicle, quite honestly. Get out of here. Come on, guys. Let's get him. Maybe we can take him prisoner and see if he knows where the, there's another location for us. Get him. Got him. All right, boys. Tie him up and bring him with us. Oh, we got a... Oh, my God. We got three more. They must have been, like, counterattacking us. All right, boys. Let's fly up in here and get him. Ow. Oh, crap. I just want to get good placement for our soldiers. Here we go. Let them rip. There we go. One more. Holy crap, there's a whole bunch of them out here. Holy crap, man. That takes care of that. No, it does not. There's still several. Good job, guys. I see one more, though, over there. Another brute. Here, got a good backsplash for the grenades there. There we go. Come on. Oh, he's got an M60. Careful with him. There we go. He's down. Looks like that was probably their commander right there. All right. We've taken down their base and we've defeated their counterattack. Let's go home. Oh, we still can. And on the way there, we're going to hit up that airdrop. I'll meet you there. Okay, here we are rolling up on the airdrop. All right, clear the area, my friends. I'm gonna put some stuff away and see what we get here. Actually, just make sure I have the proper eye goggles on. There we go, loot bonus. Oh, I can hear, oh crap, it's a freaking psycho. Ah, ambush. Get him, holy shit. All right, whoa, <laughs> holy crap. That was a lot of good loot there. And while we're here, don't I have a couple? I have some like flares. So I have these supply flares for food and drink. 
And I'm going to save those because I might be hungry or thirsty someday and I might need that. But uh, did I find any more of those? Okay, not that I have... Oh, uh, several over here. Oh, here we go. Okay, yes. Give me those three. Let's see what a, an ammo flare does. Okay, wait. What do I have to do here? Right. It's, uh, it's not working. So with this supply flare, you can spawn it by facing... Uh, empty spot on the ground and left clicking. So, okay, empty spot on the ground and left- Oh! There we go! Health and armor supply crate and it's sealed and my axe is broken. I should have a repair kit somewhere in my inventory. <laughs> Alright. Well, best to do it in the wasteland, I suppose. There we go. Let's try another one. Yep, general supply crate and ammo supply crate. That's a crucible schematic right there. Not bad. Lucky looter. Find more ammunition and loot and a treasure map for health supplies, which I might as well read right now since I'm in the middle of the wasteland. Get that. And that spawned probably down in the temperate biome, which is fine, really. It should help supplies. And ammo. Not bad. Okay. That'll do for now. Everybody onto the mini bike and let's go home. Holy shit! What is that? Oh my god! Guys! Bail out! Kill it! Oh my. It's a griffin. Wow. It didn't have any feathers either, which I find kind of unusual. Okay, hopefully we can find some supply caches along the way as well. We want to just kind of completely stock up on loot as much as possible. Ooh, also, maybe get a little bit of iron, do you think? Oh, there's a supply cache over there. Small weapons. Just some ammo. Another one up ahead here. Medium weapon. Oh, crap. What happened there? Oh, tack assault rifle. And I'm getting stabbed. Ammo supply crate. Ooh, nice. But we are getting compl- Okay, do I need <laughs> carrot seeds and apple seeds right now? Yeah, whatever. All right, so yes, at this point we are 100% filled up on loot, so I'll just meet you back at the base. We'll get everything organized and we'll come up with the project for the night. Oh, jeez. Did you see that? Someone's got a rocket launcher up ahead. I'm just gonna stop and grab these real fast. And, ooh, that's a decent wrench. Yeah, we don't need that tank top. And, oh, it's a soldier. It's another soldier. Well, I'll run up and say hello and introduce myself. Who is this? Snitty. Snitty, are you by chance willing to accept a discount? No, no, and I don't really have any money. Crap. Well, Snitty, perhaps we will cross paths again someday, although honestly with the rocket launcher, I don't really want you anywhere near my base. <laughs> if I could bring you for like an offensive mission, that's one thing, but there's really no utility in having a rocket launcher at home, especially because I think they're using the high explosive rounds and not the frag rounds, which is really unfortunate. All right, here we go. Home sweet home. Now begins the long organization process. All right, just having a quick snack there, and I'll go over some of the things. There was stuff that I had to scrap and read along the way just for inventory management purposes, but we've got a Lucky Looter book for more medical supplies and loot. We have this Duke's Casino Coin Bundle Schematic, which I don't exactly know what that is. I'll scrap the second one. So apparently I can make a bundle of Duke's Casino tokens if I have 20,000. Also, it's saying that I... Oh, I must have a whole bunch of money, like in one of these boxes here. Right, because I had two stacks and I didn't want to take both of them with me. So yeah, there's the rest of my money. I can finally <laughs> do some recruiting. Fear recipe, SMG schematic, hunter mod schematic, experience card for 20k. We have a new ratchet that will replace the wrench. I actually found a crucible somewhere. I thought I had found the crucible schematic, but it is the crucible itself, which means we should... Well, no, I don't... Wait, does it go in here? And then what does that do? Oh, it's required to craft forged steel, steel arrowheads, and a bulletproof glass. But forged steel is also still locked behind some skill point thing. And I've spent a bunch of the skill points. We're down to five again. But um, unfortunately, we are still unable to craft good storages. That's player level 100, which maybe tomorrow we can get that. But anyway, for tonight, I think everything is pretty much put away. Also, we get this concrete shape. Gather the materials needed to craft 15 concrete shapes. Some kind of a challenge might give us some extra XP or something. I'm not sure. Anyway, the soldiers are posted up in their respective corners and Devlin there is just kind of hanging out. So we should be safe to kind of work out here in the base area. And what I want to see if I can do is collapse this whole thing. We talked about undermining it before and I'm going to go through with that plan today and see if we can take this thing down. And now that I think about it, we've got an auger for this job. Probably be a lot faster than the shovel. 
Even though I kind of would like to work on my shoveling skill, I wonder if augering is also a skill. Ah, power tools is a thing that I need to level up. I just saw the, the action skill go up there. Okay, it is a slow process here, but I think we are making some progress. Okay, here's the view from underneath. I just collapsed out a little portion here. It was kind of like the base of whatever this is here, this trough. And if I can just kind of squeak over here, I think we're completely disconnected. Maybe we're maybe we're attached somewhere by like stuff like this. Just maybe break a few more of these things and see what happens. Okay, well, there was that. What about this thing here? Okay, well, not, ooh, maybe that a little bit. What about this one? And it just cracked morning. Nope, <laughs> that wasn't the one. Oh, what about this stuff over here? Oh, there it was right there. Nice. Okay, that may have called in a screamer, so let's just hop into position here. We'll have some breakfast and then we'll get ready for the ceremony for the fallen from last night. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. This morning, we honor the fallen. Despite a successful raid on the psycho compound, many lives were lost during the assault. Hobie, Deanna the Banana, and Ted Sheckler. Rest in peace, my friends. Today, we should look to the defenses and work on the perimeter wall. So the POD will be to make a quick trader run then raid the local hardware store for tools and materials. Then there's an interesting raid I'd like to conduct before heading back to the base for some extensive digging, mining, and construction. You watch my back and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. All right, so before we get started today, I just noticed that I'm quite hungry. So I am gonna run back here and see if we have any good food to eat. Okay, there's just some gunfire over here. There might've been a wandering horde that came by. Just got that one zombie left there. Why is she beating on that like transformer box? Kill her. She fell into Ted Sheckler's crater over there. <laughs> we will always remember Ted Sheckler, the guy who basically blew up the entire landscape around here. Yeah, see, Catlow has no idea what the hell he was up to either. All right, let's get some food going. Right, we need to work on the bacon and eggs. I believe we needed to make 10 of those, so we'll start working on that, and I have to sit here in the window while that's going. Okay, that was the last one, and we didn't complete the quest yet. We might have a couple left to do. So sausage and eggs, I saw that we could cook those, but we're going to save the eggs so we can make the bacon and eggs for the quest and blah, blah, blah. And I noticed that the hobo stew also, it requires quite a lot of vegetables, and I would probably want to save those for seeds. The whole seed situation not looking terribly good. Okay, so now that we're fed, I think we'll just leave all of the soldiers here today, and hopefully we won't live to regret that. But I feel like we just, we move a little bit more smoothly and efficiently if we don't have them around. Got a random zombie loot bag out here with some mocha coffee. Yeah, I'll take that right now. Thank you very much. All right, let's hop on the bike and head over to the trader, do the big sell-off and see if there's anything we could buy. And then we're going to be heading to the hardware store after that. Meet you there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here. Yeah. Just switching over this shovel. I noticed that it's quite a bit better than the one we were using. The red, I think the red is tier six. So this is like the max quality for these tools. Okay, got a nice new shovel. And I brought with me today a grandpa's awesome sauce. We'll take that. And a grandpa's learning elixir so that we can get a little bit more XP for the sell off here. Because you usually get a lot of XP. You get like one XP per duke that you make. and. We stand to make, I don't know, maybe like 20,000 dukes here. Ooh, don't sell that. That is, uh, that's something I want to keep there. <laughs> Put that way down there. All right, let's see how we do. Okay, not bad. Yeah, we, we're up to 26,000 with a couple more things to sell to Bob over here. Billy Bob, I should say. And that's it right there. Up to 26K. Okay, let's see if he has anything good to buy. I'll just flat out take the cement. That's a good use of money right there. Oh, the Portland concrete mix. So this is exclusive to the tradesman class. It's a little, I think it's a step above like the regular concrete mix. So I guess we'll explore that a little bit more later. We're not even into the concrete stage right now. So uh, we're, we're not too worried about that just yet. Oh, and twine. Twine, is twine, in, can I make twine? Safe. Okay, I can make twine and it's not terribly bad. Oh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> I had a little bit of double vision there for a second. Must be hungry or something. No, I just ate. Might be a little hyperglycemic. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my goodness, she's selling like reward point cards for skill points. Ooh. Nope, Sorry, don't want to spend my money right now. It. Saving it for soldiers. We got to stock back up and like regrow the army here. We're doing very poorly in that department after the big assault at the 
Psycho Fort. Whoa, three awesome sauces though. Might as well stock up on that, I suppose. And learn an elixir? Sure. Acid, take that. Oh, that's interesting. She's got the motorcycle handlebar schematic, so I wouldn't then have to spend a point into that, but that doesn't help us on the chassis front, so maybe just uh, hold off on that. Right, I think we're all set here. Let's head over to the hardware store now. Whoop, get a free loot bag on the way. All right, here we are rolling up on the spot. This is called Dwall's Home Hardware and Building Center. Sponsored by Working Stiff Tools, apparently. <laughs> uh, this is akin to basically a Home Depot, if you're familiar with that. It's a big hardware store chain in the United States. I suppose we just head in through, ooh, what's this over here? Aha, resource crates. Not too much in it, but it's free, so I'll take it. Oil shell too, that's not too bad. And ooh, four acid in there. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna search these towing trucks more often. What about the fancy sports car? It must have been the, the store owner, or the store manager or something over here. Okay, anyway, stash what I can in here. We'll be back for that in a little bit. Ooh. Although, we don't want this to get destroyed, so. <laughs> ah, crap. If a whisperer comes by here, they'll definitely destroy it. So we'll just have to keep a very keen ear out for someone wrecking stuff. And there's some more boxes over here. And uh, don't these give you pipes if you, what do you have to do? Do you have to wrench it or do you just have to like whack it with a pickaxe or how does this all work? Yeah, you just get a few pipes. I don't really think that we need pipes that bad. If we do, we can just come back for them later on. Yeah, look, I have to help this guy out here. You are just too annoying. Get the hell out of here. Oh, here, I've done it now. All right, into the store we go. These doors are nice, man, that's cool. Why can't the regular game have new doors like that? Can I take that plant with me? That's a cool plant. Oh yes, pick up the potted plant, nice. All right, let's get our stealth on with the bright, shiny, flaming arrows that I brought with me today. Now, if I recall, the flaming arrows are definitely not as good, ooh, screamer, not as good as the regular steel arrows because they don't have, I think it's the armor penetration, so there's really, no utility to using these other than the fact that they look way cooler. Whoa, big boy right there. I hardly noticed you. I thought you were a piece of garbage on the ground. Which basically now you are. Oh, I guess you get the burning effect. So, you know, that's that kind of helps make up for it. I feel like I've got most of the bottom floor cleared out and I found this ladder here and that's locked. So I might have to just break into this manually. Oh boy. I might have some help in a second here. Oh, it's unlocked now. There we go. Uh, yes, lock and load. And what do we got up here? Whole bunch of zombies. What a surprise. Ah. One more, <laughs> there we go. Ooh, looks like the main loot up here. All right, well, I guess we can start looting. I think I cleared out most of the store. I didn't go outside yet though. And is this is this wood here? Uh, ooh, yeah, ooh, this is all wood. Okay, so be careful with the time charges. In fact, I don't even know if I should use time charges on those ones down there. Okay, let's just see how this works here. And I don't know, <laughs> I don't know about the ones on the floor. Yeah, uh, okay, that worked. I'm a little leery about doing the ones on the bottom though. Might have to just do those manually. Okay, there we go. Get the proper set of eyewear on. Oh, I'm already wearing them. Good enough. And, ooh, HD mag extender mod. A great heist book here, learning how to craft the timed charges. That's nice. Hey, look at this, a steel hunting knife. That's cool. Nice. Not much in those though. Guess we can check the rest of these boxes. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. And a sniper book for 762 ammunition. I think it was high power, actually. 
Oh, dinghy accessories schematic. I don't know if I'll be crafting a dinghy anytime soon. Rubber ducky. Shotgun choke. Thirty-five oil. Oh my goodness. And we got sealed shipping crates here. Ooh, hidden stash. Whoa, oh my goodness. LED lights mod schematic? What the hell is that? Unclear right now. Okay, steel club. Okay, not as good as the steel baseball bat that I have, so we can safely scrap that. Ooh, a military helmet that already has a light on it. Wow. It's another hidden stash. Oh my goodness. A legendary sword. Oh, wow. Oh. That does so much more damage than the baseball bat. That needs to be changed immediately. Okay, gimme and ooh, that looks clean. Nice. What else we got here? Auto shotgun schematic, night vision goggles, tungsten gloves, a legendary shovel. I'm just assuming that that's gonna be doing far more damage than my old shovel. Indeed it is. Plus I can probably put the mods over onto it. Okay, and we've got, oh, Kevlar leg armor. Wow. Uh, yep, and we can scrap that and a 15,000 experience card. Okay, I've got to take a minute here and <laughs> switch everything over. Okay, uh, military helmet actually not better than the leather that I have right now, though. Kevlar pants on. Oh, and look at this legendary thing. I, I can put five mods onto it. Whoa, that is incredible. What's it look like? It looks like, oh, just like a really nice looking new shovel. Cool. That will help later when we have to do that big digging project back at the base. Couple of digging projects. What are you guys doing back here? Get the hell out of here. Test out my new sword. Whoa, that works good. Okay, so I think we're mostly clear down here. So I'm gonna start looting and see if there's anything good to find. It's mostly like tool shelves, I think, out here. Yeah, look at all the shelves we gotta go through. Guess the best way to do it, just start at one end and work my way to the other end. I should get a good amount of repair kits out of here, then it's mostly gonna be things like nails and wrenches and stuff like that. Ooh, I'm leveling up, I'm up to level 95 now. Plus, I, I'm increasing my scavenging skill a lot just by opening all these random containers. Nails, 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 and more nails. Oh, look at this! More nails. Ooh, pipes! That's exciting. Mechanical parts, cloth, tool parts, polymer. Jeez, I don't know if this is worth my time or not. Okay, well that's one half of the store. Over to the second half now, I suppose. Not that we're gonna find anything different on this half, but at least we've found most of the stackable items so far, so it's just a matter of like piling it all into the inventory. You know, I wish with the uh, the NPCs, I could just bring like a soldier with me and say, okay, loot this area. And they would go around and like get up all these like small containers and garbage on the ground and stuff like that. That would be a real good utility for, for them. Okay, woke up some zombies somewhere. I have to take care of that real fast. Yep, here they are. Just help them out there a little bit, open it up and let them have it. Anybody else back here? Holy, working stiff tools boxes. There's another big room full of those on the other side too. And that did not open this door. I heard a door open. It might have been that door back there. Holy crap, there's a whole bunch of them here. Okay, is this wood? No. Is this gonna work if I do this? Nope, they were blocked by the door. I feel like sometimes that does work. Like you can hit zombies on the other side of a door and then other times it does not work. Okay, they're just gonna have to work on that temporarily. I'm gonna go continue working on these things. In fact, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm all set back here. Right, let's see if we can... I, there was another way out way back here. Okay, got a trophy. Oh my god, more of these freaking things back here. Wow. Have I searched all these yet? What are these? Construction site boxes? Okay, little... Some different things you can get out of these. Like, okay, glue, that's good. The zombies... Yes, they did! They found their way in! Ooh, decapitation. Where's the rest of ya? Ah, here you are. Eat this. Whoop. That uses a little bit more stamina than I was expecting. Okay, well, this is the point where the inventory is all clogged up, so we need to start doing some management here. Just a whole nother smattering of these freaking boxes back here, or <laughs> these shelves. It's just not worth it, not worth the time now. I wanna go outside, or actually, there's another one of those um, working stiff tools rooms on this side. We'll hit the working stiff tools room on this side, and then we'll hit the working stiff tools room on that side. And then we'll head outside. Yep, this is the one right here. Okay, resource sealed shipping crates. And this has ooh, a supply flare. We can always use those when we get back home though.
Oh, there's another crucible there. Interesting. Oh, that's not the gun I wanted. Ah! Get out of here. I wanted to go out here and stash my bike. Oh, which is uh, already full of stuff. That's right, from this morning. Crap. Hello, friends. Ooh, chopped his freaking head off. Nice. You gotta be really careful with chopping heads off on YouTube these days. Even in games like this, I mean, <laughs> it's ridiculous, but like, people are getting their videos demonetized left and right, myself included, uh, just due to excessive violence that I guess advertisers don't want anything to do with, because God forbid some child sees me chop off a zombie's head with a fictitious sword and then goes and does it themselves, right? Aha, here we go, this is what we want. Okay, if anything today, we are making out really, really well on the repair kits, and I think that's a win in the end. I think the last indoor area was whatever's going on back here. This is like a storage room or something. A little bit more stuff in there, and there were some more boxes that were up there, I think. Another duck. Whoops, that was unopened, and <laughs> it will forever remain unopened. Right, okay, what's up here? A little bit more stuff. And it's officially nightfall, just all basic resources up here. Nothing's exciting so far. Aha, that one's a hidden stash right there. That's definitely not as exciting as the others that I had, though. All right, who's out here? Any zombies out here anywhere? Okay, we got a dice here. Oh, zombie here. Goodbye. I heard another one wake up over here. There we go. Take care of you, sir. Couple more, it sounds like. Oh, biker. Ooh, nice. And a boss loot bag. Ooh, with some fruit tea. And some salmon. Not, I don't know, not my combo, but I'll take it anyway. All right, so now I think it's just a matter of harvesting up some of these resources. This is what I really came for. When I drove by here a few days ago and I saw this, I was definitely wanting to get all this wood. We got wood, we got some bricks over there, cobblestone, lots of good stuff here. Wow, look at that, a Kevlar helmet right there. And a steel hoe and some food, which I'm hungry, so I'll take that right now, please. Thank you. Got a zombie in here we can take care of very quickly. Ooh, feral. Look out. Sword is nice, but uses quite a bit of stamina. Scratch that. I think there's another room over here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Is this cloth as well? Oh, yeah. We need to take all this cloth and all this cement. You know, that legendary shovel's not bad, but it uses so much stamina. I'm just, like, not in a position to, like, use that consistently. All right. I do declare that this place is totally clear, or at least 90% of it, minus all the, the shelves that I didn't search. So, anyway, let's get the hell out of here. All right, so everything's back, put away, and organized. There was one more raid that I wanted to do, so before we get too comfortable today, back here at the base, let's grab up some fuel, actually, to refuel the mini bike, and let's head out to this special spot that I encountered. I think it was, like, a couple of days in, like, one or two days into the playthrough here, and uh, I, I finally think that I'm ready to go take it on, so <laughs> I'll meet you there. Okay, I just pulled up a really nice loot bag there. I didn't want you to miss it. So that was like a treasure map and something else. But yeah, here we are here at the... Well, I don't know what you call this. Let's read this sign here. Face your fear and prevail in the dungeon of Dwal. Basement 5 is a boss. Basement 6 is a boss. And basement 7 is the loot. Recommended level 60 plus for level 96. And I'd like to be a level 100, so... Well, this is some kind of a fancy elevator here. This is about as far as I made it when I first stumbled across this place. I was like, yeah, we're gonna have to come back here later. <laughs> so, but here we are. Let's make sure we're locked and loaded. Yep, here we go. Okay, step right in. Oh, I should have brought some soldiers with me. <laughs> Great. Uh, well, we're level, you know, we're level 60 plus, right? We can do this. And um, what do I do now? Do I just... No, that's not the right way. I hit the control panel. Am I going down now? Oh, I should have brought some arrows with me as well. That probably would have helped. I might be able to get some stealth in here. Ooh, here we go. So this is the dungeon, is it? Oh, excuse me. I'm not finished with this floor yet. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Um, Should be able to manage here pretty well. Oh, here we go. We triggered them already. Let's do this. Yeah, these are all just regular soft zombies. Except I'm out of stamina already. That's okay. 
Okay, give me some room here. Okay, gonna refrain from the power attack on this thing. It drains my stamina like no other. Why not work on our shotgun skills? There we go, he leveled up once, only got three more to go. Action skill for fist weapons, sure. And let's just read the treasure map while we're right here. And I will just check the map to see where that was. Okay, way off to the southwest. And fruit tea, that's gonna last me three minutes. We'll wait on that one. We might need that one a little bit later. Ooh, look at the food though. This might help, yeah, mega crush, nice. Oh, and we're also starving, so hopefully there's more food piles in here somewhere. And could I get anything? Oh, we're like low on pipe bombs too? Holy crap, I'm very poorly prepared for this. At least there's some extra first aid there. Okay, anything sneaky back there? Ooh, 20,000. Wow, that must be tungsten right there. Okay, here we go. Open this up and a new elevator. Okay, so it must be like, oh right, because you'll want to like switch sides. You gotta get through the zombies to get to the next level. That makes sense. Okay, we're going down now. And it's not one of those elevators where the back door opens. Those are very awkward elevators. This is a dog floor, it would appear. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, the doors are very, very quick to close. <laughs> Nowhere to hide here. All right. I didn't bring any arrows with me, really. That is super embarrassing. Hopefully I can find some. Are there more like ammo piles to the side here? Yes, there are, okay. Well, let's kick things off with a little bit of a bang this time. Oh, and I like how they give you less barbed wire to hide behind each time. Interesting, I like that. A little bit of extra loot, I like that as well. There we go, some hot chocolate. More bullets. More first aid. Ah, there we go, a hobo stew, that's what we needed. Oh, this is perfect. This is my kind of POI here. If you're unprepared, they got you covered, okay? <laughs> Just clear the next floor and they'll give you some more supplies. Okay, what did that say? Level six, seven, five, was it five, six, and seven? So seven's the end, seven's the loot, or was it eight? Unclear, but I'm not stopping now. We're just getting started. Okay, so if we ration the pipe bombs, we should be able to use one pipe bomb per floor. Oh, hit the wrong button, I think. Okay, just sneak down, get the gun ready. I gotta step out here. Ooh, a lot more on this floor. Also, we've got like a parasite zombie and several armored zombies, like the SWAT zombie, okay. Well, I like starting things off with a bang, so we'll do that. And then this is not fully loaded, but I should be able to manage here. Okay, don't get myself pinned in the corner. That would be great. This floor's not too bad if it wasn't for the soldiers. There we go. I like how I just... I donk him with the sword right on the head. I think there's a zombie topside trying to dig down to me. Okay, we got 10% more damage to mountain lions there. Not the best, but not the worst either. Really looking for some grenades. Any grenades around here? Setting the trap, what is this? It teaches me how to craft this item. I don't know what exactly that is. Let's check on that. Um, it doesn't, wait a minute. Rat, is it a rabbit trap? That's the same icon. Maybe that's what it was. Interesting. Okay, we're all searched up here. Just a bunch of junk, basically. They didn't give me the food and the ammo that I wanted like they did on the last couple. Okay, locked and loaded this time. What do we get this round? Oh my god, just like increasingly more and more zombies. What level are we on now? I feel like this is, oh, this is five. Did it say five was a boss? Five, six, and then seven's the loot? I still don't remember. But same trick as before. Soften them up with that. There we go. This one looks to be quite a bit easier because the armored, uh, the zombies are not armored like they were in the last one. So I'm not complaining. Shotgun levels increased. And that's it. Oh, look at the pipe bomb did like almost all the work there. Got a 15,000 experience card here. We've leveled up to 98 and we're like halfway to 99 as well. Pistol Pete book here for AP 9 mil and the Goldenrod Seed recipe. 4x4 truck chassis schematic. Otherwise, not much. Okay, we do get some ammo on this one. Not bad. Some health supplies. I don't know. Well, okay, so next one it said it was the boss and then the bottom is the loot. So 
Maybe we'll see like a bear or something on the next one. I don't know. But I think we can probably use like all four pipe bombs next time, which would be fun. Okay, actually, I've woken a bunch of zombies up, it would appear. Let's just get ready in case there's uh, something really, really bad going on down here. And oh boy, yes, it's the Grace. Grace the boss is here. Oh man. Don't. Oh, zombies are in the elevator with me. Ah. I'm, I'm stuck outside of the elevator. Shit. Help. Okay, whoa, I fell down, and I'm still outside of the elevator. Wow, this is crazy. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna have to carve my way through this little wall piece here. Oh boy, we got zombies falling down here with me. Get out of here. Where are you all? Oh my god, there's a whole bunch of zombies falling down here with me. Did you guys break the elevator, you assholes? How am I gonna get out of here now? Um, not exactly good stuff here. Wow, um, start getting first aid into me. Yep, I think they're gonna break the elevator and that weapon's broken, repair that. Reload, and what what, what, what are my ailments right now? Um, broken something, okay, steroid in. That should maybe help a little bit. And I hear a bear somewhere. Just jump and shoot, jump and shoot. What are you even floating on? Ah, more. Okay, she just fucking teleported, man. Get out of here. Uh, yep, still here a bear. Can I open this up? Is this where all of them are? No. Can I just jump in here, though? Yes, I can. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I feel a little bit safer now. Okay, open up the elevator. Shoot. Uh, should I go to... Should I go up? Oh, no, they're all up there. Crap. Oh, there goes the elevator. It's going up. Here comes some zombies. Yeah, I think that everything's trying to like dig down to me right now. So I'm gonna call the elevator down and try to go up and take care of that. Okay, into the elevator and maybe just take like a preemptive bandage. Nope, 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 go up, go up. All the guns are loaded. I should be as ready as I'll ever be for this. Oh, this is, um, oh, this is kind of not good. Ow, get back. Oh, jeez. Um, here, do this. Yo, that's freaking close. What do I do now, guys? We're going back down. Crap. You know what? I have, I'm, I'm getting the sense now that they're going to destroy the elevator at this point. Oh, yes, 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 they will. Which means... Oh, that's not what I want to do. Is it? It kind of is, isn't it? There we go. Ooh, fire. Flaming dogs. Was that everything? Oh boy. Okay, wait for that fire to burn out then. Nope, the bear is still alive. Here we go. Whoa, buddy. There we go. Holy shit, man. Well, I don't exactly know how we're gonna get out of here, but we might as well see what we get for loot for all this. Wow, look at this loot haul. Holy crap. Man, I don't even, I don't even know if I can carry all this stuff. Okay, let's get started then. Look at the schematics in here. Nice, a fishing book, Night Stalker book here. Do more damage to uh, victims when you're sneaking at night. HD bandolier mod. This is an automotive crate here with some gas, I guess. Nothing much out of those, nothing new anyway. Oh, look at the hardened chests back here. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Facial piercings again. You know, this would feel like cheating if anyone but the mod author created this. So it's this is definitely intended for you. Oh, look at this. Scrap Wind Surfer Sail Schematic. Scrap, 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 scrap. Lots of schematics there. This is a blueprint. Oh, these are blueprint supply crates. Okay, so we got a sniper book here. Gyrocopter accessories, tack assault rifle, paintings schematic. Interesting, I didn't realize you could craft paintings. Okay, nothing really exciting in any of those either. Dwall's books, silent trash. Okay. 
uh, you can walk over trash, e even without sneaking, it sounds like. Uh, yes, it says even when standing and not make a sound. That's kind of good. I've got three mushroom stew recipes here <laughs> and, and a smart packaging book that I've already read. Another blueprint box here for the drone, the motorcycle chassis. Oh, interesting. Because wasn't Jen selling, that was yesterday though, I think Jen was selling the motorcycle handlebar schematic, so probably should have bought that after all. And uh, yeah, all the rest of these are all locked up. Here, let's just clear the stuff out of the way. Right, my goodness, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chests to open up, and I only have eight time charges to do it. Okay, that's a waste of time. Oh, I didn't open this one yet. Yep, I'll take that hobo stew. Ooh, that's a good bow. I don't think that's... Yeah, it's not as good as the one I have, though. Oh, my goodness. Okay, what are we going to do here? I don't have very many lockpicks, do I? I have 32 lockpicks. Scratch that. However, I'm wondering if... um, Wait, can I unlock this? I can. I can pick the lock. I wonder if these ones are more difficult to pick open, though. And so maybe we should start with the lockpicks first, and then we'll do the time charges last. Man, this is not an easy lockpicking game. I got the first one open, though, and that only took one lockpick. Hey, a sharp knife. Food prep station crafting speed increased 30%. I didn't know there was a food prep workstation. <laughs> I'm still learning, I guess. All right, that, this lock looks a little bit different. Does this mean this is a more difficult lock? Oh, I got that one open without even breaking one lockpick. Very nice. Oh, am I not wearing the looting goggles? Crap. Okay, well, at least we've, uh, <laughs> we'll remedy that for the, the bigger chests. Yep, slap those on. Well, while I'm at it, let's just try and pick this one open too. Oh, this looks like an easy lock, or maybe it's like a randomized lock appearance. I'm not sure. Well, that one was super easy. Maybe that's how it is, uh, how it does work. Nothing crazy in there though. Let's try to pick this one then. Oh, wow, I'm getting the hang of it, I think. Whoa, man, okay, a cutting board, that must go to the, the oh wait, the food processing table. Yeah, is that the same as before? We got the Pistol Pete book here, Impact Driver HD Barrel Extender mod, and there's a HD Barrel Extender <laughs> right there. Auto Turret Bundle. Nice. Man, I have never gone through so much loot in my entire life. I love it. Oh yes, I'm definitely getting better at the whole lockpicking thing. That's a bunch of junk though. And I'm starting to get really encumbered. Okay, Zinc Powder, no. What do we got here? Smooth jaw pliers. A whole bunch more lockpicks. Oh my goodness. Minor tune-up mod. Reduce fuel consumption by 25%. A tape measure. You'd think I would have found one of those in the freaking hardware store yesterday. Tungsten leg armor. Wow. Okay, this should be the last one right here. Okay, I'm sick of this freaking lockpicking game. Get the time charges out. Oh, look at that, and one whack with my impact driver or my ratchet opened it up. Another sniper book here. That's for AP762 and a shotgun turret bundle. And the rest, yeah, just take it if I can. Eat the vitamin A. There we go, we're all done. Oh, wait, wait a minute, there's another one. Oh my god, Kevlar leg armor. Don't I already have that though? That's kind of not, not so good. A welding torch. Oh my goodness, HD fittings mod, wow. I can't get over how much loot I have now. <laughs> I don't need boots, I don't need hazmat gloves. Give me the rest. And now I think we just, what do we do? Making a ladder to get out of here? Because I don't think there's any elevators left for whatever reason. <laughs> Hopefully my mini bike is still upstairs because I I haven't heard any like wandering hordes come by, but you never know, I guess. There could have been whispers that just kind of poked their head in here too. Oh, I do hear zombies up here. Okay, oh, I see zombies up here as well. What the hell are you guys doing here? <gasps> it's a freaking whisperer. I almost said psycho, but no, it's so definitely a whisperer. Okay, just run. Who's out here? Oh, no, ah, stop that. Get out of here. Leave the mini bike alone. Oh, I got shot, ow. Okay, hey, that's the person who shot me. They've uh, lost interest a little bit, it looks like. There we go. Get a couple pop shots into her. I think that's a crossbow that that person has over there. There we go. Down. Holy crap. Okay, that's enough of that for today. Back to the base. Oh, hey, that's looking pretty good from the, like, the side profile view of the base. Yeah, someday we'll have to start working on the other two towers, try to make a whole day out of that. 
Uh, not today, though. Today, what I want to do is... Well, to start off with, let's get everything put away. Okay, that takes care of that, except uh, I've got a cutting board in my inventory. Don't need that. Put that away. There is so much stuff to go through. I'm going to have to basically sit here all night and just kind of sort through everything that we got. Look at all the supply flares that we have here as well. Okay, I, I don't know. I'm not really keen on looking at all that right now. While there's daylight left, though, what I do want to do is uh, make sure we have some tool repair kits. Tool repair kits. Vehicle. I think there's a whole stack of them down here. Okay, right there. Tool repair kits. Gas. And I need the cobblestone cube shapes right there. Oh, and speaking of cube shapes, Hesco blocks. Can we make any of those right now? Hescos. We can make a few. We've got plenty of cloth. I've been collecting that left and right. So make that. We need probably like 100 or 150 of those. Uh, check the vending machine here. Oh my goodness. Look at the weapon repair kits in here. Okay, don't get too sidetracked. We need to go outside and start construction on like the perimeter wall. Basically, it's going to look like this all the way around the base. Just a cobblestone block at the second block height, starting right here and wrapping all the way around. Okay, so that is the foundation of the towers all the way down to the ground level. That should be good. I don't think that uh, zombies will never go underneath those towers to try to dig through. But the one last thing I want to do is just kind of rip through this last layer here and flush up, you know, the concrete wall or the cobblestone wall right to the bottom. So we can kind of get a sense of how this is going to look in its final form. And then we'll get the, what's it called? Hesco blocks, and we'll put those on the top just to kind of, you know, get a proof of concept going. All right, it's looking pretty hot out here now. It's starting to take shape, and I'm really liking it. But man, I am always hungry these days. What is going on with my hunger? Okay, slurp down those bacon and eggs, take up these Hesco blocks. Should have a few more there, and we'll see how this looks out front. Hey, chicken! Hiya! Yes, I need this. I need this for the white meat so that I can make the rest of the bacon and eggs and complete that mission. Let's just do that now. How many more did we need anyway? Three more. I don't know if I can make three more. Three more? No! Oh, I can only make two more. I'm hungry anyway, so I'll just wait for it. Okay, there we go. Eat up and just put the other one in the inventory. I'm sure we'll be hungry enough for it later. And it did just tick nightfall, so we have that to worry about. But let's just see here. Let's see what Krennels would look like kind of in this orientation here. Oops. Ow. Barbed wire. Okay, actually, no, we wanted to do... We want to do the full thing on the bottom. Here, let's just do it out of, like, regular frames, and then we'll replace it later on. I just want to make sure that these are spaced kind of evenly before we commit to it with the Hescos, because I'm sure they'd be a pain in the ass to kind of grind back out. And that's probably gonna have to do it just like that, and uh, I think that looks pretty good. Let's take a look from out here. Oh, yeah. Yes, I like that. Let's try it over here just to see what it looks like. Looks... Very cool. So the one thing I'm thinking about is like, what if we just ripped all of this out? We put a ramp going down, starting at the edge of the road here, ramp going down, and then we'd grind out all these steps and stuff so that the zombies, like this is just a continuation of the trench down here. And that way we'd never have to worry about whatever the hell we have going on here. We could just knock all that crap back out. I think that's probably the way to go, but let's just take a peek and see what these Hesco blocks look like. Just like this, just like that. Careful, don't place them in the wrong spot. Oh, they look pretty authentic if you ask me. Yep, and the idea is to just have like Hesco crenellations all the way across. Less for function, although if there was, like my, I'm imagining that if we ever get attacked by like, you know, a psycho raider group or, or anything really, then um, we can kind of hide behind the walls here. Or if we have soldiers that are kind of wandering around in here, they're protected and so on. The thing that's holding us back most on the Hescos is stone. And so tonight, and for the next couple of nights, I'm going to make a mine inside the manor there. And that way the soldiers will protect us while we're down inside. We won't have to worry too much if there's like a screamer that comes by, the soldiers will just shoot him. Okay, let's clean this up though, real quickly. Should be a fairly good amount of iron to be had in all this stuff here, so I want to have it and just be done with it. A fair bit indeed. That was actually 1680 iron to the tune of like 2300 XP. And so some of that's going to have to be filled in, so I am going to just make some topsoil blocks out of clay soil. And then we'll kind of lay that in. We want it to be sunken down by one block anyway so that we can put the, the floor in. But we'll have to kind of get to that at a later date. Well, at this stage, it is quite late into the evening. I think what I do want to do, though, before the night is through is 
just get rid of all this crap over here. There's so, ooh, what is this? Where'd that come from? I don't know, but I'll take it. Yeah, I wanna, we'll have to disconnect this from the side. We'll have to dig out all of these farm plot blocks, even though they're not ones that we can have. It's just basically nothing at all. I get nothing out of these, are you kidding me? Okay, if I use the auger, I get materials. If I use the legendary shovel... Oh, now I'm getting stuff. I wasn't... I swear to God, I was not getting stuff that first block that I dug out. But anyway, yeah, I want to dig all this crap out and just get rid of it once and for all. And then we can uh, start ripping up the top layer of soil. And then probably tomorrow, we can start laying in the final floor, the big pad. But that is something I can certainly work on on my own. So you guys can take first watch up there in the tower. I'll be down here digging. Make sure you cover me and we'll pick things up first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's day 19 and the war rages on. Yesterday, we secured an immense stash of loot, but our ranks remain thin and the base remains unfinished. So the POD will be to work on base construction and crafting for the day, especially since we're about to crack the level 100 threshold. But tonight, I'd like to venture out and explore the city and see if we can do some recruiting along the way. And if we find something good, we can spend the next day doing some raids. You watch my back and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. All right, let's take a look over here and see where I left off last night or this morning, that is. I got all of this cleared out, right. Okay, so what we need to start doing here is, well, we need to do a little bit more digging to clear all of this out. And yeah, let's start off by seeing if we can collapse all this crap here. I'm about to level up anyway, so hopefully by digging up some of this soil here, uh, that will give me the experience I need. Out of stamina already, that's what we got the auger for. I got no fuel though, crap. Well, that will do it right there, I think. Yeah, I don't know how much I like this legendary shovel. Do I, can I spend some skill points this morning and get like um, sexy T-Rex or something like that? Where is that? Sexy T-Rex, I need, oh, I need player level 100. Well, let's get to work on that then. We're gonna need probably repair kits for the auger and fuel. Okay. Ah, oh, we're so close to level 100, damn it. There it is, level 100. I will always remember the day that I dug up an earthworm with an ice auger and learned how to craft cement. <laughs> okay, so we've probably got a whole bunch of skills points to spend right now, so give me a second and I'll go through that. Got run and gun, sexy T-Rex, position, better barter, ammo expertise. That allows me to craft ammunition faster and with less resources. Crafting skill will go up in axes, pickaxes, shovels, and trade tools, and trade tools is what I needed to get a uh, higher level on the auger, because I can craft an auger, I just, I could only craft the same level as I have right now, like the, the base quality. Take a point into light armor crafting. And here's kind of, we're at a crossroads here, because we could proceed with the legendary sword, but I, my action skills are mostly in blunt weapons, and so I feel like we probably need to just put the sword away and get the blunt back out and just continue down one linear pathway. So I'll take blunt weapon crafting. I'll take shotgun crafting as well. Ooh, that gives me a quality two auto shotgun so we can finally replace the one that we found there on day one. And uh, where is he? I I've got a new helper here that I've hired. Welcome Camtem. <laughs> Camtem's more like a per diem worker until we get Temcam back. Okay, we'll get to continued crafting in a little bit. For now, what I want to do is just, I'm going to rip up all the topsoil in here and we're going to get the pad down once and for all. That way we don't have to worry about zombies ever spawning in here, especially during Horde Night. So let's get to work. Oh, and I just remembered half the reason I wanted to do all that was so that I could craft the level two auger. And we have plenty of resources for it. I even crafted myself some bicycle handlebars last night, so we could do that. That's gonna take a couple minutes, so I'll head back down here and continue augering with the one I have. You know, kind of thinking about it, I don't think we're ever gonna need clay ever again. I've got like tens of thousands of clay. Go check and see if that auger is done now. Yep, it's done. And this can take two mods, and I think I have a motor tool tank mod, and we'll see if we can get like a shovel mod for it, whatever that's called. No, I don't have a grave digger, and I can make it, but it needs a tool workstation which I have the resources for, so yeah, I guess we're making that. Oh, that's 14 minutes. Well, <laughs> we'll be back for that someday. I'll just take a structural brace then for now and get back to work here. 
And we're on to the second half now. Should be able to zip right through this relatively easily without much fuss. Okay, I think that's a wrap right there. Just gotta claw this thing down here. That helps, nice. All right, we should be looking all squared away here in no time. Let me go grab the shapes and we'll start setting them down. Okay, I think probably the way to go about it is to, ooh, boot bag over there. Not much in there. There was a trade paper though, or a class paper, whatever it's called. Was that tradesman class? Soldier class, ooh, perfect. Right, so we want to go into the shapes. Oh, by the way, I, I always forget this, but you can hit, um, what is it? Shift R, if you just, uh, Shift R, that opens up the shape menu. Uh, that's something I just recently discovered a couple of months ago, but it's a lot easier than holding R and then going to shape. So just like shift R. Just thought I'd share that. Okay, we'll grab the three by three cubes. We advanced rotate them like so. And yeah, I was thinking like we got to start somewhere. So let's start in the back corner here. And if there's, there's probably going to be some places where we just have to use regular one by one cubes, but that's fine. All right, that's it for the first round. It looks like this is gonna flush up really well. We'll just have to, like I said, we'll have to use the one by ones to fill the rest of this in because I don't want to put the three by three here because uh, these blocks down here are going to get destroyed inevitably during horde fighting. And yeah, we'll have to go one by one to kind of fill in the space under the ramps here. And we'll go right around the back and do the rest. This just saves us an immense, literally we'd be using nine times as many resources if we were just using the one by one cube shapes. So this is huge. So, and it's not like I didn't really know that this shape existed because we did, um, when we were doing Totally Not Prepared, that was like a multiplayer thing that we did that was organized by Pixel Life Gaming. Uh, we were doing a little bit of PVP fun there and um, Prebuilt was running around using like regular, plywood shapes and he had this three by three shape in the vertical orientation and whenever we'd see him he would just slap one down to use as like instant cover <laughs> it was pretty funny just had a peek over there there's a little wandering horde but they're pretty far away so i'm not too worried about it all right i think that'll pretty much do it for today i do want to check over here and see what is going on with the horde though soldiers have let off a couple rounds yep we got a zombie karen here another zombie karen over there Oh, there's a Whisperer way down yonder, but uh, yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, we'll get to the rest of that stuff in a little bit. Before nightfall, I do want to get to work on crafting. I've made a whole list of things that we need to start crafting, and it starts right about now. Let's see, this here is the tool workstation, so I guess pop that in right there. Everything's not going to be very organized right now. Who are you shooting at? Oh, spider. I'll help you out. Oh, you got him? Good job. Nice work there. Okay, yes, we wanted the tool workstation. I forgot why. Oh, wow, diamond tipped pickaxe, fire axe. Wow, Ooh, HD nail gun, reloading press. My goodness, there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, oh, right, but this is where I was gonna make the grave digger mod. So yeah, can we craft that? We got the iron, we got the glue. Yep, craft it. Oh yes, LED lights mod. That's a vehicle mod, correct? Uh, yes, increases headlights by 300%. That's kind of dramatic there. What do I need to make it? Forged tungsten, which is quite rare, but I have found a little bit of it. I don't see why not. Let's go ahead and craft that then. Can I make the chemistry station offhand? No, we are short on forged iron. I could make a bunch of that, I bet though. Yes, for all you people that let me know that I had the <laughs> crucible in the wrong spot, that has been corrected. And we don't have to smelt anything down. I haven't done any mining and I really haven't done any forge work this entire playthrough so far. So, oh, look at that. Okay, I don't know if we don't quite need that much right there. How about like 200 forged iron? Let that start cooking. Oh, speaking of cooking, I need I need to make one more bacon and eggs to complete that friggin' mission. Is there a damn chicken out here somewhere? I'm gonna go find a chicken. Let me out of here. Also, pigs. Pigs have uh, white meat, I believe. Oh, jeez, whoops, there's a whisperer there. Okay, yeah, I'm not gonna let you get away with that crap there. Come here. Oh, you missed. How do you like this? You missed again. Chop his, chop his head off. Ah. Ow, ooh, he butt stalked me. Eat that. And yes, we got another one. Oh, and I'm like actually really low on health right now. Heal me up, heal me up, heal me up. Oh, there's a whole bunch of zombies that heard that too. Oh, there's like several whispers over there. Damn it. And I didn't bring my pipe bombs with me. That's okay. I'll rush him here in a second. Okay, there he is. What does he have? He's got some kind of a bow. Not too, too worried about that. Got him. And this one's got a, a spear. A melee fighter here. You stand no chance. Oh, there was another medic there. 25 bandages popped out of her. 
Whoa! Whoa! Yep, contact again. Good thing I found all those bandages. Ooh, there's two more over there. Whoa! Oh, they're all archers. A very primitive freaking horde here. Take her out. And, oh, we're gonna use the pre-built trick. Fly cover! <laughs> Move from cover to cover here. Here we go. And get up here and drop some cover down. Yep, oh, quick, rotate. <laughs> yes, all right. all right. This is working really good. Pre-built, pre-built's the man. Here we go. Engage, and then take cover. I got a spider here. Ooh, ow. Oh, my gun's broken. Repair it quickly now. Oh, they saw my cover trick and they were like, "There's, we stand no chance, retreat. Where'd they go though? There it is. Okay, and rush with the shotgun or the legendary sword. Either way is fine. Take him out. Oh, ow, that freaking crossbow buttstock hurts. Oh crap. Yep, retreating. Ah, okay, grab my uh, shapes up here and deny the enemy cover by shooting that one. There we go, okay. <laughs> yes, we need to heal up now. All right, I'm cutting my losses and getting out of here. I gotta go find my chicken. Hopefully they'll do the same. Oh, there's a pig right there, perfect. Come here, buddy. You can run, but you can't hide. Take him out and harvest him up. Oh, the, yeah, the hitbox is a little weird on that one. That should be enough though. Go, jeez, get out of here. Damn it, just working on my light armor skill there. Okay, just fail into here. I gotta take the bike with me anyway, it needs to be repaired. So, yep, take that. All right, the last bacon and eggs, please. Good, that is it for that quest. By the way, I'm starving to death. Whoa, good thing I was cooking. What do you got out here? Just a, uh, nope, nope, that's the, uh, another one of those friggin' whisperers. Take him out. Got him. All right, so can, I don't, I hope I don't need a special workstation to repair these. Okay, I got the repair kit. We modify, okay, put the headlights on. It's not that, oh, repair, right there. Okay, good enough, take it up. Okay, there was another thing. The workbench here takes um, batteries. By the way, let's grab this forged iron up. Grab that, turn that off. Okay, let's, uh, so chemistry station is gonna take 11 minutes and 15 seconds, but if I grab some batteries, I've even got this eco battery. I'm not sure if it'll take that one or not. And no, no, it does not take that. I could put the regular batteries in there though, I th think, right? No, is that, it, does it just take one? Or is it like I have, I have to pick which one? Oh no, the eco battery has its own slot. And there's another slot for some other type of battery. Maybe, the, maybe it's the HD battery, is that a thing? Yes, it is. So, okay, that's probably where that would go, is in that third slot there. Let's check the crafting time now again on the chemistry station though. Down to four minutes and 20 seconds. Holy cow, that is amazing. All right, how about that drawbridge? The power drawbridge. Okay, that's using almost all the forged iron we just crafted. That'll take five minutes. Uh, how about a generator? Can we get the generator? We can't. Can we buy the generator with skill points? Ooh, we can buy concrete blocks. Okay, I only have two skill points, so we need to kind of ration this. Cement and concrete mix is definitely on the list though. Okay, large storage as well. Oh boy, I need that. I need that bad. And here's the generator. Presumably we'll level up here in the next day or two. And worst case scenario, we can go to the trader and we can buy those like skill point cards if they're for sale. Okay, so generator. Oh, I got, I'm still, still gonna eat, jeez. Right, generator. And where would I craft an auto shotgun? Is that? Is that in here? It is in here, okay. Right, because that's gonna be the level two, which will give me two mod slots, and I have all... No, wait. This go... This Where is this crafted? This is crafted somewhere else now. S Gunsmithing workstation. Did I have one of those yet? Or... No, what's this? That's the fabrication workstation. This is the ammo workstation. Okay, where's the gunsmithing thing? I can craft it, in fact, but... I will need more forged iron. Gunsmithing workstation. Oh, 12 minutes. Okay, hang on. Put on my crafting goggles and then we can craft that and that'll all be kind of running while we're away. Okay, give me the run speed shades back. I don't even know what to call these things. I, you know, looting goggles are now looting glasses and running college jacket is now a pair of freaking aviators. <laughs> all right, anyway. Yeah, we don't need soldiers with us because we're gonna find some more. The vehicle is repaired up and it should have a really nice set of headlights on it. Ooh, ooh, very nice. And so if we take a look at the map, my strategy is going to be a full lap around town. Ooh, we can go get that treasure as well. Let's do that. 
And uh, I think nighttime is probably the best time to look for soldiers because, yeah, let's go around the south. Because um, there's increased spawn chance at night, so there's more zombies around, which means higher density of zombies around, which means if there's someone out there with a firearm, chances are they'll be shooting and I'll hear it. Get back. A couple vending machines we can check along the way as well. Sugar butts, eye candy, nice. Skull crushers, we'll take that. Grab up this Whisperer supply cache while I'm right here. A couple things for selling. Okay, well, it's been a long and disappointingly quiet drive around here tonight. Haven't seen anything exciting. Got a food and drink crate here with really nothing in it that we need, and it's officially morning. So while we're over here, let's grab up this treasure. I'm not sure what was in it, but we'll find out in just a second. Okay, here we are. There's something off there in the distance. We might be able to check that out after. And for this project today, I think I'll take the, what is it, the ski goggles for the dig radius reduction. And I brought the dynamite with me so we can test this out. I think what I'll do is just, oh, oh, what do we got here? Oh, who is that? Oh my goodness. Oh my God, who is this? Air Force Cajun Thunder. Oh my God, it's so nice to meet you. I mean, wow. Are you for sale? I mean, can I hire you? I mean, <laughs> would you like to join the Order of Steel? I could, yes, a salary of 3,250 Dukes is fine with me, wow. Welcome to the team. I love that uh, weapon you got there. Looks like she's a sheriff too. I like it. Oh, all right. Well, I guess you're with me. Cajun Thunder, my new right-hand woman. Need some extra help? Not right now. I think I'm good. All I'm gonna do here is dig a little bit of a hole down into the ground and hopefully I can get back up out of here now. I cannot, okay. That will do right there. Yes, I'm just trying to get a little bit more bang for my buck out of the dynamite because this should allow us to dig up the treasure relatively quickly, I I thought. Isn't that, is that not how it works? I, I could have sworn I've done this before. Maybe it works for like, tread, ooh, ow, that was uh, right in my face. Yeah, I thought that was gonna reduce the radius there a little bit, but it does not, it would, it would appear. I think maybe it works for the quests, but maybe it does not work for treasure. Yep, because I just got the radius reduction on that one. That's just what we need, we need more clay. Maybe. Maybe I should get down into the stone layer here and get some stone. Don't overdo yourself. Oh, just when you said that. Oh crap, no I don't have the tool repair kits with me. That's nice, gotta use this thing now. I could really use this stamina bonus, so I'll take that yucca smoothie. Ah, I found it. Come on, there's monsters to kill. <laughs> Give me a second here, okay? We're in. I got the looting goggles on. Okay, that's just a, like a wet, ooh, ammo, uh, uh, yes, ammo. It's an ammo stash, but yes, we got some money out of it as well. All right, Cajun, let's get out of here. Maybe if we're lucky, we can hit up uh, another soldier or two on the way home. Got a loot bag over there. I think I'll go grab that. Okay, nothing great in there. There was a POI. Where was that? It was to the north of where we just were. Let's go. Let's just swing up here and see what that was. Oh, a couple supply caches we can grab up too. Cajun, cover me. Yep, building supplies here. And some more forged tungsten to replace the little bit that we used there. Another building supply cache here with the mining book. Oh, there's our tool repair kits. A steel axe, not too bad. And the sickle. I don't know even exactly. Like the same world. Okay, I need to. Uh, I need to hush her up a little bit. <laughs> uh, okay, where are we going now? Oh right, I want to read what that sickle is. Okay, description, here we go. It's great for clearing out large patches of grass. That does make sense. I might just give that a try and see what it feels like. Whoa, whoa, we got a soldier over there. Scratch that idea. He's killing Santa Claus. I'll help him out. Oh, he's gonna attack assault rifle too. That's just perfect. Let him have it. Oh man, Santa's got a severe suntan right now. <laughs> he's been... He's been south of the North Pole for too damn long. Oh, it's BP! My friend, bad player. Yes, you are hired, my man. Ooh, nice. Okay, just uh, FYI. Bad player is uh, a long time uh, Discord admin and server host for the channel. So bad player, it's great to have you on the team, buddy. Getting sidetracked yet again. Okay, no, there was something out here to the west, I think. Where's the west? Over there. We're going the wrong way. Oh, and we still haven't tried the sickle thingy. Oh, oh my. That is super duper fast. Okay, yes, that works very good at getting the grass. Oh, there's a whisperer here. He wants to have some fun. Kill! 
Blood makes the green grass grow. Are you okay? I'm fine, let's go. Ah, there it is right there. What is this place? Oh, this is uh, some kind of a pyramid is what it is. I think, yeah, we're just having some, uh, oh, maybe we caught a glimpse of that through the trees. I'm not sure, but this, this is uh, this is man-made here. What is going on here? This is like one of those Mayan pyramids. It's like, oh my goodness. Nope, it's like a military bunker. Uh-oh. Uh, what is going on around here? Okay, there's just a bunch of... Feel like the same world. I know, it's crazy up here. Well, damn, I've got a good team with me. Let's push in here and see what the hell's going on. Watch out for the spikes, my friends. Oh, this is a door here. Oh, there we go. Oh, holy crap, that scared me. Well, this is a convenient <laughs> convenient placement here. Oh, yep, bad players got our back covered. Perfect. Good to be on the party. Oh, she's a talkative one, isn't she? Wow, yeah, what did we get ourselves into here? Who's back there? Cole, damn it. Whoa, a couple of them. Ferals too. Help me out. Uh, this is a good question. Uh, why did we bring you here is probably the better question. <laughs> Yummy cat food and otherwise pretty much just junk in here. I don't really need any of this. I'll take the cloth. We always need the cloth to make more of the uh, Hesco blocks. Ooh, this one's locked. Well, I'm pretty good at picking locks now, so I'm not afraid to kind of... And I've got plenty of lock picks too, so I'm not afraid to give it a try. Yep, we're in. The question is, oh, that's just gonna go down into some spikes. Is that maybe like the way out that I just picked my way through? Is there maybe a button in here that would have opened that? I don't know, but I'm gonna go the regular way for now. Oh, a bunch, bunch of zombies here. Uh oh. Where did you all come from? What is this place? Okay, there might have been whisperers in behind there. I'm gonna just continue on. Still look, oh, is that a pair of pants? And I don't have a pair of pants yet. <laughs> yes, my plant fiber pants have finally been replaced. Okay, guys, I'm just confident that you can kill that spider, right? Is that is that a thing? BP's having a surprisingly hard time with that. There, I find he finally got it. All right, you good? Oh, he's like killing soldiers down there and everything. Okay, let's just take a peek down here, see what the hell's going on. Okay, we're good. And just need to reload and I'm got ready a to go. Parasite down here. Okay, I'll take that. And let's get back inside. I'm making really slow progress here, so I wanna get a move on. Oh man, this is a dead end. Is it? Yeah, we gotta go down the stairs, I think. Get back. Oh, and I just broke my axe. Luckily I found those repair kits. Oh, we got a fireman here. Place is just a mess down here. Do I, do I, I don't, I don't have any arrows. I think I found some arrows and then I scrapped them like a friggin' genius. Okay, watch the explosive barrels. In fact, before that just becomes an issue, let's preemptively take them out. Oh, a flaming firefighter. I never thought I'd see the day. This place is just a labyrinth and there's these barrels everywhere. So on second thought, okay, these are like chemical barrels. They have household chemicals in them. Yeah, on second thought, yeah, let's just not blow them all up. Oh, this is locked too? Is there anything in there worth it to go inside for? Not that I really can see from here anyway. Jeez, more spikes. There's freaking spikes everywhere around here. There's also a whole bunch more zombies that I can hear upstairs. It's a pretty nice baseball bat. This can't be happening. A bunch more mystery rooms here. These are like cells though. Are zombies in them? Does not appear so. I'll take the springs off them then. This last one is locked though. This place doesn't look too friendly. Certainly not. And we're in. Oh, just another freaking cell. Wow, okay, this place, it's not gonna pay you off for like unlocking the doors. Let's just proceed down what we perceive as like a linear pathway and try not to like open up every little nook and cranny then. Zombies awake, I don't, don't even know where they are at this point really. Oh. BP thought he saw something through the wall there. Oh, careful with the barrels, man. There's gonna be some kind of a disaster in here. I can just I sense it. Holy ready. crap. I don't know about that. Guys, what is going on? Stop that. Oh, there's a zombie over there. Oh my goodness, there's barrels right here, guys. This careful. Place doesn't look too friendly. Oh, certainly not now. The world's gonna end, but 
you know, it's cool. We can sit here. <laughs> I think you're going to be a part of the end of the world when that happens. Ah, I'm on fire. Got some water right here, though. I didn't bring a fire extinguisher with me either. Luckily, I think it's just the bodies are on fire right now. Okay. Yeah, quite a mess here. Are you guys okay? Oh, they we cannot let them catch on fire because they die super fast. And I don't think there's a way for me to heal them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think... I don't think I can, or, or even douse them when they're on fire. Okay, landmine there. I can't detonate landmines though, so I'm good with that. I don't know about them. In my experience, they haven't been able to so far. Hopefully that continues. Okay, so it just kind of like goes through into this back area, but it also wraps around back there. Oh boy. Okay, weapons bag. Nice, HD serrated blade mod. I should look and see if I could put that onto the legendary sword, I suppose. 20% chance to cause bleeding damage. I actually have no mods right now on my legendary sword. We should try to fix that. Okay, we press on here. Oh, this is just a, a little mini loot room back here anyway. We're in. Oh, some good loot back here and some arrows, which is kind of nice. Let's load them into the bow so we can get some stealth action in. We're just going deeper and deeper into the bowels of this place here. Holy crap! Jeez, Cajun, you scared the crap out of me! How did you get down there? Deeper and deeper we go. A couple cardboard boxes. Oh my goodness. I'm starting to get like the sensation, i.e. the frame rate, that there's a lot going on down here somewhere. I've just- I've gone down like 10 levels now. This is a little bit insane. We are going deep, deep, deep underground. Okay, we're just turning the corner into this very dark black this is room. Terrible. I'm keeping an eye on Bad Player because his health has been going down periodically. I think he's topside fighting off some zombies. But if things get too bad, I'm gonna sprint back up there and see if I can help him out. Oh, he could also be stuck on Spike's traps. Oh man, whatever's going on, I don't want him to die, so I'm gonna run up and see if I can find him. Yeah, I just heard him let a round off. So if you wander too away from too far away from the soldiers, they won't defend themselves any longer so we've got to get back here real quick so that you know we're close enough so that he thinks he can fight okay now i've lost everybody i'm coming guys this way get out of here leave him alone okay do i have you both now okay bp come with me cajun right behind me please okay they do run right through the spikes they don't get hung up on them too bad i, I think they take a little bit of damage though all right, can you jump right through here? Is this too much of an obstacle? Are we good here? Yes, jump on through. Oh, maybe this is where I lost them before. How do I get rid of these? Just dig them up? Yep, that seems to work. Yes, 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 perfect, come on. Okay, so I found the hang up. They don't like this spiral staircase. We gotta go slow down the, the stairs. Okay, perfect, stay close. Might be nice if there was an option to like set their follow distance. So, you know, like stay right on top of me or stay like, you know, 10 meters behind me maybe. Oh, we got a screamer this somewhere. That's friendly. interesting. Hopefully that's just a regular POI screamer and not like a, a wandering in screamer horde screaming screamer. Yeah, yeah, we've gone the full, like, ten freaking floors down here into this black dungeon. And there's a bunch of free materials here. I'm not going to leave without them. Except, oh my god, I can't even see <laughs> where my this goes. It's so dark. Standing here. Don't worry, I think there's going to be plenty of action here in a, just a minute. Yo, yes, there's dogs. Kind of hard to see them, but I'll take them out anyway. Two more. Yeah, I hear the distinct sound of like, you know, the sound that zombies make when they're nearby and they're sleeping. Like the gurgly noises and the floor boards creaking and stuff like that. At least one's awake on the other side of this door, maybe several. Come on in here. Oh, there's a sea of spikes to get through. Lovely. Damn it, I'm not really keen on wading through this, so let's see if that helps. That's oh, just gonna start a fire, isn't it? Great! I think I woke some people up in the process here. That's fine. Let him come. Oh, there's that screamer. Free loot. I'll take that. Some green tea. And, oop, the fire is out. Nice. Oh, hello there, Bo. There is another screamer. That wasn't the one we were hearing. Oh, we're in, like, the kitchen. What the frick is this place, man? Okay, I did not come here for kitchen appliance type of loot, though. So let's continue on. Oh, we've got up and we've got whatever this is. Oh, it's just the bathroom here. I see. I see the color scheme here. 
Sometimes schematic will read that, take the rest. Oh, look, I can search this pallet. Have I always been able to do that? Surely not. Surely that's just like a some kind of a unique pallet. Okay, this is where the zombies are, I think. This is unlocked too. Oh my! Guys, oh no, 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 no. Um they're just gonna get hurt here. Oh jeez, okay. Stay where you're standing. Stay where you're standing. I'm gonna go it alone and just scout out what is going on over here. This is like some kind of a horde base. I don't know why anyone would build this unless they were doing some kind of like zombie experimentation or like baking graces or something like that. Okay, I'm in. There are just so many zombies awake and I can hear them digging dirt too. I don't know if they're... Are we going back up now? Oh, oh, there they are. Over there. Oh my. This should be able to help. Eat that. Ah, <laughs> yes. Get out of here. There's a lot more zombies somewhere. Oh, I don't like this. Were these, are these strategic barrels with strategic barricades? Oh, oh, what is this? Um, it's a prison. It's a prison full of zombies. Ah. Oh my, there's zombies everywhere. What is in here? Loot. And my soldiers, they're shooting. I can't see what their health status is. I gotta go back and check on them. Okay, just run through here. They're right on the other side. And yep, here we go. What are you guys shooting at? Zombies coming from behind you? I swear, I don't know if you can hear it very well, but there's like a billion zombies that are awake and I can feel it in the frame rate as well. Okay, guys, follow me. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna YOLO it. Come on, guys, can you, can you manage to follow me without falling down? Of course not. Okay, usually you go far enough away and they'll kind of like rubber band back to you. That, uh, it's not what not, not what's happening right now though. Okay. Yep, they've they've teleported. They're they've moved, but they're on the wrong floor now. I think they're crap. They're up here, aren't they? Up here and around the corner. Oh jeez. Why are there so many zombies? Cajun! BP, where are you? Yep, I found a whole bunch of zombies. Screamers screaming, pseudo screaming. Ow! They're coming out of the woodwork here. Oh, cop! Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Okay, slowly but surely, I'm, I'm working my way through a bunch of snakes. Maybe that's why the frame rate's so messed up right now. Are snakes white meat or are they red meat? Because I need the white meat. White meat, nice. Look out. Careful with the barrels. More snakes. What, what is it with the stupid snakes in the compo pack? Stop that. Okay, I'm over to, I don't know where this is. I don't know where my friends are either. Just some kind of weird, this is not a prison here. This is just like, you know, like, I don't know, housing, I guess, apartments. Get out of here. All right, I think I'm whittling them down a little bit. Ah. Oh yes, I found BP. Ow. Where's Cajun? Okay, she's still alive. I can see that. She's doing her own thing. Probably as on par with the usual, right? Yep, yep, yep. All just like residential stuff here. I'd be very interested in harvesting up some of the resources that I'm finding here, but I'm not gonna stop looking for my friends until I've got them. Oh crap, we got barrels blowing up. I keep looking here. Oh, there's just zombies. They're everywhere. All of the zombies in the POI are like awake right now. They're all beating on doors and breaking blocks and clay and there's just snakes everywhere. There's a couple. Oh, I found her. She's here. Yes. Oh, I've got my friends with me. Perfect. Okay, stay close now because somewhere there is a room with like a hundred zombies in it. And we're gonna find it here real soon, I think. Is this what it is? It's just like like 50 rooms filled with like three zombies each. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of trying to pick through the loot here because there's actually really good loot in these rooms. Oh, a vending machine. Nice, give me that stuff. Okay, they're maybe starting to break out of whatever's containing them. Get out of here. There's so many bookshelves too. I really hope we can find all the zombies and then just start looting up. Why did we go here again? Good question. My god, there's zombies that aren't even awake here. If there's not as many zombies awake from what I can hear, it does sound like there's just a couple in every room. There's not like one gigantic room that's filled with them. At least I'm hoping at this point. I'm gonna start working through okay? these XP cards and stuff like that just to help loosen up the inventory a little bit. Oh crap, whoa, that was close. 
Yeah, um, I can hear a big chunk of zombies kind of in this direction over here. Not exactly sure how we're gonna get to where they are though. Oh, maybe it's behind this thing here. Nope, this is back where we were just a minute ago. Hey, a teddy bear grenade schematic. It's kind of interesting, right? Pink room, <laughs> weird. Another one of the, the, the million bedrooms that are in this place. Crap, man, this, this water looks really, really deep. I'm gonna see if I can, oh! No, that didn't work, crap. Oh, guys, really, really deep water. Oh, boy, I don't know if my friends can swim or not. I hope they can. Oh, I think I sprained my leg when I jumped into the water there. Do we have any steroids? We do inject them directly into my sprained leg, please. All right, yes, okay, looks like I can head back up right from here. I've lost my friends. Oh, they're up, they're, I don't know, they're around. <laughs> here they are. Okay, I'm in a new place I haven't been before, which is promising. There can only be so many rooms, right, before I find the last one. Theoretically, at least. Oh, are we are we here? Is this where all the freaking zombies are coming from? Okay, I don't know, but this looks promising. Let's open this up. Honestly, probably faster just to do it this way. Yep, here we go. You guys ready? Let's do this. Very nice. More barrels back here. Oh my god, some kind of a testing station here, or like an observatory. Oh my, what happened? It's nightfall too. My goodness, we gotta get out of here. Been here all damn day. Lots of collapsing. You hear all that? Oh my, something fell completely apart. Oh, it's a ladder. Where does that ladder go to? That ladder goes to n Oh, that ladder goes down, okay. Is this what I just heard all collapsing? Nope, I don't know what's going on here. What the heck is all this? Oh, these cones are not like spiky cones like they are in, for example, Darkness Falls. Oh, okay, hidden crafting stations back here. We press on, oh my goodness, what is all this? These are all searchable too. Honestly, I don't want to search them though. Let me through here. Oh my, it's the loot, the main loot, or a main loot at least. Okay, where is my drone? Uh, hello, Alaria, are you with me or are you hopefully not destroyed somewhere? Um, potentially destroyed somewhere. We gotta look for that on the way back out. Suddenly very quiet. I think we might have killed all the zombies in here. Okay, having a super hard time with the lockpicks and I'm done with it. And we're in. Anything good? I don't know. I'm in a hurry. I'm gonna be forced to take a break though to get rid of all this crap so that we can get out of here. Ah! Hello, still zombies in here. It would appear, oh, a dog. Wow, still kind of a lot of zombies in here. Great. Ha! Where did you all come from? Man, I am completely 100% lost too. I have no idea how I got down here or how to get back out. I need a food break too. All right, did we enter this place through... Oh, was it back here? Okay, this is looking familiar now. Right, because that went up to the like apartment sections, which we have not fully explored. This, I don't know where this went to. Oh, there's just so many turns and offshoots. Oh, there's no way I could fully explore this place in one happening. day. I know. Okay, right, yes, we have to go across this and then across back here. Keep an eye out for Alaria, okay? She is missing through the sea of spikes and through the black tunnel. Yes, back up like the 10 story spiral staircase to the top. I think Cajun Thunder is one step ahead of me. She's already outside and bad player for that matter. Okay, we press on over the spikes, up the stairs. To grandmother's house we go. Right, around the corner. I think Alaria's safe, because I, I keep seeing her like moving. Oh, there she is right there. Yes, oh, How, why aren't you with me? It is uh, not m not moving, malfunctioning here. Just take it up. Got some loot waiting for us on the way out. Ooh, 5,000 experience card and take the rest if I can. Right, I think that'll just about do it for this place. Let's get back down here and hop on the mini bike. Turn my super headlights on. And there was another couple of POIs to the north or was it to the west? Just check the map. Yeah, it's to the west. I'm gonna push west just a little bit further. Maybe do some scouting, see if there's anything else interesting in the area. I'm even gonna leave that supply cache there because I, I, well, I could put some stuff on the bike, I guess, but I'm all set for now. Yeah, it looks like there is a couple of POIs out here. Oh man, this looks like a massive fortress too. Oh wow. Okay, we got American flag. We have a mannequin, which is probably never a good sign. Oh my God, it's a rogue. Shit, this might be a rogue base. Okay, that is good to know. We've got 
possibly an enemy base here. All right, let's uh, pull up the map here and come up with a plan. Let's uh, push north a little bit, and then I will fulfill my plan of circumnavigating the entire city. We'll wrap back around to base camp, and hopefully it's nightfall again. So we might be able to scout out some more soldiers along the way. All right, so we are returning home now. I did make an extra lap through the forest out there to see if I could pick up on any gunfire, and there was none. There's a zombie in the base, though. <laughs> Not for long, I guess. So I think we can call it right there. We picked up two new soldiers today. So, well, we got one soldier and we've got one. I don't know if we're going to call her a mercenary or what. Either way, it's a pleasure to have her. Just get the SMG. So that's, that's a lot of firepower for us. And it's officially morning. So what I'm going to do is spend a couple of hours getting all of our stuff put away and organized. You guys can take a quick rest and we'll pick things up a little bit later on tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. We've managed to make it through the week with new equipment, new gear, new construction, and new allies. And we're in a good position to defeat the Horde tonight. All we need to do is put the finishing touches here on the base. So the POD is to wrap up construction and maybe swing by the traders for a quick supply run. Then we'll fight off the Horde and pick up the pieces from there. You watch my back and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. Okay, so let me catch you up on everything that happened last night. So what I did was I went into the clothing and I got them all modified. I got all of our mods put on that we could put on. A lot of these are like HD bandolier mod, quad storage pocket mod, stuff like that. Got the die moved around so that I look kind of cool. We had a new pair of ski goggles that had the plus five loot bonus instead of the plus four that we had before. And I've dyed these up over here to look a little bit nicer. Uh, we've got a... Building supplies treasure map here. Let's just take a peek and see where that's leading us. Oh my god, right underneath a friggin' building? Oh boy, that's gonna be a real fun time. There's also an airdrop over there that I kind of drove by last night on our way back home. I also picked up this uh, Quality 6 double barrel shotgun doing 16.4 damage right now. Compare that to the 9.8, so close to double the auto shotgun. So I figured this would be nice to have in close quarters combat. Maybe let off two rounds with this, and then we switch over to the auto shoddy. And there were a couple more things that I wanted to get crafted, and one of them was the HD wood splitter mod. Can I maybe get that right now? Yes, right there. So craft that. I also wanted to see if I could maybe make a new pump shotgun. Oh, not a pump. Well, I can't make that because I don't have the steel, but I meant to say auto shotgun. That's also requiring the steel, which we could make, except we don't have the skill points to make. Right, so let's have a look at those skill points and see what we can do here. Yeah, so forged steel is player level 150. Currently, we are 105, so we're, we're several days away from being able to do that. And that's going to hold us back in terms of crafting the motorcycle as well, and I really... I mean, we could go knock down transformers and street lamps and stuff like that. Or we could go to the trader and see if there's any for sale. But um, ugh, I don't know about that. Also, the storage system is just an absolute mess right now. A couple things I'm going to need today for construction. So we'll just grab that. There should be some more wood down here so we can start making some spikes. For now, though, just uh, give me all the duct tape and we're going to make some glue. Oh, wait, these take batteries as well. I just saw a battery in here. Give me that. And that should reduce the time I suppose yep make me all of the glue and then here's what's really holding us back if I look at storage boxes we've got the writable large and extra large storage chests and they are locked behind storage and comfort which is right here and this is oh wait this takes like four points to go into and I have to be level 150 anyway to get them no, 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 that's not good. Anyway, it'll be level 200 then before we can craft the extra large generic storage container. Well, anyway, we want to go down the tradesman class anyway so that we can just finish that off. So that's going to be the fire axe, shovel, wrench, iron pickaxe, and claw hammer. So let's get all of those made up. Claw hammer, fire axe, pickaxe, shovel, and wrench. And now we have one minute before we have to be back here to have that open to uh, get credit for, for completing that. So while I'm waiting, I'm gonna get a little bit of work done as much as I possibly can. And then before the time expires, run, 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 get back up here and perfect timing. We have three seconds to go. Okay, now we got two minutes. Just wanna fill in all the gaps here today before the horde comes and that way we know that uh, we should have a little bit of extra security because I think this might interfere with like zombie pathing, but also they won't spawn inside here. Okay, we should have, uh, I don't know, 20 seconds or so left to go. Let's check on this. Yep, 45 seconds. 
Okay, we're two minutes on the next one. And for this round, just gonna come over here and kind of fill in the area next to the garage. Also get some of this garbage cleaned up here on the side. Okay, we're cutting it close on this one. Yes, five seconds to go, nice. Okay, we got a minute 40. Let's do this. Back over here and just kind of wrap up whatever I was working on. Okay, we got that one. We're at a minute and 11 seconds for the next one. Okay, so for this round here, I would just like to see if I can get this automated drawbridge down. And usually what I do is I just do that. And this is probably gonna be in the way. And let's, do I have it on me? I do, here, here we go. And then just like that should be good. I've got the generator right here. I think I'll just set the generator somewhere for now. Kind of like a temporary deal there. Get the gas, get the engine. We are officially out of batteries and out of engines and we're nearly out of gas and I don't have the gas recipe. And 17 seconds on this. Yeah, so we're gonna have to do like, get the hackers and do a car breakdown day. Probably, we should maybe aim to do that tomorrow. And hopefully this will be the last one of the quest. Yes, oh my God. That is nice. And I think, what do we, we probably have to repair them now. That's what it was the last time. Yes, we gotta repair all of them. And those are gonna take tool repair kits. I should have plenty from when we did the hardware store there. Yeah, I've got 19 of them. Okay, and so the best way probably to do this is to just bring them all down onto the hot bar. One, two, three, four, five. And let's just go whack some stuff with it and just get it like incrementally damaged. Whack, 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 and whack. One, two, three, four, five. Nice, that's it for that one. What was like, what's the next one for that then? Gather, soil, electrical components, polymer, mechanical parts, electrical parts, and stone. That's uh, interesting. I don't know if I have all of that stuff. As for the tools though, they can go immediately into the cell chest. How much are they selling for? Not bad. Okay, well, we got the soil. That's the easy one. Don't have the mechanical parts. I'll tell you that much right now. We've got the electrical components. Yeah, we don't have the electrical parts either. Okay, so we're gonna have to focus on when we do the hackers thing, we'll try to get all of the stuff that we need there. Anyway, for now, let's head back down here. There's a couple more things we have to do for construction. Namely, we gotta fill these in here. And then basically the same thing on this side over here. And then I'm just gonna like run a lap around the edge of the base and just break down all of the stupid barbed wire and these like T walls and all these this crap at the border so that we can put the proper wall in eventually. Okay, that's that project done. Man, it is looking clean in here now. Almost too clean. <laughs> too clean and a little bit scary because it's only two blocks high and zombies, if they really have the, if they really set their minds to it, they can definitely get up there. You know, just one piling on top of the other. But you know, the trick is, is not letting them want to do that. If you give them a clearer pathway to come around this way, they will certainly do it. Okay, real quickly before we proceed though, let's, uh, did I get the engine? I did, refuel, turn on. I did not get a switch or the wire tool. Switch, wire tool, and that should allow us to power the door and swing the mini bike around, just like so. And eventually, I think uh, next week, we'll prioritize getting the towers and the walls wrapped all the way around, and then we should be good. And then we'll turn this into a garage at some point right here. Okay, so all we have to do is now turn that off and just, just turn the whole thing off, save the electricity. And we could actually hook up some SMG turrets and shotgun turrets. I think we have plenty of ammo. Let's just look into that real quick. I just saw them here and I'd forgotten that we had them. Okay, we have SMG, we have shotgun. Plenty of shotgun rounds and really plenty of nine mil as well. And there should be even more up here. Oh my goodness. Okay, yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't quite have as much shotgun rounds, but yeah, let's just, might as well set uh, all four of these up, I guess, for now, just to help kind of defend against the horde tonight, right? Okay, how about we do shotgun turrets? Oh, geez, uh, I don't know. How about here? SMG turret here? That's the other shotgun turret. Whoops, okay, I guess we'll just do SMGs on this side then. Just like so. And we are using the no wires mod for electricity, so we don't have to worry about these uh, wires showing and looking terrible. And I'm just gonna daisy chain them for tonight. Oh, wait, what about power? Max output is 50, which means, oh, we can only power three of these then, unless I run out and get an engine really, really quickly. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, just take this one up. We'll just do two for tonight, one on each side, and that'll be fine. Okay, the last bit before I start putting the spikes in is we gotta dig all of this stuff out here, 
knock out these stairs, and then that should funnel all of the zombies right in where we want them. And then we'll also have to kind of bolster up the wall a little bit, because there's going to be a lot of exposed dirt. All right, there it is. I think we're pretty much ready to fight. Oh, you know what? I'm just sitting here and uh, looking at these candles. I think we should be able to make lanterns. I think we made a few before anyway. Lanterns. Yes, we can make several. In fact, get me, yes, all six of those. Wait for that to craft. That way we can have some good illumination tonight, at least until we can get the spotlight system set up. Let's go ahead and start thinking about our loadout for tonight. Man, there's our first thunder crack. Okay, we can take grenades and molotovs. I'm gonna take also just the sniper rifle with some ammo, the SMG. We've got a bunch of ammo for that already. We'll take the desert vulture. Contact grenades. Oh man, we are, we're gonna be armed to the teeth here tonight. Nice. I don't know how I'm not hungry. I have been, I have not eaten since like yesterday. But then again, I haven't been doing much manual labor. I think when you do labor, you burn through the calories a lot faster. But I'll take some drinks for tonight anyway, and some food as well. Oh yes, the spaghetti, right. That was in like some kind of a food crate that I got for some reason or other. So yeah, I'll take one of those for tonight in case we need it. Okay, there are the lanterns. Let's get some lights set up down here somewhere. Really nothing terribly fancy here, just something to, you know, keep the dark away. You know, I was just thinking to myself, I haven't seen a friggin' zombie all day and look, there's a, I think that's a wandering horde out there. Wandering in. Along with a couple of whisperers out there as well. Let's see. Eat that! Oh crap. <laughs> That didn't work at all. Here, let's try another one. Oh no, that didn't work either. I'm really bad at this. There we go. Yep, let them have it, guys. Actually, I really would prefer it if you did not come down into the spike traps that I just set up. Well, fair enough, I guess. Yeah, I guess it remains to be seen whether the Whisperers will try to wander in during the Horde night or not. Anyway, let's get that generator running. Hopefully that's enough fuel to last the night, because I'm too lazy to go get some more. All right, I'm just gonna use the seed box here for tools. We don't need tools tonight. Okay, and with that, I think we're just about as ready as we're ever going to be. Make sure I got all the ammo that I'll need for tonight. Got a couple of repair kits. Uh, only two of them, though. But I should have plenty of, like, redundant weapons and throwables for the night. So let's get downstairs. Oh, actually, I've got to position some of these soldiers. Follow me. And... Uh, Cajun Thunder, you follow me. Everybody else is posted up in the corners, and that should be perfect. Bad player, you follow me. De Herbivore... Herbivore, you stay in here. Okay, specifically, Devlin Moore, you stay where I'm standing. And then I think the trick is, okay, I stand here and then I say, stay where you are standing and then Devlin will be facing the correct direction. I've been kind of doing that wrong all along. Yep, yep, that's what we want right there. Okay, and then everybody else comes in here. Yes, 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 right here. Okay, Cajun, stay where I'm standing and BP, stay where I'm standing and seal this up so they can't get out. I'm gonna start the night out here. Are you guys good? Yeah, they're good. And they should shoot through here if we need their help. Otherwise, when the time comes, we will fall back and we will hold from this position and hopefully they won't breach through because this is very, very soft and we would kind of lose control of the soldiers if that were the case. Anyway, there's not much left to do, but wait until the horde arrives. Maybe see if I can pick off the whispers that are way out there. Oh, I got them. Well, my friends, the hour is late and our third horde approaches, so it's time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. All right, so far so good, I would say. With this clear field of fire, the soldiers and I are able to shoot them as they're coming in, and then once they get into the trench, they start wrapping around this way. So far, nothing particularly overwhelming, though. It's looking good here. Oh, boy. <laughs> Where'd you guys come from? Oh, no, no, no. Did you guys break in from the back already? You bastards. What are you guys doing over here? Whoop, gun's broken. Oh, they... Oh, that's why. There was a little pile of rubble there that they wanted to jump over on. Okay, that's fixed. Let's test out the new shotgun. There's certainly not much of a threat right now. I can trust the soldiers. Oh, oh, on second thought. 
No, I think they're making it up here already. Here we go. Yep, they're here now. Yeah, they do not like the little jumpy blocks that we made for them. Oh, and then they're clearing out like one linear pathway. Ooh, two for one there? Are you kidding me? Nice. Yeah, I think they're mostly spawning over here to the north, and so maybe later they'll start spawning to the south and they'll hit this, like, uh, southern row of spikes. Gonna work on all my gun skills tonight, much as I can. Oh yes, and make sure I got the right XP goggles on. Oh, and also, guys, hold down the fort here for a second. I've gotta run up and I'm gonna get an XP card. Where are those things? Okay, uh, extra 20% experience gain, take that. Whoa, yes, here we go, they're coming in fast now. Ow, ooh. Oof, you can get some good melee action in here. This is really not a bad fighting position. It, it helps me have like eight people helping you defend though. Then again, this is war. And you can't fight a war alone. Yep, they're spawning to the south now. And just as I predicted, they're coming into the southern row of spikes now. Just curious if I can come over here and get a little peek at what's going on. Ooh, that helps. Oh, just death. That is all that's going on down there. They can't even get out. This is too much of a difficult pathway for them. As soon as they pop their head up, our soldiers in there immediately lay fire down on them. It's perfect. I love it. I, I feel confident that I can pretty much go anywhere and fight for the night. Oh, good chance here. Eat that. Oh, man. Exploding arrows for the win. Wow. How about some fire? Spice things up a little bit. Yep. Okay. Big boy starting to make it through. Just keep the heat on him there. I feel like this is it. This is the climax of the battle here. Don't let up. Depressing fire. Nice. Okay, they're just, they're continuing to pour in here. Look at the loot bags down there. This is insane. Oh, the rads, just rads everywhere. Oh my God, such a good opportunity for explosives right here. Come on, yeah. Oh, that was, where did that hit anyway? Jeez, there we go. Heal me up and get some fire down on them. Okay, just come over here, it's safer for me and then just drop it on them like that. There we go. Die! Get back! Get back! Holy crap, look at them pouring in here. Get the fire on them! Whoop! The, the thing caught on fire. Oh, I don't want to jump through that either. Um, I guess we're going to let that burn. Good proof of concept, I guess. I feel like the double barrel works really well. Not too bad at all. And I'm starting to maybe get the sense that the horde is easing up a little bit. Never mind. Whoa. Hello there. Get out of here. Oh, not enough to kill him. Oh, there we go. Saved by one of my teammates. Yep. Ooh, I think spiders are maybe the worst threat here. Yeah, you know what? I take that back. The horde is not letting up at all. This is still pretty intense. Oh, I love it though. Ah, get him. Okay, they're, they're starting to kind of get in here. Oh boy. Yes, the spiders make it significantly more difficult. Need ah. that. Oh my god. Okay, we definitely need some fire help here. Careful not to set myself on fire. Let him cook. 
I'm on fire. No, I don't want to be cooking myself. Ah, bossy brew. Yeah, I feel this is more of a liability to me now because <laughs> I can't fall back and I've only got one more drink left. Oh, I think that's probably friendly fire. Taking out some of the, uh, the, the quote unquote reactive armor that we have. My goodness, look how many zombies there are here. Gotta continue setting them on fire if we can. This is like a sea of loot bags. It's like a ball pit that you find at McDonald's. <laughs> you just run around and there's like a billion balls that you kind of wade around through. Oh, look at that! Yeah, these things are burning for a long time. That is going to be something that we can use to our advantage. Maybe next time, instead of using spikes, we just lay like a long, um, a bunch of this upgraded wooden nails. And that way, okay, this is bad. And that way the zombies will all catch on fire. We won't get XP for it. Maybe we'll use it in sort of some sort of a limited manner, but I think that's gonna be a good trap. Wow, I um I didn't expect this to be such a vicious look horde. Oh my god, it's crazy. The zombies getting shot so much that they're just disintegrating. Ow! Okay, they are officially in! Okay, whoa, time to run! Take that! Okay, watch out for my bike, please. There we go. It seems like if I come down here, it, it kind of spreads them out a little bit too much. Oh, did you see that spider go flying way over there? That's hilarious. It's definitely some kind of like a spider wave. Oh, look, he's trying to jump inside the base. Oh, boy. Okay, jump over here and take this guy out. Wow. That might have been it right there. What a horde that was. That was intense. And these things are still cooking like like a lot. There's a lot of hit points left here. Okay, just chopped all of that out. So that fire should burn out there in a couple seconds, I would imagine. Whoa, look at the loot. Okay, let's celebrate with some spaghetti and a mossy brew then. Yep, okay, the fire is not completely burnt out. Can I, can I make it through here? Nope, nope, I cannot. Come on up here and get some water. Ah, ah, I'm burning. Ow. I can drink, uh, I can drink murky water, but I used all the murky water to make glue. So <laughs> regular water it is, I guess. Okay, and we are hurting now. Okay, how about a painkiller then and a bandage on top of it or a first aid kit, I guess. I got plenty of them. We don't have any critical injuries. We have 26 minutes left on our XP boost as well. Maybe you want to do some like mining or something after this. Okay, let's just put um, whatever's in our inventory in there for now and let's go ahead and take down an eye candy i believe I'm having a hard time on the ladders these days i believe i have a an eye candy where is it right here sure let's take that and start looting up but first get the looting goggles on the ski goggles and we'll see what we get here of course there's just so much i'll, I'll kind of like recap with you once i get everything collected up together Okay, I do believe I've collected all the loot bags at this point. It's 4.54 in the morning, so that took a solid two hours to collect all that stuff. And I took a skill point into large storage box crafting, so that's what these are here. I have several more crafting because we're just going to kind of stack them all up in here like so, if I can. There we go. And then I suppose I could just get some wooden signs and then put the signs on them so that they're labeled and maybe replace all these eventually. I don't know, to be determined, I suppose. But let's have a look and see what we got for loot. Okay, everything into there and sort. Anything good here? We've got experience cards, which we're going to read because I think that will compound with the 20% experience boost card that I ate earlier. Okay, action skills, another experience card. Got some class papers, a water well schematic, and then otherwise, nothing ter- Ooh, what's that? Oh, a steel claw hammer. That's kind of interesting oh that uh that repairs a lot okay in this chest here we got a fish stew recipe we haven't even tried fishing yet light coat weapon flashlight a bunch more experience cards uh skill point reward cards action skill cards a 30 percent experience card we've got that steel sickle a whole bunch of hazmat clothing and really the dye is what i want the most off of that stuff and there was some tungsten leg armor. Also got an engine and a wheel. And other than that, oh, Kevlar chest armor. Whoa, that is dramatically better than the leather armor that I'm wearing right now. So we'll have to switch that over. Okay, but for now, okay, we've got the 18% experience card. Over here somewhere, we have 
a learning elixir. It's time to figure out if all of this stuff stacks. Okay, so if I take the learning elixir, that's plus 20%. I'm already on plus 20%, and I do have the 30% cards, but I think I'm good to just try it how it is right now. So we'll take the learning elixir in and just check the character. Buffs. We've got 20% experience and we've got the learning elixir. So, I mean, presumably that has compounded together. All right, we've got XP to next level 4,000. So let's take the 5,000. Okay, so we got 30,000 now to the next level. So if I take, do I have a 30,000 card? Okay, let's take a 10,000 card. Okay, that knocked me, that gave me like basically 14,000, is that right? So yeah, that would, that would be 10,000 plus 40%, so that would be an extra 4,000, that was 14,000. So these do stack, so now's the time to read all the experience cards. <laughs> wow, I didn't even look, I should have looked and seen like what my level was. I'll try to do that in editing so that you guys can know how many levels I just got there, because it was like... I don't know, four or five probably. Okay, then we've got all these, we got two skill points there. We've got another two here. We've got four here. And then we have all these action skill cards. You know, as far as I have been informed, the action skills are probably better spent in the late game when it's more difficult to go from say 99 to 100 than it is to go from one to two. But I don't want to hang on to these particularly. So whatever, I'm just gonna read them now. Wow, that was fun. <laughs> So we're at level 121, so maybe we'll get to 150 a little bit faster than I thought. Okay, so all I have to do now is just get the inventory set back up again and get this stuff kind of organized. So just give me a few minutes for that. You guys can get some breakfast and we'll pick things up in a couple of hours. All right, stop by the trader here this morning because we have a ton, well, first of all, we can benefit from the 20% boost there. So and we'll you take the sugar butt and take that awesome sauce and we can get even more XP out of this whole thing. I hope you get feeling better. All right, look at that. That was 28,000 with almost 35,000 XP. Just sell Billy Bob the rest of what I can here. And then Trader J over here can take this last mining helmet. And look at that, up to 47K. Now we can pretty much just buy whatever we want at will, I would say. Yeah, really, there wasn't much to buy. I got some cement and rocks and dynamite. And I'll buy the rest of that concrete mix there just so that we can do a little bit more upgrading before the next horde. But that's really pretty much quick. it for this place. The question is, what are we going to do with the rest of our day today? You know, one thing I would really like to do is... Let's uh, let's go swing by the vending machines and see if we can get a hacker's candy. And then we could do that car breakdown thing that we were planning on doing there before. Okay, this is the spot right here. Tell me you got a hacker's. No hacker's crap. Wow, I basically one-shot pizza. There's another vending machine and it is right over there somewhere. Let's check that one. Okay, here it is, I think anyway. Okay, we got sugar butts and eye candy, but no hackers. Oh, we got an airdrop coming in. <laughs> That's definitely not gonna have hackers in it. Well, I think, uh, yeah, we can make our way over in that direction. I think I'll just forego the hackers and we will start breaking down cars right here and see what we can get. Maybe somewhere along the way, we'll find a new vending machine. Well, let's get to work. So I've just had a good time clearing out some parts of the city here, and I've stumbled across both this POI here and this one over here, which look to be pretty decent in terms of loot. And uh, this one here, I recall from some other time that I've raided it, and this has a lot of stuff that can be broken down for component parts. We need mechanical parts and electrical parts for uh, one of the quests that we were doing. Whoa! <laughs> so this might be just the place to get it all. So before we get into it, we will stash up the bike. Pretty much gonna just focus on breaking everything down that's here today too. We need everything. Frickin' birds everywhere here. 
We don't need birds. Okay, one of the questions I have is, how am I supposed to get into this place? Because the last time I was here, I went down into the chute over there. Ooh, there's a button here, though. What does that do? Unclear. One more bird, though. Can take care of that guy. Nice. An Apache artifact chest with Taz's stone axe and some money, which is all I really need there. Really would like to get some steel today. That seems to be holding us back at least a little bit, and I guess I could... Can I, can I jump up there? Come on. There we go. Yep. Oh! Did that button open this up? And this is the proper way to get in here. I do like the idea of, like, uh, having an easy way out of here, because the other way is, uh, does not allow for easy egress. Okay, I should have read the Wasteland Treasures book where if I fall, I don't make a sound if I'm sneaking, which I wasn't. But, uh, ooh, we tanked that. You bastard. Must be the armor, probably. Okay, that was it for this place. Ooh, where did you come from, buddy? I think that's some guy I woke up on the outside that somehow jumped his ass up there, crawled down the ladder looking for me. Okay, looks like there was just a couple more there working on my stealth skills. Okay, just need to clear this place out now. It does look like all that's really left here is the main loot, and I think I've been wearing the looting goggles all along, so that's fair. Um, okay, and... Yeah, we can just pick this open, I think. I'm good enough at the lockpicks now. Yep. We're in. What do we get? Ooh, a new Kevlar helmet, and a building supply treasure map, and a brass hammer, which is for the gun crafting station. Increases the crafting speed there. Very nice. Let's switch the helmet over before I forget to do it. I'm already wearing a Kevlar helmet, but the, the new one is a quality six. And it's far better. And that new Dubsy we got is... Ooh, actually quite a bit better than the one we've been using. So we'll switch that over as well. Yep, this new one now is doing 18.4. Like, that's pretty much exactly double the auto shotgun. Wow. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this place. I could probably pick through and, yeah, I want to pick through and see if I can get a college jacket, and then I think we're out of here after that. And by out of here, I think, yes, we can just exit out this way. This is the way I came in the last time I raided this place. So, so now I've done it both ways. And seeing as how we've already basically cleared this place out, let's just go poke our head in here and see if we missed anything. The post office over there is full, like literally filled with friggin' wall safes, but I, I personally, oh my, there's more over here. I personally, I find that to be a little bit immersion breaking, so I'm actually not going to open all of those up. Sometimes the compo pack POIs are a little bit imbalanced, um, so, you know, it is what it is. I'll take these instead. Yeah, when cheating is time consuming, like opening all of those safes, I am not gonna do it. But when cheating is easy, I'm all for it. Plus, it's just kind of more about progression, so, yep, yeah, give me all this stuff. If I could just find, like, a writable storage container schematic, I would be so friggin' happy. Yeah, nothing particularly special anyway. We got the pumpkin cheesecake recipe, the pumpkin pie recipe, scrap, hunting knife, food spoiler schematic. Oh, is that like a refrigerator? Is that what that- or no? Food spoiler? Is that something that spoils the food? No idea. And scrap the rest of these, because I've already read them all. I haven't even looked into the schematic, or what's it called? The blueprint workstation, or whatever it is. Okay, building supplies, we can read that. Oh yes, we had the airdrop there, so save that so I don't lose it. Okay, that's the building supplies we had before. That's the new building supplies over there. There's a tier one buried supplies up there. We got all kinds of stuff to run around and do. Just freaking chores, basically. Okay, I don't think there's anything here that we need to fish out of those coolers. A little bit of water, that's fine. And was there, like, gonna be a main loot here somewhere? Not getting the sense that that's how this place works. Maybe there's something around back? 
Let's swing back there and figure that out. Nope, completely barren on the backside here. And nothing on this side either. No ladder or anything, or at least no indication that there's any reason to go up on the roof, so. But curiosity is gonna get the best of me. <laughs> Hello? Anybody up here? Any loot? Oh, there was a ladder back there. I missed it. But there's not a thing up here anyway, except some air conditioners, but we don't need the radiators, honestly. Okay, so in keeping with my strategy, I'm going to kind of stay out late into the night tonight and see if we can pick up on any gunfire around and maybe hire a, another soldier or two. And in the meantime, I'm going to, let's see, let's go over to the airdrop. We'll loop back through to hit that airdrop. And then, oh, I don't know, if there's enough time left in the day, we could go try the buried supplies, maybe. Okay, airdrop here. Oh, we got gunfire. Oh, who was that? Oh, crap. Yep, that's a freaking whisperer right next to his supply cache there. And sounds like a hunting rifle. Okay, not very accurate. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, my. And um, looks like they're more concerned about that wolf over there. So don't mind if I uh, get this, whatever this is, building supplies. Grab that up and oh, they're going to be running back here in a second. Okay, one of this guy's melee here. Take him out. If we can. Okay, got him. Whoa! Zombies here now. Freaking whispers, this is their strategy right here. And... Yep, you don't stand a chance. Get out of here. Whoa! Bird attack! Kill him too. Jeez. Oh, got a, a reward card. Skill points out of that. But I've got too much stuff in my inventory, so start by eating the cat food. Okay, so same strategy. Let's work our way. Ooh, bear over there. Look out for that. Let's do a loop south, kind of explore further into the wilderness, and then we'll kind of circle back up to the other airdrop, looking for soldiers all along the way. Oh, and supply caches. Health and armor in here. Nothing special. Oh, and it would appear that this is the southern border here. We have made our way to the ocean okay we got ak-47 fire and a bear and that is oh just a uh, whisperer or a rogue or something ah, i'll leave her to it okay got another hunting rifle going off yep and it's just another whisperer hunting a wolf well whatever <laughs> nothing that concerns me Ooh, pulling up on this thing here i don't know what to think of that but it looks like a horde base I'm not sure if that's a whisperer thing or if that's just an abandoned thing. Maybe some survivor had that at one point and got overrun. But the middle of the night is not the best time to be exploring stuff like that. Maybe we'll come back there someday. Okay, up to the second airdrop here. Oh man, really? That's a bunch of crap. There was like that one good airdrop. The first airdrop that we got there on like day three that had like 40 items in it. And everything else has just been kind of like really meh. Holy crap, there's a good supply cache right there. Grabs awesome sauce recipe, melee zombie crawler challenge, and some repair kits and all that stuff. And at this point, I feel like I was going to try to like push to the north here and see where all these roads are leading, but we'll have to kind of put that off for another time. My inventory is almost completely full, and it's about to crack morning. So, oops. That's a shotgun. That's a soldier. Holy crap. Get out of here, man. Get up. Who do we got here? Oh, crap. Feral wrecked zombie kicking my ass. Philip James Crawford. Well, Mr. Crawford, you are hired. 750 dukes because he's only got a combat knife. Uh, more interested in seeing this auto shotgun wielder over here. I can see the muzzle flash. Oop, that would be a bear that just went down. Oh, and that's definitely a whisperer. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to fight right now. In addition to uh, an auto shotgun being deadly, I think it also really damages the armor a lot. I've been noticing that my armor gets very, very easily damaged, and I think it's from gunfire. Okay, we're just passing by the Mira HQ. We were here a couple of weeks ago. Should be all clear in there. And here we are back at the base. Let's uh, head inside, get everything organized, get some breakfast into us, and come up with a plan for tomorrow. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back to the fight. Yesterday, we turned back a vicious walker attack and discovered a road base right on our doorstep. But at this point, we're still too poorly equipped for a large-scale battle. So the POD is to finish off the Tradesman class quest, which will require a lot of mining. But that should give us access to the Tradesman vending machine, 
And then I'd like to get the framework started on the remainder of the outer wall. And if there's time left, there's plenty of missions to do in the local area. You watch my back and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. Okay, before we get into things today, I want to head upstairs and see if there's any real estate up here where I can put a sign. And it looks like probably like these spots right here, I could put some signs. And I wish there was like a tall vertical sign because I got a long to-do list. Also, I didn't put any of this stuff away and that's gonna be a bit of a problem. Look at this, I got this new resource bin and it's completely filled up already. Damn it. <laughs> I'll put the overflow in here, I guess. Oh, look at that, we can make open signs and exit signs and stuff. That's super cool. Anyway, we want like uh, two of these and then I'm just gonna poke around here. Okay, tons and tons of sand there. Oh, this takes engines. I forgot about that part. Oh, that'll probably make the Hescos go a lot faster, but we only picked up two engines and all that car harvesting that we did yesterday Two engines is all we have to show for it. And this is probably an eco engine and an HD engine anyway, so we don't even need that second one. So let's see here, what can we do for Hesco blocks? 49, that's gonna take all day to do. And I guess we just have to do it. Okay, so for signs, yeah, yeah, we don't just don't have very much real estate. Oh, there's this little spot right here. What, the, the, no, the three meter. Oh, that, that thing's too big. What if I put the sign down here? Uh, right there. And then I just want a little one up here. I forgot to do it this series, but what we, what we have to do is we have to have a days since last fire. And, um, or no, it's not days since. That's too difficult because we have to change it every day. It's day of last fire. And that was, that was the Horde night. So that was like the day after Horde night. So that was 22, which wasn't that yesterday? Yeah, that was yesterday. And this one down here, uh, it's, it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, look at that. I've, I've run out of space on the uh, to-do list. Okay, so we'll just say two, what is it? To do, mining walls and towers. And that I'll try to like update that with important things to do for the next day as they come up. In terms of things to do for this day, we need to do extensive mining. And I think the auger is the thing to do that with. Let's just make sure we have plenty of fuel with us. And we also need to decide where to do our mining. Oh, and before I forget, there is one more thing to do. If I look at my quests, okay, we, we're gonna do the tradesman today. That's, we just have to get the stone for that. And we have everything else to complete that quest right there. But the, what was it? The survivalist, yes. Okay, gather goldenrod flower, chrysanthemum, and boiled water, which I would imagine I have all of that at this point. Man, I don't, I don't have Jack. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, I've got the chrysanthemums. I don't have goldenrod. Wow, that's that's disappointing. Okay, I'm gonna run around real quick and gather up some chrysanthemum then. Not chrysanthemum, uh, goldenrod. Yeah, we need 10 goldenrod, and while I'm gone, I'm going to just boil up some water with the snow that we have. Wait, I, I, can't, I can't do that? Can I not do that? Ah, here it is. I just have to type it in. So yeah, snowballs and empty jars. Wait a minute, craft at the campfire or the coffee maker. Yep, that's where I am, why can't I do it? Not letting me do it, that's that's very weird. Maybe that's a bug, maybe it, it does have to in fact be in the coffee maker, which is quite disappointing. Well, work on the regular boiled water then. There's my 10 goldenrod. Okay, that's the quest completed right there, I think. Oh, that was some quest completed there. <laughs> Not exactly sure what. There's a lot of these like progression quests that I haven't really been focusing on because as far as I can tell, you only get dukes and XP, which is nice, but not necessarily like going out of my way to do these, like gathering brass and lead. I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Okay, that should be it for the quest right there. Yep, now I just have to craft goldenrod tea and craft red tea. And of course, oh man, that's gonna have to be done in the inventory too. Man, no. Well, if I get the right pair of glasses on, it'll take a little bit less time, but I, I suppose we're just gonna have to do it. Okay, finally, that is it. Take all that up. I need the drinks anyway. We'll just see what the next step in that quest is. Okay, duct tape, cloth, bandages, uh, aloe cream, and wood. That's a weird combination of items. Of all of those things, I think probably aloe cream is gonna be the one that holds me back the most. Oh, I'm just off by a little bit too. Okay, so we'll worry about that later. Now we are on to the tradesman to gather up all that stone. Let's get to mining. And I do think what I will do is just, um, okay, James, can you stand where I'm standing? And then I think what I'll do is just, uh, let's find the center point in here and just dig straight down from the middle. Next time, watch yourself. Oh, hello there. <laughs> yes, she got her voice back a little bit. And then once we get to the bottom, I think I'll probably, I don't wanna dig underneath the compound, so we're just gonna branch out in one direction and then do some mining out there and hopefully we'll run into 
either iron or lead or nitrate or something that we can harvest up for more materials. Okay, so I've dug myself right about underneath this water trench here, and we're sufficiently far enough away from the base where I think we're safe. But I don't want to go too far away because I want the soldiers that will be stationed in the manor or in the towers to be able to cover me if, like, screamers come uh, trying to dig down on top of me. So uh, now that I think about it, maybe want to be a little bit closer to the base. So let's come back, like, right about here. And then I guess we just start, like, branching out to the sides. Ooh, I just heard a ding of metal. Am I into metal here? Ah, yes, I'm in metal. Nice. Whoa. Oh, interesting. A portal into the unknown here. Okay, maybe this will be a good test. We need the iron anyway. I should probably mine here until we summon a screamer and then see if the soldiers, I might be too far away from them to actually, for them to shoot. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. I feel like I've had enough mining here. Done a pretty good amount of damage down here. Whoop, where's my exit? Here it is. Yeah, so I think, uh, I think I'll head back now. And I didn't hear any screamers, but, uh, you know, I might be too far away to hear them. I am at bedrock, so let's get a ladder out of here. Whoa! What the hell was that? I heard a rocket launcher! Oh, jeez! Oh, we might be under attack! Come on, let's get out of here fast! Up, 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 Okay, what is going on up here? Did you guys kill whoever that was? Give me a gun. What happened? My goodness, I don't know. Okay, can I squeak my ass out of here? Come on, squeak, squeak. Go, 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 go. There we go. Okay, I don't see any damage to the base. I definitely heard a rocket launcher go off, though. Was there maybe like a whisperer attack or a rogue attack or anybody else hanging out out here? Holy crap. There he is right there. Oh, it's a bunch of psychos. Ah, give me some soldiers. BP, follow me. Cajun, follow me. Yep, follow me and follow me. Let's go, guys. Counter attack before they do some damage here. Right there, get him. Okay. And close quarters, not loaded. Oh no, no, no. Whoa, get him. Come on guys, engage. Oh my God. Fine day, isn't it? Yes, it's very fine, let's go. This time with the guns loaded. Oh, there's another one way over there. Is that, what does he have for a gun? Okay, one over there. Yes, just a, a couple of scattered psychos here. This guy over here has a baseball bat. Should be too much of a threat. Come here, buddy. I got something for ya. Down. Also, this is the POI with zombies in it. Oh, there we go. There's a whole bunch of them over here. Let's go, guys. Oh, ow! Down. They're acting very nonchalant. I don't know about this. Yes! Are you sure you're not a psycho Cajun? Look out! Killer! Nice! Oh, one more! Charge! Chop his head off! Come on! Oh, crap! Oh, nice! Herbivore, or maybe it was Philip with the kill there. Okay, we got one more over here. Charge! Got a stupid hunting rifle. My goodness, these guys are tough. Okay, it's hard to shoot, Philip, when you're friggin' standing in the way. Yep, one more over there. What does that guy have, do you think? That looks like a rocket launcher. I might lead off with a friggin' contact grenade for this guy. Okay, move at him laterally so that he can't hit me, and... Eat that! Yes! Okay, got a good knockdown on him. Ooh! He definitely... Whoa, he shot a rocket launcher over there. Wow. Okay, I think we've thwarted their attack. Let's head back to the base and get back to work. And no casualties either, perfect. A little bit of a fire. I'm not gonna worry too much about that though. Although, you know, let's just do a perimeter sweep around this house here and make sure that there's not another one hiding. I mean, two, two guys with rocket launchers, that is a heavy hit there. Probably they're trying to get a little bit of revenge for our attack on their little outpost. And I also have not yet received any intel on where their next closest base is. We do know where the closest rogue base is, so that might be our next step. Maybe we can pick up some intel there. The psychos and the rogues are also at war with each other, and so there might be some intel at the base, maybe a map or something of the local area showing some local bases. I'm not sure if the Whisperers have a base or if they're just kind of wanderers, so we'll just be on the lookout for any sort of a base that they might have as well. Oh, yep, hello everybody. <laughs> Welcome to the top floor. Let's, uh, let's just stash them all up here somewhere. 
Stay where I'm standing. Stay where I'm standing. Stay where I'm standing. Okay, right. We're go getting back to work here. We needed to get like uh, mechanical parts, electrical parts, clay, stuff like that, wood. Oh, what is this? Electrical components. I, I have a bunch of those somewhere. Electrical components. It's very difficult to find stuff these days. Where the hell are those? Aha, there they are. We got the handy dandy search function there. That helps. Oh, yep. And we've completed the quest there. What's the next one? It should be to craft the, the paper thing, right? Tradesman. Oh, oh, we can also do the covert class. At some point, I must have finished that and I just forgot all about it. So class paper covert and class paper tradesman. And that should have given me the covert vending machine and the tradesman. Wait a minute. Did I did I not do that right? Quests, tradesman. Oh, I've got to gather the fragments first. Okay, gather. There's there's a very okay, craft class paper tradesman. <laughs> There's a very particular order thing of things that you have to do here. So this should give me the next vending machine for the tradesman class. It did, nice. And I guess I just have this extra tradesman class paper, which I don't really know, what do I do with this anyway? Is there anything to do with this? Could I, I could sell it, I guess. Otherwise, I don't think it's usable. Also, I think I've leveled up a bunch and I have 41 skill points to spend. So I'll work on that in just a second. Let's get these new vending machines down somewhere. Okay, that's the covert one, that's the tradesman one. I want that to be right here i guess because it's kind of close to the the tradesman type of tools and then the covert one we can put in uh, oh over here i guess hey so what's for sale here Ooh, a tungsten chainsaw got a tungsten auger nope just another tungsten chainsaw some very cheap cobblestone nice okay good stuff here oh a steel auger only quality one though probably i don't know if that's worth our time yeah because my regular auger here is doing 26 block damage, that steel auger there doing 27, and I'd only be able to put one mod on it, so it really only would be like an incremental upgrade there. Oh, hello there. Some forged steel here for 3600. That's not too, too bad. Do I really need it right now? We do need it because I do also want to make like an auto shotgun, which in fact I could make right now, but it'll probably be a bit more expensive here in a second because I'm going to actually spend my skill points to increase my shotgun crafting skill. Yeah, I can't craft it anymore. Need more steel. Also, we have to factor in the fact that it's going to use basically all of the shotgun parts, which I might be able to buy some out of this thing here. Oh, look at this. Class treasure, a weapon crate. Oh, man, that sounds like right up my alley. Ooh, a gold tipped baseball bat. And that is actually not terribly worse than the legendary sword that we have. Yeah, there's another one right here. It's not it's not too, too expensive, though. If we look at the skills, though, in action skills, our blunt weapon is 14, our blade weapon is 9, so I don't know, man. At this point, it's like, it's such a small difference. Maybe we should just continue with the legendary sword and call it good. Oh, so check this out. Raw iron, you have to scrap this first, and that turns into a bunch more iron, so we can just drop that in the workbench and get, what is this here? A geode? Whoa, what is that? Well, scrap that. And you just open this, I guess? Open? What happened? Oh, I got something. What was that? A quartz. Whoa, what does this do? It sells or it scraps. It scraps into silver, into one silver. So I think, I think, what is this? This is four Celestine things. Okay, that's worth a lot more. And this would scrap into also silver, I think is what I'm getting out of that. So. I guess, no, we're just gonna sell those. Man, I'm making all kinds of discoveries today. <laughs> Let's check on that um, treasure map there. Where's that gonna be? Ooh, way down there to the south. Well, you know, we have three things to dig up today and it's getting kind of dark, so probably not the best time for base construction. So let's maybe spend the night just digging Oh, and that's actually kind of perfect because it's our likelihood of recruiting soldiers, I feel like, personally, is much better at night. There's just a higher density of zombies and things for people to shoot, and that helps us identify where they are. And we can always use more materials. Not that we really need clay, and that's the only type of material we're going to get, but, you know, maybe just scratch that. <laughs> okay, we'll need tool repair kits. Man, using the auger is so much better for me because, look, I've barely used any hunger or thirst today. I haven't eaten all day. I had one boiled meat this morning. Well, all right then. Bad player, if you could just... Push your little noggin down there a little bit. That'd be nice. Come on, man. Okay, anyway, this is probably out of gas. Is this out of gas? Nope. Shouldn't be. It's really not even powering anything except for that one little switch. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna ride up to the tier one buried supplies. Grab that. Then to the building supplies. Then to the class treasure supply. 
then I think that airdrop is already done and then we'll hit up this last one last the one that's underneath a parking lot or something all right so I'll meet you there all right here's the first one here hit the quest I don't even know who this quest is for and just dig this up real fast actually make sure I got the right goggles on there we go oh look at that I found it already just a food stash nothing special is it even worth it to kill these zombies Eh, we'll work on our sword skill a little bit no problem all right next okay here we are at the buried building supplies I've not heard any gunfire or anything like that so I think we're in the clear let's just dig into this oh I found it what's inside Ooh, a steel pickaxe hey a digital watch ah oh, it doesn't do anything just sell it or scrap it oh well and those uh, buried building supplies are really not ever worth it are they I had that level one steel pickaxe barely a little bit better than the, the iron one that I have so whatever just scrap that and we're on to the weapon crate I've got high expectations for this one hey okay, oh here we are this was right underneath the friggin whisperer cache must be a whisperer supply crate a hidden one Ooh, this is a, a oh feral wrecked general supply crate here with ooh, shotgun parts and this which I can just make more shotgun parts out of and Kevlar chest armor not as good as the ones I'm wearing though well let's dig in Ah, whoa, dire wolf. Nope, that's not the gun. That's not it either. There we go. Oh, I found it. Oh, that's more like it. Look at the weapon parts there. Most of those just gonna sell, including scrapping that. But it's good to, you know, see what's in that kind of thing. We can buy more of those in the future from that vending machine. Okay, on to the next one. We're about halfway done. In fact, I think the next one is just uh, the one that was in the city there. So, all right, I'll meet you there. Okay, we're rolling up on the spot here and it looks like it is underneath the ostrich hotel <laughs> oh great yes here we are okay well um we have to oh hello there yes we have to be super careful because i'm pretty sure the ostrich thing in there is like uh it's got a lot of zombies in it right so i don't want to wake them all up okay for this one i don't want to have to do a whole lot of digging so i'm just gonna do the the box trick so we can see just exactly where the circle is shrinking down and hopefully that will help us kind of find it more quickly. Okay, I've let it shrink down three times. And I just wanted to pop up here and... Um, okay, it's definitely shrinking toward me. It's, shrink it's shrinking in this direction. So we're going to dig in that direction. And all this looks like asphalt down here, but it's just... Um, it's just, I don't know, some kind of a bug, I guess. Just soil. Oh! Nope, that's the border. Nope, haven't quite found it. Oh, who's this? Hello. Please go away. It should hopefully be right around here somewhere, though, unless... Oh! Ah, oh, yes, there it is right there. Nice. Okay, just get this over with. Old light fixture. Ah, that's just for scrapping as well. Man, these are not worth it. I don't like this. Yep, the next time I get a buried building supply map, I'm just gonna scrap it. Unless it's in the wasteland, basically. All right, let me out of here. Alaria... Alaria's stuck down there. Whatever. Nope, nope, she made it back up. All right, what's next? We do have a tier two fetch right there in town. I suppose we could try to knock that out very quickly. Not seeing much else on the to-do list. So, yep, I'll meet you there. Okay, we should be rolling up on the spot. Yes, okay, it's this one. It's this CPA shit's law. Ow, get back. Okay, it's just a fetch and it's just a tier two. So we could just be in and out of here in a couple of seconds. Where's the satchel? It looks like it's up there somewhere. So we might have to go through this place legitimately. Oh, a weapons bag right there, I can see. Is that working? No. In which case, I'll take it apart for the steel. Whoops. Oh, hello. While I'm at it, just give me this too. Oh, a steel club. How's that gonna look? Yeah, terrible. Let's just scrap it for parts. Oh, hello there, police officer. Oh, look at this, a gun safe. This place is like stacked with loot already and I'm not sure if it's true but these look like they're the easiest locks they I usually break those open almost immediately and what do we get here Ooh, a mother load mod what is this equip this mod to a melee tool to increase the yield of resources gained nice more shotgun parts too and tungsten club parts okay so it said melee tool so I, I guess I'll throw that on to yeah the iron pickaxe whoop yep I got some attention drawn in here Holy crap, it's a parasite. Aha, here we go. This is the mission right here. Boom, done. Let's check on this, though. Yep, we're in. What do you got here? Mm, not much. It's a better machete, but honestly, I shouldn't even be carrying the machete. And it's now morning, so I can kind of 
roll through here a little bit more quickly. I don't have to worry too much. Oh, hello there. Ooh, sneaky spot down here. Could it be? Oh, that's how you get to that. Right, because you wouldn't just go through that easy 300 hit point chain link fence. Okay, at this point, I'm just pushing for the main loot. Where is it? Ah! Holy crap! Where'd you come from? Ah! Ow, ow, ow! Ooh, yikes! Get back! Holy crap, man! Eat that! Ooh! I'm not doing too well, guys. Where are my freaking bandages anyway? Oh, it's gonna have to wait. This is like a horde or something. Stay down, Steve. Where are my bandages? There they are, right there. I had them switched off the hotbar for some reason. Okay, juice me up. Whoa! Oh, jeez, they come flying up the stairs. Okay, if this is in fact a horde, there's probably whispers with them. So I'm just gonna be cautious about that. Check the loot here. Hey, that's a nice stomaton. Quality six, in fact. Worth a good pretty penny there. Hungry and thirsty, let's start working on that. And I'm sure we'll be right as rain in no time. Right as rain. I wonder where that expression came from. <laughs> is there something right about the rain? A pair of spiders up here. Whoa, hello, buddy. Leveled up yet again at uh, level 132. Ooh, ow, another spider. My goodness. And that weapon just broke there. This thing is trash. It has served me well here in the early days, but <laughs> we need to get it replaced as soon as possible. Oops. Oh, I just fell through that and cut my ankle open, I guess. You know, I quite like the Dubsy a lot more than the auto shotgun at this point. It's just, it has such better knockdown power. Look at that. Just blowing people's legs off. Oh, here's the main loot right here. Nice. A brewery crate with a beer in it. I guess I'll just drink it now and celebrate my victory today. And what do you got here? Night Stalker book, 10% more damage at night. Sneak damage. A twin turbo mod. Equip it to a vehicle to go... Ooh. Wait a minute. 200% increase to power? Wow. I'm really interested to see what that will look like on the mini bike. And yeah, is there anything else left up here that we need to... Whoa, get. Yes, a bird. Oh, come on, man. Nope, I think we're good. And I think I hopefully have enough parkour skills to just jump my way out of here. Do I... Do I want to chance it? It doesn't look too good, does it? Here we go. Let's do this. Boing here, and then onto the windowsill, and then onto the window, and then again. Yes, perfect. Okay, to the bike, and open it up. Whoa! Jeez, man! Get out of here. And uh, put the twin turbo mod on, right? Is that gonna work? That looks like it. Whoa, it doubled the speed. It says fast. <laughs> It's gonna be fast. Okay, let's try it out. It's uh, it's pretty damn fast. I'll, I'll hand it to it. It, does, it It's not as good as I was expecting, I'll say, but uh, I'm not disappointed either. Well, I am gonna stop by and see Jen then and see if I can get a couple of rewards here and then we'll head back to the base for some construction. Whoa, we are, we're moving pretty good now. Look at this. Whoa. Yep, it's the straightaways. We excel on the straightaways now. <laughs> this is kind of nice. Imagine if I get this on like the 4x4 four four, though. Wow, that'd be very fast. All right, everyone, I'm here for quest rewards. What do you got? Bunch of garbage, I'm sure. Yep, indeed. I will take a new job, though. We're into the tier threes. Got to fetch at the cidery, which I've driven by before. I think I'll do that. I haven't done that before. And then Billy Bob will give us a fetch and clear at the homestead. No matter what. Sure. And did, uh, did no one have another... Oh, here we go. Another reward. And I'll take the pipe bombs. Thank you very much. And, oh, we got a tier bonus here. Yeah, I don't know about this stuff. I'm going to go with the three book bundle. It might have something good in it for us and ooh, a special job I to the northeast which i'm pretty sure we've job. been there before but soon. i'll take it again nice and um she does not give me tier twos that'll be tomorrow i think she'll finally reset on that just taking a moment here to do a little bit of shopping while i'm here okay i feel like that'll just about do it let's head home all right, we're back at the base. Everything is put away and organized. Let's open up this three book bundle here. And that's stuff we've already read. How exciting. Let's check the class vending machine and see, does that restock every day? Seemingly it does, but it also kind of looks like this is the same stuff that was in it before. Oh, I never did check the covert class vending machine. Let's see what's in here. Oh, armor, okay. Silver armor, didn't know that was a thing. Whoa. That is far better than the helmet I'm wearing. And I think I'm wearing Kevlar right now. So maybe silver is like the next step up. Although if it looks like padded armor, I ain't wearing it. All right, we'll worry more about that later. We got to do construction today. The rest of the Hescos are done. We're up to 49 on that. I think we'll need maybe a hundred or two more to kind of 
finish things off. Let's grab up all the cobblestone. In fact, let's just go to the workbench here and just like make everything that we'll need for today. Okay, cobblestone shapes. Let's just get like 500 of those and make sure we have the right glasses on so we get a 10% reduction on that. And we'll make some extra cobblestone rocks and then with the rest of the rocks, we'll make more sand. Oh, I also got this minor tune-up mod. I was just kind of organizing and that could probably also go onto the mini bike for 25% better fuel efficiency. I really can't wait until we at least get the motorcycle, but um, as far as I know, we can't do that just yet. What's uh, what's holding us back there on the motorcycle? Oh, just just not having the, uh, oh, don't pin it. Not Just not having the uh, schematic for it. Which reminds me, while some of those shapes are crafting, let's go ahead and just spend up some of the skill points. Whatever we can, we have plenty right now. And uh, oh yes, Increase our blade skill so we can do a little bit better with the sword. Okay, just spending a smattering of points here, but yeah, pain tolerance, healing factor, parkour, pack mule, iron gut, cardio, daring adventurer, charismatic nature, and medium sized schematic bundles at the blueprint workstation, apparently. Oh, a builder's workstation? I don't have one of those, do I? And a tungsten forge? Let's craft both of those and whoa okay all kinds of stuff has opened up in the covert class covert workstation armor smithing workstation i guess i'll take that and we're we're very quickly running out of points it's okay we're running out of things to spend them on as well demolitions expert treasure hunter lucky looter stealth and sure lock picking and i'll save the last one in case something comes up i feel like a whole new man now Oh my god, we have so many workstations to craft. I forgot what they all are already. Okay, we've, okay, armor workstation, builder's workstation. I think we have, don't we have the tool workstation? Do we not have that? Oh, and then there's a, a couple that are locked as well. I, I can't even make the blueprint workstation yet. What does that belong to? I don't know, some friggin' thing in here that I haven't found yet. <laughs> Oh well, looks like we're gonna need a claw hammer and two anvils to get those new workstations. So craft up that hammer when you're done with everything, and I can't craft the anvil because it's locked behind a schematic, as usual. I don't know, I'll look into that later. I wanna get started on building now. It's 11.11 and it's time to get this place finished off once and for all. All right, at long last, the construction project is finished. These are a little bit too long. I have put this skirt around the top and the bottom. This was the original design plan. I've just been too lazy to do it because it's actually very tedious to get them into the right spot. Whoop, leftover zombie maybe? Ooh, a couple of whispers out there too. I can see them just barely. If I can get a close look at them, I might be able to go out there and solo them. Okay, we've got spear baseball bat and looks like combat knife and there's a stripper over there watch out for that i might get demonetized all right let's go do some hand-to-hand -hand combat see how well we can do hello there buddy what are you doing here trying to send some zombies in to kill us tonight i don't think so don't stand a chance get out of here Ooh, where's that last one there he is right there hello there gonna need more than a combat knife to take the likes of me whoop except i need stamina so Get back. Oh, I like how that knife's just donking off my armor. Listen. <laughs> Damn. Did like two damage to me. Whoop, boobs. I've never advertised this channel as a family channel, but this just goes a little bit too far. Whoop, 25 free bandages and a little bit of free loot here as well. Some vitamins and yeah, we got to collect the bandages anyway for that, uh, what is it? Some kind of a quest that I have to do. Ooh, I'm finally hungry. Oh my God, I'm down to two. Two hunger, wow. Hungry is an understatement. I am famished. Okay, where's my spaghetti? Eat that, that's good for 140 food. That should top me right off. And I'll chase it down with a boiled red meat and take down a mossy brew. And I think what I'd like to do is just like a night raid tonight. I feel like we've done a lot of building. It's time to get out and see the world a little bit. So we have a fetch and clear just almost right next door here. We have the orchard and then we have this one over here. So it's kind of a toss up. Let's just do the fetch. 
because the fetch is kind of something we can more easily just like grab the stash, uh, grab the supplies, and then run away if we have to. Although we did just trigger the Wandering Horde, so I wouldn't expect one of those for a while longer. And so, yeah, I think that will look pretty good once I get that all wrapped up and then, of course, paint it and, you know, take my scaffolding down and everything else. It sure does feel nice, though, to have, whoops, most of the outer wall done. This, the outer wall really goes a lot, like, way too close to um, the bunker there for my liking. We'll have to kind of sort out what we're going to do there. We might just make it kind of, like, open concept so that the... The bunker, I don't know, uh, like protrudes out to the edge of the wall, or maybe there's just like a doorway that goes directly out to the walkway. Kind of to be determined on that one. And of course, we'll have to focus a little bit on lighting here in the coming days. So let's snap the generator on. The generator is actually powering the turrets, so I'd like to not have that on for too long if I can avoid it. And let's head on to our super speed mini bike. It only take us a second to get over here, and we'll knock out this tier three quest. Ooh, we are zooming now. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's. Uh, what, what is this place? This is the orchard, right? Yeah. Let's. Ooh. Ooh, got a rad there. Yeah. Let's just hit the quest and <laughs> disappear him into oblivion. Oh, but there's gonna be more. I can see that. Holy crap! Hello there, Mo. Whoop! I woke up a dog. Quickly, get the loot out of this car. Yikes! Come and get it. Oh boy. <laughs> Complete miss. I asked for it, didn't I? Chop your head off. And hazmat pants. Definitely don't need those, but I can scrap them for the military fiber. I might need that someday. Oh, aha, yes. I woke up another Mo, and I can see a bunch of zombies in there. We can take them out with archery. Wow. I can almost one-shot a feral Mo with a headshot. That's crazy. Oh, no, buddy. I feel like I say it every episode, but I am still looking for my college jacket. I don't even know at this point if it's like a thing that you can even find. Maybe it's just been replaced with the glasses. Why are there birds inside? It's crazy. Now who's here? Oh, stupid spider. Try not to wake up this cop here. These are leather couches, right? Yes, we don't need leather. We need cloth for... Well, we have a ton of cloth, but we will always need more for the Hescos. And what's in these brewery tanks? Okay, medical supplies, don't need that. Looking more for, like, uh, ammo supplies. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I think we are done with, um... I don't know, the brewery... brewery oh, was that not a piece of garbage laying on the floor that I thought it was? <laughs> I guess not. Oh, boy. Bunch of cops here. Squeak one right into the side of his head. And his, too. Oh my god, another cop down there. And there's our supply satchel right there. Grab that, and we're done. We can run if we have to. Okay, we're going up into the attic, and this is a wide open area with a whole bunch of zombies in it. Luckily, I am a covert expert now, as of yesterday. Okay, I don't quite know what the deal is from here, though. Are we... Oh, loot bag out there. There's a zombie kind of lurking around somewhere below me. But otherwise, I don't really know where I'm supposed to go now. Alright, where do we go now? Are we going... Uh, is it this way? Over here? Yes, downstairs. Aha, there's a basement. Ooh, with a rad. And I would... Ooh, a couple of them. And I would imagine this is pro- Ooh, three. Wow, yes. That's, that's the loot right there. I see it. Oh my god, there's a total of four rads down here. I've killed the one. Okay, I could almost one-shot him with the headshot and the sneak damage. That bodes well for the softer two over here. Yep. Ooh, not so well for that one. Take that. Ooh. Big boy's taking it like a champ as well. And I missed that dog. Wow, I walked right by him, didn't I? Okay, I think we are all clear to loot up. Nothing special in there. Okay, we're into the main loot. But watch out, because I heard some blocks breaking. I wasn't sure if that was that cellar door or not. Nope, I think we're good. Let's grab this loot. Anything good? A roasting pan. For... I don't know. Roasting stuff in the oven, I guess. And it's now morning, so I think we're good to just head out of here at this point. Oh, that's locked. Just break this open. Alright, so I'm just gonna head back to the base. I will get everything put away into storage and organized, and I'll start thinking up a plan for tomorrow. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night.
We made some excellent progress on the base yesterday, and we're on the brink of unlocking some key new tools, like the Tungsten Forge, the Builder's Workstation, and the Armor Workstation. But missing schematics are holding us back, so the POD is to start hunting for anvils and bellows or their schematics. We'll try the traders, bookstores, or hardware stores if we can find them, and after that, we'll make some more progress on base construction. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. All right, let's start things off today by seeing if I can craft a new shotgun. And in the meantime, while that's crafting, I think we can probably set up the automation on this once and for all so that we don't have to worry about uh, the door opening and closing and letting zombies in and stuff like that. So let's have a look here. I should be, I think I've, I've decided that I want to go into the pump shotgun and that's because we can craft a higher quality pump shotgun. Oh, we need duct tape. Um, then the auto shotgun and I don't think that the extra ammo of the auto shotgun makes a huge difference Yeah, because we have the the HD drum magazine mod which gives us like 30 some odd rounds, but we also have an HD What is it tube extender mod which will increase the capacity by six? So the pump shotgun should have something like 15 rounds in it and we should be able to get three Maybe four mods onto it and then that'll also let us replace the double barrel that we've been carting around <laughs> Hopefully anyway, okay Craft that. And for the next two minutes while that's going, let's grab the motion sensors and the wire tool. We should be able to put a motion sensor. Yeah, I think this is probably the best spot right here. And then I think if we do one here as well, that'll be fine. We'll just have to try it out. Because the motion sensors, they have like, like ground penetrating radar. So even though the door is going to be kind of in the way, it's not gonna matter. It'll still see us through the door. It'll see us through the walls. It'll see us through the ground. Doesn't make any difference there. Oh, how does this go? To the external one, to the internal one, then to the door. Is that how it goes? Okay, 10 second duration, target self only. And that's gonna be using a lot of power because the these are all set up, which now I believe we could just put the turrets onto the switches and we can uh, not have the switch on the door anymore. Okay, this one here needs to be aiming basically directly down like this. And the one on the outside should be, well, it's kind of hard to see because the camera's clipping, but how about something like right there? And let's give that a little bit of a test run. So we pull up to the door, it opens up, and we go. Door closes after 10 seconds, we roll back up from our journey, and... And... Uh, nope, it's not working. Crap, what happened? Oh, it is not detecting me from around the door. I was completely wrong on that one. Oh boy. Well, maybe in that case, I've never done this before, but can we do like a triple setup here? Okay, so now we're gonna roll up and it's going to open. Let's try rolling up from this side though, because it appears as though the door itself was blocking the camera, but now with the three camera setup, it is working, at least <laughs> well enough for my liking. Let's just get this camera on the right timer and then we're good. Okay, I think that's all set up. Let's grab our shotgun and head out of here. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to do is check the tradesman vending machine and see if there's anything good in here today. Still got that steel auger. I, I feel like this is not resetting, but uh, we'll keep an eye on it. Well, there's two steel chainsaws in there now, so maybe it is resetting, who knows. Oh, got some good treasure maps in here and, and those were pretty good last time, so. Let's go ahead and take those. Might do some digging a little bit later. And what about this covert one over here? There's a covert armor treasure map as well. Make a whole trip out of all that. That's something I like to do at nighttime because that gets us out a little bit and we can do some recruiting on our way around. Okay, let's, since we're going to the trader, bring all the money with us and we'll save the sellables for more value, you know, when we're doing our sell-offs because I want to use like the XP card and the looting candy or the, um, the sugar butts candy, I mean, and the awesome sauce and just, you know, do all of that. And should we maybe bring at least one soldier with us today? I think so. Cajun, follow me. Ah, but then again, the, um, from what I've heard, the, uh, there's a high probability that soldiers or AI or NPCs will get kind of bugged out when you're at the trader. And that's something that I've observed as well. So Maybe what we'll do is we'll drop Cajun off outside and then we'll pick her up when we're done in the trader. Oh man, I forgot the shotgun. Oh, and I ran out of gas. Wow. 
doing a great job today. Okay, I good morning, so everyone. Probably gonna go with the chest armor for selling. We'll take a new job. Tier three, clear zombies to the southwest at Z Antiques. I'll take it. No, nothing particularly useful for us here today. I did top off on Sorry, contact grenades, but let's check the map here. And let's head to, we, there's an opening trade route there so we can get some free XP for that. And we'll check, there's all five um, class vending machines over there as well. So we can grab maybe some stuff out of those. And then I was thinking there's a missing health supplies out there. Maybe, I don't know, maybe we can see where this road here is going. It looks like that's going straight up into the wasteland, but we'll, we'll see, we'll find out in a minute. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll catch some soldiers along the way. Whoop, we've got gunfire. Tactical assault rifle sounded like. Could be anyone, so I'm just gonna be very careful about ooh, ooh, <laughs> what I do here, not paying attention to the wolf. Okay, where was that? I can't seem to uh, see where that was coming from at all. Oh, nope, that's Fireman. Oh, oh, there he is right there. Whoa, hey buddy, who is this? It is, oh my God, Cajun, <laughs> please. This is not necessary, Damon. Damon Warnock, okay, let's hire you up. Interested in hiring you, 3,500 Dukes, nice. The Order of Steel grows yet again. Oh, what's this place here, anyway? I think I, I recognize this from one of the loading screens, which means it's a, a Dwal POI, or a Dwal Lord, the creator of the mod. Yep, Dwal's Auto Wreck Yard. And uh, from, from my experience so far is that Dwal likes to put loot in his POIs, so that is good to know about. Also, that's a cement factory, so that's also really good to know about. And there's a, oh, there's one of these things over here, and we'll check those vending machines, and if they're not working, I'll salvage them for the extra steel, since we use basically all of the steel to um, make the shotgun. Oh, this is working, though. This is terrible. No, it's good. Oh, my goodness, and we got an airdrop. I can't even get a grasp on what I'm supposed to be doing here. It's way down there. Okay, try not to wake up. Oh, oh, there's all the bookshelves in there. That is perfect. That'll be a good start. Oh, and I have been informed also that this is Good not the party. a compo pack POI. This is a wall POI, which is not surprising given that there's so much loot here. So I guess it's fair game to kind of loot this place up completely. But honestly, I don't have the patience to um, do the whole... Well, didn't I buy some time charges? No, I was going to buy some time charges from Jen, but I forgot to. Yeah, and I'm not going to do the whole lockpicking thing. That's just too time consuming. I'll just take this stuff here. And we're hoping to get the anvil or the bellows or both schematics. Magnum Enforcer. Take that. Learn an elixir recipe. Not too bad. Ooh, HD armor plating mod schematic. I, that's probably the best armor mod right there. So see if we can make those. I think those will take tungsten though. And we're a ways off from that. And of course... We're striving to get the Tungsten Forge. That's a gun safe schematic. I'll have to look into that later. And HD Tempered Blade Mod schematic. That'd be good for our sword, wouldn't it? Impact Bracing Mod. Oh, nice. And that's apparently it right there. What are you doing? Get out of here. Okay, well, no luck there, but we did make some good progress in other areas. Let's press on to the trader and see if there's anything for sale. Okay, here we are. And we've been here before, so nothing exciting. Okay, you guys come over here across the street. And I'm just gonna have you hang out here because I don't want you to glitch out here at the trader. I'll be right back. Don't die out here, please. Yeah, we're looking for these vending machines here. Anything good? Oh, an HD nail gun. That's too expensive. I don't need that. Oh, wow. Though, a tungsten fire axe. Quite a bit better than my iron fire axe. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Oh, yes, the aloe cream. Actually, we should because that's a part of some quest and I just heard the tick, so that definitely satisfied some requirement for one of these class quests oh wow okay eco battery bank eco generator bank quite a disparity in the price there check billy bob's inventory billy bob gets around you know you find him all over the place yeah nothing much going on with him we'll try trader joel over here okay there's the time charges i was gonna buy before so we'll take those okay nope nothing here because we can check this stuff i never checked it before Really gotta carry all this crap around. Yeah, I guess so. I guess the- Ooh! There's one bellow. Unfortunately, though, for the tungsten forge, we need four. It's too bad we can't, like, reverse engineer it. But, you know, one down, three to go. Holy crap, what's going on? Time for some real fun. What kind of fun you looking to have? All right, everyone, follow me. Let's, what I wanted to do was see where this road leads here to the north. Right, okay, this road just goes due east and there's a huge mountain range over there. So that's probably the border of the region. And right along this road, there should be a missing health supply. So let's grab that and maybe just see if there's like another city over here 
in the distance. Maybe there's some traders there. We can check with them, see if they have the schematic, loot the compound, and so on. Man, we really zip along in this thing now, don't we? <laughs> I love this bike. Eat that. Oh, here we are. Missing health supplies should be right under this road somewhere. Yep. Good work. Cover me. Bring on the hard stuff. <laughs> Jeez. Looking to have some fun with the hard stuff, are ya? Oops, I just accidentally teleported through the ground and I, I found the box. We'll be there in just a second. Yeah, so in War of the Walkers, you can crouch into a one meter gap and that's why you can do this. You can do the same thing in Darkness Falls. I feel like it is a little bit immersion breaking when you do it because you end up like poking your head through. Look, I can just literally reach through here, no problem. What is this crap? Oh my God, that's a complete waste of time. Damon, you're supposed to be upstairs guarding. What are you doing down here? Everybody move out of the way. Alaria, you're blocking me. Cajun's hiding in the trench now. All right, everybody. <laughs> Load up onto the mini bike. Let's go. Aha. Okay, so this turns immediately to the north, which is going to be the wasteland for sure. I might just push in here a little bit so I can read those maps and see if they're going to, you know, be in the wasteland because our loot stage will be so much higher in here. Cover me while I look at these maps. Oh, we got a psycho over here. Scratch that. Okay, get her, get her, get her. Down. Whoops. I accidentally chopped her head off. <laughs> we might have been able to interrogate her for her local base. Okay, before things get too heated here, explosives crate. What is this place? Weapons crate, gun crate, and to be determined where all those went. Oh, they all went up into the wasteland. Perfect. Okay, we're not going to go get them just yet, though. We'll have to make a whole mission out of that. Instead, let's take the turn to the south here. There must be another forest biome city down here, and we'll see if there's a trader compound and... Like we said before, kind of take it from there. Oh my goodness, is this the trader right here? Oh, this is amazing. Yeah, there's the uh, War of the Walkers flag right there. Ooh, I like that flag. Let's see if I can get some of those. Cajun, don't run up in there. There's a bunch of sleepers in there. Come on, man. I'm gonna leave you over here at the, at the crossroads and just kind of park you here. Stay where you're standing and you stay where you're standing and cover each other for goodness sake. I'll be right back. I, ooh, what's this? Very exciting. Okay, can I just uh, head right in here? Nice, close that up. What do we got here? Betting machines? One's working here. Okay, nice. Oh, a lot of these things are locked, it looks like. Hmm, is it worth it, you think, to go back there? Oh, definitely is. Maybe, let's try to unlock this then. That was easy. Okay, what do we got back here? A bunch of books, pretty much what we're here for. Dingy frame schematic and a recycler. Ooh, a recycler workstation schematic. I didn't know that was a thing. Man, we're gonna really have to expand the base. I, I've been kind of looking into that. And we're going to need a lot more room for all these extra workstations that I didn't know existed. So yeah, big renovations in the future. Flat boat accessory schematic. Okay, those are all going to... Ooh, a hidden stash. My goodness. Wow. Tungsten roll bars. 30% experience card and a good pair of Kevlar gloves. Nice. Yep, I'll wear those immediately, getting rid of these leather gloves that I have. And they're quality 6, too. That's like max level gear, I think. I don't know if there's anything... I don't know if the silver armor is better than Kevlar or not. It seems like I saw that one piece and it was much better than the helmet. Oop, HD fittings mod needs to be put on something else. Okay, fair enough. Are these also hidden stashes over here? Oh my goodness. Dual, he treats us so well with all the loot. Ah, bunker buster mod schematic and a grave digger. Oh, what was that? There was another like uh, red thing there. <gasps> A legendary baseball bat. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it looks cool too. Okay, compare the stats. Hmm. Better than the legendary sword, but using a lot more stamina, it looks like. The stamina cost is 53. On the sword, it was 32.5. Yeah, well, it, honestly, it was, it was pretty bad on the sword, and it's going to be even worse now, but I'll take it. Yeah, just pop whatever mods I can onto it for now. We'll get like a spike mod or something for it, and I don't know if it'll appear it'll like the appearance will be on there but we'll see holy cow 121 power attack damage now nice hidden stash here dwall's book radiated damage read this book to give you a 10 percent bonus damage bonus to radiated zombies wow 
And another legendary shovel, but not as good as the one I have, so we can sell that one. And that was, wow, that was four hidden stashes. I bet, I wonder if these are hidden stashes too. You just, you're not allowed to get them. It's just a tease. Oh, what's this? H, ooh, H-I-D lights mod schematic. I've got the LED lights schematic. Wait, I don't really know what this is for. Okay, this is increasing headlights by 200%. The LED lights were 300%, so I guess we're good there. A great heist book. Ooh, that's the good one. When you have dukes in your pocket, you can fall more. Another 15 extra meters. And ooh, a little sneaky spot right there. Let's see where this goes. See, I can creep under it because I can do that little crouchy trick. Probably saves me from having to, yeah, unlock that door. That's nice. Yep, not going to be able to open that, though. Or this clothing resource. Oh, that, that just goes all the way around, doesn't it? Wow, what a fruitful expedition this has been. We got the legendary baseball bat. Holy crap. This is a bunch of loot that we cannot access, though. I suppose that's okay. Ooh, what's up there? Okay, don't forget that part. We have to go up there and see if there's anything up in the ventilation shaft. Yeah, I think we've... Have we made it full circle? Yep, yeah, because we went in that side there. Oh, we might be able to go into the post office over there. But let's first try and see what is up in here. Ooh, this goes... Oh, wow. Oh, whoa, oh, even higher up here. What the heck is going on here? Can't go that way. Could, can I squeeze back here? Oop, I, I, <laughs> oh wow. I teleported onto the, the ceiling, onto, onto the rooftop here. And um, potentially I can get back in this way. Does this uh, look right? Nope, nope, I'm stuck now. Uh Oh, oh, this is bad. Come on, there we go. Trying to squeak my little body into places it's not meant to go. Oh, are the soldiers still alive? Y'all good over there? I worry about you because I don't think they know to like shoot and defend themselves when I'm this far away. Oh, I've got the dukes in my pocket, so I should be able to jump a long distance now. Or Oh, wow, what are you doing there, buddy? Do you just live there now or what? <laughs> I guess so. Okay, there was the one... Um, Wait a minute, can I? Oh, yes, I can. I can go up into the ventilation duct here, maybe. Can I do this? Aha! Yes, and I think... Oh, the trader. You can see the trader icons. This might go up into, like, the trader business area. Ah, uh, yes, kind of looks like that. Whoop, I teleported again. And now I'm in this room here. And... Oh, there's an exit. Okay. Ah, who is this? Oh, boy. He's coming after me. What are you doing? It's a whisperer. Nope, nope, nope. I don't think so, buddy. Eat that. Oh, an elevator. Oh, interesting. Let's try this. Oh, cool. I went to the second floor. I don't know. There's something just fun about that. What's this do? I was hoping that would open some of these doors around here. Okay. Well, we got traders. Oh, look, look <gasps> Whoa. Look at the loot back there. Can I squeak back there and reach that? I certainly can. I can't reach that last one, but maybe... Wasn't there some doors that went up into that? Maybe I can get there through the ventilation duct. Well, I'm not going to grab any jobs from her. Triple pocket mod. Ooh, I'll just go ahead and take that. Thank you. Oh, right there. Anvil schematic. Nice. Wow, perfect. Billy Bob over here. Oh my god, he's got a loot chest as well. Take his cement and his cobble as usual. Just saves me from having to craft it. And otherwise, I think we're good There's on that front. Is there a Trader J here? There is. And she doesn't typically have a whole lot going on. And today, really no different. These are just... Kind of too expensive for my liking. Kind of, I want to wait. Way. Oh, look at the bookshelves. Whoa. Okay, how do I, how do I get back here? Wow, there's a ton of loot back here too. Okay, we gotta just unlock this maybe. Super easy lock, so that's no problem there. Ooh, vending machines. One is working. Ah, yes, eye candy. Per okay, yes. Oh, and jailbreakers. Nice, I'll take that too. That'll make the lock picking a little bit easier, hopefully. Oh, wow, more vending machines. Jailbreaker, skull crusher, and I'm starting to get hungry so i'll eat up a little bit we got to do the eye candy so we got to unlock all the loot chests first yes if i can get to them which it does look like i can is there a way for me to get back down into the ventilation duct oh right here nice okay let's take that jailbreaker okay holy cow man it took forever to get all these things unlocked <laughs> First of all, it's really hard to navigate these tunnels, even though you can squeeze in there, it is not easy to like make these tight little corners over here. Then I was worried about the soldiers, so I had to run outside and grab them. And then it was a whole process to get them inside because they wanted to just shoot freaking dire wolves all around the building out here. And then there was a whisperer, but geez, I finally got everything opened up. So let's go ahead and take that eye candy and then we're gonna have to do the whole thing backwards and navigate into all these little tiny rooms oh what does this do 
You'd think that would maybe open up a door somewhere. Oh, was it a light? I see some blinking lights. No, I don't know well, what that was. Look what the cat anyway, is. just get this uh, incremental bonus here with the ski goggles. That brings us up to loot stage 220, and we'll see what we start getting here. Hey, an anvil. That is nice. Sniper rifle schematic. Scrap that. HD serrated blade. A dart trap bundle. Oh, a really good pair of tungsten boots there that are worth a fortune. And a frying pan. Oh, wow. Screw gun here. Steel tool schematic. Scrap that and that. Take the rest. What is this? A blade trap bundle. Nice. Oh, another blade trap bundle. We're going to have a ton of those. Man, we should see if we can set those up. Good pair of Kevlar chest armor, not better than the ones I have, and a mid-tier weapon supplies treasure map. Good. Might as well check these while I'm back here. Ah, oh, yep. Pop up here, and I, I think I accidentally opened one of these, but yeah, we'll get there in a second. Sewing machine, 44 Magnum, HD insulator. Wow, good stuff. Another treasure map here for building supplies. <laughs> I don't want to do that. I really, really don't want to do that. Oh, man, and I'm all gummed up on the inventory. Alaria? What are you doing out there? I suppose I can just make a little room with the stuff that I have here. Okay, we still have at least one more to go, though, I think. Check that. Nothing good. Okay, continuing on. Okay, Ilaria's doing the thing where she she's awake, but she's not moving. Okay, yes, this is the one I already accidentally opened. Oh, man, a loaf pan? There must be some kind of a cooking thing that I haven't sort of found or looked into yet. Oh, sure. Pick you up. Bottom. There you go. Are you fixed now? Are you gonna follow me now, or are you still Master, broken? No, you're good. Alone. I think something happens at the traders where um, the, the AIs get a little bit messed up. I don't know what to call it. I'm still kind of waiting to see like what's gonna happen to the soldiers, because we've encountered that before, where they kind of bug out and then they disappear, and then we come back later and they're here. Holy cow, man! There's so much loot here. Bunch of books I haven't read. That was lucky. Oh man, a good AK, and we're all filled up again. <laughs> Soldiers, Cajun, uh, show me your inventory. And uh, unfortunately, you can't shift click stuff into their inventory, and you can't, like, you don't have the move buttons. I can actually, yeah, I can move stuff out of their inventory very quickly, but in order to get it in, it is very, very tedious work. All right, we're all moved over, and I think probably the looting candy wore off because that took forever. And how do I get back into where I was? Right, left off in here. Search the gun safe, get the rest of that. Check this one, and got another one of these mother load mods, which is kind of nice. And now I think it's just bookshelves. Got that silent trash book again, 4X scope mod, robotic cargo mod. Sniper book. Zooming uses 15% less stamina. Robotic drone medic mod. Nice. It's the only one I really care about. I suppose the drone uh, cargo wouldn't be too bad. Automatic weapons do 10% more damage. It's like gold right there. And that appears to be pretty much it in here. Was there anything else that I missed? I think I made the full loop. There's some clothing stuff in there, which I'd have to go all the way around again to get in there, so... Nah. However, I, probably all the trader inventories have reset because they reset daily, so I'll take an extra little peek in here. Oh, Maybe except I put all the money machine. inside of one of the soldiers here. Give me that back. Ooh, there's a dwell in the secret stash here. There's a dwell's book for building and crafting. Reading this book will grant you 10% bonus experience gain when building and crafting at night. Which, I don't know, it's cheap, so I'll take it. Trader J has some fun looking things but Sorry, nothing I'm but gonna buy so good. I think we're done here once and for all let's check the uh maybe the vending machines one more time rock busters man this is like a loot heaven here I love this place could have just set up a base here and been perfectly content another eye candy got a jailbreaker do I need that nerd tats nah no I think we're good okay my friends let's finally get the hell out of here Damon Cajun, let's... How do we get out of here? Aha, uh -huh, yes, and... Oh, we got a friend. Okay, I'll leave him to it. <laughs> Looks like they're getting busy. Did anyone get glitched? Nope, it, it does appear that everyone is with me. Okay, let's, um, let's explore this town a little bit. Looks to be... I don't know if it's a town or a city. Let's find out. Okay, it does have the appearance of a city. There's a cathedral. Let's take a right down here and see what we see. Ooh, there's that big skyscraper there, too. I think that's a dwell skyscraper so that might be worth looting someday at least let's maybe can i take a left here i want to go look at that ah ooh, oh it's another dwell dungeon i'm all set with that honestly <laughs> right and this okay that's the skyscraper this is another thing that's on the 
there's like a screenshot of this on the loading screen for War of the Walkers. And it must be a Dwal POI then. And it's like an amusement park. Oh yes, in the CDC. <laughs> Our bad. Oh man, all kinds of cool stuff here. This is a nice city so far, I like it. Although I'm very curious to see what's going on here. Oh, guys, geez. Yeah, because uh, someone told me that this place has really good loot, and I don't know if it was on top of the Ferris wheel or on top of whatever that is, but someone said on the top of something here, there's a bunch of good loot, so I'm gonna go find it. All right, we'll just let Cajun do her thing. She's very happy when she gets to clear out POIs for us. Okay, nice, nice, free loot bag. Wow, I can't even get to a zombie here. That is not nice, Cajun. Or were you talking to the zombie? Get that yummy steel out of there. Open this up. It's the bathroom anyway. Ah, oh, hello there. What are you doing, sleepyhead? Why did we go here again? We're looking for the bellows schematic, that's why. Or bellows, either way is fine. Oh, the gas recipe. Wow, that's a good find. Okay then, very good. That checks a big one off the list for us. Hello there! Got a working vending machine, another eye candy, perfect health bar, we'll take it. And what is this all about? Oh, it's like, what, bumper cars in the water? <laughs> or did this like flood or something? Unclear. I feel like I heard a sleepy zombie. Ooh, look at that, parkour skills. Oh, and look at all this free steel up here. Gimme. Okay, what's next? Got the, the teacups over here, is that what this is? Yep, nothing in there though. Ooh, got a soldier here. Gonna test out the new legendary baseball bat. There? Oh nice, big generator up here. I wonder if that means this would be like a restore power quest. Can I like parkour my way up there? How do I get up there? Is it, uh, oh, I'm starting to see a pathway. Okay, okay, starting over here then. I mean, you would think though, right? Because, but there's no ladder. I see a ladder over here. Okay, no, it starts over here then. I, oh yes, follow the lights, duh. Ooh, look, an ice axe. Not sure what that's gonna be good for. Okay, no, no, you guys don't need to follow me up here. You're gonna get me killed. Okay, we're up to the top. We can go this way. We can get this passing gas box. I'm not sure why anyone would put a passing gas box way up here, but I'm not gonna ask any more questions. Ooh, there's the motorcycle handlebars. Which I think we can craft. We're looking for the motorcycle chassis schematic. Or no. No, we can't craft the handlebars. We can craft the chassis. So now we're good. We can go home as long as we get the steel today while we're out. And we can craft the motorcycle for tomorrow. Nice. Oh, but then again, we have to actually craft the handlebars to finish that stupid quest. Oh boy, I'm not sure what to make of that. I don't want to have to make it twice, but we might have to. Well, that or we just wait until we're level 150, which we'll definitely get by Horde Knight. I don't know, I'll have to think on that one a little bit. What is going on? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Cajun's doing the best she can, but she just doesn't quite know what to do. Oh, crap. Neither do I. Oh, my goodness, there's a little thing to dunk your head on there. I'm not playing this game, okay? Ah, whoa, my goodness, man. You're gonna kill yourself doing that. Okay, yeah, this gotta be where the good loot is. I'm sensing it, because this is really difficult getting up here. No birds, though. That pleases me to no end. Birds would make this a hundred times worse. What are we doing now? Are we jumping? Yeah. Oh, aha, there's some loot over there. Of course, we can take this apart for the steel. We're gonna have to basically do this all the way home. We'll get every street light we come across. Okay, this also could just collapse at any second. I'm not exactly sure. That would be a real fun time. I'd probably live. I don't have the impact bracing mods, but I do have the 5,000 dukes in my pocket, which helps. Ooh, and we got a hidden stash there too. Nice. I might just take the eye candy for this. We got two of them, why not? Oh, that might be a hidden stash there. Wow, okay, yes, very good loot up here. And HD serrated blood, bleh, HD serrated blade mod schematic, a 5,000 experience card. I'll save that so that we can do like the 30% experience thing and a learn an elixir at the same time. Oh, the legendary fire axe which must be doing just so much more damage than the regular one that I have. And that kind of replaces the tungsten one that I bought and never switched over. 
Ah, that's pretty cool. Okay, and it didn't collapse, so I'm happy about that. Just gotta get down here without breaking a leg, which I'm pretty confident in, because we can fall 15 meters without breaking anything. Oh my goodness, what is this? It's a parkour course. Is it a parkour course or a parkour course? <laughs> Take your pick. Uh, this is like one of those launching rides, I guess. How do we... Ah, here we go. What is this called? Welcome Terva... Tervatola? I don't know. It's hard to read in this orientation here. Okay, up we go. There might be some good loot up here, too. Some more hidden stashes. Uh, I just have to figure out... Whoa! Yes, how to get up there. Oh, crap! Ah, I might have to just build a ladder. My parkour skills make it difficult because I end up just kind of jumping and then bumping my head. Here, let's try that again. Whoa! Oh, I made it. Oh, this is only like the second level though, and I fell already. Okay, yes, I've had enough of this game here, but I only have 17 shapes, so I'll get myself up as high as I possibly can. Of course, we can do the trick where we just do a ladder every other block, and that should help. Ooh, these are all plates here. I'm not sure what that's all about. And I'm going to be stuck here in just a second. Can I just go right around the edge? Oh, yes. This is hard. Oh, jeez. Oh, cr oh, Alaria just pushed me off. I'm almost there. No, get out of here. Oh, you're pushing me again. Ha, wow, I'm on the top. Holy crap, that was hard. Okay, man, my palms are so sweaty right now. So these are all, ooh, hidden stash. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my god. These are all just plates and they all have hidden stashes. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Wow. Okay, looting candy, we have three minutes left on. Make sure we have the right goggles on and I'm gonna run out of inventory space for this. I know I am. Holy crap. Okay, reward point card. Nice. Uh, ooh, another HD drum mo magazine mod, which I already have one anyway back home. Mostly ammo. Another legendary sword. Batter up book here. You can craft the steel clubs. Nice. Some XP cards and a crossbow. Nice. We'll look into that. Steel sledge. Mostly ammo. Not much there. Ooh, legendary nail gun. Wow. Guess that'll replace the claw hammer and the HD iron breaker mod. That's cool. Antibiotic recipe, 20% experience card, and yep, here we go. We're running out of room here. That was the building something something dwell book. Just start rationing stuff here. All right, got rid of a bunch of stuff. Freed up some inventory room for the last hidden stash here. Not much going on there. Some crappy steel leg armor. The question is, is there more? Oh my god, there's another one. Quad storage pocket mod. Oh my god, just get rid of all this crap. Ooh, this axe is powerful and fast. I like this. Look at the hidden stashes that are hidden under here. Oh my god. Another legendary fire axe, an M60. I think we could just, uh, well, I don't know. We should probably scrap that for the machine gun parts because it's not very good. But then again, we don't have one. Man, I'm totally crap oh there's just too much stuff in the inventory do i need these class fragments anymore ah uh, well at least just open these up see what's in them and then we'll start rationing from there ah legendary spear holy crap a legendary sledgehammer and the hd armor plating mod this is the most incredible looting day of my life okay by putting mods on everything i've managed to free up some more inventory space so we can continue temporarily at least Yep, that's pretty much it. Just scrap that. What's what, Do we have another round under this or what? No, maybe one more. There is one more. Wow. Okay, not much going on in that one though. That was an action skill card and a reward point card for two more skill points, which I can't quite read. Has to be in the inventory, I guess. I grab my corn and we're just like 100% full on the inventory now. Okay, soldiers look okay down there. I wonder... <laughs> Do I have enough parkour to just jump out of here? And I wonder how deep that pool is there. Let's find out. I'm interested in knowing. Yes. That's not too bad, I guess. Okay, I don't want soldiers swimming with me because I don't know if soldiers can breathe underwater. <laughs> I would imagine probably not. Let's go, guys. Oh, there was actually the Ferris wheel. I didn't even check. All right, well, we gotta stash the bike then. <laughs> here we go, I found some more inventory space. There, okay, and I could probably, no, I, it, I can't easily do anything with the loot in their inventory. Where's Alaria now? Alaria is kind of, are you stuck again? Nope, she's moving. But whatever I can in there, basically nothing. And let's try to search in this place here. 
Working stiff toolboxes. I feel like our chances are pretty good in these. <laughs> Oscillating fan. Whoopee. And motor tool parts. Lots of those. You press on. There may be even more hidden stashes to be found in here somewhere. Yeah, this place is all about the ups and downs as well. Definitely a parkour challenge here. Okay, this one. You gotta go sideways on the ladder. Over to this side. And then are we... What, are we going up now? Bad feeling about this. Okay, there's some zombies in here, it seems. Who's in here? Lots of loot. Ooh, another hidden stash. Wow. Another tungsten roll bar mod. What are you doing? Get out of here, stupid crawler. That was another hidden stash right here. Not much in it though. And the last thing I think, what's up here? Holy crap, I almost just jettisoned out of the side of the building. Okay, up here and some blueprints. We gotta get that blueprint workstation. We're just not able to do it yet. We have to be 150 to unlock that, unless we maybe find a schematic or buy one from a trader. I guess that's a possibility. Okay, this place was incredible. We had to really keep an eye out for the Dwal POIs, like that skyscraper right there. That's gotta be on the to-do list. Every time there's a Dwal POI, there's like 25 hidden stashes in it, and I love it. All right, like we get, now the only thing left to do is just lug all of this stuff all the way back home. I'm gonna maybe take kind of a roundabout way of getting there. Do we have everybody with us? Looks like we're, we do, we're good. Yeah, so I'm gonna look for some more soldiers along the way. Okay, hunting rifle. That is a whisperer though. Hello there. Down. Yeah, here's this little camp here. Just swinging by here for yesterday's airdrop while we're in the neighborhood. Do we get out of this. Ooh, just a bunch of gems and money. Excellent. Okay, on the road again. Oh, I heard a gunshot. Where was that? That sounded like a TAC assault rifle too, so I definitely want to find out if that was a soldier. I see a loot bag there in the distance. Oh, it's another soldier. Look at this. We got Kaz Fiend. Hello, buddy. You're hired. How come everyone has TAC assault rifles, man? That is... <laughs> They're supposed to have, like, a random chance of having any weapon, but it looks like the game is favoring the attack assault rifles, and I'm not really complaining, because that really helps us in a offensive or defensive situation, but, you know, be nice to have some variety as well. Oh, what's wrong, buddy? You gonna be okay? Damon, can you follow me? Are you gonna- are you gonna follow me, or are you, are you stuck? Houston, we have a problem with Damon. <laughs> Damon is definitely bugged out right now. Okay, he seems to teleport every time I get off the vehicle, though. Jump off, and... Uh, where'd you go, buddy? He's right here. We're gonna just try a quick reload and see if that helps. Are we fixed? I think we're good now. Let's go. You know the expression, two's a party, but three's a crowd. Holy crap, I just stumbled on another one! Oh my god! Buddy! Whoops, sorry, I ran you over a little bit. It's, um... A101! with an M60. Hell yes, man. Oh, and a Whisperer rolling up on us a little bit. Wow, man. We're getting some crazy firepower here. Okay, I feel like we're, we're rolling lucky now, so let's just maybe um, put around here in the forest a little bit more and see if we can maybe find yet another. And at this rate, I feel like we have plenty of soldiers to do an assault onto the rogue base that we found there a couple of days ago. The rogues are sort of native to the snow biome in this region, and I think the snow biome is to the northwest, and so I don't want to go into the snow biome unless we've dealt with the local rogue threat. So if we can take out the local rogues here, conquer their base, kill them all, basically, then we can probably push into the snow biome safely without, you know, worrying that they're going to counterattack or cut off our supply line or anything like that. Oh, crap. Right out of gas. Who's got the gas? Cajun? Cajun doesn't have the gas. Do we have gas? Alaria, do you have the gas? Pasta. Glad to hear it. Hey, yo. Nope. Hey, 101. Nope. Damon. Damon, do you have the gas? Damon has the gas. <laughs> Damon has gas. Maybe that's what Cajun was smelling earlier. <laughs> Holy rocket! Who's this? It's hey, another soldier. Yes! Okay, buddy. No, 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 no. You don't need to shoot. We've got this covered. Yes, Snitty. Snitty, didn't I find you a while ago? But I couldn't hire you because you okay? I, it was too expensive. 
Wow, okay, <laughs> starting fires out there. Right, so we've learned our lesson from the last rocket soldier that we had. We can't bring him to the base. He needs to be left alone out here somewhere. Yes, 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 that makes me feel much better. We'll be able to assault very, very well now that we have a rocket launcher soldier. Okay, well, the base is right up ahead. Of course, we gotta leave Snitty over here somewhere. Okay, about this far away seems to be pretty appropriate. I don't think he'll shoot that far. And I, I do, I technically I want him to like despawn when we're like further away. So let's go further down the road because I don't want him to like just be out here all by himself and then get eaten by a wolf or something. I want him to despawn and be perfectly safe. So I'll leave him right down here at this crossroad. Stay where I'm standing. You're just gonna be like a, a scout out here, right? You're just gonna be a little forward operating observer out here. As for the rest of you, come on inside the base. Okay, Kaz, you're just gonna stay where you're standing. Cajun, stay where you are standing. Hey, 101, stay where you're standing. And Damon, stay where you're standing. So we got soldiers posted up on the perimeter. I should probably just put them on the walls, but uh, we're gonna be working on the walls here tonight, so we'll forego that just for a little bit. All right, and I have to also get the stuff out of everyone's inventory. All right, give me a couple of hours here. I gotta get everything carted up into the storages and put away and organized. Okay, I think we're all organized again. Everything's at least put into some storages. I got some extra storages, and we're going to kind of fix the ladder situation. There have been some complaints in the comments about that, and I'm it's, it's irritating me as well. So we're going to look into that in just a second. Man, this is just not seemingly changing. Or did I already check this earlier today? I quite honestly can't remember, but I'm looking for tungsten, uh, tungsten auger is what I'd like to get out of that, if it's possible. There was a tungsten chainsaw in it a couple days ago. I have to check it again after midnight, I suppose. Well, we got a couple of treasure maps here, a mid-tier weapon supply map, read that, and a, another building supply map. My goodness, those are always terrible. And we got the building supplies out there, and the mid-tier weapons up there, which is, uh, I don't know what this is, but it's right outside of it. We'll find out at some point what that is. And then, of course, we have all the good ones up here in the wasteland. We'll have to go make a whole day out of that someday. But for now, let's have a look here and see what we got. We have all kinds of good loot to go through. So, right, we had that legendary fire axe. Looks like this one over here is better, though. And otherwise, nothing game-changing. We do definitely need to do a trader run, though, to do a big sell-off. Oh, yes, that legendary spear. I just want to even just have a look at that and see what it looks like. Of course, I'd... Oh, wow. That's like a lance. <laughs> Whoops. Of course, they're getting rid of the throw in Alpha 21. It'll just be a heavy power attack like all the other weapons. And okay, we did have this AK-47. That's definitely going to be something we switch over there. Quad storage mod. Oh, HD serrated blade. HD insulator. Mother load mod. The tungsten roll bars. That gives added armor to your vehicle. Okay, it's probably worth it to just take a few minutes here and see if I can get everything modified up to the optimal level. All right, that's pretty much it. I got everything modded up. We got like max mods on pretty much everything at this point. I think I lost my regular fire axe. There, there, I think there's probably a container somewhere, like a, like a soldier or there's some, ooh, bear. Somebody is still holding some loot for me, I think. So we might stumble across that a little bit later. Anyway, let's get to this project right here. So what I wanted to do was get all the ammo and stuff like that. Let's try to put that all in like one central location, but then there's like a whole bunch. Okay, all the medical stuff, you go up there, and this is just more ammo and stuff. So grab that, put what I can in here, and put the rest in here. And then we don't need these anymore. That is making me run out of stamina really, really fast. How about that chainsaw? Yep, I'd say it's working a lot better. Okay, that should do for now. Just knock this out. Definitely a little bit more nerve-wracking than I was anticipating having all these boxes hovering here like this. What we want to do is take this up and we just want a centrally located ladder here from now on, just like so. And what I'm going to use is like, we'll just put like a bicycle up here or something. Don't, do I have a bicycle or did we not have a bicycle? We just went straight to the mini bike. So we do have a mini bike. What I'll probably end up doing is I'll just put a mini bike up here. There have been several suggestions to do that because then if I get in the mini bike, any of the, sol of the soldiers that are with me will just come up into, you know, they'll just teleport up here with me basically. And so this, I'll put like a door in here and this will be the, the main entrance to get in. It's like nice and centrally located. I do like that. I think I'm going to have to knock out the roof so that we can kind of flush things up a little bit. Yeah, I think that'll look pretty nice. We'll just have to knock out like, oh, well, honestly, like. 18 blocks, I think. Okay, we'll save that for when we get a better auger, probably. But for now, I think what I 
would like to focus on tonight. I wanted to do some construction out on the walls a little bit. And maybe I will if I have time. I'll put more of the skirts on and kind of get that all dressed up so that we can do like an upgrading montage in the future. But for now, I think the most important thing to me is to get more storage. And so what I'm going to do is craft some more of these storage chests. And we're going to replace all of these chests once and for all. So that's what I'll be working on throughout the night. You guys can just uh, get some rest here with the soldiers. And I'll be working the night away. And we'll pick things up first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. The time has come. We have a total of 13 soldiers, a foreboding number if you're superstitious. But with a heavy rogue presence nearby, our ability to venture far from the base is limited. So the POD is to assault the rogue fortress and push them out of the local area once and for all. There will be casualties, but with whoever is left, we'll return to the base and prepare for another assault. This time from the walkers. You watch my back and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. Okay, first things first here, we need to gather up, well, we need to gather up the soldiers, but first, I'm gonna make sure that I have everything I need for the assault. That's probably gonna start off with some explosives. 28 explosive arrows, that will definitely help. And otherwise, I think we have just about everything that we'll need. Let's switch these over. Rolling with the contact grenades, so that should be fine there. Oh, let's check this class vending machine and see if it has the auger that I want. Ah, nope, not yet. <laughs> Someday, maybe. Okay, I crafted a bunch of things last night. For example, this builder's workstation, and I'm working on a gun safe because I'm hoping that the storage capacity will be nice on that. And I made some wooden signs so we can set up some like signage here so we know what's in these boxes. But that can definitely wait until a little bit later. Let's grab up all of the soldiers with us. All 13 of them. Herbivore. <laughs> All hands on deck, even if you got wooden clubs or hunting knives. Taking a little bit of a chance here, not leaving anyone to defend the base, but we should be back by lunchtime if all goes well. And Kaz Fiend, you're the last one for this place. Hop on the bike and we'll go get, um, who was it? Snitty that has the rocket launcher out here. Whoa! Wow. I wish we had a better vehicle. We'll have to really focus on that in the next week or two and see if we can find... Some kind of an armored personnel carrier at this point. I mean, look at the army we have here. Snitty, follow me, and then immediately get on the mini bike before you blow us all up. I have so many soldiers, we can't even see them all on the list here. Okay, check on the map here. This is it. We're heading straight down here. This here is the rogue base. We'll mark it as such, and I think we'll have to scout out the area a little bit, so let's aim to kind of pull in right there, and we'll get a lay of the land. Oh, got a whisperer here. Hello! Let him have it! Oh, please don't shoot the mini bike, though. My goodness. Ah, ah, I was just rolling through here and I saw another soldier. It is Greg Forrest with another TAC assault rifle. Let's go, buddy. 14 soldiers now. That, I, that bodes a little bit better for us, I think. Oh, look, a little whisperer camp here. Okay, keep an eye out. This might have some whisperers nearby. You never know. All right, here we are just outside the rogue fortress. And it does look like there are some like holes in the wall that they could shoot us through. So there's a couple of ways we could go about this. We could just assault the main entrance and run up those stairs there and try to take out anyone who's on the wall and then see if there's any cover for us to assault or defend any counterattacks coming from the main building. The other alternative would be like a stealth mission, but honestly, I really don't like our chances. It's broad daylight, they have the high ground and everything else. Plus, it's hard to sneak around with 15 people, you know? So that's what we're gonna do. With the element of surprise, we're just gonna roll up in there and storm the keep. Everybody stay close and watch the friendly fire. Let's do this. All right, pull it up right out front here and park it for a quick escape. And yep, yeah, we got rockets sending it, sending in rockets already. Let me get this out. All right, let's let them have it. Taking fire already. Fires are starting. Suppressing fire. Don't let up, guys. Yep, watch the rocket launcher fire. Ooh, I'm getting shot pretty bad here. I don't know the status of our soldiers right now. I am on fire. And there's not a damn thing I can do about it except for take a first aid kit. Damon Warnock has died, perhaps others as well. All right, just hold here behind these sandbags. They've got the high ground there. Not for long, at least for that guy. 
Okay, I'm getting quieter. They are still attacking out of the building, though. Don't give them a chance to get back up again. All right, let's roll in here. Up into the building. Kill, kill, kill. Now who has the high ground? I'm having a hard time. They've got some cover back there, but I can sneak arrows through pretty well. And then turn the corner. Oh, yes, a whole bunch of them back here. I hear a bear somewhere, but otherwise, it's looking pretty clear here. Oh, there's your bear problem. <laughs> Somebody got a shot through the wall there. Oh, we still got a couple here. And a screamer coming in as well. Let's see if I can see her through the wall here. More gunfire coming from the front. There might be some that are trying to escape here. Indeed, and there also appears to be a whisperer out here. Take that. There we go. All right, give me a head count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Holy cow, we lost five soldiers. Greg Forrest made it though, our newest recruit. Bad player has made it. We lost whoever had the combat knife. Herbivore with the stone, with the wooden club there still still here. And Cajun Thunder, okay. Oh yes, and Hey 101 there with the M60. Okay, I like the, I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. Not too bad. Okay, so unfortunately we have a little bit of fire going on here. Not too, too bad though. A little bit of damage here from the rockets, which by the way, did, uh, did our rocket man make it? Snitty? Oh yeah, Snitty died. Honestly, <laughs> I'm not gonna say for the best, but um, Snitty was kind of a... The, the rocket launcher guys are kind of a, more of a temporary deal anyway. They're like a good one and done for the assault, and that's about it. See what they have going on here on the rooftop. Oh wow, they've got like an anti-aircraft gun up here. My goodness, do they have any ammo for it? Yeah, a little bit. And a little bit extra in that shelf there. All right, everyone, excellent work. We will have a ceremony for the Fallen a little bit later on, but for now, it's probably time to head back to our base and prepare for the Horde. However, this will serve as an excellent outpost for us. It's already very well fortified, and just with a little TLC, we can get this place all dressed up. So for that task, I'm going to entrust Herbivore to stay where you're standing, and I'll give you one more soldier. Who can we give him? How about you, Diana Kelly? Stay where you're standing. The two of you are entrusted with the renovation of this base. We'll come back in a couple of weeks to check on you guys, but there shouldn't be any significant threat here in this region anymore. This doesn't need to be like Horde Knight capable, but it just needs to serve as a bit of a checkpoint between us and the snow biome, which if we look at the map here, should be directly to the north. So with the southern part of the Dwalord region secure, we can now turn our attention further to the north, where we know the Psychos have a heavy presence up in this region, and I think the rogues probably even have an even heavier presence up in this region here. Why don't we, while we're out here today, push further west and see what we can find, and then push north and hit the the border of the next biome, and then circle our way back just to get a better lay of the land here. And then along the way, we can grab up some of these Whisperer supply caches, and... Oh, not too bad. And um, also maybe see if we can recruit any more wandering soldiers out here. Wow, that was an interesting piece of ground. Oh, crap, we're getting shot at. Also, I got an AK-47 fire. Where was that coming from? Right there is where we were getting shot from. Oh, boy. Yep, and bail out. You, buddy, made a big mistake. He's down. Where was the AK-47 fire coming from, though? We might have just rolled up on some kind of a engagement between a soldier and that Whisperer. Yes, right here. Who's this? Hey there, buddy! No pointer! We're gonna hire you up. Start replacing our ranks. Nice. Whoa! Rocket launcher! Oh, it's another soldier. Hey there, buddy! Who are you? This is... We can't talk to him yet. It is... Bad player again! Bad player, you're hired. I'm gonna drop him off, though, back at the new base, which, by the way, we're gonna have to come up with a name for that, the new base. Yeah, that'll be good. Station him out there where he can't do any significant damage to us, and what is this? Oh, SMG fire, hang on. 
Go. Oh, yep. Okay. Hello there. That is a whisperer. Killer. Oh, this is definitely some kind of a sneaky business POI here. Oh, man. Oh, I know this place. I know this place, and I don't want anything to do with it right now, except for maybe searching these couple of boxes here. Holy crap. Maybe more than a couple of boxes. Holy crap. Yes, real fun, indeed! Holy crap! Has anybody died yet? What are you doing down there, man? Fine day, isn't it? Come back up here. I'm not leaving without that crate, and if you die, I'm not taking responsibility. Bad player died. I'm just gonna pick it anyway. That was kind of a waste. It takes like four time charges to open these things. Well, that was easy. What do we got here? Uh, not too, too much. That's okay. All right, let's get out of here. My goodness, we're gonna get ourselves killed again. Just gonna go ahead and wrench down some cars on the way back, both because we need fuel and because I would love to get a few more engines and batteries. They seem to be much let's more difficult to come by in War of the Walkers, which is fine with me. Just means we have to put some more effort into it. And oh yes, this is pushing us right into the snow region, which, oh, into the mountains as well. I'm just mostly curious to see what is going on out here. What is this over here? This is a massive building. At least it looked like it. Oh my, what is this? Whoa, hello there. Oh, it's a rogue. Okay, yes, we're ah, definitely in rogue territory now. Got her. Wow, it's a sphinx. Oh my. I don't know, is this like an amusement park or is this like a legitimate archeological site over here? Yeah, and I've got sniper rifle fire or hunting rifle fire. Yes, there's, oh my god, there's a rogue there. There's a rogue shooting over there somewhere. Yep, just heavy presence in this area. Okay, I'm gonna just go a little bit deeper. That guy is trying to fight that dire wolf. I'm gonna leave him to it. Good luck, buddy. Oh boy. Yep, it's another rogue out there. Wow, I did not realize there were so many of them out here. This is a little bit crazy. You know, we really might have bitten off a little bit more than we can chew. I mean, I'm sure that they're gonna catch wind of that attack that we made, and they'll be getting ready to try to pay us back on that any time now. Here we go, got another guy with a shotgun. Oh, ow, another one there. Not really dressed for the weather. They must be pretty tough, hardy people. Another guy here with a spear. Oh my goodness, what is the population? Another two of them over here? There could be hundreds of them out here. Wow. Ow. Okay, I'm on the northern end of this mountain range and I'm just gonna follow it back so that we can kind of trace the border here. And then it does look like we're pulling up into a city here on our left. And if I were a rogue, I definitely would have a base within that city. So at some point, we might have to do some exploration in there and see if we can find out where it is. Got another smaller town over here. Whoop, pipe shotgun going off and I just heard a hunting bow go off. Another guy there with, oh, some kind of a rifle that he shot me with. Just a Wild West village. I'm not sure if they would have any sort of a base camp there or an outpost or not. Hey, check out that loot stage though. 393 here. So we definitely have some incentive to come in here and see what's going on. And I just heard some pipe shotgun fire and there's another rogue there. I'm not even sure if we'll find soldiers here. If any have come in here and are kind of doing some freelance work or not. But just in my limited experience here in the snow biome, this is not a safe place for soldiers. Okay, we've made it back to the temperate biome and... Looks like we're kind of on uncharted territory. Let's let's pull north and see if we can find a junction maybe between the wasteland, the snow biome, and the forest biome. Pipe shotgun, or pipe pistol fire. Yep, she's gonna fight that wolf with the pipe pistol. <laughs> they're pretty brave, aren't they? Oh my goodness, they're everywhere here. You know, just riding through here, we've lost a lot of durability on the mini bike, so I think we need to set it as a goal to have a better vehicle, maybe even better than the motorcycle. Something with high enough durability that if we were to run into an ambush, we're not gonna just have our vehicle blown up and be stranded out here. All right, here we go. We've got another snow city over here. This is probably the closest one to where we are, which is kind of right over there. All right, and here it is. This is the border between the three biomes right here. The psychos, the land of the rogues, and the land of us, and also the whisperers. The whisperers kind of just all over the place. Okay, let's siphon some fuel out of the sports car here. Whoa, 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 whoa. We good? Oh, nope, we've got a couple of psychos here and a mountain lion, holy cow. Take him out. Nice, nice, any more? Oh, a bear and a boar. My God, just noticed I completed some animal hunting thing by doing that. This is 
terrible. All right, that should be good for fuel. Refuel it up, and let's probably just head home now. Take a quick peek at the map, and yes, we can... Oh, this is a massive protrusion of the temperate biome. Well, let's push south and see where that road links up, and then we'll head back to base camp. Okay, here's the road, and it looks like it just kind of skirts the border here, so we'll just follow this all the way back. All right, we made it back in one piece. Let's park it here. Also, there should be a bunch of stuff in the storage here that I forgot from the last run. We've got eight soldiers. Eight soldiers plus me to defend against the Horde tomorrow night. Let's start getting them set up in some sort of a tactical fashion here. All right, everyone's tucked away in their respective corners. None of them are really facing the same way, but I'll worry about that more in a little bit. For now, I want to worry about uh, unloading the inventory, getting organized, fed, hydrated, and sorting out whatever's going on in here for construction. All right, welcome back. I got everything labeled up a little bit. We have a couple of extra storages that are not doing anything, but at least I can better find where I put my stuff because this is definitely not my typical layout. So let's jump into the general supply crates and start opening up these bundles to see what we get. Uh, cool 30 blade traps. <laughs> Not bad. Really what I was looking for are electric fences. Did we ever get any of those? Yeah, I don't think so. And we only got two extra engines. So I'm going to put those into the generator. I'm going to set up the extra turrets because we have plenty of ammo for that. And see if I can maybe craft the electric fence posts. Yes, I only need, I think, probably like four of these and probably a good thing because that's going to use a lot of forged iron. So work on that. Also, give me the wood and nails. I'm working on Hesco blocks over here. And I think in the meantime, oh, check out this HD nail gun. I'm eager to test this out as well. Let's grab up also the wood and cobble. Oh, and some quest just kind of snapped for me. What are we trying to do here? Oh, right. Duct tape, bandage, and aloe cream. All right, that's it. And now we have to craft first aid bandages and splints. 25 of them too, it said. With five splints. Not the best use of my duct tape, but at least we can do it in the inventory. Although someone did recommend that one thing you can do, if you're trying to craft things that have to do with a quest, you can plug up the output inventory. Just get like cobblestone and just do this right here and like plug everything up. And then when whatever you're crafting is done, it won't actually go into the output slot, and as soon as you open the container, it'll go immediately into your inventory and you get full credit. So, if we have any more quests like that, we'll try out that trick. Very clever. Someone was thinking on their feet with that one. Oh, and there's the quest. Just gotta wait for the splints. And... That's it. Now we can use the class fragments to craft the survivalist vending machine. Note that we have to gather it into our inventory first, and then we can craft the survivalist paper thingy, which will convert immediately into a vending machine, just like that. And we are pretty much officially out of space up here. So, seeing how we're going to expand the base out in this direction over here, I'm going to just put it right there. Well, yeah, I guess right here? I don't know. Can we wrench these, do you think? and get them back or do you just get one and that's it because if if we can't if there's no way to get it back i'm just gonna give myself another one because we're gonna have to move that one and i don't think it's really fair that you can't just pick these up and this one just looks like it has like food and drinks in it anyway so hmm. we're, we're gonna have to test that out at some point i don't want to test it out just yet what do we got here just morning riffraff or is this morning horde it looks like a morning horde so let me out of here certainly there's some whispers that are involved in this group and i'm gonna go hunt them down what are you doing here all right where are the whisperers i'm imagining that they're over here somewhere that's where the horde came from wasn't it yeah yep yeah, i see one right over there and in the meantime though i'm gonna chop down these trees because it's hurting our visibility there she is right there. Of course, our soldiers can't really get eyes on her because they're all pointed in the wrong directions. Oh, ow. All right, I can take care of this. Another one. Whoop, look out. Oh, got stabbed. Take that. Nice. All right, let's head down here and see if we can set some stuff up here. So what I've been kind of thinking is like maybe because I think, what do we have here? Is it three blocks wide? of single blocks before we get into the the triple the three by threes so what i might do is i might dig a trench like right along this line here and put electric fences and or maybe dart traps although dart traps in this kind of sideways orientation not the best way to do them you'd want to put them more down over there at that end or maybe over here at this end hmm 
that actually is not a bad idea to kind of like replace these steps with something that's like uh, that zombies can shoot through or that, that dart traps can shoot through like maybe this block here We make the steps out of that block that trussing block. Okay, that's something we can maybe look into in the future I think for tonight We're just gonna rely on brute force firepower and we're gonna new, do a new fire trap system here as well And so what the fire trap system is gonna look like is just what we did kind of back at the base there and we're gonna put plates just like this and what I think I'll do is I'll do six in a row like that and, you know, it's going to make it kind of tricky with the spikes because the spikes will just, you know, catch on fire and the fire will spread. You know, the barbed wire catches on fire too and I just made a whole bunch of barbed wire. Kind of anticipating using it here, but... Hmm. Okay, let's just proceed for now with the original plan. And that is to just have these fire breaks just like so. And that way we can kind of tactically set these on fire with molotovs or whatever. And kind of always have zombies on fire basically at least that's the plan let's check whoa that goes fast whoops okay trying that again this time much more carefully and patch that up and i'm gonna get some concrete here in a little bit and we're gonna fill this all in with cement okay that should do it for now and like i said let's go get that mix i haven't made any myself yet but i've been shopping so we should have plenty for tonight okay i definitely i want to move these at some point and we're just gonna have i think probably hesco's going all the way down i'm not exactly sure if we need these security gates here but let's just do this all into concrete mix for now okay that's all done now eventually we're gonna get demos and i have no idea when that will be Nice, we got all the front Hescos in. That's gonna look great. Oh, it looks pretty sweet, doesn't it? <laughs> I like it. Nice, and then I I really wanna put barbed wire kind of in the, in between these, but I don't wanna use the cheap barbed wire. I wanna use like the, um, oh, I don't know what it's called. Yeah, we've got like these wooden barbed wire fence traps. We've got regular barbed wire. We've got these like, you know, tank spikes, or I don't know what you call those. And then, of course, another project we have to do is kind of grind out all of these bars. Although, you know, ideally, this is even going to take a while with this auger. We've got to get the tungsten auger at some point. Or like an HD auger, if that's even a thing. I don't really know. But that'll at least make it so that we can walk back here. Because otherwise, the only way around is to go all the way through here. Whoa, <laughs> very naked on this side. I feel like at a minimum, we can kind of just put the first layer down here until you run out, but I made like 50 more. They're gonna be work that takes a minute per Hesco block. So we'll be waiting all day for that stuff. All right, still getting a little bit sidetracked here. So we want some more turrets here probably, I would say. And you know, eventually I will probably make some kind of a system here where they're like either elevated or somehow enclosed. But I just, for tonight, I think it's time for us to start burning through some of the extra ammo that we have. So we'll just set them in there just like that. And we'll daisy chain them together. Not too, too worried about them getting blown up. Although some of the floor pieces here have taken damage. I think that's from soldiers shooting down here though. So it shouldn't be too big of a deal. Okay, so put those in and should have enough fuel, juice it up. And let's just see how much power that's gonna be using. That will be 76 out of 150. Okay, what about if we put some fences in? What would, what would it be then, do you think? And you know what? Let's, whoops, let's grind this block out here and just set these in there a little bit and see what it looks like. So kind of like that, if I put one in here, you know what? It might be better served to put it even one deeper than that. Like down there. Oh yeah, because then, then I could even like put something on top to kind of close it in like a hatch. And then we don't have to worry about the turrets maybe accidentally shooting it. Okay, we'll put one there and we'll put one... I don't know, two or three blocks down further, like over here maybe? Yeah, you know what? If we're gonna do this, we might make a pattern out of it as well. So let's just measure. Yeah, cause that was way off. Put that back. Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like spaced out like that. So two, four, six. What I'm thinking here is eventually we'll go like this one to that one and we'll make like X's all the way around. And if they're set into the ground two, like too deep, then it'll be like the, the the line will be right in the middle of this second block layer here. So at least all the standing zombies will get stun locked by the electric fences. We only have four for now and I don't want to use all the forged iron. So I'm just going to lay these four in and we'll call it good and just see how it performs tonight. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like right here, at least for the first night. 
And I think this will work pretty good, actually. They'll get nice and stun locked right up here, so we can kind of cluster them up right in the basically the maximal field of fire. Because if they're stun locked here, probably Cajun, myself, maybe even soldiers up there can be able to shoot them. And the turrets, for that matter. Nice. Okay, let's do a power test then. Currently going to be using, well, it says 76. Oh, yes, I didn't hook them up yet. What about those blade traps? Is there anywhere we could put those in here that would be effective? You know what? Just as an ex- Ow, ow, ow. Whoops. Yep. <laughs> they are working now, aren't they? It's official. What if I put a, like, a pipe piece here and we'll put, um... Oh, look, it's spaced out perfectly. Let's put three blade traps in here tonight. Just as... You know what? Go big or go home, right? We'll put all five in. No, we can't put all five in. What's the power draw on a um, on a blade trap? Anyway, okay, upgrade that to at least cobble because then the fire won't spread to it and then jump to the next rung, I think. And we'll slap this in and that is 20. Okay, so we can only really put two in before we are reaching max power because we're at like 96 right now. Of course, blade traps are just kind of notorious for breaking, but... That's fine, whatever. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Good stuff. That's going to be perfect for Horde Knight. So turn all that off for now. And, yep, we'll pick these up. We know the system we're going to go with for now. And for the next couple of hours, I'm going to solidify all of these things up here. All those um, plywood frames that we have. Alrighty, just upgrading that because I forgot to do it earlier. And let's have a look here. So I've made a lot of this into concrete. And uh, I finished up all the towers, and I don't know if I'm totally sold on the design, but honestly, this, it's a lot of work <laughs> to get these towers up and running. So just having them all done and symmetrical is about as good as I think we're going to get for this run. Still a lot left to do, but I kind of want to turn my attention to some other projects here on the base. And I also want to at least get some rough painting done, but we're going to look into that more next week. There have been some great suggestions to build some other things, like maybe a barracks for the soldiers, and maybe a kitchen area, or a mess hall, we could call it. Definitely not the focus of this night, but coming soon. Okay, so just with the remainder of, like, the materials I have, let's go ahead and just Put a couple of those down, and of course we don't want to bridge these two. This is going to be like a little fire break here for us, but we can put some spikes and stuff out here, I would say. Ultimately, this is basically just stealing XP from me. Not that I'm going to be doing the, the most killing tonight anyway. The soldiers will do by far the most killing. Okay, and I think that will do it. And right, for this, it's just going to look something like this. So I'm going to do this here on the front here for today because it only takes me one hit to kind of knock these back out again. But I just want to see kind of what it will look like and show you guys what my vision is for the crenellations here. And aside from that, I made them and I'm going to put them down somewhere. Okay, well that pretty much does it and it's dinner time. So let's get fed, hydrated, and prepared for the horde. All right, I've grabbed everything that I can think of that I might need tonight. Cajun, you're just going to sit here right in the window and I'll join you there. Well, hopefully I won't, but I'll join you there if I have to. I have a sledge turret, which I can put maybe... I don't know, maybe like right here? Also, it just might get, end up getting destroyed. I'm not entirely sure, that'd be a good test. Pretty much anywhere else is definitely not a good spot for it though, like on top of any of these fires or anything. I don't know if these things would take fire damage or not. Okay, last thing to do here is, ooh. I think everybody's probably out of ammo or very close to it, so we'll just top everyone off here and make sure that you're targeting zombies only, and that will do it. Well, everyone, the Day 28 Horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the Horde is almost upon us. Oh boy, <laughs> we just had an explosion over here and um, crap, the Heskos are on fire. That's uh, not good. Let's, let's put these out. The fire down there though, I did not set that. That was a cop blowing up down there, but that's fair enough for me. Start softening up these zombies. Holy crap. Whoa. Things are getting really hectic here already. My sledge turret is broken already. Ooh, ow, ow, ow. Yep, let's get some of my own fire down there. Oh boy. All right, junk sledge, go. 
Maybe go down there? Would it be safer for him to be down like that? I don't know. There's just a lot of cops. That's kind of the problem right now. Too many cops. Here we go. We're having the same spider problem we had the last time. Oh my goodness, there's one in there fighting with Cajun. Wow. Yeah, I'll just seal that up for now. How you doing in there? You're still alive. Good. Okay then. I think this fire plan that we had is actually really, really helping us out right now. Ow. Ooh. Maybe don't stand up like that. Okay, those uh, floor blocks that we put in, the wooden plates, they're very weak and shooting down on them like this is not making them any stronger either. Okay, we got another fire over here. It looks to just be the barbed wire though. Nope. Nope, it's now affecting all the blocks. I'm gonna just let it progress for just a minute there and see if it will actually destroy the Hesco or not. Okay, I'm just laying into them the best I can here. Whoa, look out. Wow, Alaria. You're gonna get killed at this rate. Okay, the fire burnt out. It looks like it was just the barbed wire there. We'll have to get some metal barbed wire traps instead. I don't think the Hescos are flammable. Thank goodness. Holy crap, <laughs> look out. Cajun, get him. Suddenly very quiet. I'm fine, how are you? Uh, might be between waves right now, to be honest. Yep, we've got gunfire again. Wave number two, let's go. Oh, that fire is so good. I love it. Okay, so far they're barely even able to make it up to the, the electric fences. Just barely. Oh, the spider's definitely the number one threat here right now. Oh, uh, you know what? I forgot to do it again. Let's stick that 30% experience card into me. And why not some recog while I'm at it? Man, it is a sight to see to watch him turn that corner and just immediately get set on fire. Ha <laughs> ha yes. Cop explosion there, we lost a blade trap, and um, I think they set some more stuff on fire, and we just lost functionality from that junk turret again. Okay, I can handle this. Not again with you stupid spiders, get out of here. Oh crap, right in the face. Oh man, they're hurting the, the fighting position already. Come on guys, shoot the cops, interrupt. Don't shoot the guys out there, shoot the people that are in the fatal funnel here. Yeah, they are starting to pile up a little bit. Here, get some explosives out. I guess we're setting all of the wooden planks on fire now. What? He was running on all on two feet. What was that all about? Well, that was fun. He got killed mid-air. <laughs> I'd love to see that. Whoa, look out. He got killed in mid-air too. Ow. Getting really, really intense up here now with the cops. Holy crap. More explosives, please. Cajun wants the hard stuff again. What's new? Yep, the spiders are just running on two feet now. I think that's the thing that they do. I don't know why it's a thing that they do, but it's what they're doing right now. A bunch of screamers down there now screaming. Not that it's doing them any good. Bring on the hard stuff. It's what Cajun likes. I broke my AK-47 again for like the third time and I don't have any more repair kits, so we're down to the SMG. Yeah, that blade trap is down now. The electric fences are still holding strong though. I don't think that they'll get up to the stairs while that's there. As long as we can kind of fend them off, we should be fine. Oh yeah, because as soon as they poke their heads up, we've got the turrets, all four of them. The turrets aren't shooting until they get up to the stairs, which is perfect. Save that ammo for when it really counts. Three more mags though on the SMG and then we're back to the shotgun. Oh, there's just so many of them though. This is crazy. Good thing I don't have to provide ammo for the soldiers. It seems like there's just a few more trickling in here. Eh, perhaps many more, not sure. I like to get some of my own fire on them so that I get more XP if they happen to die from the fire. Oh, and it's raining. Good for me. 
doesn't seem to benefit the zombies one way or the other. Yeah, it's not getting quieter at all. It's just getting thicker up here. We're at 155 right now, which means tomorrow the goal is going to be get the motorcycle, I think. Why are we going anywhere? Okay, getting a lot quieter here now. What is this place? <laughs> this place is the mess is what it is. Alaria is toast. The sledge turret's toast. We've uh, lost a blade trap. We did manage to kill the entire horde, though. It's still horde night, but no more zombies are coming. That means they are all dead. We killed the entire three waves. And we have a whole bunch of loot bags to gather up. And I'm pretty sure we, nobody died, did they? We should have three soldiers up here. We have Cajun downstairs, and we have four on the outer wall. Just take down that loot and candy, and let's head down and see what we get. Yeah, I believe that was all the loot bags. Let's go pile them all up in a box and see what we got. Okay, here is a look at chest number one. Steel axes, definitely not gonna be as good as the legendary fire axe though. And really what I wanna focus on right now is these experience cards. Give me those, give me that one. And do I have any others that are over here in the paper box? I've got a whole bunch, oh my goodness. And do I have a learning elixir as well? I've got one right there, so take that. We have 24 minutes left on the 30% experience card, so that's plus 50% experience right now. And we can read all of these. Let's check real quick though, level 157. up to whoa, level 180 oh my god that is a dramatic leap and that's a action skill for medicine and one for heavy armor scrap 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 and uh, let me just sort the rest of the stuff out action skill for shovels action skill for light armor oh there's a tungsten spear there not very good quality and also not gonna sell for a whole lot tungsten sledgehammer as well though oh there's a double re reward skill card what do they call these reward point card two of them okay so that's two full boxes that i have to go through to get all of this stuff organized into the regular inventory and we have 22 minutes i think what i'll do is i'll gather up everything into the cell chests over here and we'll make a big trader run first thing tomorrow morning but anyway my friends and fellow survivors i think we can call it a night this morning we remember the fallen Five soldiers gave their lives in the assault on the rogue fortress. Plus, I blew up bad players doppelganger with the time charge, but that doesn't count. So the POD today is to do the major inventory sell-off at the trader, then head back to the base for a major construction project. I'd like to collapse the back portion of the base and expand the main area eight or 10 meters to the east. And tomorrow, maybe we can push north into the wasteland to dig up some missing supply crates. You watch my back and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. All right, so here we are at the trader, and my 30% experience card is about to wear off. Let's take down this awesome sauce. I did not have a sugar butt with me, but what I do have with me is a ton, ton, ton of stuff in my inventory. Plus, yesterday, this morning actually, I crafted the cargo mod for Ilaria, so she's fully stocked with stuff to sell as well. All right, let's see how much money we make. So far, 50,000. Plus a ton of experience to boot. Thanks for the business. Nice, another 12 grand there. And as usual, one more mining helmet to sell over here to Trader J. And just like that, we are up to 75,000 dukes again. <laughs> again, like we've ever had that much money. Okay, well, while we're here, might as well check and see if there's anything fun to buy. Nah, there's nothing crazy here. I think I bought just a couple of resources. I bought some extra learning elixir. Okay, fair enough. Let's head back to the base. We have a lot to do today. Starting with knocking his head off. Meet you there. Okay, here is the grave site with all of the new graves for all of our fallen friends. Kaz Fiend, Snitty, Damon Warnock, Raw Gage, our super soldier Raw Gage, and Philip James Crawford. May they rest in peace. All right, so while I'm right here, I'm just going to show you what's going to happen today. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut the base in half right here. I was hoping we'd have a better auger, and we'll have to check the vending machine and see what's going on there and see if we can get a HD auger or... I don't even know if that's a thing, but a tungsten auger or a steel auger, I think, would be best. And then we're just going to do... We're just going to elongate the base out to the edge right here. At least that's the plan. 
what could go wrong, right? Collapsing a bunch of stuff in your base. That does bring up the issue of what we're going to do with this vending machine. Because uh, as far as I know, we're going to have to carve out the wall that it's sitting on. And so maybe I can just do something where I like... I kind of stick something to it so it just floats there for a little bit and then I did do some testing and you can't uh as far as I, I as far as I know you can't like um harvest them up with a wrench or you know it just breaks and it gives you a lot of resources but I think what I'll do is I'll just I'll break it I'll I'll toss the resources and I'll I'll command menu myself in a new one because I just think it's a little bit foolish that I can pick up everything else in this game but I can't pick up a class vending machine and uh, and we'll just move it right we'll just put it somewhere else so speaking of that let's have a look in here and see if anything's changed so okay day 31 it says yeah so these vending machines they don't restock every day I, I've been sort of thinking that it was like a regular vending machine that it would restock every day but that's not the case and of course there is nothing good in here well, except for diamond tools, what is this? I would take the steel if there was any in here, because of course we do also have to get the motorcycle today. In fact, let's work on that right now. So in order to get the motorcycle, we have to take this point here, and then that should unlock the chassis. So if we go to motorcycle here, we have the engine that's down in the generator. We have the handlebars, we found those. We still have to get the chassis, and technically we do have to make the handlebars as well, because that's part of one of the class fulfillment quests yeah it seems like the technician class is the most difficult to get because you have to be at least a level 150 or have found these schematics in order to even craft the motorcycle let alone get the steel for it so yeah we need to craft both of these to progress further onto the 4x4 and then onto the gyrocopter and then maybe after that we'll be able to unlock the uh, vending machine for that class holy crap the usas 12 for 22,000. that seems very good what's the damage there 11.8 and it's got uh room for well probably like at least three mod slots okay the pump shotgun though is doing 18 with all the mods on it yeah if we compare them man the, the usas 12 doesn't look like it's a whole lot better than the pump shotgun at least to me it's got a lot more durability and uh, is this one chambered in the 20 gauge ammunition type i don't quite remember that i don't think that it is we do have some 20 gauge shotgun shells and of course we could craft a bunch more if we had to we got some breaching slugs for it as well hmm yeah, I don't know about that. But we have a couple of days to think about it anyway. It's quite expensive, but we have the money, so it shouldn't be too big of a deal. All right, we're getting sidetracked here. We're working on the motorcycle right now. Okay, I've got the duct tape on the craft. We need to spend a skill point into steel now. Right there, forged steel, and we have like 60 more skill points to go through. I think we could just pretty much buy everything at this point. Yeah, look at all these skill points we can spend. This is crazy. Oh, no, not sledgehammers. Yeah, I've spent all but 11, and I did put some points into heavy armor because if we look over here, I did get some really nice tungsten armor, and look at the additional armor rating that we're going to get for wearing all of that. It would kill our mobility, so I'm not prepared to make the switch just yet, but come Horde Night, it might be nice to just put that on since we're not, not going to need the mobility too much. Okay, the Forge Steel is rolling in, and we should have enough right now to craft the handlebars and the chassis, so we'll wait on that for just a little bit. Over to the generator, grab up a spare engine. Unfortunately, that means we're going to need more engines or we're not going to be able to have as much going on with electronics. Engines are a big limiting factor here for us. And I believe it said that we had a battery in storage somewhere. So we'll just trust in that. Okay, there's one. Oh, and there's this class challenge. Let's just see what that is. Oh, it just says craft a diamond tipped fire axe, pickaxe and shovel. I don't know, are those better than the legendary ones? I don't think that they would be, but maybe we'll find out someday. Okay, here they are actually right here. Diamond tipped stuff. I can't even make them. They require some kind of an advanced schematic that I don't have. Okay, anyway, give me those. And just to make sure, yes, craft the motorcycle, it says. You don't have to tell me twice. Do it. There we go. And of course, that starts the next chapter in this quest, which is going to be crafting the 4x4, I would assume. And then yes. All right, mini bike, you served us tremendously well, but it's time to pull off all the mods on you and switch them over. Pop that down. And I'm just interested to see like that 200% um, increased speed. What's that gonna feel like? All right, we're all juiced up. Let's take it for a test drive. All right, I would say I've reached max speed at this point, and we're moving really, really fast through here. I think I could settle for 300%. <laughs> Is there a 300% mod? I'd love to see it. I'd say we're moving faster than the traditional gyrocopter at this point, though. This is really fast. Whoa! <laughs> totally took care of that guy. 
So when Alpha 21 comes, the latest news that we received on that was that vehicles are going to be doing a lot of damage to entities. So you'll be able to, for example, crash into this fence over here and break a hole in the fence or run into a zombie and either dismember the zombie or even kill the zombie, especially the weaker zombies. So if you've ever played Darkness Falls or watched my Darkness Falls series, by the way, I just released a supercut on that. So you can uh, watch the entire thing uninterrupted. Then you'll know that that's kind of a feature in Darkness Falls. However, the vehicles are going to take a lot more damage from colliding with things, which I think that'll just add a lot to the fun, especially because they've also said that they're going to also have dismemberment on all of the zombies, not just Steve. So they've been working on that. All right. Well, that was the main thing I wanted to craft for today. I suppose the only thing left to do is probably do the big cutting job in here. And actually, let's cancel the steel. Grab this. Grab that. And yeah, take up all of these. Grab up my Hesco's and whatever else was in there, and is there also an engine in there? Oh, there is, a backup engine, nice. Okay, and grab up that, and for this, I'm just wondering if I can stick it <laughs> to the other part of the base just by doing that. And now we have to get outside and start augering. Okay, and I think this right here is probably as good a spot as any to start off with. Okay, and then I have to go around the back side, I think, and do the same thing. Well, I could just kind of like creep under here, I guess, and do this. Okay, that's it for that portion. Now we need to just cut into it this way. And, uh, oh man, there's a lot left to do here. Just start by cutting off all of the blocks that are at like ground level, the first block layer, and then we'll work on cutting off whatever's left on like the top of the base because I'm sure it's attached by the roof and everything as well. Okay, now we just need to slice into the side walls to disconnect the back wall of the base from the rest of the base, then hopefully eventually it'll just collapse and fall down. Okay guys, yep, that's definitely, we have contact and I'm pretty sure this is a whisperer attack here. Yep, just double checking, that is definitely a whisperer. It's all right, I'm wearing good enough armor now. I feel like I'm able to solo them with a little bit of covering fire from above. And another level up. Oh, got one more way out there. And down. Looks clear. All right, we've been making some good progress here. We have just a little bit more augering to go and we should be done. There we go, I was gonna say collapse is imminent, but nope, it is here. Just take apart some of these supporting frames. It's good to see that those were working in the first place. And that was the last one. Oh, there goes the vending machine. <laughs> we're gonna pretend that that didn't happen, okay guys? Alrighty then, clean up time. And done. Oh, look at this guy. He is very confused because he's like, I'm supposed to be five blocks higher. What am I doing down here? Okay, Devlin, if you can just stand where I'm standing, I think you'll be out of the way for the construction portion. Just gonna quickly detach. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> I love it when they do that. Very satisfying. All right, that that is it it right there. All we gotta do now is construction and I should have a few leftover cobblestone cube shapes and I can probably make a few more over here. How many can we make? 800? Don't need that many. Maybe 200? That'll be good. Huh, look at all that mud on your boots. Well, I've been working, okay? Geez, unlike you, just where are you anyway? Just sitting down here all by yourself. Right, so to start things off with, to make sure we have all the spacing correct here. Is this the shape we want? I guess it is. Yes, we want to just put the back wall in first, I think. Just kind of like comparing it to what it's going to look like on this side. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have the back ramp and then a pillar under the tower and then it starts the next wall. So one, two, three, starting right there, I think. And then one, two, three right there. Okay, and then we fill this in. And I'm just gonna put a row of two cubes on the back here. Then we grab that shape again and we're gonna go up another row, just like we did on the bottom. Then grab these wedge tips for another fourth layer. And Alaria, you are pissing me off to no end. You're just gonna go in the inventory for a couple days. I did make a robotic medic mod, but I'll have to check and see if I can make another drone, because I don't think I can. Well, it says that I can. And I have all the parts to do it, so maybe we should craft another drone, although it's also saying that it's not going to be any higher quality than the one I have, so, yeah, scratch that idea, I guess. Okay, we said we wanted this to go, oop, that's all the shapes right there. <laughs> Hopefully there's more ready over here by now. 
Ah, yes, many, many more. Right, so at this point, I'm just trying to line up all of the new block shapes, try to get everything in in accordance with what we've been doing so far. We don't want any asymmetry or anything like that, that's for sure. Right, and then we're just gonna fill this in because we're like double, even triple layering the outer walls because when you make a bunker base like this on flat ground, you can't have the side walls being an easier pathway for the zombies to break through than the front wall where your fighting position is or else they'll just go they'll completely ignore your fighting position they'll go around to the other sides and try to break in from there we don't want that okay what i need to do now is get on the ground level and start Ooh, oh uh oh are we gonna have some asymmetry here no we're not oh my god that was so close i did not count the blocks properly and it just had it was like 50 50 chance and uh, it rolled in our favor thank goodness and I'm just gonna lay in the floor now. This is the whole reason why we're doing all of this. Wow, I need more cobblestone cube shapes. Uh-oh, plenty of cobble. That's why I keep buying it from the traders. Yeah, really, we just need some increased floor space in here. This place is really, really tight, and we don't have enough room for everything. So this had to be done sooner or later. That or we had to make some sort of a, an additional, like, crafting area, which we will. We're gonna make, like, a kitchen and stuff like that. But this is a good start here. Okay, just got the back window done here, and now I'm going to start working on the rooftop slash ceiling system. Definitely starting to hit some structural stability problems, so hopefully we don't make any big critical mistakes here and the supports will hold up. All right, I think that's it for the roof there. Should be 100%. We still have to kind of settle on some sort of a system here to... Right, yes, because we want to put some doors in here so that we can just walk straight out onto the catwalk. I think that's really, really convenient, one of the better features of doing this. But we also want to have, like, corner fighting positions just like we have over here. I think probably the best way to do this is to just use regular wood shapes and we'll line this out the way that we want it, and then we'll solidify it once we figure everything out. Okay, I've got it in a way that matches what we're doing on the other sides, and I think we could just post a soldier right here and put a door here and maybe like a little window here or something and um yeah i don't know is that gonna work we have some very fancy door options with war of the walkers but just for now just put that door there in there and just so we can kind of see how it looks and feels and um i don't know let's see what it looks down from down here really not that bad actually and once we put the the reactive armor texture on the outside there I don't know. I think it'll look pretty good. I like it so far. Okay, real quickly, I'm just going to copy that on this side here, and then we'll head out for the day and do some of those digging quests. Okay, that's it. Wow, lots more room here. And also, instead of the storage here, we can now put some stuff, like, all around this area, kind of occupying the middle space as well. I would like to set up this framing, though, and then I'm going to upgrade it to wood just once and for all. Let's just get this over with. I've proven so far when we were doing the destruction that these are definitely helping with structural stability, so it's good to have these. All right, excellent. This is 100% done now, except for the fact that we'll have to upgrade these to wood and nails and then into cobblestone, but I'll save that for a, like a nighttime project later on. Okay, Alaria, you can be unbanished, and I'll actually, what I'll do is, what's, where is it, right here? Give me that robotic drone mod there, and give me some bandages. Modify, take that off, put on the medic mod, drop you down, shut you up, open the storage, drop that in, and just go ahead and hang on to your cargo mod so I don't lose it. Nope, give me those, put those in, and I'll take the first aid kits right down here. As for fuel, I did today at some point get some fuel crafted right here. So we have, that's as much as we have though, that's all we have right there. And that was all the shale as well. Yeah, I don't believe that there's any more gasoline in here anywhere. You know, wasn't there like a disassembly workstation? What was that called? Oh, the recycler workstation. That's something that I feel like we need. Using a lead car battery, which we now have none of. Okay, so while we're out and about today in the wasteland, let's try to focus on harvesting up some cars and seeing also... If we have Hacker's Candy, let's take a couple of those with us as well. Okay, and I've, I've again gone like an entire day without eating, so let's top off. We still got some spaghetti. We had some kind of a food bundle there days ago, and it's still going strong there. We'll have an iced coffee as well, and might as well maybe... Which one gives me the best stamina regen? Is it one of the alcoholic beverages? Yes, but these only last for a few seconds. Okay, just bring some mocha coffee with me then, so we'll have plenty of stamina for the car harvesting. And who wants to come with me? Cajun, you always come with me because I just like chatting with you occasionally. 
not too much, mind you. All right, so let's take a look at the map here and... Uh, well, let's first head over to the missing mid-tier weapon supplies over there next to... It looks like um, like a snow tree village or something over there. While we're at it, not going to say no to some whisper supply caches here. Okay, take it. Not sure what it was. All kinds of different ammo types in this mod. And I haven't even really gotten into any of the custom calibers of weapons. Okay, indeed, we're rolling up on some kind of a, you know, children's Christmas-themed park or something like that. Not really interested in what's inside there. More interested in seeing what's underground here. At this point, I'm just chasing the circle over here into this corner. Didn't bring any repair kits with me, so trying to conserve the durability there on the auger. And yep, it's like the very furthest point from where I started. Way the heck over here. Aha, found it. Check that up. Wow, nothing special. We got contact no, up here or what? What's going on? Here. Just zombies. Are you okay? Get out of here. Okay, off to the wasteland this time. To that one right there. That is a weapon crate followed by a gun crate followed by an explosives crate. Also, we have a tier two fetch way up there next to the psycho base. Well, let's start with the weapons crate then. Okay, here we are entering into the wasteland and there are a bunch of cars already. So let's get the ratchet take down the hacker's candy. I found a couple more things in some of those supply caches along the way. And see if we can get any good loot out of these cars and or an engine or batteries as well. Oh my, tungsten chainsaw, baby. And looks like a quality six because it's got that purplish background. Not sure if that makes any significant difference, but increases the value, I do know that. Whoo, that <laughs> level loot stage 659 paying off already. Holy shit! Guys, it's finally happened. It's time for a dragon battle. Holy crap! KJ, look out! Get up! No! Stay away from her! Why are we going anywhere? We, we're killing a dragon! Oh, good stuff, KJ. Nice! KJ the Dragon Slayer. That's your new nickname now. Dragon Slayer. Anything good inside these guys? Uh, just some red meat. Yummy. Well, KJ, we came here so that we could um, dig up the supplies. I've told you a hundred times now, but we've gotten completely sidetracked. I have picked up a whole bunch of, like, HD engines, HD batteries, eco batteries, eco engines, things like end. that. All right, I think I'm done with the car harvesting, at least for now. Maybe we'll get some more on the way home, but it's getting later into the day, so let's push forward here to the dig site. Whoa. Wow, did you see that? Like a pirouetting 360. Okay, here we are at the first dig site. In we go. Yeah. Oh, wow, there's the, uh, the supply crate right there. Uh, ooh, what's that? Ooh, a tungsten baseball bat, which is not as good as the legendary, though. Very good sell value on that. Holy cow. Put a bunch of mods on it, too, probably. Okay, up and out of here. That was the weapon supply cache. We're now on to the gun crate over this way. And if you recall, the wasteland at night is just filled with rads. So we don't want to be here any later than dusk. And just as I kind of say that, we are entering into a city way out here. Oh boy, this is a new city. So, oh, and that road probably leads up to this city. All right, let's find that treasure map. The storm is lifting, it would appear. But just be very weary that we might stumble onto not only a bunch of psychos, but a psycho base. I can tell already this is gonna be one of those supply crates that's buried under a bunch of asphalt. Oh boy, here's our chance, another dragon. Cajun the Dragon Slayer, show him what you got. It's all you, Cajun, kill him, kill. No, oh, it's, they're going head to head. There we go. Cajun the Dragon Slayer, nice. All kinds of weird stuff here in the wasteland. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the result of some, oh, <laughs> bubbles, get wrecked, buddy. Yeah, the result of some nasty psycho experiment. And yeah, just as I predicted, this is right underneath a gigantic road. Okay, well there's, whoa, ow. There's no other way to go about it. We just have to start digging here in a second. Okay, and unfortunately, it does appear as though 
Is there like a sewer system that goes underneath this maybe? Yeah, I'm not sure what else to do here. So I've got the dynamite out. I'm just gonna start blasting. Stay back, Cajun. Dragon Slayer. Here we go. Now, can I just poke my head in here and maybe see where this box is? Maybe, oh, it's way the heck down there. What? Oh, jeez. Don't overdo yourself. I'm trying not to. It's right in that corner right there. Okay, this continues to just be a tremendous chore. Although, okay. Help? No, I think I've got it now. If I could just carve through this a little bit more. Where is it? Is it underneath me? Aha, found it. What is in it? Whoa. Oh, a 1911. All quality six. That was well worth it. Except for the fact that I'm entombed and I have no idea how to get out of here. Ah, there we go. Okay, one little loot bag here with, ooh, jet ski accessories. Interesting. And now we are off to the east to get the explosives. Oh, and look at the marker. It's like on the top of that mountain. Great, we gotta get there before nightfall too. Okay, this is some seriously rugged terrain out here. I might just park it over here somewhere so that we can kind of fly off the mountain and not be stuck somewhere in some gully up here. And we'll push in the rest of the way on foot. Cajun, if you could not just shoot everything you see, that would be great. We don't need to shoot that cop down there. Yep, oh, she blew him up too. <laughs> no insults, please. Time for some real fun. Yeah, the fun of climbing up this mountain to dig up treasure on the brink of nightfall in the wasteland in the middle of nowhere with you of all people. Yep, and we've got gunfire over here. That's a psycho. He might be hunting for the same treasure that we are. Ooh, it's a brute too, the strong variant. He of course is drawing his own uh, zombie attention though, as we are. Okay, he's down. Maybe I can knock him out and see where his base is. Oh, I, I accidentally blasted his arm off or something. We press on up this like vicious mountain. World. Yeah, it is not the same world, man. This place has been blasted to oblivion. Oh, another one there. Yes, it must be like a freaking psycho scouting party up here. Of course, she's fighting a zombie now. Let's see if that does anything. There we go. Tell me where your base is, kneecapper. Oh, another one way down there. Okay. Oh, crap. Alaria, take some of this crap that I have. All right, and press down here to this guy. This one we're not going to kill. Cajun Dragon Slayer, you're going to be in charge of interrogating her while I dig this crap up. Why did we go here again? <laughs> you mouthy bitch. Oh, my God. We got another Maybe one up on ammo. the hill there. Just digging as fast as I possibly can here. Come on, faster, faster, faster. We'll get the treasure and we'll move out. It's getting closer. Yep, he's like right on top of us now and we're right on top of the treasure. There it is. Explosives. Oh my God, HD contact grenades, HD grenades, all kinds of goodies. Okay, there she is. Let's go get her in the leg. Just disable her and we'll try to interrogate her. Get the information out of her. Chop her foot off. Chop her fingers off. Where's your base? Where's your base? Yeah, okay. Nope, dog. What even are you? Zombie policewoman, I've never seen you before. Okay, 2100 and we are deep within the wasteland. It's time to get the heck out of here. Thank you, I've been working hard on my outfit these days. All right, so far we haven't gotten any information out of these psychos. They've all been relatively tight-lipped and we perhaps have been a little bit heavy-handed with the interrogation techniques. However, as I was coming down the mountain, I got sight of that right there, which I don't know what it is and I don't dare to get a closer look at this time of night but we'll mark that on the map there. See that road is leading to it right there. We'll just mark it question mark psycho base and then we'll come back here at some point and check that out in more detail and see what is going on there. It's got a bunch of yellow on it and there's a bunch of like destroyed cars around it that are kind of like propped up in a wall configuration. So if I had to put money on it, I'd say psycho base is written all over that place. There is no time to waste though. We're heading right to that road and then due south to get the heck out of the wasteland. I don't know how the psychos live out here at night. It's insane. Just gonna harvest up a couple more cars here. Might get lucky on the way out of here. As long as we're on the road, we've got the bike nearby. I'm confident in our ability to escape if we have to. And we got another psycho right there. <laughs> oh, take him out and whack, whack. And it's nightfall, whack, you're dead, and you're dead, and keep your eyes peeled. Yep, we got rads already. A whole bunch of them. Okay, back to the bike, we're out of here. Boink. Oh, eat that, buddy. 
And we're out of here. Get those LED headlights on and maybe we can find a soldier on the way home. Yep, we've got some gunfire. Desert vulture sounds like, and BDU green by the looks of it. What is up, man? Who is this? Pascal, I'm just hiring you 2750. Hop on, buddy. All right, since we're in the neighborhood, I figured let's stop by here and pick up this missing buried, or this buried missing building supplies. My trigger finger is getting itchy standing here. If random body parts are getting itchy, man, you might want to see a doctor about that. Okay, I found the building supplies. And, ooh, this one's not as bad as normal. These are at least sellable for a good deal. And a book. Axes do more damage to blocks, but less damage to enemies. I'm okay with that. Let's dig our way out of here, and I guess just head home now. If we get lucky, maybe find another soldier, but I'm not gonna hold my breath for it. Okay, here we are, rolling back up on the base here. And the first thing I'm gonna do once we get in here is that, whoops, whoa, man. <laughs> Is that I'm gonna stop at the generator and see if this will take either eco engines or HD engines because I should have gotten a couple of each of those Yeah, there's an HD engine right there. So turn that off. Can you take that? Nope, it can't take that And so I would probably assume that let's see if I have an eco engine in here I just have so many HD engines. Why did I get so many of those and really only got like well, I guess I got four regular engines. That's not too bad. But I got five of the HDs, two HD batteries. I got a whole bunch of lead car batteries. Okay, I guess we made out really good today. Plus, we got the HD contact grenade, the HD regular grenade, HD timed charges, and some RPG-7 rocket high explosive ammo. Wow, pretty incredible loot haul there after all. And there's my eco stuff right there. So... I'm gonna get all this stuff put away, and then if there's any time left over, I think I'm gonna head into the mine and do some iron mining. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. There's a ton of work to be done today. I'd like to start with some work around the base, including crafting, rearranging the base, building a mess hall, setting up the farm, mining, and construction. But tomorrow, we'll have to set off into town. We have missions to do in the local area, but ultimately, we might need to strike off into the surrounding cities in search of books, schematics, and that elusive college jacket. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. All right, first things first, I am way overdue for a little bit of food here, so it's spaghetti for breakfast. Okay, we gotta find a place for all this crap to live. Eventually, I'm gonna completely redesign how everything's done. I'm gonna put all five of the vending machines in a row, like right here. And so for now, let's just do like forges on this side and cement mixer on that side and get everything stocked back up again. Oh, and that kind of reminds me, we can probably do the eco engine and the HD small engine and... Uh, put those in here, right? And that should... Oh, the Hesco blocks are down to 12 seconds. My goodness, that was like... It was like a minute before, so that is a dramatic improvement. Okay, in terms of the forges, I do have a bellows. I need a bunch more bellows. I need four bellows in order to craft the H... The, whoa, what is it? The tungsten forge. Okay, I've got that working on forge steel. We're gonna need lots and lots of that today. Okay, let's head over here. I did decide. I think I'll, I'll need some money for this. Where is my money? All kinds of money there. I'm gonna buy this USAS 12 that's right there, quality four. Take that, and let's switch that over and see how it looks compared to the pump shotgun that we have. We've got 18 damage per pellet, and now with the USAS 12, we have 14.9, so a reduction there, but an increase in the magazine size and our rounds per minute going up to 99 from 64. So that is, that's like a 40% increase. I do like that. Oh, it looks quite a bit better in black too. I like that. Okay, more crafting to be done here. Gonna wanna get myself an impact bracing mod for my boots and an arrow rest for my bow. And then we've got 16 skill points. I'm gonna see if I can spend these and unlock some things like the blueprint workstation. Oh yeah, some points into mother load, nice. Oh, steel crowbar. That's cool. Steel auger. Oh boy. Yes, we want that. Points into shotguns. Yep, why not? What about um, some machine gun points too? Heavy armor. How many points can I get into this? Just two, I guess, for now. Microwave and copy maker. Food processing table. Player oven. Blueprint workstation. Oh yes, and farming stuff. We want to set up a farm. Let's see if we can get some farm plots built up. Indeed. What are we going to be short on? Looks like nitrate powder of all things but 22 should get us started. 
Okay, just to round things out here, we'll do Demolitions Expert, Stealth, which apparently now we can pick up landmines. I do like that. Well, we could do lockpicking, but I think we're about to get the crowbar, which is like kind of a lot better than <laughs> lockpicks. So, and uh, light armor, do we need that? Because I really want to switch over to heavy armor. Speed traps, a fire speed trap, explosive speed trap. I don't know what exactly those are. I think let's just hang on to the points for just a little bit because I need to probably sit down more and... Um, sort out where we should be spending these yeah i like having a few in the in the bank anyways steel auger we're gonna need bicycle handlebars what about that crowbar oh and the microwave oh right yes yeah, so craft that coffee maker blueprint workstation food processing table player oven and steel auger oh we need that eco small engine do we hmm Ah, okay. <laughs> I was kind of excited about having that in this, but I guess, yeah, we've got the Hesco blocks up anyways. What is the Hesco block time now? 40 seconds. Oh my God, the eco engine is like really, really good. And I don't have any more, do I? I only had that one. Crap. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Can I maybe get another point into like power or trade tools? Is that the one? No, no. We need player level 200. We're 189. Well, I'll take what I can get today. Okay, and since I put all those points into heavy armor, I think it is time. Let's switch over to the tungsten armor. Okay, arrow rest onto the bow and put the extra mods away here. And here's a look at the character. Ooh, Bring looking kind of good. <laughs> Cajun's getting a little bit antsy for the hard stuff again. How about that crowbar? I can't craft it. Oh, rounding hammer required. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, what are the tools I'm supposed to be putting in here? Okay. Yes, I think I have some of those. Yes, a rounding hammer. Luckily, I do have one of those. I don't know that I can put anything in there while I'm waiting for the auger. So I might just say, just, I don't know, sit in here for now. I don't know what goes in here. It said that the rounding hammer goes in there. I don't know what else. Quite a productive morning, if you ask me. So this is going to be the kitchen because it's just naturally, it's the grocers. So we're gonna change this to like the mess hall or chow hall or something like that. And we'll set up the oven and the food processing table, the coffee maker and the microwave all in here somewhere, along with maybe some dining room tables and some chairs. And uh, we'll put all the food storage down here. And last but not least, we'll put a farm up here. So that's what I want to work on right now. But it's going to be a lot easier probably if I just get the tungsten chainsaw and test this out. I ought to actually see if like what's the um, <laughs> zombie damage on this melee damage is 11.1 with an attacks permitted of 489. So, you know, you'd have to figure out the damage per second or damage per minute on that. So it sounds pretty high. I might have to, I might have to actually try this out. Zombie, any zombies? We've got, um, oh, there was definitely an animal horde. There's um, a bunch of animals over here. Come here. Yep, it's working. Okay, that was a coyote. Got another mountain lion here. Nope, nope, this doesn't work quite so well as I thought it would. If, if you get the headshots, maybe not too bad. Come here, buddy. Yeah, I'd say that actually doesn't work too bad. All right, so that is my bedroll. That must be repaired. Yeah, whatever, we don't need that. Let's just like harvest up all the stuff that's on the roof here. I, I might take these snowmen. Nope, they need to be repaired. That one doesn't, so scratch that. I think we're good. Let's just dig all this stuff up. Airdrop rolling in right over there. Not too bad. I'm gonna run over there and get that in just a second, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of make this symmetrical where we have a two block space between the wall and this wall. And this one, we only have a one block space. So I'm gonna carve out this wall. We're gonna move the wall back by one. Okay, that should do just fine. Ninja strike on that screamer. Okay, I'm about to run out of frames here. So what I will do is I'll start laying these in. This is just gonna be integrated right into the ground. Oh, what is the horizontal support on this? 20 not even as good as the regular plywood frame so we don't want to use those on the edges here where there will be it'll be like providing structural support we want to put those in a row kind of like this here i think maybe make a row of two and then we'll just continue that trend right along like this no i'm not liking how the the symmetry is going to look on this at all how about instead we go a span of three and then with one in the middle i think that'll look a lot better ultimately all right, so that's what it'll look like. It'll be like a three wide garden here and a three wide garden here going all the way down to the railing. And then I think what I'll also do is like, I'll continue the catwalk around like this. So we have a nice kind of border so we don't like, you know, go flying off the edge. All right, I think that's how I want it right there. Everything flushes up pretty nicely here. 
I don't think we need a ladder over to get on top of that. We can always just go along the side right here. And I think all we have left to do is, yeah, just kind of dress this up on the front here. There goes the sign that was made out of solid iron. So I figured that'd be a little bit easier of a way to get rid of it. And there we go. We got the chow hall. I think I do quite like the idea of having some windows in here. Kind of to be determined on where to put those though. Maybe like, should we have like a back exit too? Yeah, definitely. We, we need to have more than one way out of here. Okay, how about we plan on windows on this side here. Let's get the chainsaw and yeah. Wait a minute, that's not, not ideal there. How about these two blocks here for windows? And I think we'll do the same sort of convention on this side for windows, like this right here. And then, yeah, we don't need that ladder anymore. How about a door here? There we go. And yeah, I don't think we need a, <laughs> this to be a fighting position any longer. There we go. And you know what we'll do is we'll get some of the new fancy doors that we can make and put them in here. Now that I'm thinking about it though, we probably need to put a floor in here too. We don't want to eat on the dirt. It's going to take a while to do with the hand tools. So let's go up here and craft the steel crowbar and grab up the new auger and see how good that is. Okay, and here we go. We've got the power drill going in there and the the ball peen or rounding hammer. And we've got the new auger. So craft up the crowbar. And let's have a little look-see here. We've got the steel auger doing 32 block damage and this doing 26 fully modded. This is doing basically 30% more block damage. So that is a huge upgrade right there. And I think it's, what is this, a quality three? So I can get three mods onto it. That's one additional mod. So we can toss on, well, how about the grave digger since we're about to be digging up some clay? Perfect. Oh yeah, it moves very fast on the clay. I love that. And I'm kind of hoping I can squeeze some of these in here. Oh yes, perfect. Yep, that's exactly what we want right there. Okay, that looks real nice to me. Just gonna have to spend some time out here. Ooh, and now that we have the new auger, we can finally rip all this stuff out. I guess that'll do it. Yeah, we wanna get rid of these six blocks right here anyway. Yo, I guess it was only connected by that one. <laughs> kinda concerning, but I'll take it. Okay, I think I finally got everything kinda all cleaned up here. Oh, of course, there's just one more thing here. I very much dislike that these bars are on the outside aspect and not on that inner block plane there, so these have got to go too. That'll do it. Okay, now we can do some interior decoration once I go get the microwave and all that crap. Right, we can put that new battery in there, grab up all the new kitchen stuff, and we'll grab all the food and stuff like that later, but let's also grab the seeds, because those need to be planted on the ceiling or on the rooftop over there. And now that I'm seeing it, this also needs a ladder. Oh no! I can't put the freaking thing all the way up there. I don't like that. That's better. And give me that ladder back in. Okay, yep, I can live with that. Oh yes, this is the blueprint workstation. We gotta put this inside. Just set it down there for right now and let's just have a look here. What can we do with all the blueprint papers? It looks like, I, okay, tier two. So you can make different tiers of schematics. Let's just, oh, that takes calipers and a sewing machine. Okay, I have one of those, I know I do. There it is right there, sewing machine. I was kind of wondering what that went to. Or, ooh, that's not a sewing machine. What is that? It looks like a 3D printer or something. I'm not sure what that tool is. It's definitely not a sewing machine though, which <laughs> begs the question, where does the sewing machine go? Ah, it goes into this over here. What is that anyway? This is the fabrication workstation. Fair enough, okay, I guess we can't get anything out of that. So, we have all kinds of blueprint papers. Let's just make like, um, I don't know, like, Five of each of these, maybe? Never know, I guess. I think it might be a randomized bundle. So we'll check back in on that in a little bit. Okay, cabinets and cupboards. We can actually craft those somewhere. Kitchen cabinets are crafted in the fabrication workstation. Okay, we've got bathroom cabinets. Let's get like, uh, I don't know, like two or two or three of these, I guess. Maybe like four. And then we have kitchen cabinets. Let's grab like four of those and some kitchen appliances. I don't know. Let's just get two of those because I have no idea what they are. Outdoor tables and chairs. Maybe that's what we need for like seating in there. All right, here's what I've settled on for better or for worse. We got the bar, the water, the microwave, which will allow us to make a couple things of soup. We've got a sink here. We've got an oven, which will allow us to cook things. And oh, look at the things we got to put in there to help cook. Okay, good to know. We've got the refrigerator here. The food processing table, we've got to get a cutting board and a knife for this, but we can make things like bacon mushroom sandwiches. <laughs> Beverage cooler here and this coffee maker, which I think just makes drinks a lot faster than a campfire would. 
And, uh, yep, we just need to get this place, like, solidified eventually. Probably not today. Kind of done with the whole building thing right now. But I want to put the garden, the seeds in the garden and see if we can just get the stuff starting to grow. Okay, I've got the garden all set up. And I think we can probably just um, go down here and how about in the sink? We put the rest of our seeds. All right, last little chore here for the base is to continue setting up the Hesco blocks. Oh, I'm too short. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Well, I feel a little bit more secure now that this is a three block tall wall instead of two. Oh crap, there was one more thing I wanted to do. I wanna build a little bit of an enclosure for the SMG turrets and the shotgun turrets. And there's a few hours left in darkness, so as soon as it hits daylight, we'll head out of here. Oh, you know what? While I'm right here, there was one more thing I wanted to do, and I probably should be saving this for like Horde Night Day, but you know, I'm right here. So what we need to do is make a net to catch the spiders before they jump up to us. And I'm wondering if, see, we just need to kind of string some bars across here, but we can't do it in such a way that obstructs the zombies from jumping up. So what I'm thinking, is we grab this shape, copy rotation, put it like that, copy that rotation, put it like that. And then we're gonna need something to help string it across. And I think the one I need is the incline filler. This one right there, the diagonal filler. So put that there and another one on that corner there. Grab me the bars and just like this, I think we'll block the zombies just fine as, they, as the spiders are trying to jump across. And in fact, I'll even do you one better and do this here so that as a spider could only jump up to me if he was right here which is basically going to mean when he jumps he'll get stun locked anyway they're at least not going to be able to jump from way to heck over here like they were the last horde night and i'll save all the upgrading for another day for now i'd like to put all my stuff away get organized and head out into town to do some questing and look for i think it's um batter up volume two that lets me craft the letter jacket or the college jacket if not then maybe we'll hit up a savage country and see if we can find one all right, I do believe I have everything I need. Let's just grab some food out of here one last time, the last spaghetti before it goes bad, and sip down some iced tea, and we'll head out of here. That should do us over well for the day, and I always have been carrying these food and drink supply flares. Haven't used one yet, but someday. And uh, let's bring... Uh, should we bring a soldier or should we just roll solo? Let's just roll solo for today. Soldiers can sometimes be a bit of a liability, you know? <laughs> so... All right, let's, uh, let's have a look at the map here and see what we can do in town. Tier three, fetch and clear over here. I think that's a good place to start off with. And I'm having a hard time getting out of here because this is not turned on. Okay, yep, that's good. So yeah, there's the mission over there and there's a airdrop over here somewhere. Aha, there it is. Oh, look at it, landed right on the edge of this. Oh, a weapons bag. Could be that. Very nice. Ooh, grenades, ammo, not bad. Should be rolling up at the spot here. Yes, it is Z Antiques. I think there's a couple bookshelves in here and maybe some clothing shelves and things like that as well. Let's hit it, of course, <laughs> immediately with the birds. Test out that new shotgun we have. Come on down here, buddy. Nice. Holy crap. Starting things off kind of hot here. It's okay, I've got that brand new shotgun and it's working real good. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Got some dogs back there, though. No, 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 no. You stay where you are. What do you want, Colonel Clink? Yep, we got bookshelves, but they're fake. Fake bookshelves. Oh, here's some books. Ah, not the one we need, though. Munitions box here. A little bit of ammo. Ah, uh, here's some real bookshelves. Yes, that's what we want. Except we don't want them to be empty. Whoa, hello there. Oh, my goodness. Fast movers here. Aha, weapons bag up there. Oh, with a drone. Where's my drone anyway? Oh, there you are. You've been surprisingly not very irritating today, so I forgot you were even there. Okay, so I definitely do remember what's going on here. I remember getting ambushed real bad up here, so just be very, very cautious. Yep, here they are. Got a locked door here. We don't need that. Yep, yep, this was 20,000 dukes very well spent. Love it. Ow. Oh, I'm shooting right through you. Get out of here. Must have like a long muzzle on it, so it's kind of difficult to um, get those shots off sometimes. 
Okay, a little bit of stuff in here. Ooh, a 5,000 experience card. We always save those, though, for when we're doing Horde Night. Do them immediately after Horde Night so that we can benefit from other experience cards and learn an elixir and things like that. Hey, good morning, everyone. How many of you are in here? Not enough. Thank you. More experience. Nice. Okay, and we are into... Whoops. What's out here? Okay, that's going back around, I think, and... That, that zombie there is not wearing any clothes, so we're gonna edit that part out. Okay, well, we'll test out the crowbar here. What's this? Ooh, this is not really as good as I thought it was gonna be. And there's no power attack, it's just one attack for it. I guess pretty much anything beats using the lock picks. Okay, not, not too bad of stuff there. Nice steel club, definitely not as good as the legendary baseball bat. Got a nice knife there, though. But we're not really at a stage where we need to harvest up animals anymore. Oh, it works good at the doors. Extra loot bag here that I missed. Oh, and there's more stuff back here. Don't mind if I do. So we are off now to the basement. See how difficult this is gonna be. Not too bad. Yes, crack a book box. It's exactly what we want. We just didn't get exactly what we wanted out of it. All right, who's downstairs? Ooh, nice. And this is unlocked, okay. Wow, wow, this is, this is awesome. Got another one here. Here, it's just, whoa, yep. Jeez, that works, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna set myself on fire here. Oh, yes, murky water. That's, don't give me dysentery, please. <laughs> I didn't really mean to do that. Okay, so this is just gonna be a chore. So I guess we'll have to do the lock pick for this one. Oh, it's the easy lock. Nice, we're in. What do we get here? Not much. Savage country box. Come on, college jacket. Oh, no, it's better at volume three, but power attacks to the legs will now slow the enemies. That's a bummer. Okay, well, we don't need to dwell here any longer. Let's get out of here. Oh, but, my goodness, is this the Pebcac? Yes, it is. And if I recall correctly, there's a lot of bookshelves in here. And there's a whole crack -a book section. So, this is next on the agenda, then. Wow, that was surprisingly easy. That was, like, literally took me three seconds to open that. For 1,300 bucks. Nice. Okay. Oh, we don't need to go that way, do we? Whoa, holy crap! We're getting shot at! Take cover behind this wall here. Oh boy, yes, get the contact grenade and just take a little peek around the corner. Okay, he seems to be a little bit disinterested. Get a contact grenade onto him. There we go, he's still alive. Yes, he is. Not for long. Freaking whispers, holy cow, man. Oh, and immediately have zombies in here. book level should be clear, so it's time to search it up. Of course, not all of these are actual bookshelves. A lot of them are like fake bookshelves, but it still shouldn't be too, too bad here. Okay, not, not ter- it was pretty terrible, I'm not gonna lie. However, there is a secret hidden stash that's back here that I know about, and uh, nope, it's not that. There is a weapons bag in there, but over here, there's a hidden stash. And that gives me a nice pair of tungsten gloves. Holy crap. A nice compound crossbow too. Wow. Okay, good stuff. Crack a book box here. Ah, nothing in there either. Man, I'm getting kind of disappointed. Damn it. Okay, so from here we go down this way. And this is where the boss battle is. Let's see, there should be some zombies over here. I can hear them. Yeah, here, Thomas. And... Uh, now we have to head in there and kill the rest of them. If I recall though, there's a key box. That key box goes to this door over here. And then we just kind of waltz in here and murder everybody. Lickety split. I'm feeling pretty OP these days. This tungsten baseball bat, or whatever it's called, the legendary baseball bat, is really freaking good. And the new armor, I barely take any damage. Which means it's probably time to increase the difficulty up to insane, insane nightmare. I'll probably do that for the next episode. Okay, key box here to the main loot. And we're in. We get out of this, another tungsten helmet. And it's better than the one I have. And there's a pair of calipers there too. And then Dwal's books for experience cards. So presumably now I can make experience cards somehow. Try to remember to look into that later. Weapons bag, not much. Okay, let's head to the trader. 
and see. Oop, I'm completely gummed up on the inventory, which is fine. Let's just get out of here. Oop, forgot this. And yep, some blackberry juice. Scrap those and we're gone. All right, who's got a reward for me here? Oh, the impact bracing mod that I just made. AK-47, probably the leg armor. Oh, the batter up volume three again. Damn it. Yep, I'll take the leg armor though. And we'll get the next job here. Let's take the beauty school. Thanks, we'll see what that's all about. Check everyone's inventory. Ooh, our urban combat book here. <laughs> armor doesn't slow you down when in combat. Perfect, because we just made the switch over to the heavy armor. That is wonderful. Jen, do you happen to be selling any batter up books or college jackets? Of course you're not, but she does have a shotgun messiah book here for shotgun slugs. How about Billy Bob here? Billy Bob really doesn't sell books and stuff like that from what I've seen here. Take the cobble, I guess, and that's it. Okay, let's, um, yeah, let's head back to the base in stash, and then we'll have to come up with a plan to head out somewhere else to do either another crack a book or even at this point, like, um, a savage country wouldn't be too bad. Okay, everything's put away. Let's have a peek at the map here and just kind of roll through town here and see if we can find a crack a book or a savage country. And if not, we'll check the trader, which I think is right there. And we'll press on to this city over here and see if there's one over there. Really pining for that college jacket, especially now where we have that heavy armor. We need that extra run speed. Well, we've got desert vulture fire over here. Yep, that's a soldier. Come here, buddy. Who are you? Hold still, hold still. It's Casfiend! Back from the dead! Casfiend! Woohoo! Yeah, buddy! Did you fake your death or what, man? Well, good to have you back. Did You didn't have a desert vulture before, did you? Well, I'm glad you got that. I don't know what you had before. Attack assault rifle, maybe? Well, <laughs> good news. We can... We could actually, I guess, take down one of the the headstones there. Kaz Fiend pulling a fast one on us. You know what? I was just rolling through here, and this is Red Mesa. Well, it looks like it anyway, but it's definitely something different. What's going on here? Oh, hello. Get out of here. What are you doing? I don't know what's going on in here, but it's uh, it's intriguing to me. I don't think I want to do it today. We have other. Oh, we have other things uh, to do today. Come on, guys. And ooh, Dwall's gun shop. Oh. Getting shot at, that's a whisperer there. The stupid pipe shotgun. What are you gonna do about this? <laughs> you are so weak. You don't stand a chance. Oh, but you know what? That red car right there? Those are the ones that have the eco batteries. I, and I want and I want another eco engine. We used the only one that we had there. Here, cover me. Yeah, we used the only one that we had to make the steel auger, so we'll certainly need another one eventually. No, I didn't see that roll in. There's honestly so much stuff, though. It's easy to miss. Whoa, Kaz freaking wrecking him. Oh, we got a rat over there, too. Can't just leave him sitting around. Did you get him? Nice. <laughs> we need, like, a Dwalls bookstore, right? Something that just has an inordinate amount of books and stuff in it. Ah, right, the cement factory. You know what? I might just grab some of this cement while I'm right here. Wake up, everybody. All right, Kaz, cover me. I'm gonna rip right through all this stuff. Ooh, that's helpful. We press on. Ah, shotgun messiah. Mm, laundromat, build a bear. No, nothing in there really enticing to me. Well, we'll see if Trader Joel can help us out here. Huh, look at all that mud on your boots. Thanks Cajun, anyways. what the hell are you doing here? Oh, it's the, the trader bug. So I don't know what's going on, but trader's being kind of weird. Better up book, not the one we want. That's for steel clubs. Automatic weapons handbook here for 20% less degradation. And zombies are just... Rolling right in here, because I left the door open. Ooh, thank you. Yeah, I guess we could check the vending machines while we're here. Oh, that probably just takes HD engines, and then the the eco battery bank takes eco batteries generator bank. The eco generator bank takes eco engines. I I'm, That must be what's going on there. Billy Bob's got nothing, and Trader J has the Bellow Schematic. Wow, that's a win. Great, so we can craft that and we can get the Tungsten Forge probably by tomorrow, I would say. I never searched any of this, or did this all restock, or what? Nah, nothing of any importance anyway. Okay, we're pressing on still, and Cajun Thunder's with us now, apparently. <laughs> Whatever. With NPC mod, I don't know if it's a War of the Walkers thing or if it's an NPC mod thing, but when you have NPCs at the trader, oftentimes there are issues. And so I've tried to make it a habit not to bring NPCs with me to the trader, but um, sometimes I guess you can't avoid it and stuff like this happens. Cajun Thunder just can't get enough of me anyway. Okay, so this is the trader compound right there that had like the immense 
piles of loot, probably too much loot. I'm just kind of patrolling out here for soldiers while I'm at it. Oh, you know what? Just, guys, can you kill that wolf for me, please? Thank you very much. These are reportedly filled with special materials, including gold and silver. So now that we have the good auger, let's have a look and see what we get out of this. Okay, that's it for that. And we did indeed get a whole bunch of weird things like oil shale and scrap tungsten, tungsten fragments, a bunch of raw diamonds. Holy cow, that's actually ooh, tremendously valuable. Wow, zinc fragments. Did we get, uh, I thought I saw some silver or something. Yep, silver nuggets right there and some nitrate, which we need that anyway to make the farm plots. Okay, well, good to know. I don't really think we need any of that right now, but it's, uh, you know, we'll need it eventually. Oh man, I just picked up Damon Warnock with me. Whoa, wait, wait a minute, Damon's dead. Oh, and I've got two robotic drones with me. <laughs> what is going on here? Come on, man. I've got Alaria, I've got another Alaria. Did one of you have stuff in you? Which one's the new one and which one's the old one? Okay, I think this is the old one. Ah, like I said, traders being really, really buggy. Oh, that probably means that this is a Duplicate Cajun. I bet Cajun is actually still back at the base. Damon back from the dead. I, I'm okay with that. Isn't this the crew that we had here the last time? I'm pretty sure this was the three soldiers I had with me the last time that we were here. Just by sheer coincidence or by sheer bugs, potentially. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, everyone stay where you're standing. We don't need to enter into this trader together. That boar finally freed himself from behind the fence there. Should be a bunch of working vending machines in here, so I'll check all these. Okay, Trader Jen, you're our last hope. Oh, first of all, maybe she has a fetch quest or some, any kind of a quest, really, at a bookstore or something. We'll check that up. Ooh, House B, Fallen Base. That sounds really interesting, actually. I think I'll grab that. Oh, ah! Chinese restaurant, house old Victorian, boring, and downtown filler. Okay, yep, give me that one right there for the fallen base. Check your inventory. She's selling a whole boat. A whole boat for 2,400. That's pretty cool, actually. Hey, Billy Bob here, as usual, nothing exciting in there. How about Trader J, though? Nothing really that we haven't read before. Okay, so that's a bust. The boar just really, really likes being up in there. Are you gonna be okay, buddy? Do you need help? Just leave him to it, I suppose. Oh, what are the chances I pull a college jacket out of this stuff here? Ah. Uh, okay, so with the three of you guys and what's left in the day, let's push into the city and see if we can find a either crack -a book or Savage Country. Oh, and there's the fallen base. Quest, or is that the fallen base? Yeah, that's the one I just picked up there. Hmm. Yeah, that's a tier three as well, so probably an underground portion there. Okay, some other day then. No, oh, jeez. Wow, just got totally sniped. Jump out, kill her. Take that. Oh, and suddenly all of my soldiers are missing. <laughs> Great, get out of here. So the soldiers are probably back at the trader, all glitched out. Or no, no, I told the soldiers to stay where they were, so I have to go get them before we go back home. Got some desert vulture gunfire over here. And a sniper rifle gunfire over there. Yep, soldier, soldier. Who are you, buddy? Christopher Blake. I'm gonna hire you up, 2750. Yes, nice. Okay, where was that sniper rifle fire coming from though? Yep, right there, it's Whisperer. Yep, take that. You stand no chance at all. Christopher, let him have it. Take him out. Kill him. This is your chance. Prove your worth to me. There you go. What do we got here? Navisgain apartment homes. Yeah, there probably could be some bookshelves and stuff like that in there, but ultimately I really haven't found anything that I'm looking for. And ooh, that's the border of the wasteland right there. Have a look at the map. I thought that was way to the north. Nope, that must that must like loop right down to here. Oh! Is that a savage country? It's a savage country, nice, finally. Oh, that's the pretty good one too. That's a tier three. There's a decent main loot at the end, okay. Mr. Blake, let's head inside. There's not a college jacket in here. I don't know where one would ever be. Oh my God, tungsten chest armor just sitting in that clothing pile. And some steel chest armor in that one. Okay, I, I can pretty confidently say I've been through like 95% of all of the clothing shelves in this place and I have not found a freaking college jacket. Ah, that's super disappointing. Can I just rip through this? 
What about this? Probably easier through here. You know what's even easier than that? Come over here, Blake. Dynamite. Dynamite's what's easier. Yep, that'll do. You know what? I'm looking for even easier than that. Whoa, Christopher Blake. Wow, I almost killed him. Sorry, buddy. Okay, if you could, just um, stay where I'm standing. Don't go in the fire here. Do I have a drink to put myself out? I've got a mega crush and some tea, I guess. Yep, that'll work. Oh crap, that's not even opened up yet. Damn it. Dynamite's failing me. I guess the fire is really not even that much, doesn't even do that much damage to me. Here, just rip through the rest of this. I'll be fine. There we go. Yes, okay, zombies in here. Ooh, rad. Slightly more dangerous than normal. Okay, we're all clear in here to loot up. Let's check the main loot first and foremost. And what is this? Oh, a labeled chest schematic. That's interesting. And a nice SWAT helmet too. Okay, last chance for some good loot in here. More tungsten armor, but no college jacket. I don't think I've ever had this hard of a time finding one in my entire life. However, I was just thinking about it and maybe the problem is we're not searching the right containers. Maybe we need to be searching things like you know, dressers. Maybe that's where you're gonna get your college jacket from. Hey, look, a daiquiri. Nice. Alrighty, fire seems to be spreading a little bit. Let's grab up Mr. Blake here, follow me. And I suppose we just need to call it a night here. Whoa, wolf boy. Yeah, so maybe in the next day or two, we focus on a couple of like residential places like this right here. You know what? Let me in there real fast and see if I can find a dresser or two. You never know, might get lucky here. Hello, get out of here. Where's the dressers? Bookshelf, that almost counts. Luggage, I know luggage can have it. Yeah, cause luggage just had the duster there, which is basically the same thing as a college jacket in terms of like the game code. Okay, bathroom here, weapons bag. Hello, oh cop, hello. Goodbye. Yes, dressers, dressers is what we want. We don't want empty dressers. Ooh, these little bags here. Those definitely could have college jackets in them. Is there anything up here? I don't think there is. The main loot. Not even really interested in that. Oh my god, I just have woken up like a billion zombies here. Whoa! Okay, that takes care of them. Whoa! Red cop! Okay, there's a couple more bedrooms here. Yes, yes, nightstand. Ah, armor parts. Can't even take them with me. Start rationing stuff, please. Ooh, I like that painting. A watermelon. And there's like a bear in here. Haha, <laughs> those are cool. Okay, here we go. Nightstand. Ah, jeans. What about this one? Nails. Damn it. Okay, the last thing in here is this room full of bookshelves. So we'll try this and then we're out of here. Magnum Enforcer. Crap, nothing, nothing good. Okay, well I feel like this, we're on the right path now. We just need to be doing houses. I always avoid houses anyway, but it's probably something that we should focus on. All right, everyone is still right here. If you could just follow me, please. And everybody hop on the motorcycle. There's plenty of room. All right, nothing left to do now, but head back to the base and all along the way, we'll be looking for soldiers with our super duper headlights. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Welcome back, my friends. Today is going to be a very busy day. The total roster number is now 13, which means we have the firepower for another attack. We know the location of a psycho outpost and I'm eager to burn it down, but first, we need transportation. So the POD is to craft schematic bundles, unlock the 4x4 and gyrocopter, complete the technician class quest, then unlock and craft an armored personnel carrier. And with that, we will load up and attack. You watch my back and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. However, an army marches on its stomach, and my stomach is empty. I don't know about you, but we've got to do some cooking here, because all we have is canned food and some raw food and stuff like that, so perhaps the first thing we should get into today is crafting and moving all of our food stuff over to the kitchen area. And while we're at it, why don't we just go ahead and try to bring with us all of the, like, the pan and the sharp knife and the roasting pan and all kinds of stuff like that. Beakers. All right, we've got a beautiful kitchen here. We'll work on getting this upgraded a little bit. Probably I would aim to do that before the horde. When is the horde? Day 35? Okay, so we're a ways away from that. 
Yeah, I've got everything kind of put away somewhere. And we cannot make the soup over here. Can we make anything on the oven? We can make, oh yes, sausage and eggs. Okay, this is all part of some kind of a quest here too, but we can't really make any of it. I think that's the kind of quest where it just gives you like some experience and that's about it, some money maybe. Right, yeah, steak and potato. This is the stuff that we're looking for right here. Hobo stew. I'm gonna hold off on the hobo stew because we need more farm plots anyway. So let's just focus on steak and potatoes. And that's, oh, it beeped. <laughs> nice. That's not going to hold us over for very long. Just three of those. What about over here? Bacon and mushroom sandwich. No, we need like tomato and lettuce and bread. Wow. Okay. So there's probably a whole process to making like dough and flour and stuff like that. Okay. Well, anyway, that should hold us over for a little while then. Surprisingly, it still takes quite a while to cook that stuff. Maybe I need to get the last two remaining tools there. Oh, there's one. You know what we need to do is we just need to make like a whole charge of boiled meat. All right, well, you work on that and we've got other work to do here. And perhaps the most pressing need is the need for more steel. Okay, so how much can we do here? 256. Yeah, we're gonna have to run this all day long basically to get more steel. Craft up that, 256. How far do you think that's gonna get us in terms of getting like the four by four and the gyrocopter? So let's, let's see here. If I recall correctly, I have the Yes, the ex... Wait, no, I don't. I have the chassis schematic. Needing more... Forged steel by like a lot. Oh my goodness, we're gonna need a ton of forged steel. Okay, so first things first then. Well, okay, yes. <laughs> Let me start over. The first thing we need to do is get all of the schematics unlocked. And I believe that these schematic bundles here are the way to go about that. So the vehicle schematics are tier three or tier two, I guess, the third tier of schematics. So if I were to craft, which one do I need here? This is tier two small bundle. This one here is a tier two medium bundle. So I think this gives us what? Like uh, you get five random tier two schematics. So if I just make... 18 of these we'll have to see if we can just by random chance unlock the the schematics for the 4x4 accessories and I have the gyrocopter accessories but there's no quest for it yet so we have to wait on that and so we need to unlock the gyrocopter chassis in the 4x4 accessories then we need to craft the 4x4 then do the accessories the chassis for the gyrocopter then the gyrocopter and then the technician class quest should be finished after that because we're at three out of five so we'll have to do this then four out of five will be the gyrocopter and uh, oh i don't know what five out of five would be maybe that would be like the mechanics workstation oh, i don't really know but i know what we will need is more iron and more steel so let's see if i have <laughs> cajun wants to have some real fun with me What's new? Let's get some rock busters here if I have them. Come on now, I'm looking at them. They're right here somewhere. Oh, right there. <laughs> yes. Okay, grab those. And I don't think there's any other buff that I can really benefit from except for, yeah, I could take a learning elixir with me for four minutes. I, I think we probably won't need to mine for much longer than that. But the, uh, the steel auger here, we can pretty much rip right straight through all the steel that's down here in the mine. And I brought a little bit of a mining candle for us. So we can pop that down there and maybe one over here at the exit so we know where to leave. And let's get to work here. I know I mentioned this a lot, but the bear's repeating that when you sneak down, when you're crouching while you're mining, you're gonna generate 30% less heat when you're mining iron type of ore, like iron and lead. And you'll generate 50% less heat if you're mining like a stone related ore, like coal or nitrate powder or stone. And of course I forgot fuel, so I'm heading back up to get some. Oh, I've struck into some nitrate powder too, which is kind of perfect because that's what we needed to make more of the farm plot blocks. Don't mind if I do grab up some of that while I'm down here. Oh, it also bears mentioning that right now I'm level 199 and I think we have to be level 200 before we can unlock the MRAP armored personnel carrier. This is kind of perfect that we're down here with the learning elixir getting as much experience as we can as we're trying to level up. There it is, I just leveled up to level 200. Let's take a peek here and see where we're at. We have several thousand, and plus we have all this raw iron right here too, so I might just mine for another, oh, let's mine until the gas tank is empty and then we'll call it good. All right, let's call it right there. Did a pretty good job down here today. The real question is, are there any screamers waiting for us topside? Because I believe we're out of range of the soldiers where they'll, they pretty much, they don't follow orders. They just ignore everyone that's around them. So as we come up here, if we hear gunfire, we'll know that that's kicked back in. No, no, no screamers at all. Oh, we got a freaking psycho. Oh, crap. Jesus, take cover. Fly down here. Oh, whoa. Rocket attack. Take her out. 
another one. Holy shit. We got another psycho attack. They always freaking attack when I'm down in the mine. Take him out. Oh, God. Looks like I'm doing this one solo. Ow. Tungsten armor coming in handy there. Oh, crap. Oh, he's hit me. Ow. I missed. It's okay. We'll close the distance. He only has a pipe machine gun. Not the biggest threat here, although he is a brute, so he is particularly strong. What did I do? Blow the back of his brains out? My goodness. Okay, quickly now, we gotta go back to the base and see if we took any casualties there and set, uh, put this fire out that they've set. Just jump in and quickly now, we gotta get a fire extinguisher. You guys are useless! Okay, quickly now, fire extinguishers are in the general box here. Grab that and come on now, put it out. Okay, that is the fire out. We've lost a portion of the ladder. We lost a few Hesco blocks. It's a very unfortunate. I was really hoping that those would be a little bit more durable. And we took a lot of damage down here in the trench. Okay, well, that was a very good proof of concept. Nothing critical taken there. So I think we can recover from this. We'll learn from this and we'll build back stronger and better than ever later. I'm not going to work on this right now. <laughs> we got other stuff to do. Oh, we've got one more out there. I was just thinking to myself, we actually have two more out there, I think. I was just thinking that I should probably do like a perimeter sweep before we do anything else. Last thing we want is for one of these guys to have a rocket launcher on them and come and blow another hole in the side of the base. Oh, you took that like a champ. Oh, I set myself on fire. <laughs> Crap, there's nothing I can do about it. Just put a first aid kit on me. Yeah, oh, here we go. Out, getting attacked. Come on, buddy. What do you got? Got nothing. Take him out. Another one there. Yeah, I'm gonna just melee this one. Ow. Oh my god, yes. Take her out. Kneecap her and decapitation. Man, the psychos are crazy. That's the second time. I've been in that mine twice. And both times, the psychos attacked while I was down there. It's It stands to reason that they either have a spy in our midst, or they're scouting our base at all times, and they attack us when we're most vulnerable. It's okay, we'll just have to be extra vigilant and extra cautious from now on when we go down into the mine. Hopefully we won't have to be down there again for a little while. And just keep an eye on these soldiers here. Just do a, some temporary patchwork there, and yep. All right, back to whatever we were doing before. Right, we're working on these bundles here. We have 18 bundles. Uh, let's work on the iron and stuff first though. Oh, look, oh, we had all the old bundles. I didn't open up the old ones yet. So we'll do that in just a minute here. Okay, take whatever stone I have and turn the vast majority of it into sand. That's gonna move quick, holy cow. Uh, what else do we got? Oh, so I made the recycler workstation. I'm not sure if I did that, it's a, it's a drill press. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. And yeah, I just want to take a look here. Okay, so we can dismantle dukes for token, uh, dukes for brass, radiators for brass. Again with the dukes, I guess. We can turn like the oscillating fan, all this just garbage that I've been collecting, USB stick, TV remote, turn it all into electrical components. But I was wondering if maybe, yes, I can do the raw iron in here. And um, it doesn't look like there's any tool to speed up the process, so... Let's see how long that's gonna take. That's gonna take 73 minutes. If I do it over here in the workbench though, also going to take perhaps even longer in the workbench. I was thinking it might go faster because we have the battery and the engine there, but no, I don't think so. Let's just have it done over here and just get it over with. Holy crap, another rocket attack. Jesus, get out. What is going on with you guys? Get out of here, holy cow. We've got another massive fire. Also, we've got a soldier on fire. Put him out. I'm on fire. Everything's on fire. Okay, doing the best I can here. Yes, the whole fire is out. Holy crap. That did so much damage. Pascal. Pascal, come back up here, buddy. Holy crap. That was, that, that was really bad. Where did he even come from? Yep, keep on working, buddy. You'll get up here eventually. Three rocket soldiers. That is insane. What the heck is going on here? I need a soldier. Pascal, Pascal. Yes, come up here, please, buddy. Come up here. I know you're hurting. I'll give you a break in just a minute, but I need you to come up to the top of this tower. Okay, here he's coming. He's figuring it out here. Okay. Yes, Pascal, I need you to stay where I'm standing and then to get him faced in the correct direction. I'm just going to stand here and then I'm going to say stay where you are standing and he should be facing out 
to the southeast here. Yes, face the southeast. And man, if you see a rocket launcher guy, shoot him. Right. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we definitely need to do a counterattack, like today or tomorrow. That's super important now. I can't get any work done around here. <laughs> I'm too wor- th This is like liable to friggin' collapse now. But yeah, we, we gotta do some work around here to get all of this upgraded to concrete. We gotta put the reactive armor on the outside to give us a little bit more shielding against rocket blasts. And man, it's, um, it's super risky to put stuff on the wall back here because this is exposed to enemy fire. So we'll see... Don't we have some Portland concrete mix? We do, Portland cement. I think that's a step up from regular cement. And so that might give the blocks a little bit more hit, hit points and we'll prioritize this back wall for upgrades to that. Plus I wanna put the vending machines on this back wall and I think the vending machines have a fair amount of hit points. I don't know, man. Yeah, this is, I like it. I like this kind of style though. I'm not the kind of person that's gonna put all this stuff underground and not have any risk at all. I'm gonna proudly display all of my stuff up here and we're gonna win with overwhelming firepower. I should get some bulletproof glass in here though. I've been meaning to do that. How do I even get that? I make it in one of the forges and it looks like I have the resources to make, oh, I don't know, it, at least enough for this back wall. And how many can I get? 11 short on crushed sand as usual, but we're gonna need it. So start crafting it, it's gonna take a while. Okay, wow, so back to this. Oh, what? What was that? Um, I just... What did I do there? Oh, maybe some of these things... Oh, yes. Because it said it was going to be a lot more expensive. I didn't know quite what that meant. So I guess you can break down the raw iron when you're over here. You can do it in chunks. So I just did two massive chunks and I got a ton of iron back. And then what's with what's left over, I just do it individually, which... Apparently it takes a lot longer, but that's that's fair. I can just leave it there, let it run for a while. Okay, yeah, should have plenty of iron for, for like the rest of my life, basically. Okay, let's finally have a look at all the schematics that we got. These are the tier zeros, so it's gonna be very basic stuff. Okay, so we got a few duplicates there, but we did get the Windsurfer frame schematic. Yes, been waiting for that one. <laughs> just kidding. So that, now we got the tier ones. Should be slightly more uncommon items. However, so far, Things I've already read. We've got the compound crossbow schematic. I'll read that. And then, wow, we could just start scrapping the old ones, right? And then kind of like recycle them into new bundles. I think that's reasonable. Okay, one more here. Basically all the stuff we already had. We could have probably unlocked a lot of stuff sooner if I had focused on this a little bit more. And there we go. That's the tier two. And we've already got RPG-7. Ooh, that'd be nice for the attack. And the gyrocopter chassis schematic. So there's only one more that we need. And it's the 4x4 accessories. Robotic headlamp there. And yeah, just keep scrapping this stuff to keep it out of the way. Got a fire trap schematic. Got the drone armor plating contact grenades. I'm hungry again. Sickle schematic. Steel armor schematic. Spaghetti military armor. Desert vulture. Ooh, the fantasy chest. Drone morale booster mod. Shepherd's pie. Okay, keep going. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Rocket launcher. Yes, that's it right there, the 4x4 truck accessories. Okay, keep opening, that was the 4x4 truck accessories again. I think that's it for the bundles that I had. Okay, so read whatever I haven't read before, scrap the rest, and we can make more bundles if we'd like. So basically anything that's locked behind a schematic is <laughs> not locked behind a schematic anymore because we could just spam out the bundles until we find it. Okay, so that should just about do it. Let's come over here now. We're gonna need a lot more duct tape. So make all that. Look how fast that's going, I love that. Okay, give me that up. And now we need, the first thing was the four by four. More steel for that. We should have plenty though, and probably not plenty here. Get this rolling, we need more steel. Wow, look how much we can get now, 1900. I'd say at least a thousand. My goodness, I'm hungry again. Oh, well, geez, I'm gonna die. And what's holding us back on the food the most is just vegetables. Yeah, we, we're gonna need a lot more. This is taking forever. Or I think I just, did I just plant this last night? I don't really remember. <laughs> But we need, we need to focus on potatoes and corn. Those are like the staple foods. Okay, back at it here. Let's get the four by four truck chassis. That just went instantly. It takes negative 20 seconds to craft this. Okay, so th there's definitely some like overlapping weird stuff going on. Wait, is it the shades that I have on? Is that what's kind of doing it? No, because now it just takes zero seconds. Oh, fair enough. Let's uh, put the crafting glasses back on. 
I guess that's just how it works. When you have the batteries in it, it just is instantaneous crafting. So now we need the accessories and that completes the quest for us. And so let's just double check this because this is very, usually very finicky. So craft the four x four truck. That is gonna take also negative 20 seconds. Nice. We got the four x four. Check on the quests again. Now we need, oh, now we only need to craft a wire tool. Okay, that's not too difficult. Craft that. What's next? Craft a generator bank. Man, I figured it would be the gyrocopter. Maybe the gyrocopter is the next one. What? So, generator bank. Too easy, really. Okay, next, a battery bank. Why can't you just give me these all at once? <laughs> Please, make it a little bit easier on myself. There we go. Got that. Craft five wire relays. Craft those. That was pretty much instantaneous as well. And we're on to number five. Oh, we're done. We don't even have to craft the gyrocopter. I mean, optional, I guess. So now we just need the the class fragments over here. And just double check. Now we have to craft the class paper. Recipes, class paper technician, craft that. And boom, got the class vending machine. Okay, so the one thing I want to key you all in on is that I did an XML file edit. So I should be able to put this down and I'm just gonna test it out now. I'm gonna harvest it up with my wrench because on destroy now, I've made it so that you get the vending machine back. There we go, it's back in the inventory. Okay, so it's back in the inventory, I'll set it back down. I think the reason why this is not in the default version of the game is because you could just take it up and put it down and get a whole new inventory out of it every time that you did that. And maybe even like reset the restock day on it, or maybe not, because they're all day 35. I think these are synced up with the traders restock day. Someone did send a comment with that. And yeah, they are all day 35. So these are, this is trader restock day. So just having a look through here, there are some good things in here. The battery banks, the eco generators and things like that. We should probably focus on that because we have a whole bunch of extra, I think it's eco batteries and HD engines. So we would benefit from having the appropriate generators for those. Um, so back on the topic of picking these up and putting them down, I'm only gonna do it one time. Apparently once you unlock these, you are able to then craft them again. However, they're incredibly expensive and that is true. Look at the forged tungsten needed for that. That's crazy. So yeah, I'm only gonna do it in the spirit of moving it to the back end of the base. We're not gonna uh, abuse it or anything like that. It's just an aesthetic thing to kind of get things better organized. But I didn't want it to, to make it seem like I'm cheating. I mean, I kind of am cheating, I'm, but I'm just, I'm doing it in good faith, right? Oh, okay. So so one of the other things I wanted to do today was to make the tungsten forge. Can I do that yet? It's unlock. Oh, right. We needed the bellows for that. <laughs> it takes longer to craft a bellow than it does to craft a truck. Wow. I think somebody needs to revisit the crafting times a little bit, but you know, whatever. It, it would have been done by tomorrow anyway. Oh, oh, by the way. So we actually didn't want the four by four. We want the M wrap. And for that, we need to spend skill points, I think. So if we go down to the, yes, the technician class, we could make the mechanic workstation, which I do think we do need to make that. So I'll take a point there. Salvage ops. Oh, I love salvage ops. Got to take a few points into this. Ooh, get up to level four. But grease monkey, this is the one we want right here. We want to be able to craft the MRAP and eventually this will get us to, okay, the LMTV, I don't know what that is. Jet ski, the Hind, ooh, that's a helicopter. And the UH-60, another helicopter. And uh, BD, BRDM2, hmm. Okay, so lots of cool stuff there. I think most of these vehicles are from B-dubs vehicles. Okay, so let's focus on the MRAP for today. Tungsten Forge, now what are we short on? Is it duct tape again? Nope, it's forged steel this time. That's good, because I got a whole bunch of it sitting over here. Excellent, craft that for 18 seconds. And the MRAP, what are we gonna be held back by on this? We need the friggin' vehicle crafting whatchamacallit, workstation. Mechanics workstation, needing a wrench of all freaking things. Okay, give me that 18 seconds on the wrench. Slap this down somewhere, probably the least safe place for it over here on this far corner. You know what though? We can just pick this up. And if I'm picking this up now, I'm not gonna check what's in it for another couple of days. We'll just let it reset on its own and that's that. Put the forge in there because it matches the other forges and put the vending machine over there because it matches where the other vending machines will be. Ugh, it's like super concerning to me having this wide open here, but 
I don't, I don't really want to do any... Maybe we'll do that tonight. We'll do some building tonight before we head out tomorrow morning. Gotta get the freaking M wrap done. What am I working on? Yeah, we're working on that vehicle workstation. What's going on here? Another fucking psycho. What the hell, man? Get out of here. Stop attacking me. Jeez. Is there more? Do I really need to do like a full friggin' sweep around here? Okay, I, I really, I don't see any more. That has got to be it. Maybe I just gotta clear out some of these stupid trees so we can see better. Okay, that should help a little bit. Well, I definitely don't have time for you. Oh, geez, I'm just looking at this. This is a, the M wrap parts. Look at the forged tungsten that's gonna take. And I have like, not that much of that, but I have the forge. I can't even make the forged tungsten. Oh, that's m most definitely locked behind, I would say, level 250. Forged tungsten, level 250. Crap. And if I remember correctly, there was some for sale in here. Only like 30 of it, though. That is not going to get us anywhere close to where we need to be. But I'll take it anyway. Wow, wow, wow. What a bummer. That sucks. Okay, I did get the bulletproof glass. I'm going to set that in right now. That at least protects us from a rocket that might pass through there and like penetrate further into the base, catching storages on fire and things like that, or just outright destroying them. Okay, yeah, there's supposed to be a block there and then. There's supposed to be more bulletproof glass kind of going this way. Things are just very not good right now. There's more renovation work to be done around there. Crap. Well, I guess we're taking the 4x4. That's fine, I guess. We can settle for the 4x4 for this next raid. And then we'll focus on um, bigger, better vehicles for the next one. I even made the wheels for it and everything. Well, at the very least, we can probably put this down somewhere. Although, man, real estate is at a premium around here these days. Here, let's take, a, take apart this. Just destroy this stuff and just set it there. Oh, that's a nice looking workstation. I do like that. And then we'll put the class vending machine over there and that's off limits until at least tomorrow. Yep, here we go. Here's the, the MRAP stuff, golf cart stuff. Okay, we can actually see the vehicles. BDRM, that's a nice APC right there. That's requiring the HD wheels though. I don't have any of those. Box truck, that's good for storage. Oh, the buggy, yeah. Okay, so for the hours of darkness that remain, I am going to get the back side of this base fully fortified. All right, just a quick update on what's happening here. So I'm we're going to be really short on the concrete mix, but we should have plenty of wood, wooden nails, and cobblestone to get this all at least fireproofed. Okay, I think that's everything that I can at least reach from the interior. Almost anyway. Whoa, what's going on here? I was very <laughs> scared of gunfire these days because... It could be someone with a rocket launcher. I think by the sound of it, it was just uh, morning riffraff zombies. Whoops, and we're out of wooden nails. We're gonna need a lot more of those. Okay, that's everything I think I can reach from the inside. Let's just do a pass around the outside and at least see how it looks. Oh dear. Yeah, they even knocked out some of these here. Yeah, this has to be a huge priority of ours to get this fully upgraded, at least on this back side, this eastern side, because all of our important goodies are inside there. I'm actually shocked that the Hesco blocks just got destroyed so easily. I figured they would be able to withstand a rocket blast, but I was very wrong about that. And I'm out of wooden nails again. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do back here, if we're just gonna fill this in with shapes, or if we should fill this in with topsoil, but yeah, we'll get there eventually. Probably need to focus on that before the horde. I don't want any sort of like tunneling avenues for the zombies. Oh my god, we still gotta upgrade all this stuff out here. So yeah, tomorrow's gonna be the big upgrading day. Try to get everything up to wood and nails, and then probably further up to cobblestone at least, and then we'll have plenty of cement for tomorrow as well or concrete mix, I should say. In fact, that should be rolling in real fast here. Yep, another day or so on that. Okay, so without further ado, let me put away all the construction material and we'll get the war material ready and we'll head out in the 4x4 and take a trip into the wasteland. Ah, look at this, I could craft the RPG-7. Nope, I can't, because the tool and die set is required and we don't have that. I can't craft it either. It's a part of workstation tools. Is that something I can maybe unlock? Workstation tools is part of advanced benefits, which starts being unlocked at level 250. So we're a ways off from that. Okay, since food and water continues to be an issue. Do I have everything here? I've got explosives. Oh, I wanted to bring the HD grenades with me. We have an HD contact grenade. We can probably lead things off with that today. And we have these regular HD grenades. We can bring those with us as well. Everybody follow me. Oh, the fruits are growing too. 
Oh, these are ready for harvest as well. Okay, later. We have a freaking whisperer attack back here. Are you kidding me? All right, everybody, let's go. You fools. Gonna pick them off in between the headstones over there. Take that. Is that it? Oh, how'd that guy get up here? Jeez, guys. Supposed to freaking guard the doorways. Okay, are we all present and accounted for here? Probably the easiest way is to jump in the vehicle so they all teleport to the same spot first. Refuel. Oh, wait. Um, jeez, guys, careful now. There is one thing yet to do, so up here somewhere, I have another one of those, like, supercharger things. The twin turbo mod. You can throw that onto the 4x4. Okay, open her up. Toss her in there. Do you think we should bring a vehicle repair kit? I think that's probably not the worst idea I've ever had, but it's gonna be a little crowded getting back here. Come on, guys, let me in. Let me back out of here. Oh, geez, no pointer. T took a digger off the top, I think. Yeah, repair up the motorcycle just so I don't forget to do that later. And everybody jump in here. We're gonna just head outside and see if we can do a quick head count. We should be up to 11. We'll have to head to the old rogue base and pick up the other two soldiers that are out there and see if they've made any progress on construction out there. No, I'm only counting nine of you. Who are we missing? Okay, now I'm counting 12. Do we do we have 14 soldiers? And definitely counting 12. Did we have any duplicates that I might have missed somewhere? No, apparently I'm just very bad at counting. Not surprising. All right, everybody, let's go. All right, let's head over to the former rogue base. Now a Order of Steel outpost and see what's going on over there. All right, here we are rolling up on the spot. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, looking real nice here. They got some, oops, some barbed wire to catch the rabbits. <laughs> nice, nice, got a new door in. Love it. All right, guys, we got another attack to do. Diana Kelly, can you come with me, please? Follow me and the ever loyal herbivore. Let's go, buddy. We'll drop off a garrison here later. Might want to close the door, probably always helps, right? There we go. All right, and with that, we're off to the wasteland. All right, here we are, passing into the wasteland. The vehicle's taking quite a bit of damage so far, just running into rocks and zombies and stuff like that. Like, let's see how much damage you take here. Yeah, we took like 100 damage on the vehicle just running that dog over. So before we make the turn into the road, I will use a repair kit on this. And I think I just heard a an airdrop. Oh, way back there. Okay, okay, right there on the border. We'll mark that up, maybe we'll catch that on the way home. Okay, here's our road right here. We got a scout back there. No doubt she knows where we are. So there's only one way to do this. We gotta roll in hot and fast because there's gonna be scouts down here as well and the gunfire, not to mention, whoa, rocket launcher. Yes, we are definitely getting into psycho territory here. There's gonna be no time for planning, no time for regrouping. It's gonna be straight to the front of the base jump out and assault directly inside to the fortress. And man, they don't make it easy. They've got traps set up to try to block vehicles from going in and everything. All right, there it is. Get ready. I'm gonna give ourselves a little bit of room. I can hear rocket launchers going off already. All right, we took a hit with a rocket launcher. Just bail out here, get ready to escape. Holy crap. People are dying already! Get a grenade onto the rocket launcher, soldier! Massive fires already! Get the HD grenades and just lob them in there! Oh! Look out, guys! Grenade! Oh, crap! Friendly fire! No! Alright, I'm gonna set some dynamite up here on the edge to try to perform a flanking maneuver through the back. Let's go, Cajun! Kill! Kill! Alright, around to the back of the base, see if we can flank a few of them. Anybody in here? I can hear them, they're everywhere. They're right there. Okay, got one. Oh no! Yeah, that's right, Cajun. Okay, it's very, very quiet here now. Guys, follow me. Come back out here. Oh, another rocket launcher soldier way, way out here. Look out! Get a grenade on that guy! There, he's down. All right, we are relatively safe out here now. I think we've dealt with the majority of the threat. 
still some gunfire going on in there, and I can I can hear people screaming and burning as well. All right, oh, well, no. while we're waiting for the fire to progress a little bit, I'm gonna see if I can get the four by four out of this trench that was dug here. Okay, so at least there's that. I'm gonna set some dynamite directly up into there. See what that does. No, I think I'm pretty satisfied with how this has turned out. We've lost a lot of soldiers, but we've also killed the entire psycho presence in this place. All right, so with that, everybody back in the truck, and let's get the hell out of here. Oh, it's just rolling out of here, and the, the building is burning there in the back. But is this tungsten right here, do you think? Let's check on that. What is in this? Tungsten. Oh my. Yes, we need to bring some of this home with us. Well, that's good. If anything, we've secured a new mining site out here. It's like they're counterattacking a little bit. Not terribly worried about it. Okay, I've dug out a fairly good amount of tungsten. Mostly a lot of scrap tungsten, which I think we can use the disassembly or the whatever it's called, the salvaging workstation, I think it is, to turn that into regular tungsten. Okay, perhaps while we're in the area too, we had decided in the last episode that we were going to make a commitment to raiding some residential buildings. And so maybe we'll try to find one of those on the way out of here. Oh boy, it's <laughs> stuck on the scrap iron already. Come on! Well, that's one less psycho base to worry about, but there's probably more in the local area. So keep your eyes peeled. All right, here we are. We're into like the regular city area and I can see several houses. Why don't we just start with this one? There's bound to be some pretty decent loot in there given that we're in the wasteland. Oh, watch out for freaking dragons too. Cajun, you're on dragon duty. Okay, we don't muck around like this anymore. Let me in here. We're looking ex- Ooh, there's a cop in here. Are you kidding me? Ooh, that did not set anything on fire, which is shocking. Yep, ooh, watch your step, I guess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Steve. Yeah, I was trying to say is we're... Oh, there's the main loot right there. We're really only here for clothing shelves and things like that. I'll check the main loot as well, but we want, like, garment bags and dressers and things like that. Hello there. <laughs> Vaporize these weak zombies. Ooh, speaking of that, I am thirsty as heck right now. I'm catching on fire all that time, all those times. Oh my goodness, that was a quality 6 M60 hanging out in there. Wow. Very nice. Good set of, uh, st a good steel helmet there. Definitely not going to be as good as the tungsten stuff, though. All right, were there just no, like, garment bags or dressers in here? Where are the bedrooms? We gotta go upstairs and find the bedrooms. Or, or downstairs? Is this the one floor here? What's up there? Just rooftop? Yeah, we'll pick the bad house to start off with. Well, you never know. There might be some creepy teenager living in the basement with a big bedroom down here. Oh, no, this is the... Oh, this is this POI. I forgot where I was, even. We just did the whole place backwards, I guess. Fair enough. Should be some zombies here. Goodbye. All right, let's go on foot to the next one over here. Uh, I remember this place. This is mostly just like a junkyard. Ooh, clothing pile. Kind of exactly why we're here. <laughs> tungsten helmet just hanging out in there. I can get tungsten helmets all day long, but if, I, if you ask me to get a college jacket, no can do. If I recall, this is not much of a place for bedrooms, really, I don't think. Ow. Holy crap. Lots of zombies here. Let them have it. Wow. Agent loving it. Very fine day. How many soldiers did we lose anyway? We're down to eight right now? We're down to seven, actually, which means we lost half of our force in that attack. Aha, here's a bedroom. That's what we're looking for. Black cowboy hat. What about this? A flannel shirt. Quality six steel sledgehammer what hanging out in someone's hunting. sports bag. Search that pile of shoes. You know what? I can pick up landmines now, so I'll just have that with me. Was there going to be a main loot in this place? Did I walk right by it? Or is this a place that just doesn't have a main loot? Ah, whatever. On to the next place. Got another house over here across the street. Ooh, the corn. Yes, give me the corn. And while I'm at it, Let's see if I can spend a point so it may be like a living off the land point so I can harvest more. Living off the land. Nope. Level 240 is what we need for that. Well, I'll just take what I can get. All right, don't forget, we really can't be here. I don't I don't care what level you are. This place is just not going to be very safe in the at, at nighttime. Okay, okay. Oh, lots of cops down there. No, nope, please don't. No, I don't want fires. Oh, look out, guys. Behind you. You're supposed to watch my back. I watch my back. You watch yours. That's not how it's supposed to go. You watch my back, I'll watch yours. That's how it's supposed to go. Okay, again, not having much luck with, like, dressers and stuff like that. I feel like we need to go upstairs. Are there more dressers and stuff up here? Presumably, yes. Unlock that. Here we go. Big mama. 
Where's your college jacket? Who am I kidding? Big Mama didn't go to college. Check the main loot anyway. Ah, Pistol Pete book, not what we need. We need batter up books. A fruit daiquiri, I'll take that. Feeling rowdy now, I've been feeling rowdy all along. It's kind of a rowdy day, right Cajun? Ah, nightstand? Oh no, a hooded sweatshirt. Uh, someday, hopefully. Well, that one's a bust. Is that, that's just like a barn right there. Okay, let's grab the vehicle and push to that house right there. Conversely, we also have that blue one down there. Okay, blue one and then brown one. Okay, Ooh, washer and dryer. There's always a chance in there. Not today though. Oh, Steve, bad timing there, buddy. A tungsten spear hanging out in that sports bag. Man, what kind of sports they play in this town? That's what we're here for right there. Nightstand, bandana. Another one here, ball cap. Get out of here. Oh, here's the main loot as well. Check that up, Savage Country box. Oh, better up book right there. Hey, the HD helmet light mod. And another pair of calipers. That's pretty good. And some tungsten gloves in there. Let's change the helmet light over and just see what the difference is there. I don't want it to be too, too bright, so hopefully it's kind of reasonable. Okay, HD helmet light and, whoa! That's, um, that's very unreasonable. Oh, toilet paper. Hurting my eyes just <laughs> testing this out. Okay, but out with the new and in with the old, I guess. That's much better. Okay, only a couple hours left in daylight, so let's search this last house here and then head back to the base. Hope for the best. Whoops, I, um, I kind of ran someone over. Sorry about that. Oh, we've got a psycho over here. Good job, guys. Ah, dresser there is broken. Zombie over here is gonna be dead. There we go. Whoa, jeez, you scared the crap out of me, Blake. What? What are you doing back there? Are you crazy? Yes, washer and dryer, no luck. Laundry basket, oh, nerdy glasses. I think that's my first pair of those that I found. Just need to reload and I'm ready to go. Which I, I like the appearance of them better than I do the tough guy sunglasses, so I'm gonna roll with them. So that's a little bit of an upgrade. Is this a bedroom up here? No, it's just a crappy main loot. Well, if we can get this real quickly, maybe we could try one more house on the way out of here. And a steel claw hammer, not too, too bad. All right, just let me out of here. The easy way, thank you. All right, one more house is all we have time for. It's a real easy house right here. Shouldn't take us any more than an hour. And really, we don't need to go through the whole thing. Just let me in here. Okay, up here. Oh, this this is just a bare bones place. Really, gonna be nothing in here. Nope, they don't even have a, a dresser, a working dresser here. That's a bummer. Well, check the loot anyway. It's a lucky looter book I haven't read. We'll check that out in just a second. It's kind of in a hurry here. There we go, what was that? More lead in loot, yippee. Okay, get back in the vehicle. Oh, we still have quite a bit of time left. I feel like we're making really good time. We're gonna press on a little bit against my better judgment. Maybe we can squeeze one more in. More residential, this is more of an upscale residential area over here, yes. The types that would go to college, I would bet. Okay, jump out, yes. This could be the place here. Ah, broken dresser, where's your college jackets? Garment bag. Damn it, why does this have to be so difficult? 20 minutes to nightfall. No luck here so far. Not looking good. Yeah, we, whoop, we definitely want to be quick about this now. It is not gonna be friendly here in just a minute. Okay, I guess from here they want you to jump down. Another bedroom area, presumably main loot from here. We're close to it, garment bag. Oh, military boots. Yep, main loot. Nothing much, really. Crap. Look at all, that mud on your boot. all right, I grabbed everything. It's time to get out of here. Time to go home. Give me that steroids. I'm just gonna find a way out. This should do. Out and immediately to the car. Where did I park my car? Oh, <laughs> wow, look at the rads. Oh, I heard a loot bag. We're not leaving without that. Oh, look at that, a steel auger. Okay, just start tossing stuff on the ground. I'll take the military gloves, I'll take the reward card, and that's it. Quality six steel auger. That's a win. I will take it. I'm not gonna take all these rads on though. Okay, flip it around. Right, so, okay, we're in an unexplored city here, so there could be a psycho presence in this uh, city here. I'm not sure. It could have been that they were using their psycho base out there to project power into this place. I'm not exactly sure. I'm 100% sure that I'm stuck on this piece of iron, though. Come on, buddy. 
Stupid 4x4. That's why we need the MRAP. We need something that's higher off the ground. Okay, no more off-roading. We're gonna hit the roads all the way back home. I'll meet you there. Guess we can snag up this airdrop on our way through. Oops! <laughs> I ran over myself a little bit. That's okay. All right, excuse me, gentlemen. Whoa, that's a big one. Okay, we're gonna have to put some stuff away here. We've got lots of storage now. Five acids, that's not too bad. Also got some seeds. Yeah, cool. Hopefully we can find a soldier or two on the way home. My goodness, we lost so many. Okay, I did some extra little driving around in the forest to see if I could find anyone, and I could not. So I guess there's only one thing left to do, and that's basically get the inventory organized, get the soldiers positioned, and get the graveyard set up for the fallen. So why don't you guys get some rest and I'll take first watch and we'll be back at it first thing tomorrow morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. So far, we're winning the war. We've driven the rogues back out of the forest and we've delivered a crushing blow to the psychos. And now it's time for the walkers. The day 35 horde approaches and there's much to do to prepare. So we'll spend the majority of the day upgrading the base, setting up lighting, and getting organized for the battle. And once the dust settles, we'll likely need to make a trader run, and tomorrow we'll catch up on quests. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. All right, and there's no time to waste, so let's start getting to work here. The first thing we have to do is spend a couple of skill points, because I think I saw last night that... I've unlocked the, the storages that we've wanted this entire time. Ah, there we go. It always takes me a little while to find this stuff. So look, we've unlocked the... What, which one do we want? We want the signed large storage container. Apparently there's also a signed extra large storage container, but that's going to be a while before we get that. So for now, I'm, I think I'm content with just sticking with that. And we can finally get rid of these ugly boxes with the ugly signs on the outside. And I also saw that we have ammo storages, and I think we also have... There's like a medical storage... So those are just kind of themed. I like those. And here they are right here. We have extra large regular storage chests, but we also have these writable ones here. And that's going to, ooh, they, that takes paint. That does make sense, doesn't it? Just get working on those. And apparently we'll have to get start, started on some nails as well. Moves pretty quickly these days. Give me those. And we're going to have to set up some sort of a new system here because I'm not... Now that we've kind of rearranged the base, I think we need to rearrange how we do storage as well. First off, I want a hole that goes up to the rooftop from now on. All right, let me up here. And then we need to carve out a few of these blocks because um, I don't want them to be like floating. We want them to be connected to the ceiling, at least aesthetically. Yes, and so that's essentially how we want to do it. Although I don't want to collapse everything. What we'll do as I go along is I'll just replace that with regular blocks, I think. Yeah, I probably would have designed this base differently, but you know, hindsight's 2020. Things don't exactly line up perfectly, but I think it'll do. We'll make it work. All right, so now you just have to give me a few minutes to start moving this stuff over, getting everything labeled, and knocking out the old storages. Okay, so that's that. That's all finally done and over with. We don't have to worry about storages ever again here. We should have plenty of extra as well. I just want to get this top pro upgraded just a little bit, in fact. Let's just go all the way. We don't want anything to be, like, flammable in here, really. Gotta love this nail gun, man. Things move quick when you're using this one. There we go. And you know what? It's gonna bother me to no end that this is not centered. So where's the center point? This is the center point. We're gonna move the ladder to here. There. I think that looks fairly good. Let's see if I can just squeak a hatch in there just like that. Just in case, you know, zombies break in and stuff. And we'll put another one right up here like... So, I think. All right, we should be good to upgrade. Do I have any extra iron, though? Because I feel like I've probably put it all into the forge at this point. Yeah, we can't be doing that. We need a little bit of extra for the inventory. There we go. Finished. Well, except for this crap over here that I never fully upgraded. Okay, so that's good for interior stuff. Let's now focus on some exterior stuff. And I want to start off with lighting. I want to get that all set up, like... That's first priority for tonight. And I think I saw in here when I was browsing the skills that there is an electronics perk somewhere that allows us to craft new lights, like, um, I don't know, like work lights and street lamps and stuff like that. Yeah, electrical devices here for the, like the brass lights, warehouse ceiling lights, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know, give me like two points into that. And while I'm here and I'm thinking about it, I would also like to take some points into the robotics so that I can craft a better robotic drone with better storage capacity. I could put a bunch of storage mods into it. So I'll pretty much max this out if I can up to level nine. That'll be a quality four robotic turret, which should be good for, I think, three mods. Question is, where do I craft the drone now? 
I craft it right here, but I need more... Oh, the duct tape. Holy crap. Oh, and then none of the storages are broadcasting right now. Gotta have my storage broadcasting. It's basically the best quality of life improvement that I've ever experienced in modding. Uh-oh. Oh no. We don't have robotics parts. Did I sell? I've been selling the robotics parts, haven't I? No, I have robotics parts. I didn't tick the button correctly. I wish there was a better indicator because it's like, it's like white or it's like very, very off white. And um, yeah, I think it's broadcasting now. Yes, okay, we have the robotics parts. We have the steel. We do not have the duct tape or the motion sensors. Okay, it said we're gonna need three motion sensors. That was fast. And the duct tape, which should be pretty fast as well, although we need more glue. It's always something, basically chasing my tail all the time. But by the way, the chemistry station takes batteries, so we're gonna be putting a couple of good batteries into that. I'm not sure if the quality makes any difference on the battery here or not, but I'll put some good ones in anyway. And that should dramatically speed up the glue production, which is currently not going to happen because we have no murky water. Here we go. We're on the friggin' rigmarole now. Oh boy, I'm not doing very hot on the empty jars too. Oh boy. Which means we're gonna have to go craft some. <laughs> <laughs> it never ends. Great, that's gonna take 11 minutes too. My goodness. Well, craft what we can for now then. I just wanna see how long that's gonna take. Minute 40. Okay, I guess we're on to the next thing. The robotic drone is like not the most important thing. What we really wanted to do was the lights. Ooh, we have some nice fancy brass lighting we could probably put inside here. But I'm looking more for some like high powered industrial lighting spotlights. I imagine we'll probably need a few of those. That's going to use the duct tape too. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, that's definitely going to take priority. I don't understand why some things take li are like instantaneous and yet it's going to take me friggin 11 and a half minutes to make 90 glass jars. I think we could probably set up these street lights. If I recall correctly, these are pretty strong lights. So how many can we get? I probably Let's just get like four of these for now. This might be like the primary means of lighting like the whole base area here those are instantaneous too my goodness and these uh is it sconce is that how you say that sconce lights i think these are probably the ideal lights for in here because i think they'll slide right up in there whereas all the other lights are centered and so they'll kind of be resting on that angled component there so yeah let's get those sconce lights so i've used these before i use these in the darkness falls playthrough they're pretty weak so let's get like i don't know 10 of those so we have a few extra in case we need them i'm gonna probably need a generator although i i checked i can't make the new generators like the hd generator and stuff like that so we'll just stick with a regular generator for now and for lighting purposes probably only need a couple of engines there and i'm just gonna Plop that up here on the roof, I think. Oops, I put that hatch on backwards. That's my bad. We'll survive, though. Just pop it right there. Okay, then. Let's uh, see about the lights in here. So, okay, we could center. Can we center up a light, like, right there? Yes, perfect. Yes, those are off-centered, like I thought. And then, yeah, we'll do, like, three on each side over here. Oh, I, I put it on the wrong block. So you can attach it to the top block, or you can attach it to the side. We want to attach to the side. We'll just do this whole... The same thing all the way around here. Oop, that was actually all 10. That was perfect. Okay, wire tool. All right, everybody say goodbye to the frame rate because it's about to get a heck of a lot worse around here. There we go. That's actually not too bad. We can pick this up finally and probably put that down in the mine or something. Ooh, yeah, that looks really good, actually. I think eventually I will put these on a timer relay. I'm not sure if I even have any of those right now. I find it a little surprising that I have not found one of those yet. Probably could craft one almost instantaneously, though. Certainly could. There we go. Timer relay. And we'll just set that right there and we'll bring everything off of that for lighting. Okay, it's getting late in the day. We can save all the upgrading for last because I don't think that'll take very long. Man, I wanted to do the kitchen today too. Oh, we're falling behind. Okay, so for some street lights, if we're gonna set up a proper street light system, I think we can set it up kind of like right in line with this. Maybe put one like right here where I'm standing and then another one kind of further on down here. Okay, we gotta measure this out so it looks right though. And we'll have to set it up on like a nice, like this one on the bottom so it looks like it's kind of bolted down like a proper street light. Okay, we'll set this one here and the same thing on this side. Then what was that? One, two, three, four, five in from the end. One, two, three, four, five. It looks kind of like it's too close to the catwalk. We'll go six on this side and just make sure that it's lined up with the other one. And this looks like... One, two, three, one, two, three. Yes, this is kind of centered up here in this walkway here. And oh, eventually maybe we can put some plants around here to look real nice. Okay, now we just have to bring these up. I would say, well, 
five or six. We'll see what five looks like. Five looks like it'll be a little bit too short. Let's try seven. Seven sounds like a large number. I just want it to be like proportioned properly. You know what I mean? Okay, is that, is everything even there? Everything is even. I suppose we just put the lights on top now and see how it looks. Hmm. It's, I kind of like that because it's definitely out of the field of fire of soldiers. Because if it was like a little bit lower, I feel like it might get shot. And is that, oh, they're actually kind of spaced perfectly. This might work after all. I can tell that that one on the far side though is going to be a little bit trickier to get to. Oh, maybe I could just go use my parkour here and yes. Is this going to work? Oh yes, nice. Oh, I wanted to check too that my favorite lights in the game are the work lights. And yes, I can make those. We have plenty of steel. Get those crafted. I think those will be better for like the fighting area. Okay, off of the timer relay, can I reach that from here? Is that gonna be too far? Can I just jump in? No, it's not, it's too far. Okay, what if I do the work lights then first and we'll just kind of daisy chain them off of these? Although that's not a good idea because these are liable to get destroyed, I think. Because actually a lot of these blocks have taken a considerable amount of damage just from like flying cop spit. Okay, well, I was thinking I probably could just do one of these things to get that hooked up. Is this going to work? There we go. All right, these lights over here, I think, are just going to have to go off of this generator just for tonight. I think we'll probably have to have multiple generators in this base until, until we get the time to kind of string electric relays along underneath this catwalk here. And then I think we can probably get it all wired off of one, like, HD generator or something like that. Okay, survey says, whoa, that is looking pretty damn good, actually. I do like that. Okay, so with that, I think it's time to do some work down in the trench. We should have enough generators now to juice this up, like, to, I don't know, 250 or so. And so we should be able to get at least five blade traps. We'll run blade traps all the way to the end, and then somebody had a great suggestion in the comments that I hadn't thought of myself, and that is... Instead of using these plates here, we'll use something that's bulletproof so that our bullets won't destroy these. And that would be like using bars or security gates or something like that. Alrighty then, last things last here. I've got the cobblestone cube shapes we just need to rip out. Well, first of all, I'm going to do something like this to attach these two pillars so I don't have to rebuild them afterwards. we got to rip out the bottom, put in cobble, and then put the fire traps on top of that. Okay, that was the last one, and man, we're starting to cut it close here a little bit. Hello, random zombie. Okay, I've got these steel... We okay over here? Oh no, it's a freaking wandering horde and there's a bunch of whisperers out there. Oh, good timing, guys. Excellent. Couldn't have picked a better time to show up. Anyway, I got these iron... Oh, hello there. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to say here, what are these called again? steel barbed wire fences and so i want to put these in right here just to make it extra difficult for the zombies to get up there that is if they'll even decide to go up in there okay we got to deal with these guys now get out of here you're messing stuff up oh i'm glad i came out here too because that needs to be patched there we go all right who else is out here whole bunch of whispers over there whole bunch of zombies over here That's taken care of. Okay, we gotta go back to the base and we gotta do final upgrades to concrete. And then we'll have to call it there and get ready to fight. Okay, that's about as far as I dare to go for tonight. We still have to do a couple of things here, including rearranging the soldiers, getting the ammo that we need for the night, and um, yeah, you guys are pointing in the totally wrong direction. So let me scoot out here and say, stay where you're standing. We gotta do that all the way around, basically. Hobie, you and Cajun are going to follow me, and since you're not doing anything over there, you can follow me too. You can all just stay in here, get BP set up, and um, I don't think we have any other soldiers. I think that does it right there. All right, next step is to set up that timer relay. We'll turn the lights off at five. We will start at... 2100 and let's grab up a little bit of ammo for ourselves and for the turrets yes extra shotgun ammo then 
Oh boy, we're getting it close. We got like 20 minutes before the horde. Okay, that should do it. I'm very, very disorganized. And I've even got an explosive crossbow bolt to kick things off with. Uh, we need to turn the Jenny on over here. Nope, we're gonna turn the switch on. Now that should spin up all the traps. Oh no, it's not because we don't have all the generators yet. Yes. It's okay, we're gonna make these mistakes now and we're not gonna make them during the horde. One, two, three, turn on. And yes, we are well under the max output. Let's get into position and it's time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is now upon us. And it's looking like I could probably take a quick break here to get the Molotovs. Very important component to this base is being able to set the zombies on fire. So I'll come over here. I should have some somewhere here. I have three. <laughs> we have three Molotovs tonight. Nice. It's okay. We can use the grenades to set stuff on fire too if we have to. All right. Let's get this. Uh, the furthest two rows on fire here. Just like that should do it. Oh, you know what? I forgot another thing. And that would be my 30% experience card. We've got to have that. And I'll take a couple of learning elixirs with me as well. Okay, we should be in business now, other than the fact that I'm about to starve to death. Not much I can do about that at the moment. Maybe it's sucked down these last three boiled meats. <laughs> we could eat some earthworms. I guess you can't eat those. That's probably for the best. Look at this. Oh, once we get armor, armor piercing rounds, or like the penetrator style perk, oh, we're just going to be able to rinse them right down these long, straight, narrow corridors. Yep, they're just standing no chance here. My goal is to get us up to 250 by the end of the night tonight. So with all the cards and stuff that we get tomorrow, we're going to try to level ourselves up just as much as we can. But we need to get the levels tonight. So I need to make sure I'm killing the zombies as much or probably more so than the soldiers. I can pretty much stand anywhere and do that too. I can stand right here. We do a little bit more like crossfire damage to the wall, but I'm okay with that. Honestly, this is a pretty tame wave here. I think it's mostly radiated strippers. Like that's the threat from this horde. I haven't seen any spiders, pops, no demos of course. So hopefully we'll get some more challenge in the next couple of waves. Yeah, I hear screamers now. We've turned into the second wave here and I think this is gonna have a lot of screamers in it. Yeah, we've got spiders. We can test out the new spider net. Oh, we've got mutateds. Okay, the spiders have no possible way to jump up to me anymore. Even if they did try to jump, I think they'd get hung up on the barbed wire fences there. Yep, and on the electric fence. <laughs> this is just like an insurmountable trap for them. Oh, you saw that one? He just tried to jump and immediately got stun locked and stuck into the barbed wire. Yep, just like that. All right, they're finally kind of starting to make it up in here a little bit. Good chance for some shotgun action. And the blade traps are starting to fail quite a bit too. Yeah, the only real problem I can see this base having is when the demos show up. And by then, hopefully we'll be able to get most of this stuff upgraded to steel, if not tungsten. And we'll just kind of go from there and hope for the best, I guess. Made it up to 220. I think during the last horde night with the cards and all the experience benefits and stuff, I was able to get like something like 25 levels just from <laughs> opening up the experience cards and stuff. So if we could just get a couple more levels here, I'd be really confident in our ability to get up to 250. 250 is the big threshold because that will allow us to craft tungsten and we need the tungsten for the MRAP and we need the MRAP for further conquest into the wasteland. Oh, and I can see now in front of me that the steel barbed wire fence trap has degraded into, whoop, this is broken. I don't know, into maybe a wooden or an iron fence or something like that. I think it actually already degraded once down into an iron barbed wire fence trap, and now it's further degraded down into a wooden one. So we're really about to lose that, it seems. Oh, that was the first one that kind of finally broke up into the, the main area here. Holy crap, we've got another one. The turrets are backing me up, though. I like it. Yep, it's finally... Wow, it's getting real heavy up in here now. Let's get some explosives here. I need a little bit of a break. Take that. And then I'm going to come around to this side and give him another one. Whoops. Ow, I just got spit on. Yep, less of that, please. Perfect area for a shotgun, I guess. I wish I had the full auto mod on this so I could stop clicking and just hold down the freaking button. Yep, there's one of those crazy mutated fire 
mutant zombies. Look at the fire. It's like a plasma inferno down there. Wow. Holy crap. The experience is rolling in now. Yeah, without the blade traps, I feel like the blade traps are doing a lot more damage than I was kind of giving them credit for. Usually I felt like, you know, if they're running right through them very quickly, they're probably not doing a lot of damage, but I really think that they were. Whoa. Yep, they are finally up in here, but remember, we got a whole bunch of backup as soon as they jump up here. Okay, whoops. Again with the massive cluster of zombies down there. Blow them up. How about another one? Yeah, it doesn't do a lot of damage to me because I think my tungsten armor is, like, very, very explosion-resistant, so... I can actually stand pretty close to my own grenades and not have to worry about it too much. Oh, yeah, that's the thing, though. These, um... The cops? Oh, jeez. Yes, the, uh, the armor. The armor is kind of working. Yeah, there's no... There's not gonna be any good way for us to, um... To block the cops bit. Not without kind of restricting our own fire as well. So when we get a cop wave, it's just going to be a brutal back and forth slugfest. Okay, I'm going to be needing some more fire down here. Set these two on fire. There we go. Okay, they're getting up in here now. Get back. Probably melee, not the best tool to be using, but <laughs> I can't shoot very well with this kind of a frame rate, honestly. Oh yeah, we've got the freaking Molotov wielding crazy mutated zombies again. And it's basically my, my my last belt here on the M60. That's it. Back to the freaking 12 gauge. They're battling me back. I might have to fall back to the Alamo back with Cajun and the rest of them. Then again, this is the maximal field of fire where that cop is right there right now. We only have to withstand the onslaught for another 22 minutes though. 21 minutes. I'm suddenly very glad that I pulled this out of that vending machine instead of using the pump action. This is definitely what we needed here. God, get back. There's just too much fire. Everybody is on fire. It's killing my computer. My computer's gonna be on fire here in a second. Ah! Okay, get the explosives. The zombies don't even know what they're doing here. Cajun's having a great time with it, though. There we go. Burn, motherfuckers. And it's morning, finally. Get out of here. What are you doing? The grenades will continue until the frame rate improves. That's it for contact grenades. Wow. It's amazing how... <laughs> it's amazing how abruptly the horde ends right there. Whoa! They destroyed every one of the blade traps. Good thing I've got like 23 left in storage. And also a good thing that the... Oh, these never even caught on fire, but those ones over there did. Oh, do super hungry right now. A murder fest like that really works up a hunger. And honestly, I'm just gonna eat like sham or something. I've been trying not to eat all this stuff, but right now I don't have much of a choice. Yeah, well, unfortunately this is going to be burning here for a little bit and I'm not sure if there's much that I can do about it. See, I can't even whack. I can't really whack these because they are hidden behind the loot bags. Well, let me just put away all of my crap here and we'll start looting up. Okay, should have an eye candy here. And we'll wear the proper looting goggles, which is these ski goggles here. Take that eye candy. And, oh, you know what we could do is just get a fire extinguisher to put all that fire out. Yeah, silly me. That'll work just fine, I think. All right, excellent work, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just hop down here and, oh yeah, perfect. Yep, the whole thing went out. Look at the loot. It's so fun to run in the loot bags. What about out here? Any significant damage to the base? No, no, of course not. We've got them funneled in just exactly how we want them. I don't even think it's worth it to make the pass around here. Well... You know, maybe we could make the pass around just to get it up to concrete, but I don't think we ever have to upgrade any of this to steel or anything, unless we're worried about whispers and stuff with rocket launchers. Okay, well, time's a-wasting. Let's loot up. All right, 
conserve the, the fuel there and the power. Oh, we did lose one street light. That's interesting. I'm not exactly sure how that would have happened. Probably cop spit, I would imagine. Was, um, yeah, I bet there was a cop way over here. And he was probably shooting up toward that soldier right there. And you know how the radiant cops have three cop spit projectiles? And probably one of them kind of just clipped the edge of that street light there. So that's a bummer. I might need to raise them up one more if that continues to be an issue. I don't know. We'll give it one more horde night like this. And if I have to replace a light here and there, that's fine. Oh, these lights, uh, they, they managed to come out unscathed. But look at the, the, the armor that we put on the edge here. That actually worked pretty damn well, I, I would say. Other than the fact that, you know, we need to replace it. It's a bit high maintenance. Hopefully it'll last a little bit longer. The problem with the armor is, is that it doesn't have very many hit points. See, if I hit that, it only has, has 150 hit points because um, it's not, it's considered a destruction block. So it's considered to be like a weakened block already. Okay, anyway, let's have a look here and see what we got. All right, this is the, the stuff that we had in the inventory. So we're going to take the learning elixir here and then we'll do all the experience cards. So that's 20% there, plus the 30% card that we already had. Okay, so let's check the inventory first and see if we have anything good in here. Yes, we have a reward card point for five skill points. We'll take that. We have a couple of action skills here for axes, blade weapons, and heavy armor. There's the HD nail gun, but we've got the legendary, so I think that's probably better. We have the legendary fire axe, and so that steel axe there, probably not very useful. And the steel shovel, not going to be better than the legendary shovel. All good for selling, though. And hazmat stuff, good for scrapping. Okay, that's that. Let's check the storages, then. Here, we've got five of these 10,000 experience cards, so that's going to be 50,000 experience. Oh, I forgot to check the level, but I'll let you know how many levels we get there at the end. We have three of the 5,000 experience cards, a bunch more of these reward cards here. Oh, really nice piece of tungsten chest armor there. Far better than the one I'm wearing. And a steel hunting knife. That's pretty cool. A treasure map for ammo supplies. I think we're good on ammo. However, I'll probably go dig it up anyway. Okay, that was one for archery. We've got athletics, construction, machine guns, and scavenging. Okay, I've read all of those. We're on to the next box here. We have a 15,000 card, two 20,000 experience card, and one 25,000 experience card. It's a bunch of, bunch of extra reward cards there, a bunch of more of the action skill things here. We've got shovels, stealth, wrenching, and rifles. Otherwise, we're getting into the impact drivers, which is kind of cool. They're probably going to take a while to outclass the quality six ratchet that we have, though. Steel chainsaws will sell for a bit. And the last little bit for the experience. Oh, we need six more levels. Man, I don't think we're going to get it, but we have a bunch more experience cards over here. We've got two of the 15,000s, one 50,000, and two 5,000s, along with a couple more reward point cards, skill point cards. That gets us up to 248. My goodness, we could probably do some questing and get the last couple levels there. Or no, we'll get it all in the sell-off, I bet. Oh, wow. I was just, like, repairing up all the sellable stuff. Look at all the stuff we have to sell today. It's gonna be crazy. We had that 1911. I actually wouldn't mind maybe trying that out. Here, put that away for a rainy day then. But look... Because we had we don't have the windows in yet, all of these stations over here like almost got completely destroyed. <laughs> Even one of these ammo boxes. That's how I noticed. I saw the ammo box had like fewer hit points. What about the storages? Are these okay? Yeah, everything seems to be okay here. But yeah, we definitely need to bolster the defenses on this side of the wall before the next horde night. That's for sure. Okay, so with that, we need to grab a sugar butt candy. And did I have any more learning elixirs? I wouldn't mind taking one more for the big sell-off. Yes, I have one left. That's perfect. So we'll take the sugar butt, the awesome sauce, and the learning elixir before this big sell-off. Okay, let's head over to the traders. All right, hello, everyone. We've got eight minutes left there on the 30% experience card. We'll juice up with the learning elixir. Mixer, sugar butts and awesome sauce and oh we're already at 251 so we've already crossed the threshold the goal for this episode all right jen get your dukes out Thanks for the well business. that was 140,000 experience dust. points up to level 255 so i have to put it up on the screen here when i'm editing how many levels we gained from the beginning of horde night until the end until right now so, and we're rich, 109,000 dukes. And so it's time to probably just stock back up on the, the usual suspects, Molotovs, explosives, and food if I can find some. Where's Trader Wrecked when you need him? I oh, come back and, and you know time. what? What I should have done there was check and see if I could get any more like better barter points. I sure could have, I could have gotten two probably. Whoops, well, while I'm at it, we've got 97 skill points. I basically just buy everything at this point. Ah, the workstation tools. We can work on getting the, the workstation tools. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Yeah, but that'll help us with uh, lowering the crafting time on certain things. Tungsten auger. Yes, we do want to craft that. 
So with that, I've spent a lot of skill points. We're down to 13, and probably the most significant thing I can see so far is we can now craft a quality 4 Tungsten Auger, and at 275, we'll be able to craft a level 5. I mean, that's got to be better than the Steel Auger, even at quality 6. Yes, Forged Tungsten, that's going to be the big goal for this afternoon, is getting some of that crafted so we can get the M-Wrap. And would you look at that? We're down to 4 skill points. I've managed to buy... <laughs> Ooh, wait, advanced bellows. Okay, we'll try that. Yeah, I'm just like stumbling, ooh, mother load, just stumbling across a bunch of like random skill points where it's like, oh, okay, I guess we'll take it. Okay, we'll save two. We'll save two in case there's something that I find that I need. And then I can check your secret stash. I, I oh. oh, the portable CNC, is that, that's what I thought was the 3D printer. So that's gonna be blueprint station crafting speed increased. I'll go ahead and take that. I could probably craft it now because I just took that point into uh, to workstation tool crafting, but you know, I'm all set and we can start getting some Portland concrete mix. Wait a minute. Can I even make that? See what I mean? We got to have points in the bank here so that if, if I find something that I think I need, I can grab it. Okay. Oh, it was, it was kind of blocked there behind the, the wording. So I missed it. So yes, we do need that. And now I can just make it myself. Oh, oh, the solar cells. Wow. They're so expensive. They always are, aren't they? Oh, what is this? Muskip Slayer Mod Schematic. I have no idea what that is, but I'm gonna buy it and figure it out. There's your solar bank, which I suppose we can probably snag that up. And then, I mean, we could afford the solar cells, but I don't think we need to do that just now today. Let's save our money for a little bit. Okay, oh, I think I've checked see. everyone's inventory and oh, I'm all set. Oh, hello there. Get out of here. Running a little bit faster these days. I did crank up the difficulty to insane sprint. Whoops, look back over here. Insane difficulty sprinting zombies with nightmare ferals, nightmare speed at night, and nightmare on horde night as well. Okay, so we're all set. Let's check the map. Whole bunch of quests to do here in town. I don't know who's or who's, but let's just start with the closest one right there. Okay, here we are. I don't think I've ever been here before, so I'm eager to see what's going on. Hit the quest. Should I drop the inventory? Oh, let's read this. What was that? The Muskip Slayer mod. Check the description on that. Equip this mod to a chainsaw to have 100% increased damage to entities, but with a 75% decreased block damage. Which means we could use the chainsaw for a melee tool. <laughs> and I think I'm keen on trying that. Get rid of all that stuff. Get my... Oh, I didn't have the nerdy glasses on. Ah, we missed out on quite a bit of XP there then, but that's okay. Got what I wanted anyway. Level 255 now. Wake up. Too easy. And these are the cars I like taking apart because they've got the HD stuff inside of them. Not the HD, the Eco. They also just have so much other junk in them. Can I just scrap all of that? I don't want any of it. Got plenty of it. <laughs> I don't even know if it's really, if it does anything, quite honestly. Maybe it's, it is just exclusively there for scrapping. But with um, salvage operations maxed out now, I'm getting a ton of just random crap out of these things. Okay, I heard something open. That sounded like a vault too. What's out here? Just the backyard? That's where I heard that door open at. Oh well, are we heading inside now or what? Oh boy, <laughs> got myself pinned already. Gotta watch out in these compo pack POIs. You never know what you're gonna walk into. Oh, a sham chowder. Nice. Perfect. Been starving my ass off for the past two days. Oh, someone was telling me that... Oh, it's a Bass Pro Shop. <laughs> someone was telling me you can harvest these, but I don't find that to be true. I, I just heard the, the blip of a feral white. Is he upstairs? Not up here, apparently. Maybe there's another stairway up here. Oh, boy. I'm stuck, and there's a snake. This is just going way up here. And the zombies inside are awake. Hello. Oh, there's that feral white right there. Go away. Ooh, we've got fire. Who did that? Key box. Dressers are all broken. Lockers. Lockers. We can get a college jacket in a locker, can't we? One can only dream. The ever elusive college. Ooh, look at all the feral whites. Yeah, I'm never gonna be able to find a college jacket here. Freaking five weeks into this and still haven't found a single one. All right, who's the pyro that set this whole place on fire? I'm very displeased about that. Okay, they must be upstairs in here. Is this where the fire started? Another key box there, random zombies in here. Hello. What am I supposed to be doing here? Clear the area and find the supplies. Well, the supplies are downstairs from where I am. Are they... What is that down there? Oh, there's like an underground portion to this place. Oh boy, that makes sense. Oh, here we go. This is probably it right here. Yes? 
Hello? Ooh, resources? I do like that. And there's a door right there. Okay, now we're just going way, way down. Okay, lock and load, baby. All right, I'm gonna sneak down because who the hell knows what we're gonna get into down here. I can see the, the sign there where the zombies are. Bit of a maze here. Oh, there's the satchel. Snag that up, but where are the zombies? Do I have to just, uh, oh, there's the door right there. And in fact, it doesn't appear as though, what is this, concrete? Yeah, it doesn't appear as though the switch that I hit was uh, the, the right one. Uh, we can always just do this. Okay, that works. Oh, that was the one down there that I opened. There must have been another switch that I missed somewhere along the way. Did you hear that? Oh my goodness. What? Okay, are we gonna have to just kind of do this? Is this what we have to do here? Yeah, because they're trying to trap you down there. Some freaking compo pack, POI maker. Trying to outsmart me. Now that ain't gonna work this time. Whoa, boy. Ah! Okay, I, I can just hold here. Oh, okay. It seems to be a reasonable number of zombies down here. And that's the quest. Okay, we're all done. Oh, wow. Oh, what a relief. Interesting place here, though. Got a screamer upstairs, too. So, just careful about that. Clothing supply box, overalls, damn it. There she is, whoa, get out of here. There's another one upstairs too. I'm not sure why we got two, but yeah, fair enough. And I will put the looting goggles on for the rest of this. My lock picking skills though are much better. I spent a bunch of skill points into that. Ooh, nice auto shoddy. And some hobo stew, lovely. And I got some paint out of that paint pile back there too. And I think that uh, pretty soon here, we're gonna have to paint the base. Ooh, nice sniper rifle. Yeah, oh look, it's doing a lot more damage to this gun safe. Yeah, I think I'll just do it with a crowbar on this one. There we go. Oh, the Remington 870. I wanna try that one out. I can't because that's a 20 gauge shotgun. So scratch that, we'll maybe try it out some other time. That's a really poor quality one anyway, but whoa, the damage per pellet, 37. Are you joking? How many pellets are there? There's 10 pellets. 10 pellets, oh my god. Do I need to go home and craft one of these? Is this just like a, a freakishly much better shotgun than the USAS-12? Doesn't make any sense to me. And a steel baseball bat there. Oh, there's some actually, there's some 20 gauge that was uh, in there. Oh, you know what? The, it's calling of the screamers, duh. It's the freaking fire. The fire and the collapsing building. I just heard a big collapse and yeah, that's what that was. Okay, so this is an excellent shotgun apparently. Are you kidding me? 37 damage per pellet. What is going on here? Well, it looks like there's gonna be a bit of a screamer battle up here soon in a second anyway. Let's just head up here and uh, get ready to fight. Whoa, here we go. Look at the screamers, a whole bunch of them. Well, I'm getting one shot kills on screamers. I'm not sure that's much of an accomplishment, but uh, it's not bad either. Okay, I wanna have all this please. And we've got a screamer coming from somewhere. Where are ya? Oh, hello. Did you get that scream off, or was that a pseudo scream? Okay, well this place is just gonna burn to the ground, I guess. We'll get to drive by it and check on it every once in a while. And I really have no idea who this quest was for. Let's check the map. There's gotta be another one. We could probably do that tier two down there quite quickly. Then I might just buck up and do that tier three after that. Whoop, <laughs> screamer screaming there at the last second. Well, we'll give it a run here. Mostly just eager to see what the shotgun can do against a regular zombie. One shot kills on Ferals. Not too bad at all. Didn't get the one shot kill on her. What about this one? Whoa, oh, blasted coal there. Okay, I'm pretty happy with the Remington 870. Let's see, can I craft that? I sure can, I can craft a pretty good one too. That might be worth, oh, look at the shotgun parts though, 36. That's probably a lot more than what I have. You know, now that we have tons and tons of money, maybe we just start scrapping most of the guns that we find into parts. At least the shotguns. All right, this is just like a super easy POI here. We probably run right straight through it, no problem. It is a fetch and clear. Perfect anyway, I wanna find that college jacket. I'm not stopping this series until I find a college jacket. That is the end of it. It's college jacket or I play this freaking mod forever. Maybe the psychos stole them all. Construction man, are you guarding a college jacket? Of course you're not. Clothing store box. Chances are as good as any to get one out of that, but no luck. Main loot here. 
Tech Junkie book and a sham chowder. Really wish I could get those paintings. Can I just not have paintings? Be nice decoration for the base. Oh, what is this, a briefcase? Never seen one of those before. It's pretty cool. Got the regular satchel there for the supplies. One crawler. Are you the last one? Yes. Okay, we're out of here. I think my parkour is max now, so I can just jump off of whatever I want, including the Dashong Tower, if I ever felt so inclined. Last quest is gonna be a downtown quest. I'll meet you there. Ah, here is the place, the beauty school. Okay. Pretty sure I pulled two engines out of that car. I love it when that happens. Ooh, a parasite. Barrel bloated parasite. Whoa, that's a really strong one too. And uh, someone dropped this over here. Not sure who, ooh, look at the zombies in there. Hello? And here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just like park this in such a way that the light is kind of casting into here. Ah, there we go. Well, hello everybody, and good morning. Take that. <laughs> That's how you do a clear job right there. Whoa, hello there, buddy. All right, come on out, or not. We'll go in the proper way over here. Ooh, landmines, free for the taking, nice. Oh, an extra landmine there. Just snag that up before someone steps on it. Okay, the lab worker zombies I can see. Hazmat workers? I don't really want to go to a beauty salon that has people in hazmat suits, quite honestly. There's my satchel. Jeez, even on insane difficulty, they only do like one damage to me when they hit me because of the tungsten armor. Tungsten armor might be a little bit OP, if you're asking me. Okay, it sent me to the back of the building where there are yet more landmines. I'm sure that'll come in handy someday. And it wants me to go up onto the rooftop now. Oh, <laughs> that fire's spreading. There must be some zombies up here, I would say. Some toilet paper, that's important stuff. Feral bikers, woo. Putting up a bit of a fight here with the spiders. Okay, feral spiders and the baseball bat just don't mix very well. There we go. Oh, bird. Been a while since I've seen some of you guys. Oh man, taking quite a beating here. My armor's holding up well though. Weapon bag here with, ooh, a nice SMG. Wow, that's a good find. And we're dropping back down into here and it looks as though, ooh, there's so many landmines. My goodness. It lo does look as though this is the last of them though. It's given me the indicator. There's a couple of rooms here with some more zombies and then that should be it after that. All right, well, wake up if you could and just come to me. I like my zombies delivered to me, if possible. Is that it? That was it. Where was your loot stash, though? Probably in the middle of the fire. <laughs> yes, indeed. It looks like it was over here and may have already completely burned out. Facial piercings. No, thank you. Farm box. Not exactly what I had in mind for this place. Oh, this was the, the Shamway lab safe. Wow, that's interesting. The Shamway secret recipe there and some sham. You know, the Shamway lab safe was a safe that used to be, I think, was it Alpha 19 and, and before that? It was a secret safe that was in the Shamway factory and you could it's a 100% chance that you get the Shamway recipe out of it. But in Alpha 20, me and some other people have tried really, really hard to find and see if there's a secret safe in there, but we haven't found it. So, you know, let me know in a comment if you've found that before. Oh, there's the, the thing right there. Okay, I'm in. And there's nothing really in here that I need. All right, so with the inventory full and the motorcycle full, the only thing left to do is head back to the base and start getting organized. Also, I have to organize all of the Horde Knight loot, so it's gonna take quite a while. So once we get in here, you guys should take first watch and I will get things organized for us. Ooh, a rabbit just hanging out. I guess we have a pet rabbit now. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. We've established this base as a bastion against the walkers, but against rockets, there's much to be desired, and the opposing factions are growing increasingly intolerant of our presence in the region. So the POD is to get started on the MRAP, craft a new master weapon, and upgrade the base. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. And I figured the first thing we should do today is probably get started on the kitchen. That's been sitting as a half-finished project there for several days now. I'd like to get some good, nice front doors on there, some windows, and last night I did 
harvest up the garden and I put new seeds up on top so we should have some more vegetables growing there pretty soon. But first, we need to get the tungsten rolling. And if we come over here to the recycler workstation, I think, yes, I can make the scrap tungsten into regular tungsten, but it's gonna take half the day to do it. See, I'd really like to get this Remington 870 crafted, but we don't have the shotgun parts. Now, we could potentially scrap the USAS-12 down, and I've got a couple of shotguns here we could scrap down. Several, in fact. Oh, and we have the 870 there. Okay, I think this is probably what we have to do to get those then. Oh yeah, that 870 is gonna give me nine, plus three or four from the rest of those. I also noticed that some things like the reflex sight and the full auto mod are still locked, and I'm not sure if those are tier two or tier one mm -hmm. schematics. But we have enough blueprints to make a couple of bundles, so we might as well use them. They're not doing anything else. And make all the forged tungsten. Oh no, the Remington 870 requires the tool and die set. Oh man, and that's gonna take a while. Okay, last but not least, let's work on a few of these. I think we're gonna need like at least 10 of these street lights to light up the base. I've decided that I wanna put these all around the perimeter. So we'll work on that in a little bit. For now, let's head over to the kitchen and see what we can get done over here. Yeah, definitely need to get all of this stuff upgraded. Simply not safe having this all as wood. And I wanted to see if I could get a better sort of block here in the corners to make it less kind of like sharp and like these harsh angles. I don't like those. Let's see how this is gonna look. Kind of same thing over here. I just wanna see if this will look any better. And then just a simple set of bars in the window. It's gonna kind of look like a prison, but we also do need to, well, I don't know. I mean, I think the bars do block rockets. I don't think rockets can go through bars, so that would <laughs> that would defend us against a rocket attack, at least partially, and it would definitely allow us to return fire back out. Okay, all right, I meant to go see if I could get some fancy doors for this, but we'll do that in just a minute. Let's get this all upgraded, at least to cobble. All right, took a few minutes, but it's all set now. We used a lot of resources. That was <laughs> kind of intense. And I can see now that we'll probably have to do some sort of uh, decoration uh, here on the outside, some sort of a trim lock or something like that to kind of break up the flat surfaces here. You know, alternatively, we could make a little bit of a skylight. Uh, I don't know, I'll play around with it. The other big, big project that I had planned for today is that I want to take off the um, react the ablative armor that we put here on the outside of the base because it's just too damn weak. These cobblestone blocks here have 150 hit points and it's just not gonna cut it against the rockets. We need to find some stronger type of armor cladding to put here on the outside of the base. And so the block that I've chosen to go with is the dynamic grate. And that's just because it like, um, the, all the blocks that say dynamic, they change when they are adjacent to the same block. And so it's gonna be like one smooth, continuous kind of, you know, like these slats kind of that, that I guess to me at least look like they might be some type of an armor. The most important thing is that they have a lot, lot more hit points. Like these have full hit points as opposed to the destruction blocks, like the ablative of armor that we had before, those only have 10% of the normal block hit points. I know that this is kind of a lot of extra work, but I think in the long run, like after the Horde night the other night, watching all of those blocks break off the front of the base, <laughs> I really don't want to have to go up and replace these blocks. I don't mind going up and repairing them, but having them just break and fall apart, I think it's not serving the purpose that we need it to serve. Yeah, I think overall that has a much cleaner appearance at least. If anything, uh, it'll look pretty nice too, I think, when we get it painted because we'll be able to paint the back block and then we'll paint the front block and it'll give it a bit more dimension and texture. All right, we're back inside and we're still working on the forged tungsten, but we should hopefully be done with the scrap tungsten over here, mostly anyway. Well, keep them running. We're gonna need all the tungsten we can get. That's actually a lot of tungsten. <laughs> Maybe not that much, I'm not sure. The good news is the tool and die set is finished, so we can plop that into the, what is it, the gunsmithing workstation, and now we can craft that Remington 870. Unfortunately, it's gonna take a while, but uh, we need level, ooh, we need 275 to get the next level of that shotgun. But um, I'm just eager to have it for right now. You know, the other thing that we're gonna need is some ammo for it, because I don't think, yeah, I only have 191 20 gauge shotgun shells. Aha, so while we're kind of waiting on other things to churn in, let's get started on the MRAP stuff. 400 forged tungsten. Luckily, we don't need any of that for the accessories. So, start working on that. Oh my god, it's gonna take forever. Hold up, hold up. What do we need for tools here? Oh, we need the die thingy and the ratchet set there. 
Oh boy. Socket set. That does make sense. Workstation tools. Oh, it's locked. Oh my goodness. Ah. Yep, and I can't make it until I'm player level 350. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> I hate this. Just get started on those. It'll take a day. We'll have it by the end of the day tomorrow. Anyway, while we're waiting, let's open up these bundles and see if we can get that full auto mod or the reflex sight mod. A wrapped sail schematic. Scrap the rest. Nothing new there, scrap all that. And also nothing new there, unfortunately. I guess we'll just make some more. Let's get some sweet mods on this Remington 870. I can't get the laser on that? Oh, bummer. I'll get a reflex sight on it eventually, I think. And there we go. It's actually a little bit too black for my liking. There we go, that's better. What about red? Yeah, red gives it a kind of rusty color. Eh, we can roll with that, I guess. Okay, so before nightfall and before we lose visibility, because tonight I, we need to hunt for soldiers. We need to bolster the ranks big time for the next big attack. But what I want to start doing is getting the street lights set up. And I think what I want to do is, well, in order to make it seem realistic, we're going to have to kind of, well, let's try to space it out properly as well here. What do you think? I should probably put it in that one right there because I want to put one on top of the tower two on the wall kind of just like hanging over and shining light down on the side and uh, so that means four per side which means i will need about two more so okay we got one two in from this side two in from this side and i think that will be spaced properly let's just get down here and check yep that's probably the best we can do we'll put street light there street light there street light on the top nah, i don't know i it, it's gonna be a little bit spaced out in the middle. We'll see how it looks at least. So here's my idea. We gotta put like a base block in that's gonna fill up that square there. And then we gotta go up a few with the 0.5 meter cylinder blocks. One, two, three, four. Four high or, or five maybe? Yep, let's go five and then let's go street light on top of that and see how it looks. Okay, actually, it kind of looks insectoid, <laughs> if you ask me, but I think that will that's going to serve the purpose that I want it to serve. Okay, so now all I have to do is go around and do that on all four sides, and of course put a couple on top of the towers as well. I think I will kind of elevate it off the tower so it looks like it's a street lamp, instead of just slapping it down on top of the roof. We'll just see how it looks, and we'll kind of go from there. All right, that monumental project is now complete. All I need to do is run up here and put some extra engines in that generator and there should be light. There it is. We have light all around the base now, except for the fact that the generator's maxed out. So presumably some of these lights are not being powered, but yep, yeah, we'll solve that some other day. Power up complete. Oh boy, we're under attack here. Who's out here? Is that a whisper? I did see some whispers wandering around a little while ago, but I figured they'd be scared off by the light. Let me out here. Yes, we had a bear. Who else is out here? Aha, there they are. Ooh, test out that Remington 870. Holy crap. This is not whispers. This is a rogue attack. Oh boy. Uh, I'm gonna need some help here. Just jump in here and grab bad player. Come on, buddy, let's go. Counter attack. Oh my God, what are you guys doing here? Ooh, did I get two kills with one? Nope, but pretty close. All right, come with me, buddy. We got to track these guys down. The last thing we need is... Oop! Ow! Whoa! Holy crap! The last thing we need is someone with a freaking rocket launcher sneaking up on us later on. Here we go. Another couple over here. Oh! Jeez! Nope, nope. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Looks like they were maybe trying to hold up in that thing over there. We got a wolf and everything. Holy crap. Is that all I want? What were you gonna say there, buddy? What do you got, what do you got, where are they? Oh, we got a crawler over here, fair enough. Oh, there's one back there. Okay, you take the zombies, I'll take this uh, rogue over here. Done, another one around the back, maybe? Oh my God, they're everywhere. They're totally scouting out this POI and trying to set it up as a secret base. Of course, they were gonna wake up a bunch of zombies in the process, not sure what their plan was about that. All right, what do we got now, just zombies? Fair enough. And done. Check that loot bag. Not too bad. BP, how you doing, buddy? Hanging in there? Are you thirsty? I got some iced tea for you. Any more of you around here? BP, you got someone? Who do you got? Yep. Oh, one more. Take that. Yeah, another one. My goodness, there's a whole ton of them around here. 
Look out for that guy. Some apple juice. I'm friggin' starving to death anyways. Okay, again with these trees. We gotta deny the enemy any sort of cover or concealment. That should help a little bit. And do you think that this place is flammable? Because I might just burn it to the ground just for the fun of it. Okay, a little bit of fire there. How about that top building up there? There we go. Getting good with my dynamite throwing skills. What's this here? Just check that. Working stiff toolbox with one tungsten in it. A couple of replacement wooden frames. Yeah, I don't... Well, this place is probably all cleared out. I might just poke my head in briefly and see if maybe there's something I can grab out of here. Several bookshelves are... Oh, what is this place? Anyway, there's book... Are there books in here as well? Let me in. Yes, there are. Since I, I can't really get to them very well back here. Still looking for that batter up book. We still want that college jacket. <laughs> what are the chances I pull a college jacket out of this place here? Yeah, there's just nothing here. Oh, there's some like coal and stuff. Is this maybe hiding something back here? No, I'm back into the clay, I think. So, nah, nothing there really. There's some nitrate over here. Take this. Is that literally all that's going on here though? Turns out the place is not very flammable. Oh, there's more zombies up there. Well, wake up. I don't suppose any of you will stand a chance against the 870. Not at all. Okay, I really wanted to head out for the night, and I think I'm still going to do that. Let's get out of here. And hop on the motorcycle with BP here, and just go, go do some exploring tonight. See if we can stumble upon any new soldiers. Figure we can stop by this airdrop that came in today. Oh, I just picked up a whole bunch of soldiers with me. <laughs> My goodness, this this it's getting a little bit funky around here, we'll say that. That was like a food stash there. Okay, we got... We got three soldiers with us now. I have confirmed that that's not duplicating anyone, so it's just for some reason they um, they teleport to me. They really wanted to come out tonight and get, stretch their legs a little bit. No, I just figured I'd um, come over here and check this airdrop. No soldiers along the way though, except for the couple that I have with me. Nice tungsten chainsaw there, tungsten shovels, steel claw hammers, good selling value on those too. Well, let's loop around back to the trader and gather up some of our quest rewards. Whoa, big boy. It's like a hot air balloon. Wow, look at that box right there. New robotic drones. Nice. All right. Well, we've got a bunch of glitchy soldiers with us anyway, so we might as well bring them into the trader. And I mean, how much worse could it get, right? <laughs> Shouldn't say that. It could probably get a lot worse. Hey, there's that reflex site that I actually really wanted, so I'll just take that. Oh, I can select two now because I apparently have some daring adventurer points. How about just good old fashioned grenades? Can't go wrong with those. Okay, we gotta clear at the pharmacy store. Haven't done that yet. Well, for this one, purely for the sell value, I'll go with steel sledge and the Molotovs. She's got a couple of, ooh, oh, mile end prison by Z-Bark. A night mission to restore the power. Yes, please. And looks like just selling material over here. House old tutor, sure, I'll take that. Gonna do houses to find the college jacket anyway. Wasteland treasure book there. Ooh, that's to get acid from all the fun stuff. And the sniper book here, 10% more damage when using a scope, which I'm using a scope on this, time. so that's nice. Oh, and I'm still starving because I, I forget to eat all the time now. <laughs> I haven't heard my stomach grumbling, so how am I supposed to know that I'm hungry? Another wasteland treasure book there, batter up, not the one we need. Urban combat book here for the military stealth boots and an art of binding book for the diamond tipped blade mod. Thank all right, you. I got everything I was looking for. Let's get out of here. Uh oh, yep. We're gonna lose Greg Forrest, oh no. I'll be back for you in a couple days, buddy, when you're not glitched out. Okay, ooh, looking like a pretty high-tech base. I'm not sure that I like the lampposts on top of the towers, but um, we need the light there, so I'm gonna keep it, I guess. Okay, so I took a quick pit stop here at the base and I put all the soldiers up into position on the towers, except they're mostly stuck in the ladders, but that's okay. I'm gonna head out now and do a little bit of exploration and probably some questing. I might even... Um go into this town, I guess. We have the missing ammo supplies. We have the tier three restore power, which we will do tonight. We have some tier ones, some tier threes for the traders that I think are in this town, but I'm mostly interested to see if there's a school here because there have been some suggestions to check the schools for a college jacket. I think that's a good idea. I'll meet you over there. Okay, we're rolling up on the missing ammo supplies and we picked up Greg Forrest along the way because of course we did. So welcome to the team, Greg. <laughs> Let's see if we can dig these up real fast. Yep, not messing around with these. Just reach your arm through the ground to like frickin' Moses and <laughs> pull that stuff out of there. All right, let's make a pass through the town and see what we can find. Ooh, that was the prison over there. We'll take a look at that closer in a little bit. That looks like a fun place. The Big Zed. <laughs> 
I wonder what's inside there. Oh, I hear. Is that M60 fire? It is, and it's over this way. One can only hope it's a soldier. Hey, buddy. Yes, who is this? Raven. Oh, buddy. Hey, Raven, come over here, bud. Yeah, can we kill this bird, please? There we go. Where are you at? There you are. Hopefully I brought the money with me. You are hired, Raven Dawn. Welcome to the team. Nice, with Hey 101 and now Raven Dawn, we, uh, we essentially have a heavy machine gun team to walk around with us. I wish that you could get a grenadier. Someone that would just throw grenades. It'd be very dangerous, but also thematic and fun. Hey, there's a hackers there. That's excellent because I would love to do some Car harvesting. We are still in just desperate need of engines. Regular engines of all things. Santa, what are you still doing here? Go back to the North Pole. You're not even in the code anymore. <laughs> You're not supposed to be anyway. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I got multiple gunshots. That sounds like another M60 over here. But there's another one over there by that green house, I think. You hear that? That's attack assault rifle. Okay. Bail out, and let's find out who's shooting over here. Someone's shooting zombies, so it's definitely a soldier. Hello there. Oh, right there. Nice. Akavarin. Excellent, buddy. You are definitely hired. We're going to run out of money at this rate. Okay, we got to go back over and find who had that attack assault rifle. Jeez, whenever I'm out... Look... Oh, wow, there's someone right there, too. Except this guy is just a melee soldier with a machete. Angel Flores, you are definitely hired. Only a thousand dukes, okay? The mission continues. Holy cow, man. I, I was just trying to say there, when you're not looking for soldiers is when you find all the soldiers. When you're looking for them, they're nowhere to be found. Okay, this might prove difficult though because I don't know where the guy was with the attack assault rifle. Is that someone right there? Yes, oh baby, another soldier. Damon Warnock is back from the dead. <laughs> Haven't you already come back from the dead once, Damon? Damon is just unkillable. Geez, at this rate, I wouldn't be able to tell who's hired and who's not <laughs> if, if we ran into another soldier on foot at least. Okay, just hoping to pull an engine out of this thing here. Nope, no luck. HD engine out of that one though. Yeah, we don't need those. We got a bunch of HD engines already. Oh, there's an engine right there <laughs> in a generator bag. That makes too much sense. Sometimes you pick out cornmeal from things like that, and other times you actually get what you're supposed to get. Okay, wow, we have a huge crew with us now. Let's go just blow through that tier three up there, whatever it is, and we'll turn that quest in. Oh yes, this is the uh, the one with the underground thingy. Whoops, into the drink. Okay, shouldn't be any big deal here, and what's next door there? Oh, that's that shopping plaza. Okay, let's hit it, let's get in here, guys. Nothing too crazy here. In fact, I'm really not even gonna loot. I'm just gonna blow through. We're gonna look into garment bags, dressers, and bookshelves. That's basically all we need. I am increasingly getting the suspicion that there is no college jacket in War of the Walkers. However, the book, the batter up book, says that you can still craft it. So, I mean, maybe that's what we're looking for. Oh, and the paintings. Yeah, someone told me you gotta wrench those and then you can have them. And perfect start there. We got that dog. Oh no, that's a llama. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it anyway. Mona Lisa. I don't know about that one. Nice landscape painting. I can take that. Um, I'm not sure what to think of that. Don't want it. That one's a little bit cooler. Just a handful of zombies. Nothing life-threatening. Suitcase. Oh, a suit jacket. I feel like that might be the first one of those I've found. Maybe we're on the right path here. Right, because whoever lived here, they must have gone to college and then they graduated. They got a you know, an engineering degree or something, whatever they're doing down here. Oh, and there's, um, pipe machine gun fire going on upstairs. Whoa, and a parasite. Feral parasite. Uh-oh. Ah, I just stand here and tank it. They can't get through my armor. Yep, so we gotta kinda hustle up to the top, because I'm not sure soldiers can probably have pipe machine guns, I would imagine, but it also could be like a raid from Whisperers or something like that. Holy crap, this guy's all green. Lockers. Yeah, that's why we want to go to a school. We want to check the lockers. It says the supplies are way down there? Oh, I did. Yes, there's this like little tunnel over here. Here they are. Yep. Give me working vending machine here. That's fun. Nothing much in there. I was hoping for maybe an eye candy. And uh, yep, where's all the bad guys? Funny that we're not seeing rads yet. Level 268 and we're not getting... Well, we had the one rad, I guess. No chance. Get out of here. Level up. Duster. Damn it. Got a Savage Country box here, though. Ah, oh, nothing. 
Ooh, uh, that's a max level robotic drone there. And I'm at that stage of the game where I'm just gonna auger open every chest. For really nothing. Okay, mission complete. Let's go check topside and see if there's either a bunch of whispers or psychos or who the hell's up here waiting for us. All right, you ready? Who's out here? Oh, fortunately, they didn't... It's not an... Oh, hey, buddy! Another soldier! <laughs> Fubarli! Hello, buddy! You're hired, but who had the pipe machine gun? Did you... Did you maybe kill that person? Was it maybe a whisperer? No, presumably there would have been more of an exchange, I, I would have thought, or maybe he closed the distance really fast and just kind of kicked his ass. I don't know, everybody split up and let's track down where that soldier was. Oh, there it is right there, the pipe machine gun. It was definitely a whisperer. Uh, yep, yeah. oh, <laughs> stupid deer, get out of the way. Oh yeah, you rolled up on the wrong crew here today. Good job, everybody. Not sure we need to clear this whole area. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take down the hackers and we're gonna start looking for some engines. Okay, okay, guys, what is going on down here? <laughs> Look at the janitors. Wow, even a freaking rat over there. Okay, okay. Hold this position. Nice. Good job, guys. Okay, let's get out of here before it gets any more heated. I got a ton of engines, so we did a lot of car harvesting there. And it's getting toward dusk. I think we have about three or four hours until we can do that. Uh, restore power mission at the Miles End prison though. In the meantime though, I'm going to probably stash all of the soldiers out here somewhere and then I'm gonna head into that trader and oh, this is a interesting maze that I've found myself in here. <laughs> nice jump there, buddy. Right, so we gotta stash the soldiers. Hang on a minute though, hang on a minute. What is this over here? Okay, yep, yeah, this is where I'm gonna stash the soldiers for now because the trader is right over there. But look at all these cars here. This is some kind of a Dwal POI. Okay, everybody stay put. Look at all these cars we can harvest. I'm a little bit full on the loot though. We still have some raiding to do, so I just kind of want to see what is going on here anyway. Army trucks, always a chance to pull something interesting out of these. Uh, tungsten spear today. In fact, ooh, my inventory is completely full. Oh, and the queue is full of things that I'm scrapping because I was scrapping all of those stupid car parts. Might have to do a little mini sell-off here to the trader. Whoa! What's going on here? Bunch of zombies. Uh-oh. Come back here, Tommy. They just want to go for the soldiers, honestly. They didn't even care about me. Well, let's wake the rest of them up. Oh, nice TVs. I like that. Oh, a slot machine. <laughs> wow, that's kind of cool. Oh! Ow. Insert game token. How does... What is this... Do can I have it? No. Oh wait, there, there it is right there. Oh, I gotta get something out of my inventory. Ah, there's just too much stuff here. Cancel everything, and yes, that should probably do it. I think because a lot of that is just stackable stuff that needs to be like re-scrapped. There we go. Give me that. What the heck is that anyway? A slot machine that you can insert the game token. I'm not sure what that means though. We'll take it to the base and figure it out. Holy crap, some soldier's getting his ass kicked over here. Fight! See what I mean? If you're too far away, soldiers can just get um, killed, basically. You gotta be extra careful about that. Okay, you guys, hopefully you'll, you'll be far enough away to despawn while I head over to the trader. Don't die, for goodness sake. Except for Damon Warnock, you can probably die <laughs> again. Hello there, Trader Joel. I'm gonna just sell you a bunch of stuff real fast just to get rid of it, honestly. Sniper book for reloading rifles 10% faster. Oh, Nothing else now. there. I never searched these lockers. What are you today? Well, nothing good in them anyway. 
Hello, Jay. Automatic weapons handbook here. She also has a couple of batter up books, but not the ones that we need. Now you suck. Was... Trader Bill with the quest reward for me. Whatever sells for the most probably is what I'll end up taking here. Well, I'll take the bar brawling book just to complete the series or get one step closer at least. And why not just check these just in case there's anything good in here? Nope, not seeing anything that I need except for I'll take that wood because we're pretty much out of it. That just saves me a bunch of time. Okay, let's go grab the soldiers and head over to the prison. Fingers crossed that nobody got eaten by a wolf over here. All right, this is the place, Vile End Prison. You guys ready for this? Hit the quest, restore power, and come on inside, guys. Whoa, dog, immediately. Thank you. Okay, everybody in, please. I'm gonna close the door behind us. There we go. Ooh, I got a pipe shotgun outside. Who did that? Oh, that's just a whisperer out there. <laughs> They'll help that bear out a little bit. Weaken him up a little bit, and the bear should be able to finish him off. If I didn't just finish him off myself, which I did. Good, 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 okay. How do we get inside here anyway? Is this the spot? Yes, unlocked. Okay. Oh, hi there. It's nice to have a couple of extra melee soldiers with me. Oh wow, a bunch of good loot in there. A nice M60, which is actually better than the one I have. Cool. Oh, there's a generator right there. I guess we can start that up. And then that just, whenever it cuts out, it makes a ton of noise. So that'll wake up all the zombies in the local area and alert them to your position. Okay, here is the prison. This looks like, is this Mile End Prison? That's from uh, the Green Mile, right? I'm gonna say, I, I recognize this from the movie. This must be like super duper accurate. I really like this. Excellent recreation. I, it's um, The attention to detail here is amazing. Oh, and then this is like the solitary confinement cell. Oh, nice. We have another generator though, somewhere. And if I'm looking at the map, it is this way and down. Okay, right, we're heading down into the basement area. This is the main loot, I think. Not much here. And I suppose this is probably the part where we really gotta start rationing things. Oh, jeez, what happened? Scared the crap out of me. Just trying to search a freaking book and burnt coal over here. Set me on fire! Quickly, splash some green tea onto me. Oh, there's the generator. Okay, that part's done. Still gotta clear the area, though. And this goes up to the garage door, right, because there's the button here. And uh, more zombies in this building over here. Just let me in here. Ooh, 10,000 hit points on this. Unlocked now though, there we go. What's going on here? Oh, yes, the electric chair room. I forgot about this. I'm on fire again, damn it. This time, how about some uh, hot chocolate onto me? That'll make it better. And was that it? Yes, return to trader. We are good, except for Damon Warnock, man. You are the cursed one. All right, and so with that, we should be good to head back home. I'll meet you there. Oh, wow, and look at that. I'm back here at the base at the mechanic workstation with four seconds left on the MRAP accessories, and it's done. That's quite possible that there's gonna be some other massive component that we haven't made yet that's gonna take forever. But no, in fact, it, I was thinking it might need the HD wheels and we'd have to craft those and, oh, why is there two of them? Well, that one looks a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna go with the clean looking one, I guess. Are they the same resources? Yes, they are. I'm not sure why there's two. I want this one though. Let's take her outside and set her down in the light. Nice, we finally got it. So an MRAP actually stands for Mine Resistant Ambush Protected. This vehicle was designed basically for the war in Iraq and Afghanistan. And are you gonna let me out? Can I go out? There we go. Oh yeah, we gotta get the speed mod, the turbo booster, and the advanced headlights and everything on this. Not great acceleration, but like I said before, this we need the ground clearance to survive in the wasteland and the ability to hopefully, with 10,000 hit points, survive direct hits from mines. Although, 
ditches, probably more difficult to get out of. Oh, it's got the power, it's got the reverse power. Yeah, I spent uh, many, many an hour in one of these when I was overseas, and so I know this beast well. All right, that is more of a task for tomorrow. I think what we'll do now that we have bolstered the ranks yet again is we'll gather a raiding party and we'll head up north into the snow biome. And since the rogues counterattacked us yesterday, we will counterattack them again tomorrow. That is, if we can find any sort of an outpost or base for them. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. The time has come. With our new armored vehicle, new weapons, and new soldiers, it's time for an expedition to the north. The rogues call the snow biome their home, and it's time to bring the fight to them. So the POD is to gear up and make our way to the town we passed by a few weeks ago. We'll check in with the local trader and see if they have any intel for us, then we'll set up a forward operating base and prepare to assault the nearest rogue compound. You watch my back and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. All right, let's get started here. The first thing we need to check in on is ammunition because right now, not looking too good on the shotgun shells, good on the 7.62. I'd like to get some more explosives though. Let's check in with that. Okay, we've got 20, ooh, breaching slugs. I think I have some of those. Wouldn't probably be a bad idea to bring those with me. And it looks like we can do boxes of shotgun shells as well. Those only take three seconds. And how many of these can I get? I can get two. Sure, for seven seconds, I don't think you can beat that. Also would like to take some exploding arrows with me. How many of these can I get? 45, held back by the gunpowder a little bit there. That's fine. And that's gonna take a few minutes. Okay, let's open these up. These are 300 each. So yeah, just unpack those now, that's fine. And contact grenades. Also gonna be held back by gunpowder. Let's see if we can get some more of that, I guess. Stack of gunpowder right there. We can get two of those for negative 14 minutes. <laughs> Basically instantaneous, I guess. Okay, unpack those. And how about those contact grenades? Right there, what are we looking at, 97? Well, do we need any of these resources? Oh, that's just using up all the forged iron. Uh, let's go with like 40 for now then. That's also gonna take like negative one minute, so that's nice. Here, let's get 10 more just to make two full stacks. Right, we have a couple of exploding arrows here. Is there anything here we should take with us? Let's take all of the supply flares in case we need a, a quick resupply on the fly out there. HD contact grenade. Oh, you know what? I should have looked and seen if I could make those. I cannot. That takes grenades. Here we go. Gotta find the skill point. That would be this one right here. Contact grenade. HD grenade. HD contact grenade. I can make a few of these and um, I don't mind if I do actually. Grab up 20 of those. We'll take those with us too. Oh and the breaching slugs. I just said I wanted to do that and oh there they are right there. Nice. And I have tool repair kits, armor repair kits, vehicle repair kits, so we should be fine out there. Okay, so with that, Catlo and everyone else, you're coming with me. And 12, Fubarli number 12, perfect. Okay, are we good here? Because we're gonna be gone at least for a couple of days, I think, at least that's the plan. 12 soldiers, plus me is 13. We'll definitely have to see if we can pick up more on the way over, because 13 is just not a good number. <laughs> That's not funny, Cajun. Right, so if we open this up, yeah, we've got the H or the LED headlights, the minor tune-up mod, the twin turbo mod, and the tungsten roll bars, which increases the, the hit points on it, I think. So with that, I think we're ready to go. All right, we're rolling out of here now. Check on the map and see where we're going. We're going the entirely wrong direction. We gotta go north here. When we did our little scouting expedition here, I could see a snow village off, off in this area here. So I think that's our path. We're gonna head directly there, and then we're gonna go cross country, see if we can find that village. There must be a trader there, and we'll look for any intel or signs of the rogues from there. Just passing on through, and I found this really interesting thing in the ground over here. Whoop, I, I was gonna say, I heard a pump shotgun, which I thought was kind of weird, and I think it was that whisperer over there. Indeed, <laughs> the whisperer is shooting at that bird over there. There, down. All right, what do you suppose is going on here? Is this like a big underground labyrinth style POI? Ooh, there's landmines. I could just pick those up though. Here we go, we got a door. Well, it's locked. How about those breaching slugs? Is that gonna work? Oh, jeez, ow. Are you not dead? Crap, killer. Okay, is this gonna work? Are you even there? Yes, three shots actually opened that door up. It's kinda nice. Oh, it goes straight down. 
Oh my goodness, what is down here? Getting completely sidetracked, but I can't just pass something cool like this up. Or maybe I should, because I'm getting like monster vibes for this kind of a place. And the soldiers are having a hard time following me. Okay, ooh, this is just going way, way further down. Another door. Oh great, yes, yeah, some kind of an underground bunker. All right, what do we got here? So far, like, no zombies. Any zombies here at all? Unlocked. Some loot back here along with landmines. The only threat with the landmines is, um, zombies <laughs> setting them off, so... I should be good to walk straight through here. There's just really no one here at all. Not sure what this is all about here. Yep, all my soldiers are down here now, too, and they're not... targeting anyone, so... I'm not sure what to make of this place. Some kind of a glass? Like a force field here? I can't get through this or what? Here we go, we got zombies now. That takes right care of that group. Nice. Oh, jeez, except for there's a huge group over here. Wow. Oh my god, there's so many of them. And we're running out of bullets a little bit. Here we go. Take them out. Everybody okay? I can hear some more banging over here. Where are my soldiers? Did anybody die? Okay, there we go. Okay, I can hear everyone sloshing around upstairs, so I think everyone's okay. We'll do a head count here in a little bit. Just want to see exactly what these people are guarding over here. It's gotta be something good. Ooh, lockers. We need those. Couple of zombies and a snake. Oh! Ow! I think the snake body landed on that landmine. <laughs> Which is, um, not good for me. Yikes! I'm on fire! And there's not much I can do about it right now, I don't think. Do I have any drinks on me? Yikes! Ow! It's a vending machine. <laughs> Quickly, buy the beer! And, uh, drink the beer! Ow! Okay, whoops, we got some more zombies back here. Hello! Still a whole bunch more vault doors, couple vending machines back here. Whoa! Hello! A room full of explosive barrels, that never ends well kitchen area back here with a couple of zombies. Ow! And one of them's still alive. Get out of here. Ooh, secret ventilation shaft. Wow, this place is cool. Aha! Secret stash back here. With zombies in it. Whoa! Helps if you're... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm surrounded here. Oh, boy. They're having a hard time breaking through that sheet over there. That's okay. I think I'm gonna survive here. Of course, I've been wrong before. Oh yes, so for some reason they're having trouble breaking that. I have no idea why that would be. Here, take that. Search that munitions box, give me that extra ammo. Yeah, I don't know what the heck's going on here. I can't, um, I can't break these blocks. How about these ones? Okay, that one's gonna take forever. What is going on with this invincible sheet here? I do not know, but dynamite might help fix the problem. That, yep, that fixed it. Reload. Whoa! He's a fast mover. Okay, that solved that problem. Whoa, but I'm surrounded again. Were you all guarding anything back there, or was that literally just... Ooh, a 20% experience card. Nice. Good stuff. Yeah, is this just a box for zombies, or... Oh no, it continues. Yeah, this went out into a ceiling area where zombies dropped down behind us, I think. And then this goes to... another one of those things. And another over here. And this just pops me back out here. Wow, what a cool place. I thought there would be like a main loot here though. Did I maybe kind of go right by that or not? Yeah, I didn't actually fully explore back here. Okay, so now I know to be wary of what's in the ceiling. A couple of zombies in here. Good morning. <laughs> Just evaporate all four of them. Oh, except for that one. Aha, ooh, got a whole bunch of zombies here. How about you take one of these? Jeez, does it ever end? What the heck? We got, got a supply room down there. We've got a broken door over here. Holy crap. Just a dead end back here. Um. Oh crap, I fell for the trap! Ah! Holy crap, this is bad, this is bad, this is really, really bad! Oh my god, I'm completely surrounded! Whoa! Okay, 
Get some friggin' explosives into that room there. Holy crap, man. Take that. And take that. Wow. Also, the ceiling's full of them again. Great. Yep, yeah, into the freaking drink with you all. Where there's landmines, apparently. Yes. All right, I'm slowly working through them here. There's just so many of them here. Let's get the breaching slugs out of this. This is definitely the best weapon I have. Start blasting up into that hole in the ceiling where there's like 50 zombies. And then there's a handful that are below me here in the water. Not enough landmines down there, apparently, to make a big difference. And uh, there we go. So this may be a hidden stash down here. Construction site box. Not the best. Another one. And a whole another freaking handful of zombies running down here. Oh my god. Wow. There's so many of them. I gotta be careful. Now the fire is starting to creep up on me. Look at them all down there. Well, my friends, how about some grenades? Yep. Ooh. Some barrels down there, I didn't realize. Okay, well that works. Gotta be a little bit stingy about what I'm carrying around for loot. Like, we don't really need uh, military fiber, I don't think, so we can save that. Steel auger, good for selling. Ooh, a quality six impact driver. That has gotta be worth a pretty penny. Yes, it's doing dramatically more damage than my ratchet, so we'll switch that over immediately. Okay, I can see some soldiers have taken some damage upstairs. I'm not sure if that's a zombie thing or if that's... Like, um, they've, they're drowning, or... I really don't know. Ooh, a stun baton. We could use that for some interrogation later on. All right, and just take the apple juice for the road and see if I can get out of here without burning myself to death. Okay. I do hear some gunfire topside. Hopefully they can kind of fend for themselves here. Okay, this one caved in a little bit. And this over here is... Jeez, really nothing. Another, um, stun baton there. It's kind of cool. What do we got here? Not much. I'm in a bit of a hurry now. I really need to figure out what's going on upstairs. There's a sniper rifle. Someone has a sniper rifle up there, so probably a whisperer, I would say. What's back here? Okay, we're just now entering Sector B. Like, this place just keeps going. This is crazy here. Freaking dog. Don't need him. Hidden stash here. That's pretty cool. Good nail gun for selling. Holy crap, look at this! What the heck is going on here? Oh my god, this is a little bit crazy, a little bit creepy here. That is a trap floor. Well, maybe not. I feel like there's some kind of a trap down here, though. Look at this. Okay, and then up into... Oh my god. What is going on here? Look at this cave, man. This is crazy. There's a tent up there. I'm just expecting some kind of a huge monster here. Might even just take out the uh, explosive crossbow bolts. There's got to be some kind of a massive ambush waiting for us up here. There just has to be. Yeah, I can't even see a thing back here without that that uh, that light there. This is uh, suddenly giving me vibes of the forest. <laughs> Anybody in there? Okay, someone left some blueprints to the area. Maybe it might be. Might have been the person that was digging this place out, not sure. Okay, the cave continues back here. Still can't see too well. Got some gunfire upstairs. Oh, I hear a bear. And there's a zombie right there. I gotta stop shooting these things, it's just causing too many fires. Is this it though? Is this the end? Um, oh, it, it's, um, it's happening again. I can hear stuff breaking. Oh, there they are, zombie bear. Yes, just take them out. Oh my god, many of them. Holy crap! Yes, many, many bears! Wow, ride the bears! Ow! D ride the bears and fucking kill them all! Ow! Ooh, this tungsten armor, really good, but also not great against the bears. Oh, another bit. Oh my god, the bears! I'm on fire now! What did I tell you? Just doing more harm than good here. Okay. I'm the bear slayer today, apparently. Get out of here. Okay, is there anything I can slurp down? Yes, there's a yucca juice. That's helpful. How about that trauma first aid kit? I can hear the soldiers killing bears as well, topside. 
There does not appear to be anything of importance back here where I am right now, though, that, that I know of, although I don't know where all those bears would have been or where they would have came from. All right, I don't know. I'm just getting vibes that maybe there's something behind that wall there. So I'm gonna figure it out. Nope, no, I don't think there was. Oh, there's the bear right there. Oh, another one. Oh, wow, a whole bunch. Whoa, hello, everyone. Let me get a ladder up there and just see if that was, was that just a trap area or is this somewhere where we should be going? Just a trap area, I think. Okay, so um, what's next? Is, th is this it? Is this just like the final trap and that's the end? Or, oh no, there we go. Three shots with the breaching slugs to open that. That is fantastic. And a food bundle, some money. The rest of it can pretty much just stay there, I think. I'll put that mod onto something and sell it a little bit later. Yep, that, I think, is the end. Let's just try to confirm here with some dynamite that there's nothing hidden behind all that sand. Yep, that looks to be it. Okay, we're heading back topside now. Okay, just made it back topside here. We're on top of the MRAP. All 12 soldiers are present and accounted for, so let's all hop back in and continue the expedition. That's probably the most interesting POI I've maybe ever found. I loved that. I have to do some more research and figure out who made that. Still looking for some more soldiers as we make our way toward the snow biome, though. All right, no luck on the soldier hunt, but we've made it to our destination here. Just one more look back into the region, and nope, I don't see anybody. Just a couple of zombies, I think. Okay, I, don't, I see a penguin over there. <laughs> nice. I don't see any rogues, though, but that's our destination just up ahead. That's that little village I was talking about. Let's uh, head in there. Whoop. Yep, we've got gunfire already. There is a rogue. Just leave her to it. That mountain lion should take right care of her. All she's got is a pipe pistol, so... <laughs> So the goal is we're gonna head up into town here. We're gonna find some building that we can hold up in for a day or two, at least for tonight, and use that as a staging point for our next mission. Oh, another rogue right there. Yeah, they got a heavy, heavy presence in this area. We're definitely gonna be fighting a lot of rogues around here. I'm not sure if we'll see any soldiers up in here or not, but you know, if we, if we hear gunfire, we'll have to go check it out, I think. Of course, it's easier said than done because the gunfire is most likely just a rogue fighting a zombie. I'm glad we've got the armored vehicle. They don't really stand much of a chance. I mean, they can let some shots off at us, but, you know, between the armor and the vehicle repair kits, we should be just fine. Man, oh my goodness, they're really everywhere. Holy crap, I didn't realize there'd be so many of them here. All right, let's cut through over here. Oh boy, SMG fire back there. Right, oh, sham foods. That actually looks um, kind of like a... Good fortification. That might be a good place to hold up. We've got a police station over here. And I think that's the uh, cracker book right there. I can see the cracker book sign. Fire station. We've got some kind of a propane or fuel depot right here. And there's the trader up ahead. We don't want to go there just yet. Not with uh, a dozen soldiers with me, that is. All right, yep, we're taking fire here. Just swinging around. And we're going to head over to that sham foods and we're going to set that up as our little forward operating base. All right, just park this around back where it's kind of relatively covered up and safe. Everybody bail out, and let's clear out this POI here. Hello? Who's in here? Get the heck out of here. You're being evicted. Check the main loot real quick. Hey, a quad storage pocket mod. Won't say no to that. Oh, what is this? Oh, reduced jump mod schematic. So... Oh, interesting. So I guess that would give you the benefits of having parkour in that you could fall from a greater distance, but you wouldn't like jump so high and hit your head on everything because that does make maneuvering in sort of like caves like we were just in a little bit more difficult. Let's head on to the rooftop because that's where we're going to basically set up shop. Contact here with a rogue. I shouldn't have killed him. We got to take some prisoners here. All right, let's get a little bit of a ladder in here so everyone can make it up here. And who do we got here? Nobody. Good job, guys. I'd appreciate it if you didn't shoot the tent. We've got to, you know, get some shut-eye here while we're up here. Ooh, some campfires as well. Nice. Well, get a fire going here. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we got to set up the soldiers the now. End, okay, take her out. You know. Yep, you got the right idea, I was going to say. Oh, we've got a, uh, a rogue over there. Can I get a stun baton real fast? See if we can get any information out of this guy. There we go. Come on, tell me where your base is. All right, welcome back everyone. I have positioned all the soldiers up here on the wall. We got a little bit of information out of the rogue that was over there. All he said was Northwest. 
If we take a look at the map, northwest puts us in this area over here. That could be the location of a base. It could be a trap. We'll just have to load up and cautiously scout out that area and see what we can find. But for tonight, I'd like to do some exploring around here in this city. See if there's anything interesting to see and find. And I'm going to go check in with the traders over there. So I'll meet you over there. And before we leave, I'm just going to pull the ladder so that no one can get up there to the soldiers. Even though we've got some melee guys kind of guarding the top of the ladder. I'd prefer it if they just didn't take any contact at all. All right, guys, you hold down the fort and I'll be back in a couple of hours. The mini little crack a book there. There's a crack a book over here too, so that'd probably be a good activity for tonight. Try and get some books read. All right, let's park it here. Although there was a rogue out there fighting with a mountain lion. <laughs> They're a brave bunch of people, aren't they? Let's see what we can find in here though. Who do we got here? Oh, Trader Joel. How you doing, man? Oh, he's got batter up volume one. Dang it. Two 10% more damage with clubs. That's a good one, but man, we're looking for that volume three. All right, anyway. Probably what we should do here is just loosen up the inventory and sell them all this garbage. Oh boy, and he just restocked out of nowhere. Just kind of organizing things and uh, yep, well, I guess we gotta go through this all over again. Who's banging out here? Are you banging on my vehicle? I'd like it if you could all stop that, please. Oh boy, all kinds of people out here. Whoa! Oh, I see, it's like lumberjacks and then female lumberjacks as well over here. Okay, how's the condition of the vehicle looking? Not too bad. We'll have to repair it eventually though. Whoa! Endless supply of lumberjacks though. My goodness. Got a Night Stalker book here. Bladed weapons do 10% more damage at night. Not much else though. Are there other traders? Oh, Billy Bob's over here. Nothing with him though, just some duct tape and stuff. And then Trader J. Hmm, 50,000 experience card. How are we doing on the money? We're doing pretty good on the money. Let's take that. Otherwise, that's it. Man, I would have liked to check their inventory before they reset, but oh well. Hey, an apple dish with, whoa, 15 apples in it. That's awesome. Okay, last chance, I guess, checking all these mailboxes, and then we'll probably hit up that crack book across the street. And actually, I kind of want to take a peek in here to this fuel depot and see what the heck's going on here, too. Shine the lights in. You know, with the rogues having such a heavy presence in this area, I would bet you that this is a rogue fuel depot and that they're using this to help, like, supply their war efforts. We might be able to deliver a crippling blow to them if we can destroy all of these barrels. Well... I don't have anything better to do tonight. There's zombies down there anyway. Whoa! There was a lot more barrels than I thought there were. Holy crap. Massive collapse over there too. Nice. Okay, is there anything good in this loot bag here? Yes, there is. Don't need the rest of that though. Okay, next up we're heading into that crack book. Let me just swing the MRAP around for some extra light. It's actually really convenient to have around. Look at that. Perfect. Let's go. Oh, hello there. See what kind of trouble we can get into here. All right, well, let's kick things off. Not with a grenade. We're not using grenades here. We'll catch everything on fire. Get rid of that. We'll use the baseball bat instead. All right, wake up everyone. I think that was pretty much everyone. See if we can find any good books in here. Pistol Pete book. Oh, Batter Up book volume seven. Metal chain modification. It's gonna be the last book that I find, isn't it? Volume three, the one for the college jacket. Oh, here's the main loot. What is this? The bushless motor mod schematic. Not sure what that does. We'll figure it out someday. Where'd you come from? Got a wandering horde here, I think. Nah, yeah, don't mind me. Just gonna check the rest of the loot while they're catching up to me. And it's now morning. Look at the magnum ammo in that. These breaching rounds are freaking awesome. And there's a full auto mod. I was looking for one of those before. I think I was trying to um, put that on the USAS 12, which we're not using anymore. So I guess we'll be okay. Weapon store box. Ooh, nice M60. Let's just compare that one real quick. Not as good as the one we're using though. A few more bookshelves here. 
All right, that's it for this door. No batter up book, which is what we were really looking for there. Okay, make sure this is good. Yep, no one's attacking that. And let's just go through those schematics real fast. It was a couple of new ones. Of course, we got that Night Stalker book there. Rad Remover, that was the last one for the Night Stalker series. Muzzle Break mod, a single turbo mod schematic. I think I have the twin turbo mods already, so probably not as good. And the minor tune-up mod schematic, we wanted to make a couple more of those. Oh, and then the Tungsten Bumper Spikes mod schematic. I don't know if that would do more damage to entities or increase the armor of the vehicle, but probably worth checking out. All right, let's, while we're at it, just poke our head and see if this is like a legit crack -a book or if this is just some kind of a puny wannabe crack -a book Well, there's some stuff in here. A lot of zombies just coming out of nowhere, too. I can hear smacking. I feel like, yes, it's on the rooftop. Ooh, nice bounce. All right, last chance here. Oh my goodness, a rocket launcher with heavy explosive ammo. Nice. That is a good rocket launcher, too. Too bad we don't have any uh, rockets with us, because I think I have a whole bunch of them back home. Main loot here. Oh, mining book, of course. Oh, HD Iron Breaker mod, not too bad. Hey, at least we're getting some stuff that we haven't read before. I do like that. Oh, HD Metal Chain mod schematic. Might look into getting one of those for the baseball bat, because we don't currently have a, a chain mod or anything on the baseball bat. Okay, that's it for this place. Well, there's probably a lot more to see and do in this village, but honestly, without eliminating the rogue presence in the area, I'm not really comfortable with looting any further here. It's kind of a disaster waiting to happen. So, let's real quick though, the one thing I wanted to do while I was up here was look into the, um... The flares that we have, supply flares for building, health and armor, general, and also food and ammo. And you never know, we might just pull something out of here that will be useful to us as well. All right, gotta remember how to do this. What do I do now? Do I just drop it? There we go. Okay, one, two, three. The plan was to save these for the wasteland, but I figure the snow biome is a close second place. Look at our loot stage there, 861. I think this will do just fine. <laughs> Look at the free loot we just get there. Granted, I've been building these up this entire playthrough. I've only used the flares w on one other occasion. I think I'm gonna break these open. There we go. Oh, look at that steel chainsaw. Not too bad. Oh my god, a P90 there, and another M60. And this new M60 is doing like way more damage than the one we have. Although the one we have has better rounds per minute and better range, so bit of a decision to make, I guess, on that one. Oh my goodness, an FN Scar as well. That is insane. Whoa, look at the range damage on that. It's doing dramatically more than the M60. Well, we might need to switch over to that full time. Ah, look at the ammo. Perfect timing, too. We're gonna need the, a little bit of extra ammo there for the big raid. So we'll toss everything in there for now, and we'll start going through that in just a minute. All kinds of good stuff. Wow, that was fun. Okay, so the big thing there was, oh my god, the P90. What is this taking for ammo, anyway? Okay, here's a look at the FN Scar. Ooh, that's taking a new type of ammo that I don't probably have very much of. The P90... Also using some kind of a new ammo type. I should have probably gotten some though, right? Yeah, 5.7 and 5.56? Five, five, yes, we've got like, oh, 100 rounds of that or so. Okay, so the M60 it is. We're rolling with the M60 today. We're gonna get the one that does the most damage too, which is that one right there. There we go. Now doing 91 damage per bullet. Excellent. Okay, the inventory is fully squared away. The M wrap is packed. We just need to grab up the soldiers and we will head out for the attack. All right, I believe I got the whole crew with me now. Come on, I'm down here, gentlemen and ladies. <laughs> there is a ladder, but of course you could just jump off if you'd like. That's fine. Good job, everybody. All right, load up in the MRAP. 
take a little peek at the map. Let's just head north a little bit. Ooh, there's Sarah's treasure there as well. Yeah, let's just uh, circle north and we'll see what we stumble across along the way. Here's to see what the ramming power is on this. Whoa, pretty good. That was nice. All right, whoop. Got our first rogue out here. Just plow through her. Don't want her uh, reporting our location or anything. All right, I made my way to this road here. Let's find out where this leads. Whoa, look at that in the distance there. Massive hotel or something. I hope that's not what we have to clear. Oh, wait. This right here is what we're looking for, I think. This has, like, rogue compound written all over it. Look at this. Massive fortified wall. Massive towers. Yeah, this is it right here. So, the more I look at it, the more it's looking like a prison. And I've just circled around the back side of it. And I don't see any weak points. So, let's circle around to the front and see if anything looks different over there. Looks like we got a little bit of a rogue tent here. Just plow through that a little bit. <laughs> nice. Okay. Bail out. I'm sure... Whoa! Watch out for the MRAP, guys. Careful. These things are very, very prone to roll over. <laughs> So, yeah, let's just uh, park it here, put the e-brake on just for a moment. We're gonna stage here for a little bit and get a lay of the land and come up with an assault plan. Time for some real fun. <laughs> Looks like you're having real fun waddling your way back here. All right, we don't want any stray animals disrupting our plan here. So let's just make sure that this area is completely clear and secure. No rabbits either. Okay, conserve the ammo. In fact, I should probably have some more ammo here in the MRAP. Let's just double check that. Let's just get everything squared away here. We want the rocket launcher, don't we? That would be important. And extra 762, never gonna hurt. Okay, we're good on 762. We got the rocket. We got the breaching rounds. We don't have any gas for this, but uh, we could always just use the dynamite if we need to breach any, like, secure locations. All right, and last but not least, we got the explosive crossbow bolts. Let's have a look here. That's the gatehouse right there. There is a door there. We might be able to kind of breach through the door. Otherwise, we could probably lay some dynamite down and blow through that door right there, whatever that is. So the compound is secure on all four sides by this big wall here. I don't see any rogues on the wall, and that makes sense because they would want to get sniped from here. Also, they got four towers, so we'll have to clear all four towers. So the plan will be breach into the gatehouse, don't cluster up in there, breach through, try to establish a foothold beyond the wall, and we'll just take it from there. Everybody got that? Good. Let's load up. Remember, smooth is quick, quick is fast, don't bottle up, that'll just make us susceptible to rocket attacks. You watch my back, I'll watch yours, let the mission begin. Bail out, give me the breaching slugs, and open this door. Okay, we're in, follow me guys, everybody in here. Yes, oh, definitely got rogues in here. Let's see if I can get us through this wall here, is this gonna be possible? Looking good, Aniel, could you please just set us, oh, rocket! Let him have it right back! There we go! There we go! Okay, yes, gonna knock out the rocket soldiers first and foremost. Everybody spread out! Spread out! Another rocket attack over here! Rocket soldier! I think I got him! Alright, multiple on the wall back there. That should take care of them. All right, it looks like they're kind of pouring through that window right there. Oh, jeez. Take her out. No one can stop Cajun, at least hopefully. All right, right in the back of the leg there. Let's jump up in here. Anybody else in here? Nope, looking good. Couple soldiers are on fire. Nothing I can do about that. Mark Prairie has died. I heard a rocket go off. Okay, bad players died as well. Everybody stay together. We're doing good so far. Let's just make sure that our vehicle's secure out here. Nope, it is definitely not. Ow, stop that. What do you think you're doing? Stop that. All right, vehicle is secure. Aniel Flores has died, unfortunately. Uh, we might have lost more, I'm not sure. Yes, we've lost several. Everybody patch yourselves up. First aid kits all around. And let's head back inside. All right, ready for some close quarters combat now. Let's go. Here we go. They've counterattacked a little bit. Trying to retake some of the ground that they've lost. Multiple soldiers up in there. Oh, look at that. Kill, kill, kill. Come on. Attack number two. That's the rocket soldier right there. That is target number one. All right, get behind me, guys. I've got the best, best armor here, so I'll be able to kind of tank for you guys. Are we taking fire from in here as well? Who's in here? Are we good? 
Looks good. Oh, that guy just burned to death as he jumped out of the door there. Perfect. Nope. More in there. Ow. All right. Stay together, guys. Come with me. Too much fire in here, though. We got to go around. We want to get into this main building, though. That's for sure. Okay. What if... What if... What if I set up... Oh. Hello. Get out of here. I'm going to set up a little bit of a platform for some dynamite in the hope that this works. Okay. Dynamite. Dynamite. Oh, taking fire. And... One lit. Take that one back up. Stay in clear. Are you even there? Yes, I'm here. We're in. Follow me. Here we go. Okay, they're down. All right, careful with the fire, my friends. Let's go. Rocket! Who did that? Holy crap! Right over here, in that hole, where he will stay forever. Okay, good. Um, Akavarin, are you gonna make it? I think you'll be okay. Let's just um. Wait for that fire to burn out a little bit. Oh, we got more rockets up there. Here, have some friggin' dynamite. Yeah. Have some more, because I didn't throw that other one far enough. There you go. That should take care of him. How about one more, just for the money? All right, careful with the fire, my friends. Don't, no, not in the hole down there. Oh boy, there's actually enemies down there as well. Okay, let's go in here now. Another rocket soldier. Oh my god. Take him out. I think that'll do it right there. Just make sure. Yes. All right. Come on, guys. Follow me. Oh, looks like hey, 101, man, you're on your last leg there. I wish I could do something to help you, but it just doesn't work like that, does it? All right, here we go. The last portion, the back end here. Careful. Careful. Okay, we're definitely in the fatal funnel here. Stand behind me, guys. Stand back. I've got this. I will be the shock troop for this one. Okay, okay. We're good. Everybody get in here now. Go, 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 go. Secure the top. Secure the bottom. Okay. Looking good so far. Let's head down. Multiple soldiers down here. Ow, someone's got a rocket too. There she is right there with the rocket. Take her out. Got her. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. Tank it, tank it. Scream her out here somewhere. Just make sure the rogues are dead. We'll deal with her later. Oh, another one. Ow. Okay, we're good here. Let's just get a hole in the outer wall so we can go kill whoever's out there. That should do it right there. Nice. Breach. Ow. Oh, I'm hurting real bad now. All right, guys, cover me while I get some first aid. What's going on out here? Anybody, any enemies? Here we go. Take that. All right, back inside. Oh, boy. Chasing you down, man. <laughs> None of that. There we go. All right, we're going cell to cell, tower to tower to clear every last rogue out of this place now. Okay, making my way up into the tower that I dynamited and... <laughs> yep, this one looks secure here. Just a wolf out here. I heard him fighting with a rogue, but I'm pretty sure he won it. All right, if I had to say so now, I'd say that this area is secure. Guys, over this way. Whoa! That's interesting. <laughs> Nice acrobatics. All right, we've paid a high price for it, but we have secured the area. Whoa, forgot to clear the front again. Anybody else out here? Are we good? We're good. I'd say we killed over a hundred rogues in this place. There's one more way out there. There we go. Yep, we paid the ultimate price for it, but it is secure. One more victory for the Order of Steel. And the rogue threat in this area has been eliminated. I'll meet you guys back at the base. We gotta get refitted and reorganized. Alrighty, here we are, rolling back up on the base. No doubt victorious, but also a little shaken from the losses. So give me a second to unpack the MRAP and get all of the soldiers stationed back up in their positions on the walls. All right, so let's finish things off today by doing a little bit of building over here at the chow hall. Oh yeah, we gotta move the generator and that switch anyway. But what I wanted to do was see if I could get some windows in here. I got these nice fancy doors in. Although they are a little bit jet black for my liking. We'll try to find a good contrasting paint color. And I did get some paintings up in here, like the llama and some landscapes. And I put the slot machine in here, but I have no idea what it does. But I w wanted to also put some windows in right about here. 
so that we can just let a little bit more light in and kind of break up the walls a little bit. I'd also like to put one right here. And just for the sake of symmetry, we'll do the same thing on this side. Just like that. And I guess, whoops, there was a torch on the other side of that, I think. I don't know, would it look good if I actually like put those kind of canted angled blocks in on top as well? Well, in order to do that, I have to take apart my paintings and rip these down. And got some gunfire. Oh my god, it's a psycho attack! Get outside! Oh, of all times for the psychos to attack, it's right now. I gotta solo this one. I, the soldiers need some rest. I can't afford to lose any more of them. It's all me here. Holy crap, it's a field full of psychos. Ah, jeez. Take cover. Okay, yep. Just gonna take cover in the shed over here. And get me those HD contact grenades. Whoa! Take an intense fire here. Well, eat that. Rocket in the street. Take that. Oh my god, just laid her out with that grenade. Nice. Excellent work. Let's go. Okay. Whoa. Getting hurt real bad. First aid kit. Okay, take cover again. Suppressing fire. Nice. Got a couple of them down right there. Another one. And that's another one. Yes, just full auto. Ah, okay. We're gonna overheat the gun. Let's close the distance with a shotgun. Take him out. Down. Another one down. Are we good? Two or three more. Freaking four there. We don't need him around here. Oh, yes, hide behind the hay. That'll help, right? That is all I got, buddy. It's all I need, too. One more. <laughs> Just go ahead and walk in the fire. I'm fine with that. But no, I want a melee kill here. There we go. It's over. Except for this boar. Probably pissed off that I killed his wife. And with that, a level up. Well, quite a fire going on here. We're going to lose a lot of these fences, but that's okay. <laughs> Just a slight divot in the street here. Let's see if I can just patch this up real quick. That'll do for now, just so we don't get stuck in it when we're driving. Okay, well, what were we doing here? Oh yeah, we were fixing these blocks in here. <laughs> Jeez, what an eventful day here. Yep, we just want these little beveled edges here because I just think that they look better, quite honestly. And I also want to put some bars in. And I think we might knock these out and put bulletproof glass in, but for now, we are short on stone and sand and all the other stuff to make that. So we'll have to do some, I think I'll do some mining tonight to see if we can fix that. And then on the outside, we have to do something to help dress this up a little bit. So for the first time ever, I'm going to go into the trim blocks here and see if I can find some interesting fancy shapes to kind of like break up the rough edges. Or I should say probably break up the smooth edges. And what what is this even why? This is the generator that goes to the defenses, I think. Yep, this is the defenses generator. So keep that in mind. I'm going to pick it up because at the moment it's kind of interfering with where I want to put block shapes and then maybe something a little bit less fancy for on top of the doors. We don't want to take attention away from the doors, but what about window trim top right? Is that? No, no, because that's going to be for like a double wide window. Window trim top? Is that what we want? I believe it is actually. I <laughs> just caught, caught a glimpse of that fire and panicked for a second there. And uh, if I recall correctly, we do have like a square windows trim right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I guess. I mean, I'm not a real professional at these kind of design aesthetics. You have to talk to Zbark about that kind of stuff. But there should be, is it window trim? Is this what I want here? Well, I don't know, but I think it'll do just for like a door trim. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think that looks real nice. And then I'm gonna put a border on the top and a border right here. Oh, I, uh, I think that looks pretty good. And that's also going to kind of match the, the windows. Hmm. Yeah, I quite like that actually. Just need something here on this corner. Just like probably a simple pole would do. A little bit tricky to get the shape up there and then take that one off and yes. Yes, that looks pretty good. There we go, chow hall. And then we filled in all the empty spaces and it looks pretty nice, I think. Just wondering what that trim looks like from above up here. Yeah, it's kind of a tripping hazard, but <laughs> I'll roll with it. 
And the garden looks like it's ready, so let's harvest. Tomatoes, strawberries, melons, peppers, carrots, pumpkins, leeks. Okay, I've got the seeds replanted. Unfortunately, you can't make them in the inventory. You have to make them in the mortar and pestle, which is right here. Also, where am I storing my seeds? Up here? Yes. Oh, right, and we'll get these couple of paintings set back up on the wall somewhere. Okay, we'll put them right on top of the doors. How's that sound? Good enough. So tonight I will probably get this upgraded at least to cobble or maybe wooden nails. I, I think I'm short on wooden nails and I'm short on nails as well. So I'll sort that all out. And I'd like to probably also get these ladders upgraded. And then I have to do some stone mining because I'm I'm completely out of stone actually. And we need a lot more stone to make cement mix, to make the Portland concrete. And we need to make more Hescos and all kinds of stuff. But it's nothing particularly exciting, so anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hail the victorious dead. But we don't have long before the next battle begins. The Day 42 horde approaches, and there's much to do to prepare. So the POD is to work on base upgrades and fortifications, and will then throw down a first coat of paint. And finally, I'd like to get a barracks built for our loyal soldiers. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. So today is going to be a huge base building day and I've got a ton of resources rolling in all of like the workbench. I made a bunch of paint out of the chem station there. Let's see over here. I'm rolling on bulletproof glass blocks and forged iron out of this. I already have what I think will be most of the things that I need for today. Let's just start by kind of getting some of the blade traps down. Maybe doing a little bit of repair work down here. Also, do I have... I don't have the cobble and stuff. We'll have to get more resources then for the big upgrades. And before I get too far ahead of myself here, we need to get things rewired here. Because I think things are a little bit messed up right now. Last night I moved the generator over to here, which is kind of exposed, but also kind of shielded here. So I think it'll be okay. Because it was either that or put it in here. And you know, then we'd have to have exhaust because we don't want to give our soldiers carbon monoxide poisoning. And yeah, so <laughs> a little bit of an ordeal. Anyway, guys, let's just uh, get these blade traps hooked off of that switch right there. And we'll avoid doing any sort of daisy chaining because these are definitely going to break. They're very prone to failure. Are we good here? Oh, no, I think that's a... Uh, is that a psycho or a whisperer or something? Yeah, I can hear footsteps. Who's around here? Oh, whisperer, come back here. Oh, he's running right up into the base. No, asshole, get out of here. Any more whisperers lurking around here? Or other threats that I should know about? Like, perhaps anybody with a rocket launcher <laughs> primarily is my concern here. Aha, yes, there are a couple of whisperers out there. Let's just take care of them. Whisper is really not a huge threat these days, but I don't want them lurking around nonetheless. Very curious to me that a 12, 20 gauge shotgun does uh, a significantly more damage than the 12 gauge shotgun. Uh, maybe someone uh, wasn't quite familiar with how ballistics works. Oh, got another one way down there. And then uh, the, the last thing we should probably do while we're out here, because I kind of forgot about it earlier, is um, let's see if I can find some lead because I don't know that I've seen a lead node. Okay, so white would be nitrate, black would be coal, that tan rusty color would be iron. I think lead is like a bluish color. Aha, I see one right there. Let's just run over there real quick and see if that's a lead node or... I think the nodes have been replaced in War of the Walkers. I honestly haven't... <laughs> I've done barely any mining this entire time. Interestingly, you need the lead to make the bulletproof glass. Is that like a real thing? Is there actually lead in bulletproof glass? Like they've somehow kind of fused it in there. Kind of interesting. Ooh, potato. Yeah, these, are these nodes? Oh, these are some kind of a node. It's like a mixed node. There's all kinds of weird I stuff in it. Is this just stone underneath it or? Yeah, that's just like stone. Speaking of stone, I did do quite a bit of stone mining underneath the base. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Killed that zombie and I instantly get my massive speed boost because the, the armor doesn't slow me down in combat anymore. I got that urban combat book. Aha, here's some lead. This is what we need. Yeah, and last night I noticed that uh, somewhere along the way I have gotten that skill where I can one-shot the ore, I think. So get out of here. So that just makes mining like so, so much faster. I got something like 50,000 stone last night, plus a whole bunch of iron as well. And if I could just get a couple thousand lead, I think we'd be all set. We really only need it for the bulletproof glass and we only need, I don't know, 25 more blocks of it. All right, I'm pretty satisfied with that right there. Let's 
clamber our way out of here because I think I've already spawned in a screamer. Screamer? Yeah, I see her. Hello there. Pseudo scream looks like I don't see any zombies that spawned in. Yeah, like what's this here? Is this just another kind of mixed node of weird stuff? What even is all that? Like copper fragments and zinc fragments, which I don't even remember what those go for. Oh, for making brass, I guess. Okay, so you can just mine brass. Interesting. All right, let's shuffle back to the base and we'll continue on with repairs and upgrades. It's quite a war we've had here. Look at the losses we've sustained. Some of them have been lost twice too. All right, at this point, pretty much all the resources that we had cooking should be done or mostly done. So we'll grab the forged iron, we'll grab the bulletproof glass blocks and see if I can now craft a few more of them. What can we do now? Another 10 held back by the sand. I think probably 10 would be good though. And there's tons and tons of sand rolling in over here. So yeah, give me all that and make all of the concrete mix that we can make. Oh, and then real fast, yep, yeah, grab up all my cobble. Oh, there's some lead from the batteries. I, I figured I might scrap a few batteries because they're taking up a lot of room in the inventories. Yeah, so as far as I could tell, the concrete here that we have is like homemade concrete, right? And then the Portland concrete, like if I were to go to the hardware store today and buy some concrete, it would be Portland concrete, at least where I live anyway. And so that's like professional, like, factory grade concrete this stuff right here you know homemade not too good portland stuff that's the good stuff all right so what i would like to do to start off today is i want to knock out all of these wooden like the fire traps because we're going to need to get underneath them to upgrade the blocks behind them now that i think about it instead of the security gate here probably going to go with the railing block because then i can rep repair or replace the blocks underneath it and then everything in here just needs to be I think probably Portland concrete eventually, but we'll get it up to at least regular concrete for tonight's horde. And because a lot of you all have mentioned it, I will say that I've done some testing offline and I, cause there's something called a fire trap or an oil slick block, I think it's called. And um, the oil slick block does burn and it does catch zombies on fire, but <laughs> the wood honestly does way, way more. And I think probably the issue there is that the, the oil slick was present in War of the Walkers probably before the fire mod was. And so that was like, that was your way of catching zombies on fire before fire mod was introduced into War of the Walkers. Okay, so that part's finished. Did I ever finish what I was doing over here? I did not, right? So we need to fix this stuff and I need to reconnect one of these wires because for some reason, what what is this wire even going to over there? <laughs> that is totally weird. You weird me out, electric fence post. Yeah, electrical wires, they they do strange things sometimes. They're kind of buggy, but that's okay. We'll fix it up here and then we won't have to worry about it anymore. Oh wait, these actually need to be hooked off of a switch as well. So let's continue doing what we were doing there. Hook that up, hook this up, not daisy chaining anything. That should be good right there. Are these, let's just spin these up and see. Yep, that's powered, that's powered. These are powered. I have a total of six engines in here now, so we should be fine on the power draw. And then, right, take these last couple of blade traps off of that other switch and give that power. And survey says we are all juiced up now. Very good. What's my power draw? 182 out of 300, not too bad. All right, well, conserve the fuel then. Okay, next item on the agenda is to grab the Hesco blocks. And let's see if I can get some of those, what are they called? Barbed wire, steel barbed wire. Well, there's fences and there's traps and I'm not sure what the difference is there, but yeah, we want this steel barbed wire one right here. I'm thinking like 70 or so of those. And I'm just gonna wait for those to roll in because I'm gonna set those up on top of the Hescos. All right, so starting in the front, let's knock out these old barbed wire fences that I put here purely just for demonstration purposes. And we will set in these new barbed wire fences. I don't think these are having a whole lot of utility here. Like, I don't think zombies or anyone else is going to come crawling over this, like, you know, World War Z style, you know. But I think it just looks cool. And it's, uh, it's not always about function, in my opinion. It's also about kind of form, you know what I mean? Okay, now we just have to complete the mission of doing that whole thing all the way around the base, replacing all of these old frames that we have here with Hesco's, and then building up the Hesco crenellations, and then putting all of the barbed wire fences right in the middle of them. 
All right, nice. That project has been a long time coming to get that finally all squared away. One little accessory project that I kind of had in mind was to put a little bit of a bumper on this fighting position right here. Not sure if this is gonna help very much, but aesthetically, especially where we're about to paint this, I think it'll just help break up the, uh, you know, put like put, it's like a window frame, right? It's gonna like put some some frame in to kind of like box in the color and provide some contrast. And then I don't know, you can get pretty fancy with it. I could put this railing all the way down to the front of the base and like have a nice guardrail along the whole length of it. All right, man, that looks way cooler than I thought it was gonna look. <laughs> Not providing a whole lot of function, I don't think. I mean, we'll have to see when the demos show up what that's gonna do. Probably not a whole lot, but yeah, I like it. It looks good anyway. The question kind of is, is what should that be upgraded to? And looks like we're doing great. Well, we're, we're kind of hurting on the concrete mix, but honestly, we can make so, so much of it. So I'm fine with upgrading this. Then yeah, that kind of reminds me, these areas over here that are going to be possibly susceptible to a demo blast in the future need to be upgraded pretty much to max. All right, making good progress so far. Let's check on the concrete mix because the next big project I think is gonna be getting this all 100% upgraded to concrete with probably portions of it being upgraded to Portland concrete. Oh, you know what? I was gonna say, I was kind of surprised that this isn't moving more quickly. We gotta get the eco engine in there to see if we can get that moving any faster. I believe I do have a couple of extras. In fact, I do. Okay, now cancel all of this, we're starting over. Now only gonna take 27 minutes and definitely moving a lot faster though. Okay, if that's gonna be the case, I really don't feel like we have enough concrete mix to really get very far. Instead, I might try to, yeah, I took the big ugly things off. I just, you know, carved out the bottom block with the auger and let it all collapse. Like I don't even want those street lights back, but um, two steps forward, one step back sometimes in base design. Sometimes things, uh, you put it down and it just doesn't quite look right and it takes a little bit for it to set in that you have to go back up there and <laughs> restart the whole project, right? Uh, we're gonna need some more spotlights, so let's just do that, if we can, four more. This is this was the original plan, well that was fast, uh, to, to put spotlights, but then I found out that I could make the street lights, and I was like, oh, you know what, we could probably use those instead, but ultimately didn't quite look right on top of these towers. The original plan, however, was to get these brackets right here, bracket doubles, and hopefully I can place these down. Is that going to be the right spot? Yes, because I want to put the um, the spotlight directly on top of that and underneath the platform there. I can already tell this is going to be a big to do. We got to put these up, then we got to put the spotlights in, then we got to connect them with the wire tool, then we got to orient them down toward the ground. <laughs> see, see why I didn't want to have to do this, but I, I have to do it. Okay, last one. Just got to get the spotlights hooked in. Fortunately, I think this will be a little bit easier. Fine day, isn't it? I can't complain. And then I think what we're doing is just daisy chaining everything off of that relay to this and then straight over to this and all the way around. Not the best system because if a cop just inadvertently, you know, cop vomit clipped that thing over there, we'd be kind of screwed on, in terms of lights. Everything else would turn off. I'm taking my chances, that's for sure. <laughs> and I'm not going to change it. Okay, and then the terminal end is that end over there, that that final street lamp. I gotta say, man, I am so happy that they are eliminating the wires in Alpha 21. That is gonna be one of the <laughs> the few, I guess, changes that I'm really, really looking forward to. Because at this point, I can't play without the hide all wires mods. I've seen a few people that are like, kind of unhappy about that. They're probably the ones that meticulously like dig tunnels for all of their wires and they enjoy that kind of thing. I'm just not one of them. All right, we'll see what that looks like in a little bit when the power comes on. It's on the auto timer to come on at 2100, I think. All right, well, there's the bulletproof glass blocks. So at a minimum, we can start working on that. And this is a problem. This has been the incorrect block chase that have been here for like a week or two now. So take all these out. Look, I even put a freaking armor cladding on the outside without even noticing. There we go. And then we can just start squeaking in here and putting the bulletproof glass blocks in. Now, fortunately, what we can do is uh, if we get a little bit of extra, we can actually put one on the outside as well, like that, so we'll be double layering the bulletproof glass. But for now, just getting one in here is really the most important thing. Oh yeah, the lights just came on. How's everything looking out here? 
pretty good. Now, now that these are powered, I think we can uh, interact with them and point them downward a little bit. Okay, I have nine more of these. Seriously, can I just get one more? I sure can. Give me one more for now. How many more can I get? Oh my goodness, I guess we're good now. What do we need here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen. Plus ten is twenty-eight. That'll allow us to double layer everything at some point. All right, there you go. We're double layered on the front side, which for tonight is definitely the most important side. How's that looking? Not too bad. I like that a lot. Excellent. I kind of wonder what what would happen, do you think? We should maybe do some testing. Ah, oh, geez, it's kind of hard to do some testing, isn't it? Okay. No, we can do this. Akavarin, you follow me and come in here, buddy. And then I want you to stand where I'm standing. And then I want to squeak out here. And I want to say, stay where you are standing. Because he's now pointing to the outside. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put some uh, blocks here on the outside. And just see if he can shoot through them. Like if I put bars here, are you able to shoot through those? Because that protects us a lot more from rockets. Rockets won't go through bars but bullets will. So let's go grab a zombie and test out my theory here. Zombie, where's the zombie? Wolf, I'll take the wolf. Come over here. So if I pull the wolf straight over here, come over here. Does Akavarin see the wolf and shoot the wolf? No, nope, Akavarin can't see through the bars. I'm hurting myself here. Okay, so that was, um, well, it's a good thing we tested it. We'll put it that way. So that just confirms it. We have we have to basically just suck it up. If they shoot a rocket inside here, <laughs> stuff's going to get blown up. All right, I feel we got 15 minutes. That's going to be going throughout the night. I want to wait until we have plenty of concrete mix before we do the big upgrade in here. Let's for tonight then. See, we got the cobblestone shapes here. We should be good there. Let's get the barracks built. I have a plan to build it right over here. I always draw out my designs on paper first. Now this was a nine by nine chow hall and I'm gonna make a nine by nine like dome um, because that's like what we basically slept in a lot overseas were like structures like that. They're just tents basically. And um, I think I can recreate that shape right there. Just make it a little bit bigger. And uh, by my design, I think there should be room enough for 16 bunk beds. And of course I have, uh, I really wish I could get some more lights, but the more lights you add, the more performance takes a hit. So instead, we got some mobile lights over here. Let's bring this around so we can see what we're doing tonight. All right, just back it up and hold it right there. Perfect, nice. All right, so I'm not gonna do any sort of a block by block for you right here. All I'm gonna do, I need to knock out a couple of these ladders because they're gonna be in the way. I need to knock out a couple of these top catwalk portions because we're just gonna need an alternative shape for that. So with a combination of these wedge narrows, which are the four part wedges, and the wedge 60s, which are two part wedges, plus the regular wedges, which are just, you know, the one part 45 degree angle wedge, should be able to get a nice tapered dome shape all the way to the top. All right, I had to take a bit of a break there and get some more cobblestone shapes crafted, but I've got plenty now. In the meantime, I went around and I repositioned all the spotlights to be aiming more toward the ground, so we're getting good illumination down there. So I'm using half blocks for the walls because I think that that will just give a little bit more space for the soldiers in here. And then I had to come up with, uh, there's some really good shapes and I found one that kind of flushes up a half block with the ramp block, so that looks pretty good. And I think I'll try and leave an opening here for windows, even though it's just going to be probably prison bars <laughs> in the window. Uh, it's the best I can do for them. And I also crafted them some little storage trunks for their personal belongings. And so there it is. That's our little soldier bunker right there. These lights are really, really bright. Can I like not have those for a minute? Uh, just, yeah, okay, that's fine. Because we need to put a sign up here that, um, hmm, what, what can we do here? Window trim top, window trim square. And this one here is just called window trim. I'm using it for the door. There probably is a door trim. I just <laughs> haven't seen it yet. Just like that. Nice. Okay, so in terms of a sign, we've got five. Well, quite honestly, I might want to put some kind of a border around this so it looks a little bit nicer. Let's just do something temporary for now. Instead of barracks, we'll do racks. Then, hmm, eventually I'll have to see if there is a trim block system that I can use on the outside here, because I don't think there is. Because what we would need is we would need a wedge narrow half block. And those 
simply don't exist, it seems. Yeah, so, well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping I could put something on the edge here, but that's... Eh, it'll do for now, I guess. We're gonna get a door in here and some lights, but we can honestly work on that some other time. I think this is a good first step. Okay, so the horde base portion, good to go. The barracks, good to go. The chow hall, also pretty much good to go. The only things left to do for today are... I think we're pretty much ready for the horde here. We could just, you know, turn everything on and get some ammo and we're pretty much all set there. What we should do though, is we should do the big upgrade. We gotta upgrade all of this to concrete and then portions of it also need to be upgraded to Portland concrete. And by now I would imagine that all of it's ready in here. So actually for now, let's sort this real quick. Put away the Portland concrete mix because I don't wanna accidentally upgrade a bunch of blocks to that that don't need to be upgraded to that. And let's start upgrading. Just to start off with though, gonna lay a little bit of a scaffolding around here because that just makes it easier and I'll leave it on there because probably it'll make painting a lot easier as well. Oh boy, except uh, it sounds like... Is this an attack over here? Oh, it is an attack. It's like an attack and they're beating up the stupid... <laughs> the, uh, the, the headstones over there. We can't have that. No, 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 no. Whoa, man. Cajun is just lighting them up. Okay, where are your Whisperer Overlords? They're right over here. Hello, everyone. Please get out of here. We don't need you guys messing stuff up around here. There we go. All right, where was I? All right, yes, we are making the scaffolding. All right, the scaffolding is in. Time for the big upgrade. So now with the interior mostly done, I think the most important blocks here are basically these blocks right here. These need to go straight to Portland Concrete Mix. All right, that's it. That is fully upgraded now. How much Portland Concrete do we have left? Yeah, quite a bit, but not probably enough to do the outer part as well, I don't think. Plus, just for ease of repair, I'd like to leave this as the regular concrete anyway. All right, still pretty early on in the day. I'm a little bit starving to death. Let me get some food, some water, and we'll continue on to the painting project. Got a halfway rotten sham chowder there. That sounds delicious. And some apple juice. Mmm. Can't imagine what the aftertaste is gonna be like on that one. Okay, so I've selected a basic color scheme that I wanna go with for the base here. And uh, let's see how it looks first. We'll do a little bit of a test palette over here. So we're gonna go with cracked sidewalk here. Of course, everyone has their own preferences when it comes to color. I have a certain color scheme that I like. There are only certain like colors that I even like to use in the game because most of them are garbage. Just make sure we're not painting all sides. I don't wanna completely run out of paint. And I just wanted to see yeah, this is only using one paint to paint this this whole thing. So we're actually saving a ton of paint on this as well. It's just lovely. Love it. Okay, so we got the ground level done. The, the buildings here. The buildings, including the towers, are going to be the concrete shape, which is not these. I usually use the stones large, but I think I have an opportunity to use something different that'll look kind of cool if I could ever find the damn thing. There it is, concrete wall. Let's just do a paint surface on this and ooh, yes, I like that. Also, I think the base is gonna be the same pattern like that. Yes, I think so. For now though, don't get too carried away. I might change my mind halfway through this. Oh, and you know what? What we missed uh, out on here is I actually need to rip through this bottom layer here and uh, flush up the bottom with the wall. If we're gonna be painting it, we gotta do this now before we start. It's okay, it should only take a minute or two to do this. Especially because we got the steel auger here, quality six. We could make the tungsten auger, however, I don't have enough tungsten motor tool parts or whatever it is to make one. Alrighty then, there we go. Continue with the big slap on paint job. Very nice. All right, before we get too carried away here though, let's just focus on uh, some finesse here in getting these shapes colored the way we want them. Hmm, spikes, okay, spikes I usually do in like jet black. Uh, this border here probably should be dark because I want to do the rails out of like the shiny metal color. It's the only way to color a rail in my opinion. By the way, this is called medicine cabinet. This is what this paint color is. I get that question from time to time. That one right there. 
And then for the grates, or the, yeah, the security gates below me, we're gonna do red. We're gonna do the same thing down there. And for the poles, we'll also do red. Just a little bit of contrast. I don't like to go too overboard on the red. This might even be a little bit overboard. I used to play Roller Coaster Tycoon, and this is basically what all of my Roller Coaster Tycoon theme parks would look like. <laughs> a mixture between uh, white, black, and red. Definitely my, my color, the, the theme of my life, the color theme of my life. And then for the skirts, we're gonna use drop ceiling number two. And I'm just gonna suck it up and do the paint all sides on this one too. Some black TV screen for the spikes. And that's it, that's your final form for the tower. Now all I have to do, I'm gonna spend basically until the horde gets here tonight and until I run out of paint, just running around and painting everything in that same sort of a theme. It's gonna be really rough for this first pass, but it's better than nothing. All right, that is about as much as I dare to paint for one night. I need to, at this point, probably make sure that all the soldiers are positioned into defensive positions for Horde Night, and then we will start getting geared up for the Horde. All right, chiefly guys like Damon, Damon the Demon Slayer, I'm gonna call him. Stay where you're standing. Cajun, I think you could probably hang out over here tonight where I can hear you significantly less. Stay where I'm standing. All right, I think everyone's finally positioned up. We've got soldiers in these two corners here. We've got a soldier here, we have three on the wall there, and then we have one more melee soldier who's just gonna hang out up here. Ubarli, actually follow me, come on down here in case things get really, really dicey tonight. I don't suppose they will. I've got some steel hatches, we can finally get these upgraded. Okay, stay where you're standing. 2100, let's just get some ammo and we'll call it good. Fortunately, there's not much to the Horde Knights lately. It's just all about shotgun rounds and, oh, 5.56. Five, you know what we need to figure out is what these new weapons are taking. We'll probably figure that out in the next episode. The FN Scar, like what ammo type is that taking? Probably start carrying it around too, because that that range damage is so much better than what I'm using with the M60. Oh, and on second thought, I need the 20 gauge, not the 12 gauge. All right, well, I think we're ready to get into position down here. Um, hmm, generator's not on. <laughs> Probably out of fuel. I don't even have an easy way to get up here, but tell me that's the, pr the problem here. Yep, just get a refuel, turn on. Lights are good, come over here. Traps are spinning. Did we reload these with ammo earlier? I think I did, I did not. Gotta get some nine mil for that. Okay, one, two, three. Cutting it a little bit close tonight. Spent a little bit too much time painting. What's new? One, two, three, lock. Well, the base is pretty much half finished. We've still got scaffolding up. We've still got to do a whole bunch of painting, but the day 42 horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Before things get too hot and heavy up here, I'm gonna try to take the 30% experience card and then a 20% on top of it and see if those stack. Oh my goodness, it looks like they stack and it's gonna last for 45 minutes, wow. Make sure I got the right glasses on for this operation. I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, hello there. All right, it is time to get things cooking down there. This should be enough to light it on fire. That's good. Start bringing the heat a little bit. I'd say we're doing well enough right now. They're barely even making it past that first blade trap. Whoa, hello there. Oh, you know what we need? I've got to get the um, the extra barbed wire fences to put on, on the steps there. Okay, it should only take a second to grab these. They're right there. And Spider-Man, you need to despawn. There you go, good boy. Just like this. Don't want anybody jumping up in here. All right, let's roll, baby. We're in full swing now.
Yeah, there's just no way they can make it down here. It's really, <laughs> it's this is an OP design right here. Not to mention like the soldiers helping me out up there. That's the perfect position for them too. And ultimately, hopefully that'll help them avoid shooting demos in the button. Demos in the button. Now we are, we have burned out the bot, the back two sets there so let's light these couple sets here on fire i decided not to go with the wood and nails and just to see if wood would be enough and i think probably wood and nails would be optimal all right we're on to a new wave now we've got cops and mutated zombies yep and we're losing the blade traps down there on the far end nothing wrong with that i got a whole bunch to spare oh there's a demo our first demo right there just murder him before he blows up taking fire it's okay we are fortified this scaffolding might catch on fire and if it does i think it'll be okay bring on the demos baby you know what we need more of explosives there we go set them all on fire light them up look at this haha <laughs> eat that whoop taking more fire luckily got a couple near misses there whoa getting more intense by the minute up here i got, got another demo there just trying to aim for the the nuts basically not for the button anywhere but the button i'm not even sure that i could hear the demo going off if he was gonna go off time for the shotgun this is the it's gonna melt right through him in close quarters like this yep the the inferno mutated zombie is here finally all right use my parkour skills haha <laughs> take that and another one Man, they are pretty strong, aren't they? I'm just sitting here on full auto and barely melting through them. Okay, more shotgun then. That's our cue. What time is it? It's only 1 a.m. We're only halfway through the horde. And they've burned through all the fire traps and all the blade traps, except for the one, are completely destroyed, let alone not functioning anymore. Another demo here. Go for the headshots this close. Oh my god, there's so many demos now. Sitting on 59,000 XP right now. I'd say I'm doing pretty well tonight. Boop, taking a little bit of fire. Oh, we've lost a lot of the scaffolding. All right, got another demo down there. Let's see if we can take him out at range. If he blows up down there, probably not going to be as big of a deal as if he blows up down here. Oh, he's going to go off. There we go. First demo blast. We seem to have absorbed it pretty well, actually. Another one. Oh, my God. When it rains, it freaking pours, doesn't it? Yeah, they're, they're pretty much coming up here unrestricted now. There's nothing holding them back except for that electric fence post. And now, and then hopefully, okay, you can see, oh, another blast over there. Okay, and they've dug themselves a little bit of a hole as well. Okay, you guys need to get the heck back here. I'm just blasting myself right in the face, but I think my armor is strong enough that it's not doing much. Demo, kill. Okay, I, I, there's a demo down there somewhere. I don't know where. I want him dead, though. Just rain fire down on him. I've only got 10 more of these things. I do have... The HD contact grenades, though. Whoops, try not to dive down in there. Let's see what we can do with these. God, just a cool 20,000 XP. No big deal. Yep, and we're starting to lose integrity of the barbed wire fences in front of us. We only have to hold out for another two hours, though. Two more hours, and then we get to go swimming in a sea of loot bags. I got a demo crawling up. He crawled his way through and just smashed through that barbed wire. There's a clear avenue for zombies to get up here now, except for the electric fence. That's the only thing holding them back right now. The electric fence and the 20 gauge. We're doing so much damage that it's actually blasting holes in the ground down there. That or a demo blew up down there and I didn't even see it. I have no idea, honestly, at this point. Yep, so for the next horde, priority needs to be on getting those blocks down there upgraded to steel so that they're more resistant to First of all, my own gunfire, and secondly, the demo blast, which will inevitably occur there. Yeah, if we're not careful, they're not going to have a way to jump through here. Look, that corridor right there, that cobblestone block, is the only thing keeping them in a nice, tight funnel up to us. we got to make sure that nothing else explodes around here. Additionally, that hole right there has zombies in it, which is not good. Let's see if we can... Ooh, ow. Let's see if we can blow them up, because I don't want them digging down there. Why is it doing that? These freaking contact grenades are terrible. My goodness, there's no letting up either. There's just so many more zombies that are rolling up in here. They're way off in the distance. They're way up in here. Wow. I'm going to use a strategy of shooting at them from this direction from now on so that I can limit how much damage I'm doing to the blocks down there on the ground. Oh, yep. Yeah, he jumps right up and then all of a sudden I think that's Hey 101 over there. <laughs> 
blasts him with the M60, just like me. Speaking of M60, though, I'm running low on ammo. Whoa! Demo! What are you jumping up here for? Holy crap! All right, we're back to the 20 gauge then. 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes to hold. Oh my god, look at the demos down there. Why are there so many demos? Why are they just floating there, too? Jeez, man. Take them out. Got a button going off there. Oh, man. Not good. Here. Can I contact grenade him? Maybe. I gotta get some close quarters going. Are you, like, a giant? A badass demolition? He can't even fit through here. He's so big. That kind of works out in our favor. I did not realize that there were super demos here. And it is morning. It's been morning for a few minutes. It's hard to tell right now. But we're gonna work through him here slowly. There. Things are loosening up pretty well with the explosives. Yep. That's it. And that's just some pieces of scaffolding that fell down there. Wow, look at the tunnel they made down here. Oh my goodness. It's like a bucket of loot bags. Ugh, gotta get some air. I'm, ugh, geez, can't breathe down there. <laughs> well, for uh, like a little bit of last minute preparation there, I think things worked out pretty well. I think next time, there isn't there an HD blade trap? Blade Trap, Blade Trap HD. Okay, we're gonna have to see if we can craft a few of those because they might last a little bit longer because once those fail and once the fire traps fail, it's uh, it's pretty tight up here, quite honestly. So we'll have to look into that more. Maybe see if we can get some tungsten spike traps or tungsten barbed wire for the next round. But anyway, this is gonna run pretty late today. So let's uh, head upstairs, stash our stuff and see if I have an eye candy anywhere. I do, good, and a learn and elixir. We'll use that in a little bit when we're doing the experience cards that we're about to get. And there's a few experience cards that are just kind of sitting up in here too. So we'll use those as well. Now that we have the 50% experience increase, what level are we anyway? 341, wow. Okay, so, eye candy in, looting goggles on, and we'll see what we get here. Okay, that's it, wow, it actually completely fully filled up perfectly, three full boxes. Oh my goodness, there's the tungsten auger right there, max level two, we don't even have to craft it. Wow, oh my god, yes, it's doing like at least like almost 20% more block damage. Excellent. All right, we can scrap. This is a wasteland treasure for how to purify water. We can scrap the rest of the schematics and things like that. Give me up the experience cards and things like that. Otherwise, nothing special in there. Look at the ammo though, just too much ammo. Way too much ammo. Gonna have to sell some of it. In this box over here, look, we've got a regular jacket, the puffer coat, but no college jacket, unfortunately. The steel roll bars mod, I think I have tungsten roll bars, so probably all set with that. Machine gunner book here, you can do 1% more damage per hit until you miss. HD dynamite, speaking my language there. And in this one, couple of books here, scrap all of those. Give me up the cards and all this experience bonuses and stuff. And otherwise, doesn't look like there's anything of any, re oh. HD time charges, nothing really special in here though. Okay, so the last thing for this episode will be to see how much experience we can get. We still have the 20% and the 30% experience cards active. Let's take down the last learning elixir that I have. Currently level 345. Let's see how many more levels we can get. Up to 371. <laughs> That's so cool. We have action skills in archery, athletics, axes, bladed weapons, thrown weapons, shotguns, rifles, and medicine and heavy armor. And reward point cards for one, two, three, and four. We have probably I don't know, a dozen or two of these. Okay, that's it for that. Whoops, I forgot to put my nerdy glasses back on after looting. Go, oh, damn it, crap. <laughs> well, while we have a little bit of a experience bonus left, let's grab up everything that's sellable here, including all that stupid ammo. We don't need any of that stuff. And jump into the sell box, give me as much of that as I can carry, sans the money. We don't need to bring that. We're gonna have plenty of that here in a second. And let's make a quick trader run. Whoop. Hang on, do we have awesome sauce and sugar butts? We have awesome sauce, do we have room for it? <laughs> Not really, just drink it now and we'll take it with us in the belly. Sugar butts as well, I'll meet you at the trader. Let's get that final little bit of experience here. Good morning, Jen. Amazing. Oh, she's got rewards like for reward. me too. Let's take whatever's the most valuable and a bundle reward right on top of that with basically nothing that we need here. How about melee mods and, oh my goodness, just terrible. Iron armor, I guess I can sell that. Quickly now, we gotta sell stuff before it all despawns.
All right, and that's all I'm willing to part with right there. I'm saving the tungsten armor because I'm going to put that on. I'll be back next week. So with that, we are up to level 390. I was wondering if we'd even crack 350 today. And look at us now, almost at 400. Not only that, but we've got money for just for days. We have unlimited money right now. Nothing should hold us back. And so now, I think our war effort is at its peak. This next week here... We're going to focus heavy on exploring the wasteland and finding out where the psychos are holding temp camp. And that's not hooked up anymore, so we're gonna pick it up and hop in the old-fashioned way. We'll also have to set aside some time to finish upgrading the base, getting it all painted, and preparing for one final horde. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. We've reached the turning point. The rogues are all but defeated, driven far into the northern deserts. And we turned back the biggest attack by the walkers yet, but they will return. And so now it's time to focus on the psychos. And to do that, we need more soldiers, intel on their base locations, and a faster mode of transportation. So the POD is to get the base back into operation, build a helicopter, then scout out the wasteland. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. All right, we've already lost half the day, so let's get to work here. The first thing I want to check in on is probably skill points. So let me just sit here for a couple of minutes and see what I can do. We've got 179 skill points, and basically, I think we should be able to unlock everything. So that's what I'm going to start doing. Okay, that's it. And most notably, I would say we've got this. This is the FN Scar, and it, even though it says it's an assault rifle in the description here, and it uses 5.56 rounds, I've learned, which I have uh, so a little bit of HP, 5.56 ammo here. Uh, it is a sniper rifle, and so that's what it sounds like, which I'm not a huge fan of. Do I have a silencer, maybe? I don't think so. I could probably craft one here. So there we go. We'll wait for that for just a minute. However, I did take all the skill points into rifles here, and there was another one for rifles over here. I also got the diamond mining tools. And we need a new pickaxe. I've had this stupid iron pickaxe for forever, so let's see if we can get some things crafted here. But we can't do the diamond-tipped axe because it requires 52 friggin' diamonds. Oh my goodness. I can't even get the regular pi tungsten pickaxe because we need more tungsten tool parts. Although I did take a point that said I could craft tool parts, I think. Well, apparently not the ones that require that let me build the tungsten ones. Wow, whatever. I guess we're not getting a new pickaxe. Okay, got the silencer on this now. Just check the sound. Yep, better. Come to think of it though, how about a full auto mod for that? Then it'll it'll basically be an assault rifle at that point, right? Take off the cripple and put on the full auto. All right, let's see what this looks like now. Okay, I can live with that, that's pretty good. I probably should also get the M60 and take that with me though. And honestly, I'm gonna just put the crowbar away. I don't even use it. I've got the damn auger now, so whatever. All right, we're all modded back up on this, even got the laser sight. Okay, so that's the loadout. We got rifle, machine gun, and shotgun, and melee. So we got the recipe for the tungsten bumper spikes, so I figured I'd make that. And we should be able to make a few of the HD blade traps. We only need five of them, and that will be instant. Very nice. And then that HD chain mod for the bat. Finally, we should have the recipe for the Hind helicopter. There's the Hind chassis. Wait, no. Do we want the Hind? Is the Hind... Oh, it's this one here. Yeah, that's like an attack helicopter. Yes, please. What's holding us back on the chassis, though? Oh, Kevlar. Can I make Kevlar? Yes. Need 50 of it. Okay, thank you. Hind chassis using 300 tungsten. Luckily, I have like 1,300 of it. Ooh, that's not taking too long at all. Significantly less time than the, the MRAP took, I think, right? Yeah, there's 20 seconds each. And then 256 for the helicopter itself. Also going to need HD wheels. Exactly four of those. Oh, that's going to take even longer than the helicopter itself. Great. Hind accessories, and that should do it for now. All right, I got that chain mod on this. Unfortunately, you cannot see it, but we'll just imagine it's there, I guess. <laughs> I got uh, some concrete shapes because we're going to we're gonna do a lot of, like, filling in down here. And I was thinking, well, uh, let me think about this for a second. What's the best way to go about this? Because I really want, at this point, to double layer this, like, two layers of steel floor. I could presumably just collapse this whole thing out. That would be a little bit of a waste of resources, I think, though. So let's try to avoid doing that, and then the rest down here, I think I'll just fill it in with topsoil, because I I think this is actually from me shooting. Like, if you think about it, when I was up here with the shotgun, 
shooting straight down like this, I, I'm the one that dug this big, big hole down here, which is just terrifying. So with that in mind, maybe let's just fill this in with cobblestone, just because that has a slightly more hit points, I guess. Right, we don't actually want to go the whole way down, though. We want to go right to here, and then I've got to, like, figure out a way to auger my way kind of underneath this block, and then we'll just, as we go along, we'll put some concrete blocks underneath it and oh that's gonna be just a pain to upgrade oh maybe i should just rip this whole thing out and we'll start all over again ah, i think that's probably what i want to do right now oh look a secret loot bag <laughs> that had glitched underneath here yep i'll take that and i do not need that stuff okay that should pretty much do it yeah yep that does it and there goes the rest of it okay <laughs> pretty devastating hopefully a whole horde of zombies doesn't show up around here Okay, we'll just drink some beer. I don't- I really don't need the ammo at this point. Get rid of that and just take my multivitamins. Okay, so these little divots right here. Fill those in with cobblestone. And then we're just gonna lay a nice smooth layer of concrete underneath all of this. And then I should have... I hope enough Portland concrete, quite honestly. It should be enough, I think. As long as we got the bottom up to Portland concrete, I think I'm good with that. You know what? While I'm kind of doing this, let's get some more steel made. How much can we do? 1,600. That uses all the clay. I, I finally used all the clay. That's kind of amazing, actually. All right, so yeah, we got to lay out that bottom layer first. I've run out of shapes already. <laughs> Great. Gonna buy some extra resources out of this. Why not? It's cheap. Okay, are we ready to do the hind? Yes, we are. Let's do it. And we should be able to drop the tungsten bumper, what is it? Yeah, the bumper spikes onto this. What is that even doing anyway? This uh, increases block and entity damage by 300%. That's pretty intense. Okay, repair, refuel, and that's good to go. All right, continue working down here then. And I think what I'll do is I'll upgrade it to Portland concrete up to about here. In fact, we'll go straight to steel up here. And then eventually we'll even go to tungsten up here, I think. And then I think the rest of this down here, we'll just, uh, we'll do this to regular concrete and then we'll do the extra layer on top. Okay, there we go, all set. Except we gotta do some patchwork probably. All right, so this is going up to Portland. Okay, that's the top layer in steel. Of course, we have the Portland concrete and regular concrete below that. And then this needs to go up to tungsten as well as these walls here. Yeah, these took a huge beating from the super demos there during Horde Night. Okay, so we'll just upgrade this as much as we can until we run out of resources. We didn't run out of resources. That's crazy. <laughs> I like it. What do we got left on the Portland stuff? Quite a bit. Let's do the top row too. Okay, that's it for the most important stuff. Now we've got to put back in the blade trap things. The little cylinders that we had those sitting on. And I'm kind of thinking here... Let's do something a little bit skinnier than what we were doing before. These one block pillars is what we had before because what happened down here is that the, the super demos, they got kind of stuck because they're very, very wide. They got big hips, you know, and they couldn't quite get through there. I think that was what go was going on. So let's try then the, like the half meter cylinder, basically just like this. We'll put the blade traps on top of these now. Is that correct there? One, two, three, four, five. We could put a sixth right there why not get my steel back out of here so i can use it again there we go we need another hd blade trap and i know just where to get it from yep right there <laughs> just a little bit faster well i mean i don't know probably not I, they're instantaneous to craft so but whatever here give me those blade traps and i would imagine they look about the same yes they do okay one six okay let's get them wired in this place doesn't look too friendly that's kind of the point cajun Whoa, these are 60 watts? Holy Toledo, that's a lot of power. In that case, my goodness, we're gonna need an HD generator. Wow, okay, excellent. I can just make it right off the bat there, instantaneously as well. And HD engine's gonna assume that it's gonna take six. We have only five, but I would imagine that they're putting off like an enormous amount of power. In fact, just save one. Oh, there's a whole bunch over here. Scratch that. Well, well, well. We need to sort out the power situation thingy again. Let's put, just put the generator over here, I guess. This is fine, right? Because that generator is going to go to this switch, which will go to the turrets and the electric fences. I wonder if there's an HD electric fence. I don't know. I'll have to look that up in a second here. So this will go to the blade traps, right? And then we can get these hooked up. Don't do this to me, game. 
Come on, it's not gonna reach the last one. So the last one will just have to be daisy chained off of that one. In fact, let's daisy chain it off of like one of the, this middle one here because I feel like these, this one's gonna break before that one breaks. So that kind of logically makes more sense to me. And let's put the generators in and see how much power we're gonna get off of this. Oh my goodness, that takes a lot, lot, lot of fuel. Probably burns a lot of fuel too. Okay, fill it up, turn it on and spin the traps up. That is a draw of 361 out of a max output of 750. Wow. In fact, I don't even think that we need that generator there anymore. So put that onto that. Turn this off. We only need one generator out here and it is just ever so slightly damaged. I don't need this thing. Go away. And so now at max capacity, we're at 442. We're only at half capacity there on those, on that, um, generator there that's nice okay pretty much figured I'd use whatever resources I have left out here okay and the last thing that I got here were these tungsten barbed wire fences and I'll put these in here and then lastly we gotta get the railings back in for the fire traps oh boy just uh, doing some upgrades here got a little bit of a wandering horde coming in hello everybody stand no chance in fact come on in here we'll use the blade traps fire them up that is, if you can even make it here with all the soldiers shooting at you. Yeah, uh, not a good chance for that. Got a bear, maybe that that could be a good test here. He's pretty wide-bodied too, see if he can squeak up in here. Whoop! <laughs> oh my god, that was pretty fast. I guess it works. And 5,000 hit points looks like on this, which is, I, is that double? I think that's double what it has on the original one. Okay, that's certainly enough base building for one day. I would like to now... Do a little bit of exploration throughout the rest of the night. So let me get my stuff put away and we'll head out. Oh my, starving to death a little bit. <laughs> I think I have some... I picked up a food bundle there a couple of days ago. What did I get there? Gumbo stew, nice. And I think... I, I read... I took some kind of a skill point that said like food gives you double the amount of food or something like that. It looks like I have 40 food rolling in. So, I don't, I don't know, I'm getting more food from my food, I guess, or something like that. And also, I think it was more drinks from my drinks. Let's just take a quick peek at that. Oh, also, I figured out the gambling thing. Someone told me that there's some kind of a token, a casino game token. Okay, I can just make one of those right now, I guess. And they said, you just do something like this. Aha! I gambled, and what did I get? I got a casino game bundle, which I opened up for 767 dukes. Um, wait a minute, how many did it cost? It cost me 500, so right. So I guess there's like maybe a 50-50 chance that you're gonna get less or more tokens than what you put into it. Let's try this time. And that's gonna give me 928, so this is actually quite profitable. And that also gives you a bunch of experience when you craft out these casino game tokens. Let's try it one more time here. 112. Okay, so I, I definitely lost out on that one. That's pretty cool though. Anyway, we were talking about the skill points. That, yeah, because once you get into like the really, really high levels, there's these ones down here. There was the... Okay, a sellable vending machine. I don't know what that is, but there was like greater health, greater food and drink. So increases max food. Okay, so you're not getting more bang for your buck. You're just getting higher maximum. So we're at, wow, that's like a lot of food right there, actually. We need to eat some more. We had greater health, greater stamina, and also greater speed. It looks like to fully unlock this, you need 475. Which I think by the end of the next horde, we'll probably have that. All right, one more little bundle of food for the road and let's get out of here. Is this working now? Not working, not working because I didn't hook it back up. Crap, off of that, onto that, should be working now. Don't need that anymore. And before I leave though, top off on money. I don't want to be flat broke rolling around outside lest I run into a bunch of soldiers I might want to hire and not be able to. And in case we do find some soldiers, let's take the good ride here. I've got the motorcycle in the inventory anyway. If we um, end up losing this, I just figured it would be good to have a backup. Let me out. Thank you. Let's also maybe head to the traders and see if they have any college friggin' jackets. <laughs> or batter up books for that matter. Oh, we can test out the new spikes. Did I kill her? I did not. She's getting back up again. So not enough power to kill zombies, but doing more damage at least. Hello everyone. Just a quick check up here to see if you have anything good for me. Nope. They got nothing here. Big fat waste of time. Well, from here, where do we go from here? Arlene, get off the 
spiky bumper, please. There we go. From here, we will go to that trader. The one up into the snow biome. The snow biome has pretty much been conquered at this point. I think we dealt such a crippling blow to the rogues that they would have probably retreated out of the region. And perhaps they will probably make a new home for themselves much, much further to the north where I hear there's a, a big desert. So basically you just have to worry mostly about the, the psychos at this point. The, the whisperers are still out and about, but uh, you know, the whisperers really, we've surpassed them so much technologically uh, that they're really probably not gonna pose much of a threat. We might encounter them here and there, but I don't think they'll be waging any sort of large scale attacks anymore. All right, fingers crossed that we can stumble on some soldiers out here too. There should be some more soldiers around here now that the threat level from the, the enemies is much lower. Whoa, vehicle rollover. Ah, we saved it. Oh, just clip that bear right in the face. I wonder how much damage I did to him. Okay, that's an auto shotgun. I think that would probably mean that that's a whisperer, but I gotta double check. Yep, whisperer. Nope, oh, take that. The kill you right outside your own tent. Well, that did like no damage to him at all. It's freaking tungsten bumper spikes are, are a scam. Okay, we made it pretty much fully through the forest biome here. Didn't see any soldiers, not that it's easy to see them anyway, probably much easier to see them out here in the snow biome. Plus we got increased threats here in the snow biome, so if any of them had a firearm, we'd probably be able to hear them. They'd be shooting mountain lions and wolves and stuff like that. Okay, but we got nothing so far. We'll stop here at the trader. Got a loot bag out here anyway, and um, see if they have any good books for sale here. Not much there, experience card, just take that now. Howdy. What's up, Joel? Much well, he did in fact have a lot for sale. Got a lucky looter book for more food and loot and also 10% more damage against coyotes from that hunter's journal there. Oh, and that was everything for one of those series. Not really too big of a deal and probably not gonna have much from Billy Bob here. Got some Portland concrete mix, which uh, again, yeah, well, yeah, go ahead and take that. Why not? Kind of forgot I was gonna set the forges to make some more of that for me. And we've got nothing from Dr. Jen either. Oh, All right, where are we going from here? I think I would like to, from here, see where this road is going. Is this road gonna go to maybe another city? Or perhaps also we should push to the north. I'm not really exactly sure. Let's kinda just wing it. Oh, we got gunfire over here. We'll check and see if that was a soldier. Yes, it is. With attack assault rifle. What is up, my man? Who do we got here? Damon? Damon again? <laughs> what the heck, man? All right, buddy, Damon, <laughs> you, he, Damon has like the ultimate curse of just not being able to die, coming back from the dead, and then he even comes back from the dead when he's not dead. Hey, I'll take it. I need all the soldiers I can get, dead or alive. Well, I should say undead or alive. All right, I did indeed find a new city out here. All I really want to do is, well, we could see if there's like a high school here or something. Anything that I think would maybe have books in it. Oh, okay, we got a trader here. We can check that immediately. Yeah, just more of like an exploration mission here. Another Joel, what's up, man? Nope, he's got nothing for me. Billy Bob's got some resources and Jay has nothing. Okay, let's get out of here. This place sucks. Yeah, we are like way, way, whoa. We are like not even close to the edge of the map actually. Let's probably push north from here and then east. Unless there's something that really tickles my fancy in this town. Like a crack a book? Hell yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna blaze through here and check the bookshelves. Looking for that batter up book still. All right, nothing so far. Who's in here? Just die. Get away from my books. Oh yeah, this works good. Oh, look at all these things we've already read. It's getting to the point where it's just painful. That we, the, one of the more common items that we usually find so quickly and I haven't found it yet. I can't find it. Where is it? <laughs> just, oh, miserable. Check the main stash, although I guarantee it's not gonna be in here either. Nope. Okay, moving on then. Somebody started a fire out here, great. Let's go, buddy. All right, we continue the plan of pressing north and then pressing east, and we'll find our way to the northern stretches of the wasteland. Okay, here we go. We're coming up on the wasteland here. There's that massive mountain range up ahead that kind of blocks our ability to get around. Luckily, we've cleared out the snow biome, so now we can sort of like flank the enemy. They're not, probably not gonna be expecting us to kind of attack from this direction. And oh, look at this, there's another city up here. So I'll definitely kind of poke through this town here and see if I can find a trader. Can I just plow through these fences now with the super bumper spikes? Yeah, pretty much. I can even <laughs> ramp over those barriers, nice. Nope, oh, SMG fire. Who's that? 
Could be someone in the wasteland. Honestly, it might be a psycho, but I'll check on it anyway. Yep. Oh, no, that's a soldier. Get these cats out of here. <laughs> oh, hold on, buddy. I'll save you. Oh, my good. Oh, no, I thought we had two soldiers there, but... Ooh, Anersh. What's up, man? You're definitely hired. Let's go, bud. Oh, my God. Get these guys out of here. Nice. We're up to two. Okay, and we are at the wasteland. We'll check on this. And I also saw that we're near the desert, which is right, right straight through there. Kind of hard to see. It's pretty far away. So yeah, this is like the furthest frontier right here. So once I find the traitor, got another soldier here? Who is that? Swing this thing around. Yo, my goodness, is it another one? Is there another soldier over there? What the heck? We've stumbled upon a whole squad. I think anyway, where did this soldier go with the AK? Hello? Crap, I lost him. Get these freaking trees out of here. There he is. Oh my god, he's wandering into the wasteland all alone, buddy. No, 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 no. None of that. Come over here before we lose the other guy. Who is this? Ah, Sardaukarul is your name, and I'm gonna nickname you Sard. Because it's a little bit easier for me to say. Anersh, Damon, and Sard. Let's go find whoever was shooting. I thought I heard a desert vulture going off in this direction here. Just keep your eyes peeled. Also, they were shooting probably at a zombie, so if I found a dead zombie, that might clue us in a little bit. Have any of you zombies seen a soldier around here that might have been shooting at you? Maybe, maybe not? Oh, now I feel bad. There's just gonna be one lonely soldier out here. <laughs> I, I've hired and kidnapped the whole squad and left one behind. Nope, nope, unfortunately, unable to track down who that was. Let's maybe dip into the desert here and skirt the border of the wasteland and then kind of find a road and then attack in from that direction. We have basically no intel on the desert biome here, so it'd be interesting to kind of see what's going on. And also be interesting to see how the MRAP does in the wasteland. Oh yeah, just rolls right over everything. No problem. Okay, as far as I suspect though, this is definitely, we're back into heavy rogue territory. Whoop! I just heard a rocket go off. That is never ever a good sign. Oh yes, going off right over there. <laughs> Friend or foe, not a good sign. Okay, let's see if I can just he, oh, yep, yep, that's a, uh, that's a rogue there. Whoa! Ho, ho, buddy! Well, we've got cover behind this wall here. Take that guy out. Okay, I think Rocket Man is down. Okay, that's all I wanted to do. Let's leave. All right, we missed the traitor in that town, but perhaps we can find the traitor for this town while we're right here. This is a huge city, actually, not even a town. And there's another one way up ahead there. My goodness, we've just found a whole unexplored area of the map. Honestly, probably now is not the day to explore it either. I wanna get back into the wasteland. First of all, to do some looting. Second of all, to do some scouting. Once we get the helicopter later on tonight, tomorrow, then that's when we could probably come up here and get a kind of bird's eye view of what's going on. And this is not a desert city either. This is, we're entering straight into a wasteland city. Fan friggin' tastic. Jeez, no idea where we are either. Oh man. Yeah, let's just try to link back up here. Uh oh, we've got gunfire. That is, um, that's a psycho. Definitely. Okay, keep pushing. Oh, another one over there. Yes, yeah, psychos everywhere here. Psycho city, so we're not gonna stop for too long. Wouldn't mind just stopping at a, a crack a book or, ooh, a laundromat. Oh yes, let's just take out that laundromat real fast. See if there's any, uh, washers and dryers or something in there. Yep. Okay, got lots of gunfire around us though. Definitely psychos in the region. Okay now guys, cover me. Sard, kill them please. There we go. Door unlocked and... Yeah, I think we're... Are we being attacked or is that just a psycho that's attacking zombies? Appears to be the ladder. Ow. Would you stop that? Oh my goodness, there's zombies everywhere. Okay, zombies are down. Psycho is also down. Take that one out. Okay, and follow me into the laundromat. Ooh, look at the washers and dryers. Unfortunately, they're like 90% broken though. Oh my God, there it is, the college jacket. I finally got it. Wow, and just some freaking hamper over there. Holy crap, man, what an ordeal it was to get this. Modify, I just noticed I don't actually have the double pocket mod onto that, so hopefully I'll remember to do that. And finally, we can take a look at the character and I'm wearing green heavy armor that needs to be dyed, okay? Note to self, we'll get some dye later on, or I could just take it off of anything here, really. I'll do that later. For now, wow, what a good find there. Let's continue exploring here. There must be something fun we can raid. 
You should probably look both ways before you cross the road there, bud. Whoa, that was definitely a wandering horde. Oh, yes. Let's do battle here. Nice. Ooh, sniper kill on that cop there. One shot, one kill. Another one for our lead. Ooh, bubbles. Really stingy about what I pick up in the loot now. Just eat up, drink that mossy brew, my absolute favorite. And let's continue moving. And the longer we stay in one spot, the more attention we attract to ourselves. Holy crap, getting attacked there. Yep, just run him down. Boom. Holy crap, what the frick is that? Oh my god, what are the psychos doing over here with all these gigantic monsters? <laughs> I think Damon just is charging after him. He is the Demon Slayer after all. All right, we don't want that guy lurking around here and Damon is pretty much half dead. In terms of this city, it looks like there's another neighboring city straight ahead here. Got a psycho over here too. Let's test the off-road capabilities of the MRAP here and see if we can push into this neighboring town. Pretty easy here. No problem at all. I love this thing. It's my favorite vehicle ever. It gets a little squirrely though, honestly. Yeah. Okay, yep. We're at the city here and there's another one right over there. So that's our next stop. I'm just gonna kind of get this registered on the map so we get a good lay of the land for when we're coming up with a plan with the helicopter later on. Oh my goodness. Someone launched a rocket over here. Probably a psycho, honestly. I will check on it. Yep. Ooh, it's a psycho brute. Take him out. Ah, <laughs> buddy. Take that. Whoa, he got off a death rocket. Fortunately, didn't hurt anybody. Whoa! Speaking of hurt people though. Oh my goodness! Another one way, way up there. Yep, got at least a hit in, or maybe two. There we go. Yeah, I like having the sniper rifle for sure. There's someone else over here with the sniper rifle. There she is. Got her. Okay, we woke up a ton of zombies there. We don't want any of that. Back in the vehicle, guys. Okay, lots of mountain ranges here. We've got a big one over here to the north, northeast, and another one over there to the south. And if I remember my geography right, there should be a big ocean over here to the east. We'll kind of sort that out when we get the helicopter. More psychos in the region here. Yep, let's press south now and link back up with the previously explored regions here in the wasteland. All right, here we are. We're linking back up to known territory now. We've been in this area here. There was this psycho base off to the side there. We've kind of liberated that, so to speak, i.e. burned it to the ground. And I'm gonna park it right here because there's something that kind of intrigues me here and it says, find it. Does that mean there's something underground here that I need to look for? Ah, uh, oh yeah, yep, yep, of course there is. All right, nice and easy here, guys. I, it's like really jittery here right now. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people in here. Well, if I gotta kick things off, it's gonna be with a bang here. Yep, here they come. Okay, so far, not terribly bad. Whoa, crawlers. The soldiers have gone topside, I guess, to guard the area. Okay, whoop, just trying to jump up here without catching myself on fire. Ow, ooh, I'm stuck on barbed wire and everything now. Crap, tell me there's something I can do about that. <laughs> Smear the chili dog on your face. It just says, find it again here. So I guess I'll keep looking. The Mortifer, hmm, I don't know what that is. Oh, it's nothing, I guess. Hello, nope, just dead end, and then find it again. Is there like gonna be a secret passage? Is that what I'm looking for here? Find it, and that is, is that a clue? What is going on here? There's a, is this steel as well? Oh my God, it is steel. Oh, ooh, there we go, I found it. Oh, these are just like straight up unlocked, like right where they are. And that was the last in the Pistol Pete series. This is also just open and unlocked, which is fascinating, I guess. <laughs> kind of strange. Uh, it just, I'll take the, I don't know, not really taking much for loot these days. And there's, oh my goodness, a legendary auger sitting in this, what is this, a legendary treasure chest. Wow, hidden stash here, a drone for selling, some skill points for reading. Not that I really need them. How's that new auger gonna be doing? Well, believe it or not, it's uh, it's not better than the tungsten auger that I have, which is um, hmm, 
Interesting. Or wait. Oh, no, 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 no. The legendary auger has way more attacks per minute, which is what's going to give that a big boost. Pretty cool. Let's test it out. Whoa, look at the attack speed on that. Nice. You watch, I'm going to get that batter up book next, too. After waiting all this time, it'll be right here. Okay. Good. Fortunately, it was not. Does that mean there's another one of these down here somewhere? Oh, indeed there is. I'm gonna check the bookshelves, but uh, there has been some sentiment amongst you all, and it's, it's starting to get to me too, that there is just an abundance of free loot that you don't even really have to work for in this mod. Yeah, I'll just I'll, I'll check and see what's down here just so that we have a look at it, but I'm not really gonna take any of it with me at this point. Oh, and it, unfortunately, I'm... Spoke too soon there, because there's the legendary pickaxe, and I do want that. What's that look like anyway? Oh, just like a regular pickaxe. Man, that's pretty strong too. All right, back topside. Man, the frame rate is hurting right now. I'll be honest with you, I had to reload because we were getting some lag, and whoa, bear. Yep, suddenly we've got a couple of extra soldiers with us. Well, who, who's new to the team here? Mark Prairie and Hey101 have joined us. <laughs> Welcome, gentlemen. Right, well, we're heading back anyway, so here's the deal. Let's, uh, we fully explored, well, we haven't fully, but we've uncovered four full cities here in the wasteland. Now that we know where they are, I think we could probably get a better kind of scouting, a lay of the land from the sky. And plus we have the desert cities that we can kind of fly by and scout out a little bit more as well. Not to mention the new snow biome city over here. So probably the last thing left to do today is to head back over here to the road and then head south and we'll kind of explore through the temperate forest for some more soldiers on our way back home. All kinds of gunfire up here ahead. Whoa, huge squad of psychos. Just run them down. Straight into this building. Bail out. All right, boys. Kill, kill, kill. Get the explosives. Get the explosives. Oh, they're too far away on the hot bar right now. Eat that. <laughs> yes. All right, they have um, not the greatest weapons. Okay. Maybe don't run halfway across the freaking street over there. Whoa! Rocket! Whoa! Psycho Brute with a rocket launcher! Ah, kill, kill, kill! Got him. All right, how we doing? Hey, 101 is probably going to die right now again. Oh my god, this POI is filled with zombies and psychos. Whoa, man. I will hold him off. Hey, 101, get that man a bandage. Hey, 101 has died. No! Oh my god, they're just, they're pouring out of this building here. Wow. Oh my god. So many of them. Alaria, keep me topped off, please. Everybody else, stay behind me. Don't stop hitting the freaking MRAP there, please. Oh, they're still dropping in here. Oh, a whole bunch of them. Wow. Okay, dead. Whoa, another rocket. Oh my god, someone died. Oh my god, we're all on fire. Everybody out, tactical retreat for just a second here. All right, I wonder if that puts them out from being on fire if we just enter into the MRAP. Nope, it doesn't, but I think we're gonna be okay here. What the heck are all of you guys doing here right now? Oh my God, we've got a woman upstairs. Quickly, rush the stairs. There's somebody here. Ah, right there, z -bark. What the heck are you doing here? Yes, come with me. All right, I don't like the looks of this place. Everybody, let's get out of here. We've already lost two soldiers. There could be freaking hundreds more psychos here. I have no idea. Let's go. Into the MRAP and out of here. We'll debrief on the way home. Oh my God, another rocket launcher there. Look out. Come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my God, just got out of there in time. Wow. Oh, the psychos are just on the war path right now. All right, looks like we are relatively in the clear here. That's the road down to the first psycho base that we destroyed. Z-Bark, tell me everything. All right, according to Z-Bark, she was a refugee from a nearby White River settlement. The settlement was overrun by psychos. Z-Bark was able to escape with her life. However, many of her comrades were captured by the psychos. The only difference is that she was able to follow them to a nearby compound, and she's marked it on our map. She said roughly 3,500 east, 2,500 north. So we'll mark this 
as a psycho base. And if that's where they're holding her people, it might be where they're holding ours. And now that we have the helicopter, it'll be a perfect opportunity to get a flyby over there, maybe even drop in for a super stealth mission to see if we can recover the prisoners and escape quickly. All right, so now that we're out of the dreaded wasteland, we should have an opportunity to maybe recruit some more soldiers. I was not expecting to lose soldiers right there, so I'm glad we still have who we have, but we gotta look for some more. According to Zbark, the location where they're holding the prisoners, it's not the main Psycho headquarters. There's still yet another massive mega base out there that's like the headquarters, the capital for the Psycho activity in this entire region. And so there's a possibility that while we're doing the rescue raid, we can also look for any documents or maps that might indicate where their main base is. Because even if we can get Temcam back, at this point, it's personal. I'm ready to wipe the Psychos off the face of the earth. Oh my goodness. Oh, right there, we got a soldier. I just caught a glimpse of his little face <laughs> in the headlights there. Who do we got? Oh, Vexed Devlin. Interested in hiring you, 3,500. How much money do I even have left? Ooh, probably not enough to hire someone. Let's go to the trader real fast maybe and see if we can sell some stuff for some dukes. Should be a trader actually kind of on the whole other side of the town here. Nope, we're probably closer just to go to this one here then. Ah, you know what? On second thought, I've got the soldiers with me. I don't want that to become a big issue. So let's just forego any further recruiting tonight and head home. All right, here we are. Home sweet home. Let's bring it in. Man, the MRAP has taken quite a beating today, but it's serving us very, very well. So the new soldiers here are Anarch, Sard, Zbark, Vexed Devlin. We lost Damon again, but, you know, we already have another Damon, so... So no real net change there. We lost Hey 101. So what I'm gonna do now is I'll probably try to get these soldiers positioned up somewhere and I'll see if I can maybe start doing some painting tonight and uh, just probably do a little bit of busy work around the base with forges and stuff like that. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Prepare for combat. Bring on the hard stuff. After rescuing Zbark from her psycho pursuers, she shared valuable intel on where the psychos are holding a group of prisoners. So the POD is to spend the daylight hours getting ready. We'll need top tier weapons and explosives for this battle. Then, under the cover of darkness, Zbark will fly us to the psycho settlement where we'll recover the prisoners and fight our way out to the Xfil location. You watch my back and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. All right, we have a pretty busy day ahead of us. You ready for this Zbark Cajun? Damon, Damon the Demon Slayer. All right, so let's see what we have to do first today. So we have basically the whole day ahead of us. I wanna do a big night raid tonight, but uh, we need to get the helicopter down first and foremost, I think, just at least see what that looks like. I think it should be right there. All right, whoa, this is a chonking helicopter. I don't know if we can land this inside or not. Let's try, oh man. <laughs> let's, let's try, whoa. Yeah, oh, get some fuel for it. Probably takes a lot. I don't know that we need any mods for this. We'll kind of check and see how fast it goes. All right, she's all topped off. Wow, 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 this is big. Oh, and it's instantly stuck. Wow, okay, this is not a VTOL then. Unless, oh no, it is. Okay, I just gotta get the controls right. There we go. Okay, the controls are a little bit different. So it looks like forward is just forward and spacebar is elevation which is honestly that those are much much better controls i really like this okay so we might need to do a little bit of renovation then to get the rooftop cleared off all that's up there right now wait is the sea gonna bring me straight down it does look like that yeah we might have to clear off it's like the solar panel and um there's actually the lights those kind of might be in the way but we'll see how it performs on landing i guess it's um there's no like pitch forward pitch backward it seems like and there's like just forward and backward so it's a little bit counterintuitive and then once you get some forward momentum it's really hard to correct it yeah i don't know i mean this kind of flies a lot more like an airplane than a helicopter so so maybe just parking it in the road is probably the most ideal thing to do yeah yeah we'll park it in the road and then we'll just hope that the soldiers can <laughs> cover it so that if any whispers come by see i'm having a really hard time at this point getting it down come on no oh, look out guys ah there yeah, that's close enough okay not very maneuverable but it's fast it's got a lot of hit points and it will hold a lot of soldiers if we need to take them with us for the big raid tonight i don't think i'll bring any soldiers with us it's just going to be a solo mission 
I think it's just easier to infill and exfill alone, and I'll take, have the prisoners with me, hopefully, on the way back out. In terms of last night, I did get some painting done. Uh, I got the barracks done in this, like, fabric color because it, uh, I think it just fits it a little bit more. And then I also got the towers finished because there's a lot of, like, intricate painting, so I just wanted to get that out of the way. And I think all that's really left is the the main hall here, and then all of this stuff here on the side. And did I get the interior of the chow hall yet? Not really, gotta work on this. Speaking of, I think I was in here last night making some dough. So I got some dough, and I think you can use that to make bread or apple pie, apparently. <laughs> nice, that takes a lot of dough though. If I had it all to do over again, I might focus a little bit more on farming. Cause look at this, you got like, Okay, flour, cocoa beans, you can make chocolate cookies and cake and all kinds of good stuff. Fruit pie, roast beef dinner, but look at the recipes here. I mean, that, that nine corn for that? I mean, is it really worth it? Like, what's, what's it doing? Turkey dinner here. Let's just check the description on that, or can I see the stats on it, or... Not, not unless I have it, probably. Yeah, well, I don't think we have the capacity to, like, expand the- Whoops! Expand the garden too much. Okay, so I, I've sort of, I think, pieced it together a little bit. I do want to be able to make a bacon and mushroom sandwich. That's, like, my one goal. We'll try to get that. But I need more wheat to make flour. I used all the wheat to make uh, dough, no, unfortunately. Or maybe I made flour and then I made dough. I have no idea. But it's, it's a pretty complex process here. I'll just take the gumbo stew. How's that sound? <laughs> <laughs> when I need it. And uh, we'll take down a drink here before we get started. Okay, toss that down. Oh, there's one more thing I wanted to craft before we head out today. Well, there's actually two things. One was the investment bank. So I'll make one of those. That was fast. And we'll set it down there, I guess. And then I've been told that if I take dukes, I can deposit them into the bank. And so now it says gaining interest. Also, that gave me like 25,000 experience. Okay, wait, ready to withdraw. And uh, how much did it cost to do that? Let's try it again. It costs 200, I get 24,400 experience, and then I get back out like a randomized amount. So, okay, we just keep doing this and getting money and... <laughs> the the author of the mod, Dwalord, he must, um. He must have just played the game and said, you know what? You know what this game's really missing? A bunch of free loot, free money, and free experience. That's what this game is missing. Let's make War of the Walkers. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Might just check though. I've been buying a lot of my materials out of this lately. So yeah, just give me all the materials here. Whoa, tungsten plating. Do we need that? Well, we got nothing else to spend our money on and we need the tungsten to, we need all the tungsten basically. So get that too. We need the tungsten to uh, to do the thing over there, the trench. We want to make this all out of tungsten because that's the only area that's really liable to get blown up by the super demos. While I'm at it, let's just get more tungsten or what do I get? I need tungsten plates, I guess. We can't make the tungsten, we can't make the plates. Do the plates get made over here? Nope, I have no idea where the plates get made. What do I do here? Tungsten plating. Oh, not plates, it's plating. And that is the builder's workstation, I guess. There it is. How long is this gonna take, anyway? Wow, all day. Okay, well, better get started on it now, then. Okay, the last thing was that UMP. UMP 45, and that's gonna take duct tape and a bunch of machine gun parts. Bunch more duct tape there. Not enough, though. Can't make any more. Can't make any more glue because I don't have the murky water. Here we go. Need the jars. So we'll work on the jars and then I think that'll do it. 233 using all the sand. Let's do it. Get this crap over with. My least favorite thing, worrying about water. Gonna love Alpha 21. Okay, so the two things I really need today, I need more flowers for paint and we need more tungsten for tungsten plates. And I think the place to get all that stuff is just here in the fields. So what we'll do, as a way of also like looking for soldiers to recruit, we'll just kind of drive through here. And I'm looking for, first of all, a good patch of flowers so I can get the chrysanthemums. And secondly, those big, these things over here, these like pyramid things. Because these are like right full of good stuff, like tungsten and um, gold and diamonds and all kinds of good stuff. So basically, I'm just gonna rip through like a dozen or so of these while I'm picking flowers and see what we can get out of here. There's also things like oil shale in here, nitrate, copper, all kinds of just weird stuff in these. Might as well pick up some clay, too, while I'm at it. Oh, crap. Look who we got here. We got a bunch of psychos. Whoa! Watch out for the rockets. And I'm not sure are they shooting zombies. Oh, we got a screamer party as well. Wow. It's gonna be fun. 
Take care of her first. Oh, jeez. Whoa! Oh, look out. Two down. Stay down, buddy. I like how his head just flattens out when you shoot it off. <laughs> Any more? Oh, definitely more of you. Was that just you over here? Pretty weak attack here. We'll definitely get our payback later on tonight. Oh, ow. Nice. Whole bunch more over here. My goodness, they, they really get all scattered out, don't they? Ooh, that was a good headshot there. And another one. You know, this rifle ain't half bad. Whoa, holy crap, man. Get back. Kill her before she gets up, because they kind of, they sometimes shoot right as they're about to get up. All right, well, where was I here? Oh boy, we got a soldier right here too. Hello there. What do you got? Got a machete. Yeah. Candrus 08. Welcome to the team, Candrus. Thousand Dukes. <laughs> All right. All right. Next. did pick up several chrysanthemums along the way back and of course we've got Kendris, so we're plus one on the the roster now all right let's get in here get our stuff put away and organized get these jars out fill them up with water make the glue make the new weapon and get ready for the raid what the hell was that was that like a fish or something holy crap that scared me <laughs> it sounded like a bullet crack honestly there's the glue not sure if that's going to be enough though for the duct tape Let's try this. Nine seconds on that. Okay, that's all done. How about that UMP? Oh, we need the machine gun parts. We do have enough duct tape though, that's good. Hmm, machine gun parts. Now, if I recall, the tool workstation, I can make those, right? Yes, and it requires materials that we seemingly have, although the duct tape is really only the only thing that's holding me back there. Craft the six, because I need that 70 duct tape. What's that put us at now? Yeah, we need like seven more machine gun parts. Is there any machine gun in here that I can scrap? The P90. I don't think we need the P90. Can I scrap that? Is that a machine gun, by the way? That is. That's gonna give me 12 too. So that should be everything that we need for that UMP. Um, We're still, we're not short on any material. Oh, the tool and die set. I think I have one of those over here. Yep, so toss that in, and UMP seven minutes, which is perfect timing, really. Okay, let's sort the inventory, because I got a lot of stuff there. Holy crap, look at the iron, the scrap tungsten, the stone, tungsten fragments. What are these? Zinc fragments. Wow, bunch of junk there. Got the geodes, those sometimes have, I don't know what that was, magnetite. I don't know what that is. Is that even real? And a bunch of clay. Okay, start putting that stuff away. Look at the gold, 255 gold, wow. And then if there's anything there that I need to recycle into component parts, I'll start getting that done over here. And then whatever tungsten I did get, I can turn that into forged tungsten. Gonna take a few minutes. Honestly, not too bad though. Did those tungsten plates come across? Where did those, yeah, over here. Working on him, another 40 minutes on that. Hey, watch this. <laughs> I'm gonna make 10,000 gunpowder. Whoa, it's kinda hard on the ears. Okay, let's just let that cook for a while. All right, there it is, the UMP 45. What's the damage on this? 117, which I believe is far better than the M60 there. Yeah, 69.9, so oh my god, almost doubling the ranged damage, plus the, the rounds per minute's a lot higher too, but the magazine size quite a bit lower. I'm pretty much okay with that, and it's gonna be using the 45 ACP. I have some hollow points. I was kind of wondering, I think hollow points probably okay, but yep, yeah, there's some armor piercing there, there's some regular there. I'm making the gunpowder though, so we'll be able to make some more ammo a little bit later. And for now, I think we'll just roll, I think we've got, what is this, the HP 556 as well. 
And then we've got the regular 20 gauge shotgun rounds. Okay, I feel like we're almost ready here. Just get some mods onto this. Okay, there's the loadout for this. It's best I could do. I could put a sight on it, but I think I just would rather have the iron sights for close quarters. All right, here it is. We've got the shotgun. We've got the rifle. We've got the UMP submachine gun, which is actually a machine gun. So it's good because we're all specced into that kind of stuff. I've got some time charges in case we need to breach anything, some dynamite, some contact grenades, I got the trauma bandages, I've got the night vision, I've got recog, fort bites, oh shit drops, and atom junkies. All right, looks like uh, the storm is lifting. It's been storming out here for a couple of hours. Let's grab up Z-Bark and head to the helicopter, which I parked right over here. And before I leave though, I might just grab a quick bite to eat so we don't have to worry about that. All right, Z-Bark, come with me. All right, we're in. Let's try to get this thing off the ground. No problem. Well, very few problems at least. We just push the tail rotor into a wooden house. What could go wrong? Okay, so from here, we are pushing due north. I'm gonna actually push really, really far to the north too, into the desert biome. Let's take a quick peek at the map here. Yep, the desert biome. We wanna go way, actually, where is the psycho base? There it is right there. Let's try to push up here somewhere for like a staging area and then we'll consume all the power-ups. Z-Bark and I will trade seats, and then we'll go in for the mission. Okay, we're just passing into the desert here, and I just passed by a land crawler. I don't know if you can see it right there, but that definitely looks, looks to be kind of like broken down right now, but that would probably be some psycho technology if I had to guess for myself. There's also a base right there that I can clearly see, and there's an airfield just beyond that, those two roads right over there, which I would imagine are also psycho-controlled areas, but those are not the targets for today. Our target is directly due east from where we are now, which means that compound there on the horizon is right where we're going. Okay. Ooh, it's got a light on it, too. I didn't even realize that. Whoa, 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 that's a rogue. Rogue attacking. Here, just jump out and spider over there as well. Yikes. Okay, get it. Whoa! With an auto shotgun too. Wow, get out of here. Gotta pick your battles a little bit more carefully. Take care of that guy. Just take out the zombies while I'm at it. All right, we're good. All right, Z-Bark, you hop in the helicopter there. Good, and I'll start sucking down the power-ups. Need fork bites, recog, the oh shits drops, and an atom junkies to help kick things off. Slap on the night vision goggles. Lights out, let's go. Okay guys, here's the plan. We're gonna fly directly to the Psycho Compound. I am going to, actually, let's get a little bit lower elevation here and uh, let's see if we can stir up some zombies on the way in. That way they should, uh, if we can stir up a bunch of rads to attack the compound while we're attacking, that'll hopefully distract like half of the Psycho Force. I'm sure they try to do things nice and quietly if they can at night so to not attract too much attention out here. Anyway, I will jump onto the rooftop Z-Bark, you, why don't you push to that road over there to the, like, the southeast, east area where that road junction is, and I will grab the prisoners, I will grab whatever intel I can find, I will haul them through the woods, and I'll meet up with you there. If I'm not there in the next five minutes, then just leave without me. Don't try to be a hero, okay? We're making lots of noise here, we're stirring up lots of rads, hopefully, I'm sure. This is it right here, we're almost there. Get ready! Wait for it, wait for it, and drop. There we go, okay. Z-Bark, I'll meet you at the road, hopefully. Okay, a little bit of gunfire here already. Let's turn the night vision on and get prepared for the assault. Sneak down, I don't want anyone to know that I'm here. All right, before we head in, let's take a little bit of blackberry juice to top off on the hydration. A little bit of gunfire. Not sure what that's all about, but I'm ready to get started here. Okay, we're gonna blast our way into this building here or through the rooftop, whichever comes first, and then we will head down from there. Okay, give me the good new weapon out, and let's go! All right, what do we got down here? Any intel? Doesn't look like the type of room here. This is more of like a lounge area. They've gotta know that I'm here now. There we go! We got psychos! Kill them all! Okay, reload, close that door. Level up. Here we go. We got more. Lined right up for me. Perfect. Anybody in here? There we go. Oh my goodness. Look at them all in here. Take them out. Nice. Stand no chance for my new technology weapons. Whoa! Rocket! Quickly now. Put this fire out. Don't want any fires in here. It's gonna be hard enough as it is, <laughs> let alone being on fire. Oh. Thank you, Alaria. 
while I'm at it, just put a trauma first aid kit into me. Okay, going door to door here. Look out, reload, and continue killing. Okay, here we go. Nothing in this room here. Okay, we're down to the next level then. Just quickly lock and load. We'll use the assault rifle here for just a second. There we go. Several off in the distance there, but they don't quite have the aim, I don't think, at this range. Okay, that group is down. We've got lots of gunfire outside. Also, a rocket launcher soldiers. Whoa, here we go. Okay, time for some close quarters combat, I think. And some arrows as well. Here we go. That's more like it. Take him out. Take you out. All right, oh, here it is, the intel room. Give me all the intel here. There's gotta be maps in here somewhere. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Once we get this, we're on to the prison. If we can find it. Okay, do I need to search these rooms? That's like a spa in there. I don't need to go in there. That's where they're keeping all their beer and stuff or whatever the freak they're drinking around here. Oh, there we go. Down to the ground level here. Whoa, lots of contact. Look out. There we go. All right, take you out. You're dead, right? Yes, you're dead, but your buddy's over there. We should hide behind this couch a little bit. Okay, is there anybody else down here? I think we're clear. Where is the basement? Extra fire extinguisher there if we need it. Okay, let's push outside. Whoa, freaking attack boar. Must be one of their pets. Lots of gunfire outside still. All right, we're heading out then. Kill, kill, kill. We've got contact left. Clear left, push right. Okay, it's working, although we have breaches in the wall. There might be zombies in here now as well. Oh! Oh crap, Valaria's hooking me up. Here, get the trauma first aid kit onto me. I can see a basement entrance. It's right in front of me. All right, just take care of these guys with the explosives. There we go. Whoa, look out, ow. Okay, there's a breach in the wall right there. That might be our exfil. Just clear that up. Yep, zombies are coming in now. I think the plan's working well. Okay, we got a breach into this. Get a timed charge. Whoops, that might have almost done it for me. Zombies. All right, are we unlocked here or what? We are not yet unlocked. Somebody take out that rocket soldier. I guess I'm the only one that can do it. Let's go. Okay, as much as I like the zombies here, they are messing up the plan. And the screamer too, crap. Oh jeez, we got a freaking super mutated zombie again. Okay, this is getting really, really bad. We've gotta get in there. Just use the dynamite. Oh, the door looks open, crap. Okay, when all else fails, get the auger. All right, Goth Conrad and uh, Bo and the rest of you guys are coming with me. You're hired, you're hired, you're hired. Okay, did we lose one? I feel like there was one more and they might have just gone out a little bit too quickly. Okay, guys, get behind me. Let me lock and load. Yep, unfortunately, we got freaking zombies everywhere. This is probably our best opportunity to escape, though. Yeah, they're just busy fighting zombies. Look at them all. Okay, careful, everybody. Follow me. We're gonna just jump right through here, put the fire out as we go, and push forward through the forest. Everybody, follow me. All right, this situation is just untenable. There's no way to stop and look for the soldier that we lost that kind of ran by me there. Guys, watch out for the landmines and follow me. We've got more rocket soldiers out here that are counterattacking. And we can't have that. We got rads as well. Ow. Okay, quick peek at the map. The Hind helicopter is straight ahead. Let's go. Okay, look out. We got a psycho right there. It's much, much quieter now. Keep pushing, keep pushing. It's almost daylight, guys. We are home free here in just a second. Here's the helicopter. All right, everybody inside, and let's go home. All right, excellent work, everyone. I'm just gonna do a quick flyby here and see the devastation. Wow, the that was actually a very good assault there. They are gonna have their work cut out for them, trying to do all the repairs and put out all these fires here. 
Let's try to maybe not get too low. Whoa, lest we take a rocket. Oh my God. Oh man, luckily this thing is a beast. We could take multiple rockets probably. The armor on this thing. Wow, okay. <laughs> Let's go home. Okay, at this point I think we're in relative safety. Let me put the helicopter down over here for just a second. We will turn off the night vision. And see a little bit better. Okay, we've got three new soldiers and one one guy was like a chef, I think. Was it Bo? Bo, where are you? We got Roman Morales, we got Brandon 1987, and we've got Cross X and Bo. So Bo, Bo, come here. Alright, you guys, we don't need to kill all these zombies, do we? Bo, man. Are you any good in the kitchen? Because uh, I might have a job for you. Perfect. What did we get for weapons here? We got SMG, Cross X has a pistol, and Brandon has a pistol as well. I'm not sure about that other soldier. May that guy rest in peace. All right, so before we draw too much attention to ourselves here, let's go ahead and hop back in the helicopter and get out of the wasteland once and for all. Okay, oh, nice smooth landing here. Yep, that'll do. My soldiers are 4.2 kilometers away. <laughs> Great. Oh, here they are. All right, everybody, we did it. Need we some made extra it. Help? Nope, Zbark, that's quite enough, I think. We have three new soldiers from the White River settlement, along with Zbark. Zbark's dressed a slightly differently, but that's okay. I think these are like a nice, friendly little new group for us. They will augment our forces very nicely. And then we found Bo, who is just some random chef that the psychos have captured. Not no surprise, really, but Bo. I have a good place for you, man. Just, uh, oh, why don't you come behind the bar, actually? It's a perfect spot for you, and just, uh, stay where I'm standing. Nice, Bo. <laughs> you are the man. Don't, now, put the auto shotgun away, please, if you could. And, uh, don't shoot anything in here, especially the, the llama painting. That's, like, my prized possession right now. All right, let's have a celebratory halfway rotten gumbo stew. It doesn't even feel like the same world. I know, it's crazy now. It's like a bustling little city we have here now. All right, so at this point, I think the most important thing to do is just top back off on ammo. I'm really sitting low on all the, the new ammo types. So it looks like we can start with a couple of boxes of 45 ACP armor piercing. Then we can get a couple boxes of armor piercing 556. Five, looks like of all things, what's gonna hold me back first are the bullet tips. Probably the thing to do now is a little bit of upgrading around the base. How are these broken again? I've already fixed these like twice. For some reason, I think that um, these are still taking damage. Is it, for, are you guys shooting in here when I'm not looking? Or maybe are, are you guys shooting in this direction? I mean, that doesn't make any sense to me at all, but I don't know how else these would continue getting broken. Greg, do you have an explanation for this? Cause I'm pretty pissed off about it, honestly. I'm keeping my eye on you. Right, let's check on the cement status. Looking pretty good. Finish that off. The tungsten status, also looking pretty good. Finish that off. And for me, give me some cement, some Portland cement, and the forged steel, all of it. Along with the tungsten plates that we bought and the tungsten plates that, plates that we made. And that should get us quite a long way, I hope. Okay, so the idea is going to be to come down here um, oh, we need cobblestone to do some repairs too. Okay, we'll do that some other time then. Yep, want to solidify this, although I'm not terribly worried about demos going off down here. I suppose it is sort of a remote possibility. And that is tungsten, the appearance of tungsten right there. Does it go any higher? It does, there's tungsten level two. Okay, wait, now how many hit points is that? 25,000. And uh, what about regular tungsten? That is 20,000. Okay, so it looks like 25. Does it go any higher than that though? Nope, nope, that's it. All right, well, we'll start down here and we'll work our way back. So if I recall correctly, it should be like level two tungsten on the top. And it should also be at hot. least Portland concrete below that. And then some areas it was even deeper with cobble. Okay, I don't know if there's anything more threatening than those super demos, but at this point, I'm pretty confident that they're not gonna be able to do a whole lot of damage. Man, I'm gaining a bunch of levels doing this. How much tungsten do I have left? Tungsten plates, 231. Plus I have the forged tungsten. I should have probably eaten down like a learning elixir or one of those experience cards or something, but yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, because look at the XP roll in. I get like over a thousand on every block I upgrade. And that's it for the tungsten plates. There's no mud on my boots, Cajun, or whoever the hell that was, Z-Bark maybe. 
Jeez. Just what we need around here is, is more vocal people. Okay, I do believe that was going to be it, though. So let's take the rest of the tungsten that we made, and we'll turn that... Ooh, tungsten doors. And these roll-up doors. Are these going to be different than the other roll... Oh, look at those. Those are like um, the ones you see at the mall, you know, when they close up shop. And we got an airdrop here somewhere. Right close by, too. We can grab that in just a second. For now, I want the tungsten plates, if I can get them right here. Oh, there's 691 of those for taking another day, so we'll be able to finally finish upgrades on that tomorrow. For today, let's get a little bit more done around here. If I have any cobblestone left. Oh, I like, barely do it all, but that's fine. I don't need to upgrade anything to cobblestone. I just need it to repair this if needed. So I want to upgrade this. Whoa! Forgot, uh, I forgot that was going to happen. Okay, careful this time. There we go. And while I'm at it, there were a couple of um, blocks out here that I saw were very heavily damaged. And it's from the soldiers shooting, I think. What the heck's going on with that one? Oh, geez, gotta get the wood now. Yeah, in a perfect world, this would be fully upgraded, but, you know, it's gonna take a long time to kind of do all that, get the resources, and there would just be, like, long phases of just simply upgrading and making resources, so we'll just uh, upgrade the stuff that's most pertinent and call it good from there. Yeah, see, this is the spot that's been pretty well beat up. I'm not sure if this is from cop spit. I don't suspect it is. I think it's just from errant bullets from soldiers up in the tower shooting down at zombies or these soldiers over here kind of trying to shoot too too low down you know too too much underneath them that's why i put these security gates in here because i thought that maybe if they were like gonna shoot zombies they would shoot through these but apparently their bullets are not as accurate as i would have liked and let's just fully upgrade these anyway so that i don't have to worry about them destroying it and then all of a sudden falling down into the friggin pit of doom all right well that should be pretty much good. Let's check that airdrop then. You know, I did the shiny paint for these pillars here and I don't like it. I think I'll probably end up going with the beer cooler color that I put on these poles because then it'll kind of match a little bit more. Oh, what do we got here? Is this an attack? Are you okay? I'm good. Are you okay? Are we good? Okay, just get in the bike and we'll circle around. Kind of panic every time now because now with the psychos having such a heavy presence, we really don't have to worry about the rogues or zombies as much or really anything except for big psycho attacks. And the psychos, most of the time, have rocket launchers. But I don't see any of them around here. It looks pretty clear. Whoops! Yep, I think we're good. Probably just a solitary zombie there. Well, let's see what a loot stage of 636 does for me in these airdrops. Right in this crater. <laughs> Speaking of rockets, right? And holy crap! Look at that one. Ice axe. What is the difference between the ice axe? A couple bits of tungsten there, too. Um, and the tungsten pickaxe. Okay, ice axe. Okay, tungsten pickaxe probably doing a lot better. Wait, no, it's doing a lot worse in terms of damage. Wow, okay. The ice axe is doing a lot more than the legendary pickaxe as well. I mean, the legendary pickaxe has the attacks per minute. What does this even look like anyway? It looks pretty weird, honestly, but you know, it's different, I guess. Huh, I don't really know what to do. I guess, you know, take your pick. I'll just take the ice the ice axe for now. Something different to carry around for a couple of days. And, um, I don't know. Let's just see how it works, I guess. Got no mods on it, but that's okay. It, um, oh, it's just gonna take forever. This is terrible. It's terrible, and I honestly, I don't want to muck up the inventory with a bunch of garbage. So, let's call it quits on that one. But we really could use maybe a little bit more tungsten. And uh, I'm not sure what the most efficient way to do that. If it would just be carving these apart for the tungsten fragments or if we should make a dedicated trip to the wasteland. I suppose if I'm gonna go to the wasteland, I'd like to do it tomorrow and kind of dedicate a whole day to it. We could do some exploration and some raiding as well, which reminds me, we need to go over all the documents that we pulled out of that psycho base and see if we can come up with a base location. We'll probably work on that tonight. See, you just get so much garbage out of these things that it really clogs up the inventory. How much tungsten did I get out of that though? 243, which I guess that would be good for upgrading like 10 blocks. So, you know, not terrible. Oh, plus we had the tungsten fragments. Forgot about that. That was what was rolling in the recycler workstation. So that should give us a nice little boost as well. Whoa! <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Had to do it. Honestly, looking pretty spiffy from the side now. Oh, you know what we need is we need more bones because we ran out of bones making glue and so we're gonna have a huge bottleneck here if we don't get any more bones let's check the trader what up jen there's a, a meat pie red meat pie that's one of the ones that's like really difficult to make so i'm gonna buy that and i'm gonna see exactly what it does 
so that I can decide if it's really worth it to go down and do all that cooking. Got a new Magnum Enforcer book there, and I'm flat broke all of a sudden. Lovely. Nothing else I really wanted to buy anyway. Scratch that. I really want that tungsten plating. Hey, Bob, do you want some of these tools here? And what sells for more? The ice axe or the tungsten or the legendary axe? It looks like the, the ice axe does. So go ahead and have that, buddy. 110 will do for now, though. Read the Magnum Enforcer. And um, yeah, this is just doing like, what? Cold resist, max stamina bonus. But for how long is the question? For like five minutes, four minutes, 23 seconds, which is really... Not even enough time really to get home. <laughs> okay, we got a little bit of stuff there, but there's gotta be some more. If, oh, wait a minute. Is this what I think it is? Oh, this is what I think it is. It's the snake house. Let's do it. We need the bones. Plus it's been ages since I've been in here. So I'm curious to see how many snakes are in here now. Too many, I'm sure. Get out of here. Just get the axe out and start chopping. Okay, up to 48 so far. Whoops! Watch out for the floor. All right, here we go. <laughs> they're cornering me in. Look at the snakes downstairs! Holy crap, they're everywhere! Okay, tons and tons more snakes. They're freaking everywhere. That's why they call it the snake house. That's why I call it the snake house, at least. Oh crap, I just backed- Ah! Wow! Quickly, make a moat for myself. There we go. We're safe now. Well, on the bright side, this is definitely gonna take care of the bone problem. Ow. Go look, a hardened chest right below me. Oh, crap. Ah. I'm not even through the first freaking room. Look, that's the front door. Yeah, let's see if I can get a good group of them killed. Whoa, that's not, that's counterproductive. Nope, 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 put all that out. How about shotgun? Whoops. Oh boy. Oh, Bo's gonna be so happy. We'll have all kinds of white meat tonight. Oh my god, it's terrifying. <laughs> all right, let him in. There we go. All right, it's my new strategy. When I'm out of stamina, I use the auger for a little bit. Oh, we got fresh ones. I'm kind of done with the whole snake deal. So if y'all could just freaking die, that'd be nice. Oh boy, more grenades. There we go. Oh my goodness, where did you all come from? Wow. Oh boy, trying to put the fire out and look what I found. More friggin' snakes. Ah, look out, Ilaria. Don't you dare block that grenade with your face. Okay, got a whole nother room of them here. Luckily, they didn't wake up. Take this. Haha, <laughs> wow, fire. Look, we've cleared out the basement. That's it. We still got the whole upstairs to do. Aha, uh -huh, yep, here we go. Hello, yes, fire. It might be a little bit too far gone at this point. I think it's... Oh, jeez, here we go again. Ah, whoa. Jesus, there's a lot of snakes here. And that's no better out there. All right, come with me, stupid snakes. I'll just burn them out of here at this point. Burn them all. Here, let me through there. Oh my God, they're just, <laughs> there's so many of them, I can't even get them all to wake up at the same time. Here, let me out. Right, we cleared this half of the house already and we can clear this half with one fell swoop. Whoops, try upstairs. Yep, the fire's already all the way up here and the snakes are on fire. Yep, whoa, there's snakes everywhere. I don't feel like at this point it's worth <laughs> killing them all. I just wanna get out of here, really. Well, I'd say I'm about done with the snake house. Let's just get some more fire on this end and call it good. And check the bone situation. I should have gotten plenty, plenty of bones. Yeah, like, like 1,666 bones. All right, rolling back up home. Man, we need to, <laughs> we need to find a better parking situation. This thing is just enormous. And it wouldn't even do to have a helipad. You need a runway for this thing because it's really not a great VTOL vehicle. Ah, well, I guess this will do for now. Bo, you got any food for me, buddy? Ready the go. last gumbo stew before it goes bad and let's just stash away all, <laughs> all the white meat. Oh, a little bit crazy. Oh well. Whoa, look at all this stuff rolling in. Okay, now that that's done, start working on the rest of it that we just mined up. Continue rolling on the forged tungsten. Another 24 minutes on that and we should be good. Good here? Just tick nightfall so we have nighttime zombies, but just gonna make sure this is not a group of psychos. Nope, nope, looks good. We got good illumination out here finally now too. All right, what can we do here now for glue? Lots and lots of glue. Let's do the paint first though, because yeah, the paint's gonna use murky water as well. Ooh, that's a lot of paint. Don't even know that I really need that much. Let's just go with like 20 paint for now. Yeah, let's do that again. 
Okay, that should be a lot of paint. It should get, get us through to the end, I would hope. So that for the rest of this, we can just use for glue. 84 more glue. Turn that into tape. It's quite a quick process here these days. All right, and that's pretty much that. So for the remainder of the night, I think I'm going to start painting the, the main building here. We'll get this all dressed up. I think I have an idea for how I want to paint it too, because what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to... Let's just do a little bit of a test palette here. Okay, paintbrush. Oh yeah, put the rest of this just junk away that I have. In fact, with the lead, probably want to use the lead to make bullet tips. 8,000 of them. Sure. Maybe calling in screamers here left and right. That's fair. Okay, so my idea is it might actually take quite a while to, to do all the painting on this, but I was going to do red and we'll do paint all surface, paint all sides, and just slap a coat down like that and then let's just similarly kind of like wrap this around here yep that's good for now okay okay good test here and then we head to the outside and yes you can oh why didn't that paint right there okay snag that block and to contrast i'm gonna take pill case side and drop that on the outside like that and so now it's gonna look like black from one angle, but red from another angle. And then all the rest will just be like a mixture of black and stone color like that. So I think, uh, I don't know, I think it'll look pretty good. So that's what I'm gonna keep working on for tonight. I also might get these pillars here colored into a, a different color, into the, the beer cooler case. And then I'll, I don't know, I'll just putt around until morning. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. The end is near, and we're almost fully prepared, but in order to withstand the final onslaught, we need experience, so the POD is to manufacture all the weapons and ammo that we'll need for the final days, then proceed on to the POI that has killed even the most legendary of all survivors, Bob's Burgers and Pizzeria. To close things out, we'll make the mother of all traitor runs, so that we can finally hit level 500. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. Alright, so let's start off by me giving you a little bit of a tour, because I did a ton of painting last night, and fortunately I still have a lot of paint left over. So we got the ladders painted, we've changed this to the beer cooler side. I have not yet painted the interior of this because I haven't really decided on a color. Maybe I should just do that right now. Okay, I just did awning tan in here and took a little bit of doing to get the parts behind the beds. We don't want camouflage bars, do we? We want like jet black bars. Yep, and that's what I did on the back too. Okay, so that's done. The racks is completely painted. I did... What do we got here? Horde or just random zombie? Yeah, wolf over there, I think. Got these painted up a little bit. I did the interior of the chow hall. Missed a spot there. There we go. Like the How you doing, Bo? Boat. Working on breakfast? I won't distract you or anything. You can uh, go ahead and get to work. Appreciate all that you do. And look at the, the main building here. So the, the background is red and the blind things, like the vertical slats there, are black. And so it gives it a cool sort of like contrasting color. If you look at it from the top, it's black. If you look at it from the bottom, it's red. I think it looks pretty cool. There's some spots like this right here that there's just nothing I can do about that. On the interior here, I think it looks nice, but I don't like the red. And I only had to do that because I had to do the paint all sides. So let's now settle on some sort of like a more neutral interior color. I mean, what do you think of that like baseboard color? That, that kind of looks, that looks really weird. I love this metal talp color, but... I don't know how much that looks any better, honestly. I was kind of thinking like maybe we leave red for like the bunker shell areas, kind of like that. Okay, so that's what that would look like right there. Honestly, I don't think I mind that very much. Probably there's a better selection, but you know, you could spend your whole life trying to pick out the perfect paint scheme. I feel like I have better things to do in life though. Okay, so that's the final product up here. A much more subdued, but still with some red accents. I think that looks pretty nice. Good enough for the girls I run with anyway. Okay, the next thing to do is I gotta straighten out the, the ammo production line here and see if we can make just as much ammo for the 20 gauge shotgun and the UMP5 as we possibly can. Hopefully getting some armor piercing for the UMP45 and we'll see what the shortfall is and maybe we'll focus on making more of that today. Taking some fire here. Oh jeez, psycho group here. Here, let's see if we can snipe him from the tower. Do you see any guys with rockets? Holy crap, there's a ton of them out there. Alright, well, if I can soften them up a little bit here from the sniper tower, I'd feel more confident in just kind of bum rushing them, you know? Yeah, because they're not really seemingly interested in a full-on assault. Whoa, this guy's getting a little close for comfort here. 
Oh, taking fire. Here we go. Whoa. All right, Alaria's hooking me up. I got some good cover here, it looks like. Kind of walking into the belly of the beast here, though. Yep, whoa, taking fire. If I can draw him in a little bit, I'll get some coverage from the soldiers. Ow. Oh, whoa, I just got butt stocked. Ow. Here, I'll use the little, the hole in the, oh, there's a rocket soldier right there. I can use this little opening here. I think that was another rocket soldier over there. I need to go charge them. So we got the good guns for, whoa, that's the ditch. Right next to the graveyard there. Take her out, she's dead. Take you out, take you out. Yep, this is like the ultimate gun for rushing. Some close quarters combat here, just evaporate them. Oh uh, look, this might have been like a little camp that they were kind of hiding out at, waiting to strike right by in this little defilade here behind this hill. Uh, I see one more psycho out here. Oop, two more. Ooh, ow. Nope, three more. Okay, got that one. Oh, that's a rocket launcher right there. Careful with that. And I think that will do it. Leveled up. Yeah, look, that's where the rocket impacted right here. Jeez, really close. Too close for comfort. But we've thwarted the attack, so let's get back to work here. I'm just working on making ammo, basically. Nothing exciting. So I did scrap down the Remington 870 because I'm making a quality 6 Remington 870 over there. I also scrapped down the USAS-12, which was hanging out in here. So that should max us out on the Remington. And unfortunately, to make all of the bullet casings is going to take a while. And I think it's because I don't have any tools in here. Let's try to find some tools. Oh, and I just typed in frame here. And look at this. We can make the dinghy frame. I think I'd like to have myself a dinghy. Pretty easy to make, honestly. Dinghy accessories, dinghy frame. Whoa, that was instantaneous. And then the dinghy. Just like that, we got a dinghy boat. That could possibly come in handy for the big assault on the Psycho Stronghold, which if we look at the map is roughly in this location right here, the main Psycho Stronghold. And if Temcam's not there, he's presumed dead. Okay, there's our brand new Remington 870 max level doing 49 damage per pellet. Just insane. What I really want is this RPG-7, and that RPG is going to take electrical parts, and I thought the game was lying to me when it said I only had 10, but I certainly do only have 10 of those, so perhaps we need to just go next door and tear down a POI for all the electrical parts. All right, let's do this. Who wants to donate electrical parts? Wow, that had 15 in it? I guess we don't have to clear out a POI, we just have to clear out some parking meters. I needed 35, I took 1,860. Oh, I also need three more rocket launcher parts, which could potentially be a little bit of a problem here. Yeah, well, I can make tool parts now, can I? Ah, yes I can, and I just need three of these. Quality six RPG-7 coming right up. Okay, so while that stuff's plugging away there, let's spend the rest of the evening here getting further upgrades done down in the trench. Wanna finish all that stuff off down there. Right, and then stuff like this needs to be fully upgraded as well. I've got the land claim block here, kind of um, unclear to me what would happen if that was destroyed. I think worst case scenario is that like, the dozen or so zombies that were in this POI would then just instantly respawn, but I'm not entirely sure either. I'm not too, too concerned about it, honestly. I don't think it would be like, uh, the difference between life or death or anything like that. Hey everyone, it's me in post. Uh, so while I'm doing some editing here, I just wanted to plug in some dialogue in order to just pass along my heartfelt thank you to all of you for all of the support on the channel lately. From about the middle of November until now, the channel's growth has really just been staggering and I'm very much appreciative of all the love that you all have shown me throughout this series. And I know I probably don't say it enough, but thank you. Your support literally allows me to live out my dream of being a full-time content creator and like just doing this for a living. So this series may soon be over, but a new one will begin and I'm super excited to show you what I've cooked up for that. And also just as an FYI, I'll also be providing full coverage 
on Sons of the Forest. And that means basically tips and tricks, tutorials, base builds, gameplay videos, just like basically what I do for Seven Days to Die. Seven Days will remain a three video per week schedule going forward, you know, up until and beyond Alpha 21, but it's definitely time for me to broaden my horizons for the long-term health and success of the channel. And so I hope that you'll join me for those videos, but ultimately I do understand if you're here exclusively for the seven days stuff. So part of my strategy is like pulling in a brand new viewer base, a whole new audience. So anyway, my friends, that's enough of that. Thanks again, and let's get back to the video. Okay, there's still a little ways to go on the double tungsten here, like just these walls on the side but um, we've made quite a bit of good progress here tonight. All of this up here is at least upgraded to steel and some parts to tungsten, which I think will serve us good enough probably on Horde Night. And besides that, I do believe that I have more tungsten plates rolling in here for the next day or so. So we'll do one more big upgrade the day after tomorrow to get everything up as high as we can. We'll paint it all up and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so currently I am working on some high explosive rocket frags for the new RPG-7, which is right here. I currently have some of the high explosive ammo in it, so careful around the base shooting that stuff. And what I really am short on right now in terms of getting more ammo is probably going to be lead follow and paper, basically. So I think what we should probably do tonight is um, do a little bit of scouting. Let's go, let's jump in the helicopter and fly over to like the snow biome probably because um i think the snow biome probably gives us the best visibility from the air in terms of identifying new soldiers so we'll hope we can get some new recruits along the way we'll scout out bob's burgers but honestly i don't want to strike there until like dawn tomorrow so we'll hold off on that but hopefully we can find like a pb paper mill or uh what is it the, the toilet plate paper place i know that's part of the compo pack so careful with the rotors ch chopping the base apart all right we are in the air and we are heading to the northwest yeah perhaps let's take a peek at this town here but this was just a town and i think if i recall correctly something like a pb paper mill is only going to spawn in a city because it is an industrial poi and so it needs the industrial peel, the industrial tile to spawn into. Oh, there's a factory over there. I might just swing by and see what that is. I guess I don't even know if I've fully explored this town. And this over here, oh, I know what this is. This is, um, what's it called? Belton Blocks or something? It's a good place for like cement and maybe cobblestone, but probably not for paper. So we're off to that nearest city in the snow biome, which is right over there. Just testing out some low altitude flying here. Turn on the good lights. We got a couple sets of lights on this. Yeah, ideally, oh, there's the uh, the bunker, the crater. What do they call this? The crater lake bunker or something like that? Freaking insane POI. To my knowledge, uh, so far I, I haven't confirmed it myself, but I think Pill or Pilly, or I, I think that's how you say his or her name, is the creator for that. And, and that same person is the one who makes Tarragon, which is the... The, the awesome new map making software. If you uh, remember back in the day when we had like King Gen map generator, well, basically Terragon is the latest and greatest version of something like that. I've been doing a lot of testing and playing around with it. See, this is what we want right here. We want good low altitude flying to see if we can pick up any soldiers along the way here. Nice and slow. So it doesn't surprise me that someone like Pill could make a POI like that, seeing how they did all the, the intricate work that goes into making tarragon which is just absolutely amazing still a little bit in its like infant stages and of course i can't see a damn thing because of this storm so maybe the thing to do is jesus this stinks <laughs> the thing to do probably is to search for soldiers the best i can here and then oh just knocking trees down don't mind me and then when the storm lifts i'll get some more elevation and we'll Check and see if we can find a, a good POI for some paper. Really, a PB paper mill is the only thing I can think of. The old cracker book probably would have been good, but the new cracker book tower, not going to be the best place for paper that I know of. Uh, no luck so far, but I do like this strategy here. I can get a pretty good look at the horizon, and I can see the bodies on the like silhouetted against the snow really, really well. But really the best way I found to pick up on soldiers is when they're shooting, of course, because they all, there's so many zombies and mountain lions and stuff out here. You'd think this would be a good way to pick them up, but no luck so far. And just like that, I think the storm has lifted and I've just been kind of pushing west along this road here because there's another city out here. So this will be the first one to check, I think. All right, give me some elevation here and tell me there's 
hopefully a PB paper mill here somewhere. I see something over there. Is that it? Yep. Oh, yes, it is. I see the blue ceiling, or the blue rooftop. So that is definitely what we're looking for there. So carefully now, just bring this helicopter down right in the middle of the road. We'll be just fine. Just smash onto the lumberjack that's right there. Hey, bud, get out of there. Okay, perfect. We don't need to be here for long either. Just need to step in, grab the paper, and get out of here. Okay, that's all the paper for this place. Perfect. We're all set here then. And I'd rather not fuss around with any of the wildlife or indigenous peoples here, so... Holy crap! Lumberjack, you wanna go for a ride or what? Alright, up we go. And I think all we're doing on the way back is just looking for soldiers, so we'll keep a low altitude. And a nice long road ahead of us. I just stop by the trader while I'm right in the neighborhood and see if there's anything good for sale. Oh wait! Where the heck am I? Oh, I'm at- I'm at a Wild West town. I thought I was- I thought I was at this town. Okay, interesting. New- new trader then, I guess. Trader Hugh here. Trader Hugh might have some rockets or grenades or something for us, I would hope. <laughs> One rocket frag for, like, the actual rocket launcher, not the RPG. Oh, there's seven more, though. That's helpful. Shaka Messiah book, nice. Targets within three meters have a higher dismemberment chance. Well, I'll do some window shopping here on the wall, see if there's anything I like. Rap remover, I'll take that. Oh, look at that! <laughs> oh no, the Quality 6 Remington 870 right on his wall. And it's actually better than the one I have, so we'll have to take it. Jeez, man, you go through all the effort, and then that's what the game gives you. And there's unfortunately no way for me to blow that open. I've just been relying on the auger lately. Okay, ammo racks and stuff over here. Some good Quality 6 items that we can sell. I feel like basically everything is Quality 6 at this point. Okay, we'll do this big selling deal all at once when we have all the buffs and stuff back at home. Definitely got the attention of all the cats in the neighborhood, though. And I'm not so much of a cat person, so let's get out of here. I really thought for sure that we'd find some soldiers, and of course there's another damn storm rolling in here. Okay, we're out of the snow biome, and out of the blizzard, and into the darkness of the forest biome, and the trees. Oh boy. Yeah, just plow through them, we're fine. Oh, we're not really fine. Actually, the hit points on the... Helicopter here are in rough shape, and I guess if I'm lucky, I'll hear some gunshots on the way through, but I'm not gonna hold out much hope for it. I feel like a ping pong ball rolling through here. <laughs> oh, I just somehow picked up on Hey 101, who actually died recently, so welcome back to the team, Hey 101. It remains unclear to me exactly why that happens. I think the game saved him in this region over here, and then. By re-entering this region, uh, somehow he also just gets added back to the roster? I'm not sure. I'm not complaining though, need all the soldiers we can get for the big final assault here the day after tomorrow or so. Okay, so no new soldiers, we got one old soldier, I guess. <laughs> uh, so all I need to do now is park this thing somehow. Oh man, it's just terribly difficult to do. Yeah, just bail. Bail and let it fall down. I'm gonna stash Hey 101 back in the base. I'm gonna gather up all the ammo that we crafted. I'll get some power-ups as well, and then we'll head over to Bob's Burgers. Oh boy, what the hell was that? I heard, um, attack assault rifle fire, but that was really far away. That was further away than I have soldier station. Holy cow, it is a huge psycho attack here at Nightfall. We've got the HE rockets. So... Do the best I can with that. That guy had a rocket. I just took him out. Continue with the rockets. Whoa! We took a huge rocket attack. Get down here. We gotta protect our soldiers. Yep. Whoa! Another rocket! Just took morning. Another one. Oh my goodness. Wow! Holy shit! <laughs> Is he dead? He's dead. Ooh! Ow! Those crossbows, man. They're pretty good against the steel armor. Oh my god! You bastards! Why you got so many rockets? 
Holy Toledo. We got to get back to the base and put out the fire. You dead? Yes, zombies are coming out though. That building's just going to have to burn to the ground. Okay, not terribly bad on the fire there, honestly. Um, are we good here? Yeah, whoever that is up there. Okay, cover the zombies. And I'm going to work on that fire. All right, all right, all right. Nope, nope. We don't want fires. Put all that out. Wow. Okay, now we got to survey the damage because another rocket struck right here and did a ton of damage. Okay, that means that one of our goals when we get back from Bob's Burgers is going to be full upgrades of this whole belt down here up to like concrete or Portland concrete. If I had to guess, I would say that probably a HESCO doesn't have any horizontal support. Look, if I took that out, nope, it does have horizontal support. Maybe it just doesn't have a lot of horizontal support because I really could have sworn that a HESCO could take a rocket blast. Wow, that's just, uh, incredible. Also quite disappointing. <laughs> It's okay though. It's okay. We'll do some repairs. We've got um, we've got all day today and we've got all day tomorrow before the horde to do final repairs and apparently also replacing spotlights and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, yeah. Just hope that the psychos don't attack us like that again, honestly. Okay, but daylight's burning. We got to get the ammo and proceed with today's plan. Okay, I think we're good. We've got the explosive arrows. I want to use the rest of those because I'm going to switch over to the crossbow after that and use the explosive crossbow bolts. We're going to have 30 of the frag rockets in here. We've got the sniper rifle. We've got the UMP with, I think, a couple extra boxes of ammo. Yep, right there, the 45 ACP armor piercing variety. We're going to stock up on basically all the 762 that I have. I think about 6,000 rounds or so should do. We have grenades and we have the uh, 20 gauge shotgun rounds for the 870. The only thing we really need is some food and probably the best spot for me to get food these days while uh, Bo is getting acquainted with the new kitchen is uh, these vending machines. And I think it's this one right here that has the good food in it. Yep, gumbo stew, mushroom stew, and a couple of extra strength painkillers. That couldn't hurt given where we're about to go right now. All right, what are we getting for food out of these? We're gonna get 55 food. It's actually not that much. I might just stop by there and have a couple cans of sham for the road. All right, I'd say we're as ready as we're ever gonna be. Oh, that poor house and the screamers. Okay, let's just get out of here. We don't wanna deal with that right now. Into the helo and let's head back straight to the north, right where we were last night. Just <laughs> take out that tree on the way by. And oh yeah, that's gonna be reduced basically to rubble unless it starts raining here while we're gone. Oh, and look at the hit points on the helicopter. Oh my god, down to 1600. I got the vehicle repair kits on me. I'll repair it as soon as we land. Okay, so here's Bob's. I'm gonna see if I can set this down right on the road leading up to it. I did some low altitude flying and I stopped and repaired the helicopter there just in case I could uh, pick up a soldier or two. Not that this would be a good scenario to have soldiers because I'm not even sure if I can make it through here alive. Okay, I, yeah, I definitely heard some distant gunfire, and I was just kind of sneaking around the back here to see if I could find it, and it should be right over here somewhere. Friendly? Friend or foe over here? Um, wait a minute. Definitely friend. Did you wake up all the zombies in there? Echo! What? Yes, I'm interested in hiring you. Yes, okay. Jeez, did you, Echo, you woke up all the zombies inside Bob's Burgers. This is not good. Okay, kill. And, oh, Echo, can you just, can you come hang out on the rock for me over here? No, but Echo, come over here, man. And stay where I'm standing. Don't worry about the zombies. Echo needs a ladder. Here, take that ladder and go up to the top, please. Right there. To the top of the, to the top of the rock, please. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, Echo, you're gonna die, man, if you don't get up here onto the rock. Stay where I'm standing. Oh, this is not gonna be good. This is not gonna be good at all. Echo's definitely gonna die today. There's, I can't put him anywhere either because he'll just, he'll get killed by some other thing. Okay, Echo, follow me. And no, 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 don't, do not go in there. Okay. Echo, you son of, oh, jeez. I guess we're fighting with Echo today. Echo, it will be my honor to try to protect you today. But honestly, I'm not getting my hopes up here. Your time on this earth will be very, very temporary, I think. Nope. 
and I fell in the water already. They're definitely all piling onto Echo. And I don't know if I can get out of here right now. He's gonna try to jump on zombies' heads. Jump on their heads, jump on their heads. It's working. Wah. Get the good gun out, the best gun I have. Echo is about to die. Armor piercing, come on. Echo's dead, Echo died. Damn, man. Oh crap, I'm back in the drink. I got another ladder right here though. Oh man, bad timing for Echo, but uh, he will be remembered forever. Okay, ooh, I'm getting really hurt here. Okay, move out. Screamer's here, I need first aid. Alaria, where the hell are you anyway? Just pump the first aid kits into me. I'm off to a really bad start. I'm also feeling like I'm probably taking more damage than I should be. I might need to double check that my armor doesn't need to be repaired once we clear out this first wave here. Screamer's screaming too, great. Okay, on to the generator. This is the safest block to be on in the game. At least that's what Prebuilt told me. Ah, okay, let him blow. Okay, I guess we're not gonna be on the generator because it's currently on fire. And there's the Screamer zombies plowing in from the side. I think I finally killed that Screamer there. Okay, clearing them out slowly but surely here. Ow. These are the Screamer zombies piling in from outside. Kill you, and getting better, I think. Making progress, at least. Just dive out here for a second and get rid of this stupid tree because it's right in my line of sight. The, the branch is poking through there, that is. And it's all quiet. I think we're good here. Reload and quickly check my armor. My armor is doing okay. I am going to repair some, though. Okay, repair the M60 while I'm at it. Make sure I'm locked and loaded. Oh man, poor Echo there. What a shame. I would have loved to have him on the team, but um, he was too much of a hero for his own good. Okay, so at this point, we are on to the second phase, which will be having a little tuna fish snack, and then also topping off on hydration because I've been catching on fire a lot, and that should help with stamina and stuff like that, so I can jump and move. And there should definitely be a lot more zombies here. So let's open this up. Wake up all the sleepers over here. Run over here. Wake up all these sleepers. And start lining them up for me, please. Yep, right here we'll be fine. Also, there's another gun firing outside. Which, hopefully they don't come in here. Okay, make progress. Alaria, please stop. If you're blocking my bullets, don't do that. Oh, AK-47 outside too. I can hear it firing pretty consistently. I think they're right outside. They might be attracted, honestly, to all the zombies that are in here. Oh boy. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna run over here and open this door. And see, see if I can grab the person. Whoa, I just vaulted over the side there. Who is this? Elky! <laughs> Elky, I think... I think we've established that this is just what we're doing. You are reinforcements and you're specifically, whoa, something collapsing out there. You are just specifically going to help me with this mission right here. Let me back inside. Okay, there we go. Elky, let him have it. I know you don't, you're not necessarily trained or equipped for a mission like this, but I would appreciate all the help I can get. Okay, what we're gonna do is just run this way and teleport Elky back to me. That's the trick. We, we might have been able to save Echo there had I realized that I could teleport him out. Okay, let him blow. Perfect. Okay, we gotta teleport Elky out of there. Run, 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 run. There we go. Get Elky in front of me where I can protect. <laughs> Elky just insists on being in the middle of the inferno though. Whoops. And I'm totally on fire, so fix that. And reload. Elky's gonna get wasted. Elky, no! Elky's dead. Okay, whoa, okay. Hold the ground here. Ah, ah, man, they hit really hard, even with the tungsten armor, man. The tungsten armor only does you so much good here. Yeah, those of us who have tried War of the Walkers and those of us who think that um, the armor is too effective, there's too much loot, blah, blah, blah. Well, I think War of the Walker is kind of um, intended for you to raid places like this. Oh, geez, I was gonna say all quiet here, but then a whole bunch more mutated zombies broke out from wherever they were contained. And so that should do it for now. We take a little bit of a break here, check, make sure all the guns are loaded. Yep, I think we're doing good here. Do we happen to have working vending machines? Could I maybe buy some stuff out of here? Nope, all broken, that's unfortunate. Is anybody around the back here? Yes, of course there is. 
Okay, those are like hollow points, so that's not going to be very effective. We want the armor piercing for these guys. There we go. Yep, and I've stirred up a whole bunch more feral whites. Mutated whites, I guess. Okay, this needs to be repaired. Ah, wow. My spinal cord paid for that one. Okay, we're working through them slowly, but making progress here. And, yep, that's good. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I'm supposed to eat down that 20% experience card. Better late than never, I guess. Screamer, take her out. And the last couple of zombies that are up here. There we go. Still a zombie. There may be a couple, actually, that are swimming around down there. Yes, food, snacks. That's what we really need. And uh, ammo, sniper rifle. Don't really need that just yet. Maybe pick that up on the way out. Mostly just concerned about surviving right now. So, okay, let's, um, we got the recog as well, so let's take the recog. Didn't I bring some, um, painkillers with me? Might just, uh, put those down here somewhere, just for availability. And take a first aid kit, and we gotta head downstairs now. Okay, there should be a ton of zombies that are down here. Ooh, you can see them right there, the little green glow behind that little door. Might just, um, see if I can see any here. Oh! Oh, 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 okay. What do we got here? Here, this, we got a whole bunch coming from this direction. Well, this is what the 870 was built for, is close quarters combat. Although, a little bit more close quarters than I would like. Yep, coupled with the, sh the choke mod, it's like you can't miss. Oh my god, though. I'm just waking up a ton of new zombies as I backpedal down here. And I'm gonna hit a dead end here eventually, and then that's gonna be real fun. So, let's just let's put a rocket into him and run through. Yes, there we go. Holy crap, look at the bodies here. Okay, we turn around and we start over. This time I'm gonna try not to backpedal as myself into a wall. I think I'm safe to use explosives right up into point blank range just because I'm my armor has really good, um, what's it called? Explosion resistance, like I can, I can just tank it much better than the zombies can. Let's try it. Yep, see, I didn't even take a hit point of damage doing that. Point blank explosive arrows do nothing to me. Whew. It's, um, it's, uh, oh my goodness, there's so many of them. Okay, rocket! And another! I gotta get out of here! Oh, the, ah, take that! Yes, it just does nothing to me. Oh, this is a fantastic discovery. It might be doing a lot to my armor, though. Not entirely sure. Look at the bodies down here. Oh, okay, a little bit of a break here, and we'll take a first aid kit, and uh, we'll take some juice. So far we're doing good, I am gonna just double check my armor status, it's looking fine, we are good to go. I do hear some thrashing about upstairs, I'm not sure what that's all about, but I'm gonna just start poking room to room, because I don't think we're done yet down here. <gasps> Look what I, I, I just said it, we're, we're not done down here. These guys, I'm gonna get the drop on them though, with some grenades. One for each of them. And then one with a pin pulled should do it. Ah, I'd say that worked pretty well. Oh, there's another whole group of them right there, though. Well, I got more grenades. That's okay. And one for the money. Very nice. Love it. Okay, I do hear a demo topside, so I'm going to... Wait, is this the door? Is this where I'm supposed to go here? Yes, okay. Yep, demo up here. Are you a super demo? No, just a regular demo. Yep, run, run, run. There we go. Oh yes, just a couple that were, these are the ones that were making all the noise up here, I think. That will do it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Love it. Okay, I think we're all set up here again. I'm gonna head back down again and see if I can stir up any more zombies. We've lost about half the day here so far. <laughs> Hopefully there's not too, too many remaining. All right, just um, kind of stealth it around here. See if I can, yeah, because there's a couple of doors back here that I haven't opened yet. That one. There's a room here with nothing in it, okay. Except, oh, I hear something. Were they topside? Oh, nope, oh, they are, holy crap, they're all right there. Okay, just backpedal and fire, in fact. Get the armor piercing rounds out for these guys. Oh, look at them, they're just evaporating with this. Excellent, reload. Oh my God, they're shooting back though. 
Oh my goodness, look out! He's trying to dodge left and dodge right. Whoa! Okay, reloading. Doing good here. Target penetration's really helping us out. Go for the headshots, though, if we can. And got a oops, screamer. Yep, might want to focus on her for a second. Excellent. Yep, that's why we're doing this with the machine guns. Whoa, that's not good. Trying to level up, trying to get that reload speed increased. Excellent. Okay, fix that gun, and we got to head topside yet again, because I think that screamer did scream. I do hear, like, animals, maybe. I hear a wolf, at least. Oh, there he is. Is that it? Yeah, I think we're good here. Back downstairs. Okay, do I still have the recog? Should I just maybe drink the other one at this point? Stack it if I, if, it, if it's still there. Yeah, I think it is. I think I got eight minutes left on the recog. Whew, I'm got a little bit shaky, a little bit. My palms are sweating. <laughs> the adrenaline's flowing a little bit. Okay, so where did you all come from? Was it down here somewhere? Should I be super careful doing this or are we done? Did we clear it all out? Yeah, I think that's where they all came from was down there. Okay, we do have this here. This is a loot room. I'm not sure if it's the loot room. I think I do have some breaching rounds here. Open that up, see what we get here. Honestly, not a whole lot that I'm really keen on bringing back with me. All right, I think we're clear on the bottom level. Now we have to clear the building itself. I will just uh, take the loot bags before I go though. Man, with a loot stage of like 1500, everything is this quality six. The stacks of ammo are almost full. <laughs> Every time I get a drink, ooh, there's a tungsten shovel there. Every time I get a drink, it's like, you know, mocha frappuccino or some like high tier drink. Unfortunately, the food is not high tier, which is maybe something that I would like to, I don't know. I'd like to see more of like the higher, the cooked food and stuff in the, in the loot bags. All right, that's good enough for me. Let's head up the ladder here and try to figure out how we should attack this. Let's try this door right here. Okay, unlocked. Get ready for the close quarters. Nope, we don't want the breaching slugs. We want the regular shotgun rounds. And we're gonna have to clear like room to room up here, I think. Does that work? Does not work. I got the friggin' master key right here though. Okay, you got a generator. Ooh, rooftop access. Pop this open and see what's on the rooftop. Any zombies? Oh, just a bunch of birds. Lovely, radiated birds too. Oh, ow. All right, I got the anti-air gun right here. <laughs> Oh no, this problem. Whoa! Fell off the roof. Either way, this works. This works much better, actually. Better volume. There we go. Okay, up next, we are going into this. We gotta shred this open. Whoop! Got some company on the other side, too. Lovely. Okay. And get the. Oh boy! Ow! Okay. Get the armor piercing rounds out. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Okay. Oh boy. Close quarters in here. <laughs> here, hide by the chairs. That's gonna slow him down for a second. Ow. All right, this is the dance here. I'd use the explosives. However, I think probably it would do more harm than good because of fire, basically. Okay, a little bit crazy into the other room. Got a bottleneck of here. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Backpedal, and that's out of ammo. And let him rip. Should be the last belt here. Last, last belt that we need anyway to kill these guys. Woo, there we go. <sighs> okay, what is next here? All right, yeah, next step is what we gotta put the, uh, actually we gotta open a box of the armor piercing. So, oh, I thought I was using the armor piercing already in this, but I uh, was not. So this should be far better than what we we're used to there. This is the last part back here. So open this up. Anybody back here? Or are this, we're all good. Nope, I, I do think that we're good. Oh, whoever was in here definitely carved their way out, it seems. There's just a little bit of extra loot here though. Honestly, garment bags, I guess this is not the main loot. The main loot's definitely downstairs, but uh, garment bags, not what I really came here for. Ooh, except for, you know, high quality tungsten armor sitting in that clothing pile. Okay, and if I had to say so, I think this place is clear. I'm gonna do one more pass around to double check, and then we'll just call it good after that. All right, that'll just about do it. Nothing special here at all, just the same old stuff that you always get in the loot bags. Same stuff we've been getting in Horde Night for months and months at this point. So the only thing left to do is to hop into the hidden helicopter and we'll do a low altitude flight all the way back home and see if we can pick up some more 
new soldiers because unfortunately the two that we did fortunately find today very unfortunately met their untimely demise very very quickly okay unfortunately no new recruits along the way back no sign of any psychos and we've arrived back at the base i don't know of any better place to park it than right out here in the front <laughs> yeah look the the house is Wow, the house is in really rough shape over here after that five, five or six rocket soldier attack from the psychos. Yeah, okay, well, it is what it is. <laughs> Bit of an eyesore, but there's not much I can do about it except for probably torch the rest of it. Okay, so now that we're back, just give me a moment to um, get the inventory all organized and we'll get all reset and refreshed. All right, the inventory is all squared away now and we are level 466. We do have all of these experience cards right here. We have the 30% experience card there. We could just probably read that skill point card. Let me check the skill points and see if there's anything I can buy at this point. Chiefly focusing on things like this. It increased speed. That was just 10% flat running speed right there. Extra stamina right there. And what was the one? Yeah, bonus experience. Oh no, we've already had that. Advanced better barter right there. Better damage from headshots. Wow, as if we needed that. <laughs> better salvage operations. Better mother load. And I'd say that's pretty much it. Let's review real quickly the action skills. Uh, we made pretty good progress in a lot of these things, but there were some things that I think are kind of broken. Like for one, medicine. Like how have I... Well, first of all, the only reason I have three action skill in medicine is from the experience cards that, or the, the action skill cards that just instantly give you a point. Same thing with heavy armor and light armor. I never actually naturally got an action skill from wearing my armor, I guess. So that's broken. And otherwise, get a couple skills from the, the rifle since we switched over to the FN SCAR. Machine guns sitting at 19, shotguns sitting at 41, which I feel like that could definitely be scaled up because we're not even halfway through those action skills and we're like 48 days into the playthrough. You'd have to play probably 200 days then to max those out. Anyway, what I'm gonna do for tonight is we're gonna do a big sell-off. All right, and with that, I am all ready to go. I've repaired up a bunch of items. I've got all the experience buffs that I have. I'm gonna just grab the motorcycle for speed and agility and we'll head over to the trader. Oh, are all the lights out? Uh-oh, hopefully we just ran out of gas again. We did, okay, that's better. Off to the trader. All right, here we are. And hide in here. Whoa, look how fast I can move now with my, with my, um, you know, armor doesn't slow you down in combat. Okay, so I've taken the awesome sauce, I've taken the sugar butt, I've taken the 20% experience card. I'm going to take the 30% experience card. I'm going to take all of these skills here. Let's see where we're starting at. We're starting at 466. That puts us up to 484. I think we're gonna hit max level right here. Just quickly though, does anybody have a learn an elixir for me? Yes, you do, right there. Lovely, take that and let's sell. I even brought things like the all the freaking gold nuggets that we have and I've got all the diamonds down here. Like this alone is gonna be worth a fortune. 89,000 for that. What about all the gold? 68,000 for all my gold. Okay, well, take the rest of it then. Thanks for letting me take care of you. Let That's 284,000 right there, and the rest to Billy Bob. Much obliged, stranger. Yep, I still have a couple of Magnum bullets I've got to get rid of here. There we go. We are up to 429,000 Dukes, and we are maxed out at level 500, which will mean I can finally take the skill points and everything. We can max everything out. All right, I even double checked it and I have bought every skill point that I can possibly buy in this game and it actually put me down to 16. So if it hadn't been for all those cards and stuff that we found, I wouldn't have been able to do it. What the hell are you doing in here? Okay, so four, wow, whoa, look how fast I'm running now. Oh my God, it's so cool. I have just like lightning speed. I probably run faster than the mini bike. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for the next hour or two is just Put around to see if I can find a soldier and then I'm gonna head back to the base and we're gonna get ready for our final day we have uh, we have to do base repair from where all those rockets did a whole bunch of damage we'll have to do some upgrades and then we will fight the horde at a max game stage level 500 day 49 and then after we're done with the horde granted we survive it I will we will all gear up with all the soldiers including our chef Bo and we will assault the final stronghold for the psychos and see if we can finally find Temcam. 
But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. This is it, my friends, the final battle. It's all or nothing today as we confront the biggest and baddest horde we've ever seen. So the POD is to make final preparations to the base and beat back the walkers. Then, with whoever survives, we'll make our last assault against the Psychos. Their main fortress lies far to the northeast, so we'll take everything we have with us for one final attempt to locate Temcam. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Let the mission begin. And first things first here, we need to make some repairs to the edge of the base, and then we also need to do some upgrading to like the the ground level, like the belt, I kind of think of it as, that goes all the way around the base. It's, it, that's what's leading to the Heskos collapsing, because the Heskos only have a horizontal stability or a horizontal support of 30, and the weight on them is 10, so only three Hesco blocks can kind of span off of the edge of one, and that's why we're having issues there. All right, this is where all the damage is right here. To start off with, I'm just gonna fill this in with some topsoil just to get it up to ground level again. Definitely in a perfect world, this would all be like concrete or something, but we don't have the time or well, really the time, or the motivation, I guess I should say, to do that today before the horde. Okay, that's it for my topsoil. Filled in most of it. Now we just have to just dress this up with the regular shapes. We'll start with concrete. And then to the top with the Hescos. Here's what I was talking about here. Horizontal support is 30, and the weight or the mass is 10. So you can only span three of these, like one, two, three, going off the side before they collapse. And that is exactly why when these blocks... Excuse me. Exactly. <laughs> I lost my train of thought there. That's exactly why um, when these blocks on the bottom get knocked out, all the Hescos collapse. We observed the same thing on the other side there when there was a rocket attack a couple of weeks ago. And then we'll also have to get another spotlight for that and we'll do some repair work up on the balcony there. Who is that there anyway? <laughs> I can't quite reach him from here. They took a rocket directly to the face though and took it like a champ too. All right, so just back in with Are the Hescos okay? here. I'm fine. Don't worry, we're gonna be fine here tonight. We're gonna be fine here tonight. Couple of extra steel barbed wire fences to slide in here, more for the aesthetic than for anything, and we are good as new, I think, except for probably some of these need to be repaired. And that just takes a very small amount of sand, which actually makes perfect sense because that's what you fill up Hesco's with, the sand. All right, it's time now to just conduct some light repair work up here on the tower, get everything replaced once and for all. All right, man, that's finally done. That is a huge chore to fix that stuff. So mm, hopefully we don't have to do that again. Okay, so the next big phase here is going to be final upgrades to the here. belt. We're gonna go up to Portland concrete, at least on this level here. And then we'll see what we have left for resources after that. And it looks to me like we should have enough resources to do the bottom layer as well up to Portland Concrete. So I'm gonna make the lap around one more time. All right, that's it. Now we just gotta fix the paint job, which couldn't be a whole lot easier than just doing this. And we're good to go. Now I just need to probably put my stuff away. Uh, well, not put my stuff away. We need to go get the tungsten and the steel and stuff and make sure that we're doing all the upgrades we possibly can in here. All right, so down here, the priority is going to go to the wall and these things right here. Well, these aren't the most important things, really. Maybe just upgrade those to regular tungsten and then, yeah, we want the walls to be double tungsten. We kind of want these to be tungsten as well. Who's shooting and why? Ah, we've got a zombie over here. Just one little random biker. It's kind of a weird zombie to see in the wild here, but fair enough. As long as it's not a big group of psychos sneaking up on me, I'm fine with it. And this thing just looks super weird out here. What are you doing? Just collapse already. <laughs> that was a long time coming for that little shed there. Okay, back to work here. Okay, that stuff's not important. The wall. The wall is the most important piece here. And other than that, I think just the main fighting area up here should be probably regular tungsten or double tungsten, I should say. And with that, I'm only sitting on like 310 tungsten left, so... I'll just do the best I can here with the sidewall. And then after that, I hope we're not gonna need it back here, but we've gotta get this fighting position upgraded as much as we can at least. All right, well that looks just about like the best I can do here, I think. Hopefully it's not gonna come to this and we'll have to fall back in there. Hopefully we can hold him here all night, but this will be a pretty vicious horde. Okay, so the next step is to get all the soldiers positioned the best I can and also make sure that these are fully upgraded and have ammo. And while I'm at it, I think I'll also just paint up this railing here and the trench. All right, everything's finally all painted up. We are ready to go. As far as I know, let's just check the fuel situation over here. We're doing fine there. Spin up all the traps here. 
And these should be all fully loaded and operational. I repaired the, the electric fences. The soldiers, I've got three stationed there. One in that tower. I've got, I think that's Hay 101 right there, providing a little bit of covering fire for me. Got another one in that tower. I think we should have, what is it, one up in the top level and everyone else is here kind of like in the Alamo. Although I'm just kind of thinking of a situation where this position down here might not work. Oh geez, that's not good because what if the zombies can just come up here and then jump down on us? Because sometimes that's what the soldiers want to do. They just want to come all the way around and then come down through the chute instead of jumping through here. Well, if that's the case, we'll have to freaking hold the line and, you know, the zombies will be up there thrashing around in the base. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Hopefully it doesn't come to that. Alaria is definitely in need of a repair. So can I do that from here? There we go. And then I think she's been using the regular this bandages. So take the bandages out and put the first aid kits in. And all I have to do now is just make sure I've got the ammo on me. Okay, there's three more boxes of the AP-45. There's also, I got a whole bunch of boxes of 20 gauge. Got a little bit of 5.56. Five, Not gonna be using that very much from here forward though. It's more of like our long range sniper rifle. And I've got a whole bunch of 7.62, along with some explosives. How are we doing in the rocket situation? We got like 25 rockets. In terms of my glasses, I'm gonna just toss on my night vision goggles instead of the XP glasses, because we don't need my the XP. In fact, just put those away scanning. forever. Oh, we do have some regular rockets. Let's just put the auger away for a second and grab some of those. Got seven rocket frags there, and I swore I had some more than that. Hard to tell, my loot's kind of like scattered all over the place. Did I leave it in a dump chest? Nope. <laughs> Look at the money though, nice. Oh, you know where it is? It's in this ammo chest over here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Whole bunch of extra ammo in here. We'll even have some HE rockets to take with us for the final battle. All right. Are we ready, guys? Are we gonna do this or what? Soldiers are in position. Generators are fueled up. The traps are on. We're locked and loaded, pretty much. Let's get some, probably some food, I think. Bo has not been the most productive cook ever, so we'll have to probably take canned goods. How about just a whole stack of pasta? Back when I played high school football, the coach always told me to stock up on pasta the night before the game, so we have a lot of <laughs> carbohydrates to burn the next day. So juice me up, baby. 10 cans of pasta. That should be good for a couple of extra calories and a blackberry juice to wash it down. Sounds pretty good to me, actually. Anyway, the hour is late and our our final horde is fast approaching, so it is time to lock and load. My friends, the horde is almost upon us. Crap! How did this guy get in here? What the heck? This is not good, guys. Get the armor piercing out. Blow his leg off. Oh my. Oh my. That that was terrifying. How did that even happen? He must have He must have been so tall he just clambered his way right in. Hopefully the rest of them are not that smart though. Alright, there's another super demo down there. They're starting to work their way in. A couple of them have made it to the front so far. Nothing too serious here. In fact, it's probably time to get some fire going. Oh, the super demos are still having a pretty significantly hard time down there to get around all the, the pipes. They're, they're so wide. Okay, there we go. Everything's on fire now. All right, guys, just try not to set off the demos, please. That would be great. All right, it's hard to see the status of the blade traps. Remember, we got the HD blade traps. Uh, no crawling on stuff, please, big guy. <laughs> oh, whoa, holy crap, it's a dragon. Dragon attack. 
Whoa, man. Guys, you gotta cover the air for me, please. Very bad peripheral vision when I'm staring down the scope like this at the super demos. And then we got freaking super dragons attacking me from above. Yep, they're shooting back now, too. Hold your ground, guys. We can do this. Yeah, it looks to me like we only have two blade traps remaining. Two more blade traps. Things usually get really crazy after the blade traps uh, fail because they're actually doing a lot of work down there. And I can't see now because of the, the mutated fire man that drops all the fire molotovs from his pores or whatever. <laughs> However that works, I'm not sure. Whoa, what was that? Another dragon attack. Kill, kill, kill. Holy crap. I heard one little beep from a demo. <laughs> At this point, it's hard not to shoot them in the button. I'm just kind of pouring lead down into a whole group of zombies down there. Super demo down there at the end of the trench. He looks like he's pretty well stuck down there on the little pipes. Oh, got another demo gonna go off trying to... Oh, jeez. Whoa, dragon. Guys, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh my god, multiple dragons. Get rid of them. Not sure where that demo went off. I, it seemed like it was really close here, but at this point, I just can't tell. Ooh, look at the super demos. Okay, time for the armor-piercing rounds. We gotta rip through these guys. Doesn't take very much with this gun. Oh my god, look at the super demos. One of them's going off. I think I killed him in time. Another one's going off. Yeah, I, all the blade traps are down, but all the fires are lit. So that's a plus, I guess. Agent wants the hard stuff, or maybe it was Z-Bark, or maybe both of them want the hard stuff. I don't really know at this point. Okay, things are getting real thick up here. We need rocket attacks. Oh, another dragon. Ha! Ah. All right, is this worth it? Do we got enough volume down there? Let's try it. Yep, 26k experience. That's good. I hear more explosions. I see the tail of a dragon. There he is right there. Fire-breathing dragon down. I see cops blowing up periodically, but otherwise I think the integrity of the trench is still holding strong. So at this point, we're almost halfway through the horde. Whoa. And uh, we've lost all the blade traps. All the things are still on fire, so we're looking pretty good here. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Oh my, this is bad. They have carved a huge hole. Oh, dragon. They've carved a huge hole in the steps. So there's no way for them to get up here anymore, which means they are gonna claw on the sides until they find one, which is really bad news. Here, clear these guys out with some rockets if I can. Yep, everyone's dead down there, I think, mostly. That should do it. There's no way I'll be able to rebuild that because of all the loot bags in the way, though. Wow, I thought that these uh, tungsten steps would have lasted a lot longer, but I was wrong. Ah, dragon. Kill it, kill it, kill it. I'm on fire. Fix that with some blackberry juice. Okay, so at this point, okay, we do have uh, quite a fire going on over there. Hopefully that soldier is safe. Are you gonna be good, bud? Oh, crap. Yeah, hopefully he's gonna be good. Crap, I, I, oh, if I try to pull him out of there, he'll just get all weird and start running around. Here, just put this fire out then. Put it out, put it out. There we go, okay. That's much better. Okay, we've lost power to the lights on the left side, which means at some point along here, probably I would imagine over there, maybe we've lost a spotlight. Not sure, but the light is still pretty good here, and we've got the night vision if we need it. Okay, so at this point, we're just defending the base the way it was meant to be defended from the walls. So, oh, Super Demo gonna go off. That's fine. Let him blow. At this point, it's only gonna help us, I think. Yeah, we've only got to last another two hours, and... Oh, I don't know what these zombies are doing. They are carving into the ground, though. Definitely not good. Here, work on them with some fire and some explosives. 
That helps. Multiple dragons over here on this side. We gotta go help out the soldier. Oh, look out! Whoa, crap! We got fires everywhere now. Look out, more fire! Take out that dragon, thank you. Whoa, lots of fire going on up here now. I really don't know at this point the best place to defend from. The zombies are basically surrounding the base, trying to carve their way in. Massive fire in the chow hall. <laughs> Jeez, oh, this is bad. Oh man, we gotta get Hey 101 out of there. They've even, oh, they've, they've lit that tower on fire. They've lit this one on fire. Here, might be able to buy you some time with the fire extinguisher. Although at this point, I don't know if I can... Well, I guess I did put everything out. I thought that was gonna be a lot more difficult, but we're good. Oh, here they are, they're piling in. We've got zombies inside as well. Oh, I just shot that demo, he's gonna blow. Oh, this is gonna be good. One and two. <laughs> Four demos going off kind of everywhere. Oh, there goes one of the lights. Just doing the best I can now with the frame rate that I have to put out the fires and make sure that the soldiers are safe so that they last the night. And we're just kind of taking pop shots at them wherever we can to get them all thinned out and killed. Okay, here they are. I think this might be where they make their way in. It's looking pretty good for them right there. All right, yes, that looks like it's gonna do it right there. Yeah, here they come now. That is the breach point for them. They are working their way in. Just tr hopefully they're not gonna work their way into the soldiers that are on the ladder up there. Like Cajun, we might have to perform a heroic rescue mission to go save them. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, they're uh, they're definitely going up on the ladder and Cajun is right in the line of sight for them. So we're gonna hold them off here. Oh my God, the base is full of zombies. Here, good opportunity then for, not the impact driver, the rockets. Are we good here? Cajun, get, get away from her. Get the best gun we have here. Oh, I'm on super fire right now. And I think so is the platform up here. The dragons are attacking. Oh no, take out the dragon. It is now morning. Oh geez, I'm on fire, it's bad. But I think probably more importantly, I gotta put this fire out. Cajun's still alive, I saw her briefly. There we go, put myself out. And, oh, freaking dragons, get back you son of a bitch Cajun no she's still alive get back you bastards ah out of ammo crap come on guys beat him back here oh no Cajun is gone Cajun's been killed no oh geez they're still clambering all through the base I didn't even close the door to the main fortress but there's such good line of fire there for him I think it'll be fine Oh man, okay, things are looking a lot better for us here now. Oh jeez, this guy's really tall. Ah, look out! Okay, no, no, don't shoot! Ah. Oh my god! Sardalka rule, are you okay? Nope, nope, he definitely died in the blast there. Crap, I'm so sorry, man. Oh, I didn't have a box of the AP bullets open, so I couldn't get the right gun out for that. You just die, man! Sick of this. Get out of here. Okay, yep, zombies are in here, but luckily everyone is safe. Oh, they're doing, I think, exactly what I thought. They are going up and around, aren't they? Zombies in here? Oh, of course there are. There we go. Yep, we lost the chem station. And I think that's about it for up here. What are you guys shooting at? You got zombies out here still? Um, yeah. This could be regular screamer zombies, though, honestly. Yep, yep, yep. You want to get out of the base, please? Yep, yeah, very poor design <laughs> on our Alamo fighting position there. I think that's it right there, though. All right, put out the kitchen and put out the towers. Are we good? Nope, we got the gardens on fire. Ooh, that was awesome. I think we lost all three soldiers that were up here on the wall. And honestly, I forget who was up here apart from, well, there's Sardalkarul and... Cajun was up here and they both died for sure. And whoever the third one was as well. Fortunately, we still got Z-Bark. We still got our melee soldiers. I think, oh, whichever soldier was in that corner there got murdered. That soldier's good. Oh geez, whoever was up here got killed as well. Oh, that is, that's kind of devastating. We lost like 
Oh my god, like six or eight soldiers in that raid. That was bad. That is war though. Who's still alive up here? Anarch. Okay, you can follow me. I gotta gather up all the soldiers in one spot. Get sort of a head count. Oh, we got this guy up here too. Catlow. Catlow, man, you've been around for forever. You are a good survivor. And who was up here? Vex Devlin. Okay, follow me. All right, here we go. This is it. This is the final crew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in total including myself. And I think I basically have all the bullets and bombs that I need, as well as first aid and things like that. I will make one final check here through the base and make sure that we have everything we need for the final assault. All right, that's it. I've got food, drink, everything that I'm gonna need. I just wanna survey the damage here at the base one final time. We're gonna leave the base completely undefended and you know, we'll take it from there. Hopefully we can make it back all in one piece and we can sort of do all the repairs and refit the base and all that. Look at the damage over here though. Wow. Yep, this is right where they carved in. It took them quite a while. I, the base held out a lot longer than I thought. Wouldn't have been quite a contest if we hadn't upgraded this belt along here first. And it looks like that's the only spot where they wanted to do that to like, you know, claw their way up in. Because yeah, they didn't do it in the back at all. I'm not exactly sure how that one super demo found his way in early on. I think probably he was jumping on someone else's head and then just climbed right in, but yep, lots of damage over here. These were demo blasts, lots of fire, and then the, the super demo that blew up there on the catwalk. And uh, this was the big surprise, is that this stairway just got, just got shredded. They melted right through it. But that's kind of the risky run with these sort of staircases, is that if the zombies get pinned and frustrated, they're just gonna start whacking on it, and then a couple of demo blasts, and that was it. Lots to be done here in terms of upgrades. The whole lighting system failed, which is, I kind of predicted that early on. But anyway, let's grab the soldiers. I have the helicopter in the inventory. I had grabbed that before the Horde Knight started because it was parked out front. So we're gonna grab the helicopter. Um, do I have the boat? I do, I have the dinghy boat. And we will also grab the MRAP. Take that up and let me grab the soldiers. Okay, that's all 10 of you. And let's head outside here and we'll spin up. Well, you know what? Should we maybe not even bring the helicopter or at least go on foot until we get to the wasteland and see if we can find another My soldier or two along the way. Standing here. Yeah, I think that's a decent idea. Do I have everyone here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. I think that's the plan. Let's uh, drop down the MRAP and we'll proceed on, well, on by vehicle to the wasteland. I was gonna say on foot, but that'd be quite a hike. All right, keep your eyes peeled for soldiers on the horizon then. All right, I've just been driving around here in the forest to see if I can recruit a couple of more soldiers and have not found a single one of them, not even one gunshot, not even a whisperer out here. So either they're all clustered up together somewhere or they've vacated the area. But anyway, we are here at the road. We're just gonna press north a little bit and we'll be at the wasteland. There's some uh, evidence of dead zombies and dead wolves though, so Maybe there are some soldiers around here somewhere. Oh my goodness, look at this, a whole squad of them. They must have received word from one of the traders or something that we were getting ready for the big assault and they've volunteered their services for us. We've got the mighty red panda. You're hired, old sci-fi. Let's go, my man. Suskins, hired. Magnus Carling and Victoria. Welcome to the crew, everybody. Is there another one way over there? Or are you one of mine already? Oh, we got Creamy Ghost. <laughs> okay, everybody, load up. What are we up to, like 16 now? My goodness, quite a crew we have in tow here. All right, everyone, we got plenty of room in the MRAP. Load up. Okay, we're now entering into the wasteland at 11.30 in the morning. We know where we're heading. We are heading far to the northeast. The main psycho base is located reportedly behind a mountain off the beaten path and next to the ocean. So we have two options. One is to push beyond this mountain range here and then head to the east, to the ocean, and then push north from there. The other option is to head all the way north, hit the ocean, maybe next to the desert biome, and then head south and attack from the south. But in the interest of saving time, I think that probably what I'll do is let's just get around these cars here and uh, let's actually just head down this road as far as we can and start pushing toward the coastline. Yeah, this looks like the right path right here. Now we do have the helicopter with us. I'm not going to use the helicopter just because there's too many rocket soldiers out here. The psycho presence out here is significant. Speak of the devil. And uh, apart from that, it's 
it's very difficult to land and take off vertically and so I don't think it would be of any use to us here unless we were to like land it right on the middle of the road. I also do have the boat with us and so what I think I'll do is we'll push up to the ocean and we'll put the boat in the water just so that we have like an alternative egress option. But other than that I'm sure the psychos have seen us and they're aware of our coming and so the only strategy I can really think of is a full-on frontal assault. We should have the numbers on our side, so we'll press in through the compound. We will scour it for any evidence of where Temcam is located, and if he's not there, I think we just have to call it. And if he is there, we're taking him home with us. Come hell or high water. All right, it looks like the main road kind of goes there to the north. Whoa! We're getting shot at with a rocket launcher. I'm gonna head down this trail here instead, and oh geez, look out knocking trees down and uh see the blinking lights up ahead that's that's the location right there i guarantee it looks like they've got some kind of a steamboat here in a sort of a dry dock that's a little bit flooded right now maybe and yes we are on the ocean here and so we're just gonna skirt the coastline until we get to the space shuttle another rocket soldier is attacking all right don't need bears get out of here bear oh boy <laughs> He's a big one, and this really is just the number one vehicle for the Wasteland, apart from maybe like the Marauder. I like this a hell of a lot better though. Oh, another bear, I'll just punt him off into the ocean. Okay, we're getting close. Whoa, a little bit of a almost roll over there. Oh, I thought that was a soldier, but that is just like some sort of a <laughs> soldier turned into a zombie, I guess. Okay, and this seems like a as good of an area as any to bail out real quick to grab the dinghy boat and I think I'll just set it down behind this little um, hill over here. Yep, just uh, set it right there. Perfect. Okay, so that's our alternative exit. Primary exit, that's a cheap boat anyway, so we can just leave it here if we have to, but primary exit means would be using this unless it gets like buried in a crater or blown up or you know, something might happen while we're in the facility, you know? Oh, look at that, there's a helicopter up there as well on the top. Interesting. That might be like the the final escape route for them. But this is I, this appears to be it right here. Okay, so here's the plan. I can see multiple towers. I can see a gate kind of straight ahead right there. There we go. Get a good look at it. We have a psycho out here. Couple of them. That one's distracted by a zombie. Yeah, another one over there. There's a flying horse off in the distance. They the psychos do have some interesting pets. Okay. Yep. It is loud and clear now. We are here. We are in the area. There's no time to waste. So I'm gonna roll up here and we're gonna bail out right there is good. I'm gonna get my rocket launcher. Give me the high explosives. I gotta take out these towers. Take them out. And one for that side there. Excellent. Yes, collapse those towers. All right, so far so good, guys. You all stay on this side of the fence. I am gonna bound my way over and clear the other side. Yep, take him out. And looks like Z-Bark has joined me on this side. She is a wild one and she likes the hard stuff, so. All right, these here might be the soldiers that were in the tower that have kind of bailed out. Oh, multiple soldiers have joined us on this side of the fence now, which is fine. Okay, good. And we're kind of being counterattacked on this side now from those brutes that we walked past or drove past. Good, and let's see if we can get this gate open now just for easy in, easy out. Okay, all is quiet on this side. Okay, I think we're ready to breach the facility. Let's grab a little bit of dynamite and huck it into that door there. That's a good start, and just so nobody catches on fire, we'll take right care of that. I'm ready, are you ready? Holy cow, look at the crew we have. All right, let's go. All right, we're in. Psychos are everywhere. Let's go, get inside everyone. They're in the rafters. Take cover behind these pallets if you have to. Melee soldiers are in. Well, no, that's a rifle soldier that's pretending to be a melee soldier. Whoa. Okay, a whole bunch are outside, which should be taken care of now. I think that looks good to me anyway. Okay, couple behind this fence here. Let's just rip this open. Deny them any cover at all. Let's go. All right, have we lost anyone yet? I don't know. We have a lot of soldiers here. <laughs> we'll do a head count here once we've got the bottom level cleared out. We are pushing this way. Get these doors open. Open them up. Follow me, guys. Let's go. All right, whoop. I was gonna say this area is clear. This area is not clear. Catlow has died. 
I'm just talking about how tough he is. We will remember your sacrifice forever, Catlow. All right, this is part of the problem right here is this wall. So just fire a rocket so you can blast a hole through it. That's much better. Oh, I got to get a heal there. And we've got multiple enemies on this side. They're everywhere. Okay, let me in here. I can just tank it for everyone else. Oh, I blew up some barrels and caught myself on fire. As long as I'm catching some of the enemies on fire as well, I'm good with it. So, take down a mocha copy and put out the fire that's on me right now. Oh, jeez, look at this whole group of psychos here. Take them out. They're trying to escape, I think, out of, out of the fire, I guess. Victoria just died. One of our newest soldiers, multiple soldiers, are on fire as well. Here, start putting out some of these errant fires that are catching us all on fire. There we go. And what are you guys doing back there? Get out of here. I think, uh, was that Devlin that just died? Vex Devlin? Not sure, everybody. Please regroup on me. Please, right now. Mighty Red Panda's taking a beating. Okay, I think here's the problem. We're, we're stuck on this fence here. We gotta press forward. Trying to take him out with a little bit of ranged attack here. Here we go. Whole bunch of them around here. That guy's got a freaking longbow. Wow, these guys are kind of primitive, aren't they? That's not gonna work against me. Oh, look at this pile of them right behind here. Here we go. There we go. Whoa, they're trying to push through the, the wall there and get outside. Oh my goodness, there was a zombie out there too. Oh, wow. Okay, suddenly very quiet. Here's the crew we have left. I think I I see Zbark is alive. I don't see where she is. Zbark is perhaps stuck over here. Here, let me help you out there. Is, is that better? Are you good now? There you go. Good job. Nice. Okay, the, the crew is all good now. Looks like behind this cage here. So far, haven't seen... I mean, there's lots of, like, prison doors, but haven't seen any, like, prison cells that I know of, at least. And we are into, like, a changing room, locker room, into a bathroom area, and... Oh, crap! Here we go. Wow! This is bad. Push in! Push in and kill! Come on, soldiers! This is what you were born to do! Fight! Hand-to-hand -hand combat! Gun broken, switch to the M60. Oh my god, what a cluster jam right here. Holy crap! Nobody use explosives right now. This is too terrible of a spot. Okay, how can I maybe get a spot up here? There we go. And jump up. Holy crap! Yes, I made it up here, and there's a ton of psychos up here. Magnus Carling and Sussians both died. Mighty Red Panda just died. Doing the best I can to, to rinse him down. Old Sci-Fi has died. We're down to three soldiers. Protect Z-Bark. I'm almost dead myself. Wow. And... Ho, ho, ho. I like your idea of fun. Excellent work, everyone. We are down to Brandon1987, one of the companions of Zbark, and Roman Morales, which I believe he's a baseball bat soldier, aren't you? Where are you? I've kind of lost track of a couple of the soldiers here. They've kind of wandered off to do their own thing. Well, that's fine. I'm going to leave them to it. They can uh, just kind of secure the area, secure the ground level, and let us know if anyone is coming from behind us, like a psycho counterattack or something. And, uh, yep. Whoa, crap! Looks like we got a whole bunch more psychos up here. Here we go again! Come on up here, Z-Bark. Let's have some real fun. Slaying psychos is my number one pastime right now. Die! Oh, I can hear bullets hitting the glass here. We're taking sniper fire from outside. Okay, let's push forward then. Not exactly sure where we're going, but I'm gonna just grind my way through. Okay, oop. We have an exit, a light, and a... Is that gonna work? That works. So ladder going up. Any psychos up here? Oh yes, there are. I don't know where they are exactly. Here's one. Just blast him with a shotgun. Z-Bark, watch yourself there. Yep, thank you. Oh, good job, Z-Bark. Covering my back there. She's hurting real bad, though. Nothing I can do about it. Careful on the spikes, though, please. All right, Z-Bart, can you heal? Are you are you going to be able to... How did you open that? That was locked. Or is it? It's, um... That's like an auto vault door. <laughs> Man, Z-Bart, you got some strong hands. Okay, that's it. We're through that part. 
Yep, go ahead, Z-Bark. There are some kind of prison-like cells here. Maybe like some torture cells or something like that. Not exactly sure what's going on here. Yep, this looks like some prisoner areas. Holy crap, look at the psychos back there, though. Maybe just sneak a bomb in there for them. Okay, whoa, look at the group over there. Get a rocket into them. That works. Another one, please. All right, Z-Bark, careful here on the fires. Let me put them out for you. Good. There they are. There's a whole slew of them back there. Stay behind me. I'll take right care of them. Ow. Holy crap. Maybe not. There's a whole lot of them. Hide behind the pallets. Got good cover here, at least. Holy crap. They're attacking in mass. Crap. Get some explosives out. Take them out. Oh. Point blank range. Come here. There we go. How you doing, Z-Bark? Where are you? Anyway, you are on the other side of this wall. Whoa! There we go. I think we're good. I think Z-Bark might be waiting for me on the other side. Excuse me! You bastard! All right, Z-Bark, are you on the other side here? Here, put put these fires out here. We're gonna need that. And put some coffee onto my face. Here she is. Yep. Are you following me? Make sure you're right behind me. Okay, we got tight quarters here. I don't know if Z-Bark can fit through this, so I'm gonna help her out a little bit. Should be but a little thing here to shred through some of this stuff. Okay, is that good for you? Perfect. All right, follow me. Whoop. <laughs> Plowed through a spike a little bit there. That's fine. All right, what do we got going on back here? We got psychos. Take them out. Oh, crap. More on the helipad there. Nice. Excellent. Careful, Z-Bark. Don't get too far ahead of me. Oh, my God. Massive fire, though. Hold up. We got a rocket launcher somewhere, too. Watch out for that. Oh, jeez. They're everywhere. Yep. Lay down some suppressing fire. Okay, we're good on this side. Looks like we're pressing to the other side now. Okay, Z-Bark. Whoa, that's not a good idea. Don't do that. Oh, she's going for some soldiers down there. Some psychos. Let's see if I can help her out. All right. Who's left up here? Oh my god, look at the psychos. They're out here trying to... I don't know if they're trying to break the vehicle or... Try to surround the building. Oh, crap. Uh, I've taken fire from multiple directions, including rocket launcher soldier there. Roman Morales is not in good shape right now. Is that him? No, that's Brandon 1987. Or it's 78, I suppose. Okay. Um, ah, Z-Bark. Where are you anyway? Ow! Z-Bark's right here. Okay. Oh, Psycho. Can I maybe get you a ladder to help you back out here? All right, come on up here if you can. Oh, look, the whole crew's here. All right, everybody back here. Nice, good. So, how is it anyway that we have only your crew left over here at the end, Z-Bark? How are all of my soldiers dead and you guys are still here? Anyway, my friends, it is an honor to serve with you. I'm glad to have you here at the very end. The next step is to get to that level right there, I think. And there's a staircase right in here so let's plow through this door that was pretty fast oh whoop we got another barricade on the other side well this is i think we're heading up into the offices here kind of like some office windows and oh yes lots of there's some birds a little bit of a bird roost here also a bunch of psychos okay let's push on quickly here no time to linger all right my soldiers are around the other side i'm on a flanking mission around this side ow Oh, yep, and they definitely saw me through the windows going this way. No matter. I've got the superior firepower, that is for sure. Okay, double tap, make sure they're dead before we move on. Holy crap, there's a lot of them in there. Okay, controlled burst, we got a whole lot of them go for the headshots. And that's good, it's supposed to hurt, you asshole. Okay, I'm inside, taking fire from multiple directions. Okay, pretty quiet here in the offices. I can hear them. They're definitely here. I'm sneaking up on a couple of them. Oh, there we go right there. There's a whole group of them. I'm gonna get the drop on them too. There we go. A little bit of sneak damage too. Six times bonus. Locked, but not for long. Yep, there we go. And what do we got up here? A whole bunch of ooh, got birds and a whole bunch of psychos. Well, let's stir them all up then. We've even got rocket launcher psychos. Take them out. Ow. I am instantly on fire. What a surprise. Here we go. Take that. Okay, I, I can hear some serious collapsing going on. Part of the space shuttle is falling apart. Look at that. 
There's also, oh my goodness, there's also just massive fires going on everywhere. Whole group of them over here trying to escape, probably. There's no escape. Can't get away from me. Okay, this level here appears to be relatively clear. I think we're going up from here. Is there a ladder? There's a door here. Which does nothing. That does, uh, switch does nothing. Let's just grunt. Oh no, it's already unlocked. There we go. Okay. And is this a ladder? It is. It's it's a ladder. It's it's quite far up. <laughs> a couple of the rungs have been broken off. Here we go. Okay, we're at the top here. Man, what a view up here. 1940. It's almost nightfall. We got to be out of here by nightfall. That's for sure. And that's a main road there leading down to that city, which I don't know that we've ever been to that city down there. So who the heck knows how many psychos are held up in there. And who also knows if any psychos have escaped here today and made it down there maybe to, to get reinforcements. I don't know, but I'm more, even more inclined to get out of here now. Let's get a move on. Okay, here is another big problem. I don't know. We got to get to that side because that's where the shuttle is. Maybe we got to jump down to here. And then I got to get to that ladder there. So I got to rip through this. Done. And then up the ladder here. All right, what do we got here? We are at the shuttle. What is that? Temcam! Is that you? Oh, crap. We got to get to him. All right, here we go. This is it. Drop down here. Temcam, it's time to go home. Dozens of people have died to get you out of here, and we're finally here. You need to come with me right now. What do you mean, no? What the hell are you just like this for? The vehicle is waiting. I'm imagining that Zbark and her crew have secured the vehicle for us. There's also a boat down there. And either way, we've got to get you out of here now before nightfall and before the psychos show back up. Temcam, I don't care if I have to beat you down and drag you out of here. You're coming with me. Wait, wait, no, no, don't do this. Jeez, what happened? My leg. Oh, I can hear psychos everywhere. They're super close right now. Oh my God, I'm all alone. All of my soldiers are dead and Temkim's betrayed me. Ugh, I can barely walk, but I've got to get out of here. Here, that should get me moving a little bit faster. All right, get ready. We've got psychos nearby. Oh, geez. There's a whole bunch of them down there. Can they see me? Or are they just shooting at zombies? Ah, crap, I think they see me. There's no more MRAP. They, there's a, just a crater left where it was before. There's no other way out of here but to get to the boat. And pretty soon, it'll be nightfall. That might be our best chance to escape, but geez, I can barely move right now. Yep, oh geez. Tons of psychos on this side too. And oh my God, I can hear the roar of engines. There's probably a convoy of psychos heading in from that nearby village. We've got to get out of here. It's almost nightfall anyway. Psychos are everywhere, pretty much. All right. Now or never, let's get out of here before we get surrounded. Couple down there. I can see the vehicles rolling in now. There they are right there. Open fire. Oh, jeez. Go, 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 go. They've got us on both sides. There's a marauder right there. Oh, jeez, okay. Take cover in here. All right, open a hole here. I've got to be able to see what I'm doing. Definitely taking fire. Taking a rocket fire as well. Oh, boy. Oh, lots of fire. 
Okay, take cover. Oh man, I'm totally on fire right now. Can I see anybody? I can't see a damn thing here. All right, taking some coffee. Okay, I can hide in this little pit right here that they've dug for me and return some fire. There we go, I can see him. Oh, I got a good hit in there. Here we go. All right, yep, it's definitely time to retreat. Let's go, let's go. All right, I'm gonna take cover here. It's a bit of a hard stand area and just lay down some suppressing fire. This is like psycho special forces coming to get me. There they are, take them out. Holy crap, oh man, those headlights, they're terrible. Oh jeez, get out of there just in time. Oh man, I don't know how many there are. There's definitely a ton of them. They're armored, they're heavily armed, they've got machine guns. Oh boy! What is that? That's a teddy bear! Wah! Uh, more teddy bears! Take cover! Oh my god, look at it. It's staring at me. It's terrifying. Okay, we press on. We've got to get to the boat. Okay. Take him out! Oh my god! Run this way! Okay, just hide behind this tree, just temporarily. I don't know if they know where I am at this point. Just try to lay down some fire. I have no idea where they are right now. Oh, zombies though. Yeah, it's almost nightfall here too. We've got to press on. Yep, here they come. They are coming in force now. I'm getting a couple hits in. They're getting a few hits on, in on me as well. That is okay. We're going to hide behind this hill. All right, guys, there it is. There's the dinghy. It's right there. It's ready to go. I'm pretty sure we're completely surrounded here, but at least we have one final escape. It's time for the last stand. Here we go. Here they are. There's the psycho special forces. Try to take them out the best we can. All right, they're bailing out now. Rocket and onto the dinghy. All right, let's get out of here. They're right on our tail. Go, 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 go. Oh my god, man, they are brutal. Look how tough they are. Go, oh, rockets! Go, oh, let's get out of here. Oh my god. Okay, that is it for this place. My goodness, we're not in the clear just yet. Keep going. Strafe sideways. Well, everyone I know and love in this world. Oh my god, direct it. Everyone that I know and love is dead. I think it's time for us to leave. The Order of Steel has been defeated, but the war against the Psychos will continue. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all and goodbye.